Web novel fanfiction TG the good. The latest of the latest. Chapter 400 Yi Xiaoqian's strength was growing too fast, so fast that even they dared not delay any longer. So all the high-level people in the alien base camp decided to send a large number of SS-level alien awakeners to kill Yi Xiaotian. However, they also took a great risk in doing so. Once Yi Xiaotian was really protected by the Supreme Strong, the probability of their return from this trip was basically zero. But now they seemed to have no other choice. If they dragged on, even if they were all tied up, they would not be Yi Xiaotian's opponent. After the decision, they prepared to act in two days. In this action, except for the general commander, only the two deputy general commanders did not participate in the next action. More than 20 SS-level awakeners of the alien race attacked Yi Xiaotian together, preparing to carry out a thunderbolt action against Yi Xiaotian. This time, they would die if they failed. However, they had a disagreement on the preferred target. Things were getting more and more troublesome. There was only one Yi Xiaotian before, and now there were suddenly two. Although they all knew that only one of them was the real Yi Xiaotian. But no one can be sure which one is real and which one is fake. The heretic organization is full of idiots, and they can't even handle such a small matter. I think the one in the second battlefield is the real one, and the one in the third battlefield is just a bait they left there. This statement was supported by many alien marshals. But the Yi Xiaotian in the third battlefield also used the clone skill. A foreign marshal raised a question. So what? This further proves that the third battlefield is a bait. Their purpose is to make us believe that Yi Xiaotian is still in the third battlefield. Yes, that's what I mean. Otherwise, it can't be so coincidental. I guess that Yi Xiaotian in the third battlefield should not use the real clone skill. You mean it might be a skill secret treasure? Yes, it is the skill secret treasure left by Yi Xiaotian. In this way, he can kill in the second battlefield again. If my guess is right, after he has walked through all the battle zones in the second battlefield, he will go to the first battlefield, and then the second battlefield will also leave a similar bait. After such an analysis, all the high-level aliens tend to this speculation. It is reasonable and there is no loophole. Damn humans, they are really cunning. We almost fell into their trap. The commander-in-chief of the alien base gritted his teeth. In fact, he was also one of the people who were deceived. Well, the target of the second battlefield, you will set off at night, pay attention to hiding your whereabouts, and don't let anyone find out. Even your subordinates can't do it. Only in this way can you be sure of success. The commander-in-chief ordered. Yes, commander-in-chief. All the alien marshals expressed their opinions. Next, you don't leave here, wait until night and set off directly from here. The commander-in-chief gave another order. All the alien marshals didn't think there was anything wrong with this. At the critical moment, you need to have a strong wrist. This is the only way to ensure that their strategy is implemented. In the second battlefield, Yi Xiaotian looked at his attribute panel and was very satisfied. After a few days of hard work, his foresighted attributes have exceeded 7 million points. The number of alien awakeners killed before was the minimum standard. In fact, in the second battlefield, the number of alien awakeners far exceeded the major war zones in the third battlefield. So the number of alien awakeners he had to kill every day exceeded 1 million. The foresighted attribute points that could be obtained every day exceeded 100. So in just a few days, his awakening level has broken through to the S level high level awakener. He is very confident that as long as he is given a few more days, he can successfully break through to the SS level awakener. Sure enough, the alien battlefield is his blessed land. Of course, if the human race and the alien race had not gone to war, tens of millions of troops from both sides were deployed on the alien battlefield, opening up hundreds of different war zones, he would not have been able to advance so quickly. As the awakening level was raised again by a small realm, his actual combat power also skyrocketed, and he had all kinds of amplification talents and skills. They were all based on the multiple amplification of physical attribute points. The higher the basic attribute points, the greater the combat power increase. 
He was confident that as long as he could be promoted to the SS level Awakener, he would have the power to fight even against the Supreme Strong. Of course, all this was just his estimate, and he was not sure about the actual situation. But after the promotion, he would call Afar to test it. Although it had been several days since the Tiger Dove incident, Afar had never appeared in front of him. But Yi Xiao Tian had a hunch that Afar had always been by his side to protect him. He had to accept this favor. He estimated that as long as the supreme power of the alien race did not take action, he would definitely not show up. But it didn't matter. With his current awakening level, the supreme power would definitely not be able to fight back. But below the supreme power, that was definitely impossible. At this time, Yi Xiao Tian didn't know that the alien base camp had already sent more than 20 great martial level awakeners to work together to kill him. You know, among these great martial level alien awakeners in the base camp, the weakest ones were SS level mid level awakeners. Such a team of awakened warriors attacked Yi Xiao Tian together. No matter the enemy or our side, it was probably unimaginable before they started. This is really crazy. However, considering the actual situation of the alien army, he was relieved. On this day, Yi Xiao Tian set out again and headed to the next war zone to continue harvesting attribute points, life essence, and talent skills. After so many kills, Yi Xiao Tian naturally harvested the most life essence, followed by attribute points. Finally, the talent skills. Although the drop rate of talent skills is so small that it is almost zero, it is not zero yet. So if you kill more, you will naturally get some. After killing in this alien battlefield for so many days, the number of alien awakened warriors who died in his hands is not 10 million, but several million. However, there are only a dozen talent skills he has obtained. Most of them are repeated. There are only a dozen that can appear on Yi Xiaotian's talent skill list. And among them, all are melee talent skills. Among the alien races, the rarity of psychics is comparable to that of human therapists. Even if there are psychics in the army of awakened aliens, it is not easy to obtain their innate skills. Yi Xiao Tian did not force it, as long as he had life essence and attribute points, that was enough. At most, he could go to the Samsara Mall to buy them when he completed his innate skills. As they were approaching the war zone, Yi Xiao Tian's blood began to boil again. These were a lot of life essence and attribute points. He did not realize that there were dozens of alien marshals waiting for him in front of him. Chapter, 401 Yi Xiao Tian killed through the entire battlefield as soon as he made a move. He had already killed his way to the aliens. At this time, he realized that he seemed to be surrounded. You know, during this period of time, on the alien battlefield, he had always surrounded the enemy. It was the first time he was surrounded. His clones did not kill the opponent, but were killed by the opponent. This surprised him a little. Although he did not use his full strength. But he is now an S-level high-level awakener. With the blessing of Deer Crane Blessing, his clones have the combat power of S-level high-level awakeners. Now the clones were easily killed. Then there is only one explanation. The more than 20 alien awakeners who surrounded him are at least SS-level awakeners. More than 20 SS-level awakeners, the aliens have spent a lot of money. He did not see a far appear, which means that the opponent has no supreme strongman to show up, so you can handle the matter yourself. Well, as long as no supreme strongman comes, Yi Xiao Tian is not afraid. Kill. The aliens didn't say anything nonsense. The night is long and dreams are many. Kill Yi Xiao Tian first, and then kill the others. And they are very sure that the one in front of them is the real Yi Xiao Tian. Sure enough, the one who stayed in the third battlefield was fake. Their choice is right. One after another huge bodies appeared, and all these alien great powers chose to fight in their original bodies. Only in this way can they exert their greatest combat power. Their power blocked all exits, and Yi Xiao Tian had nowhere to escape. Yi Xiao Tian was not polite either. After blessing himself with various amplifications, he replaced the staff in his hand with a sword. With a roar, his body swelled rapidly and his strength soared. This is the innate skill true body, which can give him several times the power increase while transforming. 
When the alien marshals saw that Yi Xiaotian could also transform, they were stunned. At first, they thought Yi Xiaotian was a pagan. But after seeing Yi Xiaotian transformed, he was still in human form, but his body expanded ten times, and he immediately understood. He was still the pure human. If it was a pagan, he would become a half-orc after the transformation. This is exactly the opposite of the aliens. After the aliens transform, they will become human, but they will still retain certain beast marks. After the pagans transform, they will reveal the form of half-orcs. This is a very good way to distinguish the aliens. However, the pagans will only choose to transform when their lives are threatened. Before the transformation, the pagans are completely human in appearance, and it is impossible to distinguish them from the outside. So the joy that just rose in the hearts of these alien marshals disappeared directly. Instead, they became more determined to kill Yi Xiaotian. This Yi Xiaotian is really too weird. You never know how many cards he has. Whenever you think you have seen through all his cards, he will tell you with facts that what you know is just what he wants you to know. This feeling of being played with is really terrible. Fortunately, all this will end today. Yi Xiao Tian, you must die today. In order to ensure the success of today's action, they even agreed to have a supreme strongman come to help them. So even if Afar will take action in the end, they are not afraid. Because there are supreme strongmen behind them. This battle is destined to be a war between Yi Xiao Tian and more than 20 awakened great powers of the alien race. Yi Xiao Tian is not weak at all. After various amplification skills, his combat power has soared. The numbers on the board alone have reached the high SS level. This is because there are restrictions on entering the Supreme Strongman, otherwise he can officially enter the SS level with just the attribute points. There is no way, that is exclusive to the Supreme Strongman. Before being recognized by the will of reincarnation, it will be restricted to death. It's like, as an Awakener, even if you have reached the attribute point standard, if you have not been to the promotion dungeon, no matter how many enemies you kill, you can't increase even a little attribute. This is the rule restriction. It will never happen that you are at a low level awakening level, but your attribute points have already exceeded the high level awakening level. So even if Yi Xiao Tian stacks more talents and skills, his foresighted attribute points will eventually stay below 100 million. However, to deal with these alien awakening powers in front of him, such foresighted attributes are enough. He didn't even use the curse skill to weaken the opponent's strength. He wanted to test these alien awakening powers. As his body expanded, the armor he wore also expanded, and the sword in his hand also expanded. This is just one of the basic functions of the SS level Tianjin armor and the SS level Tianjin sword. Puff. Yi Xiaotian's agility attribute is directly maxed out, so his attack speed is completely incomparable to these alien awakening powers. When they were still preparing to attack, Yi Xiaotian's attack had already landed on them. In just one breath, Yi Xiaotian had already cut off several heads. Scatter, scatter, he's too fast. This scene directly frightened the alien commanders. Is this human boy going to defy the will of heaven? Isn't he an S-class awakened psychic? How come he is even stronger in close combat? The battle has just begun, and they have already lost several generals. You can't even see their moves. How can we fight this battle? This is no longer a battle, but a way to get killed. No need to remind them, all the alien generals have already discovered this problem. Yi Xiaotian's movements were too fast, so fast that they couldn't react. What does this mean? It means that Yi Xiaotian's strength has surpassed them, at least in terms of agility, it is far superior to them. If there is a biggest shortcoming in the body of the alien awakener, it is probably agility. The real body of the alien awakener is powerful and has high defense, but correspondingly, their flexibility is greatly reduced. In previous battles, this shortcoming did not cause them too much trouble. Because their bodies are very strong, even if the human awakeners of the same level let you attack them a few times, they can still withstand it. But now that they have met Yi Xiaotian, it is another story. Yi Xiaotian's attributes have crushed them. He also holds the SS level Tianjin war knife, the top war knife of the same level. 
Killing SS level awakeners is absolutely as easy as cutting melons and vegetables. So those alien marshals had no obstacles at all and were beheaded by him very smoothly. The battle just started, and the alien marshals couldn't stand it. This scene was completely opposite to what they expected. Chapter 402 The aliens wanted to hide, but Yi Xiaotian would not give them such a chance. He held the golden sword, and his huge body shuttled across the battlefield like a ghost. What's going on? How can he move so fast? Yes, how is this possible? Doesn't his body have inertia? They also have huge bodies, and they have great inertia every time they move. The faster the movement, the greater the inertia. But in their eyes, Yi Xiaotian now completely violated this theorem. His body moved as fast as lightning, but when he turned, there was no lag at all, very smooth. What does this mean? We are all the people of the will of reincarnation, why can you do it? A great alien commander did not believe it, and he also started his fastest speed and attacked Yi Xiaotian. But his attack was dodged by Yi Xiaotian. The great alien commander wanted to control his body and make a smooth turn. Bang! The huge inertia threw it to the ground, and its body completely lost control. It hit the ground several times before it stopped, as if it was a water ticket. It was so embarrassing. With the previous experience, other alien marshals naturally did not dare to do this. Sure enough, they were all people of the will of reincarnation, but Yi Xiaotian was definitely his biological son, and they were raised by his stepmother. After all, judging from Yi Xiaotian's growth trajectory, it is probably only the biological son of the will of reincarnation who could be so rebellious. But in a short while, not even half of the more than twenty alien marshals were left. Go. The remaining alien marshals really couldn't hold on. If they continued, not to mention being killed by Yi Xiaotian, even if they were not killed, they couldn't bear the huge pressure. They were really going to collapse. For the first time, such a scene appeared in the level of alien marshals. They have always been the only ones who have the upper hand. In all the wars with the human race, the aliens have always had the absolute upper hand. Even though they failed in the last war and were driven back to the alien space by the human race, it was not because the alien race lost the war. It was entirely because of the internal strife of the alien race that their army needed to go back for rescue, so the human race took advantage of the opportunity and won a non-existent victory. But this time, the high-level officials of the alien base camp were really beaten by Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian would not let them run away so easily, and chase them all the way. In the end, only five of the more than twenty alien marshals actually escaped. Seeing that he could not catch up, Yi Xiaotian stopped, then returned the same way and collected the bodies of more than twenty alien marshals. With so many SS-level alien awakeners' corpses, the money owed to the base camp was really a piece of cake. At this time, whether it was military merit or the corpses of alien awakeners, it was more than enough to pay. And the two supreme strong men, Afar and Hujio, who were hiding in the dark, were silent. Hu Jiu wanted to attack several times, but he sensed that an arrow was locked on him in a distant space. If he dared to attack, the arrow would fall on him. So in the end, he chose to remain silent. Let those alien leaders be slaughtered by Yi Xiaotian. At the same time, he was a little angry. Why didn't these idiots evacuate earlier? Now, the top leaders of the alien army base camp were almost wiped out by Yi Xiaotian. The problem is that if the human race knows about this, their army base camp will be in danger. He has to go back quickly to protect the base camp and report the news to the alien space nest. How should this war end in the end? It's time to make a decision. Yi Xiaotian alone really decided the direction of a war between two major races and hundreds of millions of people. I'm afraid that before the war started, no one on either side of the enemy thought that such a thing would happen. Let's not talk about the human race. The alien race originally thought that they would make a concerted effort, with the cooperation of the sea race, to take over the alien battlefield, and then attack Blue Star. Completely reduce the human race on Blue Star to the captive creatures of the alien race. At the beginning, this plan was implemented quite smoothly. Although the resistance of the human army was very tenacious. 
But the alien leaders knew very well that if they dragged on for a while, as long as the physical strength of the human army was worn down. Then the defeat of the human army was a matter of time. Who would have thought that Yi Xiaotian would suddenly appear? In the mainland of Blue Star, two wars beat the sea race and made them retreat to Xia country. In the alien battlefield, they even beat them so hard that the alien army base camp could only use passive tactics. Great shame. Great shame that has never happened before. When Hu Jiu returned to the base camp of the alien army, his angry roar spread thousands of miles. This alien leader was really angry. He was really useless. The alien army has over 100 million people, although most of them can only be regarded as cannon fodder. But this number alone is several times more than that of the human race. Originally thought that the human army could be dragged to death. But unexpectedly, it was destroyed by Yi Xiaotian alone. Now they are forced into a dilemma. Today, the alien commanders in the base camp sent their heads thousands of miles away, making Yi Xiaotian's strength even stronger. I think it should not be far to break through to the SS level awakener. Tiger Dove Supreme was not sure that once Yi Xiaotian broke through to the SS level awakener, even the supreme powers would be unable to do anything to him. If that was the case, then Yi Xiaotian would really become the nightmare of the alien race. What to do now? Even Tiger Dove and other alien supremes could not make up their minds. They could only report the news here and wait for the response from the old nest. Many times, the reality is like this. The overall strength of the alien race is definitely many times greater than that of the human race. But the forces that they can really organize to fight against the alien race are very few. Tiger Dove estimated that the old nest must have no way. If there was a way, it would not have dragged on until today. The alien race had already destroyed the human army of Blue Star. Although he is the supreme of the alien race, what can he change? There are many supreme powers of the alien race, but I haven't seen many of them come to the alien battlefield to serve. Everyone is still guarding the old nest, thinking about whether there is a chance to steal someone else's nest and then make their own race stronger. The general races hope that their races can be promoted to the top 100, and the top 100 races hope to be in the top 50. The top 50 races hope to be in the top 10. The races that are already in the top 10 hope that their races can be in the top 3. The higher the ranking of the race, the more territory and resource allocation rights it can control. This is what they want. As for the Blue Star human race, as long as they control the power of the alien races, are they afraid that they can't deal with the Blue Star human race? In their eyes, the Blue Star human race will be their meal sooner or later. So what does it matter if it is delayed? Now it's good, it's a big problem. Chapter, 403 Finally, Yi Xiaotian raised his four attributes to the extreme of an S-level awakener. Only by entering the world of reincarnation and passing the level-up dungeon can he continue to improve his physical attributes. Yi Xiaotian returned to the war zone camp and entered the world of reincarnation to pass the level-up dungeon. With Yi Xiaotian's current combat power, the level-up dungeon was just a formality for him and there was no difficulty at all. So, a few minutes later, the level-up dungeon, which was extremely difficult for most people, was passed by him. Congratulations to the Awakener Houtian for passing the SS level Awakener level up dungeon, and the evaluation was superb. Three consecutive world announcements, and then the entire reincarnation world was boiling. They especially remembered that it was only two months ago that the great god Houtian was promoted to an S level Awakener, and it has only been a short time since then, and he has been promoted to an SS level Awakener again. This guy is really the son of the will of reincarnation. Countless people will never be able to touch the edge of an SS level awakener in their lifetime. Most of the S level awakeners spent decades of hard work, but could not see the hope of being promoted to SS level awakeners, and finally died in despair. There are also a small number of S level awakeners who finally promoted to SS level awakeners after decades of hard work. In the history of reincarnation, even the few supreme beings who were promoted to SS level awakeners the fastest took several years. But now, Yi Xiaotian took two months. You don't know until you compare it, and it's really shocking. 
In terms of this promotion speed, Yi Xiaotian is definitely unprecedented and will definitely be unmatched. If someone tells them that there are still people who can break this promotion speed, they will definitely spray the other person in the face. Damn, they really treat us as fools. The news that Hao Tian the Great God was promoted to SS level Awakener was transmitted from the reincarnation world to various spatial planes. Soon, the Sea Clan of Blue Star and the alien beasts of the alien space all learned the news. At this moment, the high level leaders of the Sea Clan and the alien races were silent. This Houtian god, who had just been promoted to S-level Awakener, killed a powerful SS-level Awakener of the C-Clan. Now he has been promoted to SS-level Awakener, what should he do? The high-level officials of the C-Clan dare not think about it, this is the rhythm of going against the will of heaven and killing gods. As for the high-level officials of the alien race, they have to think about it, because Yi Xiaotian is now killing people in the alien battlefield. He climbed to the throne of SS level Awakener by stepping on the corpses of aliens. The alien race definitely made great contributions to his promotion to SS level Awakener so quickly. Speaking of which, Yi Xiaotian's eight generations of ancestors have to thank the alien race. This strange idea can only be kept in the stomach. What they have to consider now is how to deal with the affairs of the alien battlefield. Yi Xiaotian has been promoted to SS level Awakener. In the alien battlefield, except for the supreme strongman, no one can really control him. And beside him, there are supreme strongmen protecting him, and their supreme strongmen have no chance to attack at all. Unless the alien race sends more supreme masters to the alien battlefield. After thinking about it, there is only this one way. It is not so easy to send more supreme masters to the alien battlefield. There are many supreme masters in the alien race, at least more than the human race. But these supreme masters are distributed in various races, as the clan guardians of various races. They usually practice in their clans, and what they do all year round is to break through the Tong Tian road of the Samsara Tower. In fact, except for Yi Xiao Tian, who is known as the son of the will of Samsara, other awakeners who reach S level and above usually get their attribute points improved by breaking through the Tong Tian Road of the Samsara Tower. But Yi Xiao Tian, because he was promoted too quickly, he had never heard of the Tong Tian Road. Let's get back to the point. Although there are many supreme masters in the alien race, there are very few who can really be sent to the alien battlefield. Only the most powerful races, because they have several supreme masters, will send one over. The rest will not be touched. Although the 10,000 races have temporarily united, everyone knows that once there is a chance, no one will be soft hearted. They are very good at stabbing in the back. But now, reality forces them to consider this issue. The leaders of the three upper races summoned the top 10 races and told them the facts and reason, so that they can realize the seriousness of this matter. But obviously, the effect is not very good. Sending troops can provide some support, but if they want them to send the supreme masters in the tribe to the alien battlefield, don't even think about it. Then the meeting was extended to the top 50 of the 10,000 races. Dozens of alien races rushed into the meeting hall, and it was immediately lively. These alien races have no rules to speak of. After everyone came in, they all found familiar people to chat and talk, and bursts of laughter came from inside. Those who knew it thought it was a meeting, and those who didn't know it thought it was a vegetable market. The heads of the three tribes turned green. However, they were all awakened at the same level, and no one could do anything to anyone. Unless the three tribes launched a war of genocide. But this was not their goal. Their goal was to invade Blue Star and occupy its land, which was the real way to relieve the pressure of all the tribes. As long as they occupied Blue Star and migrated some of their tribes to Blue Star, their internal competition could be greatly reduced. Although the land area of Blue Star is small, the ocean area is large. First occupy the land, then occupy the ocean, and then you can create another alien space plane. At that time, the alien races will no longer have to fight among themselves. What's more, in their hearts, there is another worry. That is the new plane. Now Blue Star can appear, so will there be a new plane in the future? They absolutely do not believe that there are only two planes under the will of reincarnation. Now it is just the union of two planes. 
As for when the new plane will be connected, it depends on the will of reincarnation. They, the alien race, should accumulate strength before the new plane comes, and they must not only know how to bully in their own nest. But they will worry about these problems, but other alien leaders will not. You talk to them about reason, they talk to you about interests. You talk to them about interests, they talk to you about territory. In a word, you are strong, you occupy a lot, and you get a lot, so you naturally have all kinds of reasons to bully us. Trying to fool us with such a ridiculous reason, no way. So the internal struggles of the alien races have always existed, and will continue until there is an external force that truly overwhelms them. Enough. The chief of the Golden Lion clan stood up and roared, shaking the entire hall. This is our meeting hall, not the vegetable market outside. Everyone, please pay attention to your identity. You are not those brainless low-level tribesmen. Chapter 404 After the hall was quiet, the chief of the Golden Lion clan continued, You all know the news. Houtian of the human race has been promoted to SS level awakener. I would like to ask everyone here, does anyone know the resume of this Houtian? Master Chief of the Golden Lion Clan, I remember that Houtian seems to have awakened not long ago. One of the top fifty alien chiefs stood up and said. Among the thousands of alien races, there are more than three digits of lions alone. Even in this hall now, there are more than a dozen chiefs of the Lion Clan. So when they call them, they will bring the race name and honorific title. As for calling them by name directly, that is the name of the superior to the inferior. I remember this, it seems to be about a year. Another chief of the top fifty alien race said. After all, Yi Xiao Tian is the only awakener in the world who has passed the dungeon with super god evaluation since the novice period. Even the most awesome genius of their alien race can't do this. When they were low-level awakeners, many alien races had achieved S-level evaluation in dungeons. As for the super god evaluation, it seems that only Houtian has succeeded so far. So at that time, Yi Xiao Tian had already attracted the attention of many people. After that, Yi Xiao Tian soared all the way, and even many alien races sent people to collect intelligence in this regard. The chief of the Golden Lion clan said again, does anyone remember how long it took for Houtian to be promoted from an S-level awakener to an SS-level awakener? More than two months. This time, many clan leaders answered this question. Obviously, since Yi Xiao Tian was promoted to an S-level awakener, these clan leaders have already cast their eyes on him. The chief of the Golden Lion tribe said with satisfaction, it seems that you all remember it very clearly, which shows that you have not forgotten the sense of crisis, which is very good. Although the human race is weak, it also has many geniuses. Although the alien race is strong, it cannot completely ignore the human race. This time, the human race has a super genius, and we have encountered difficulties. Our army fought very hard on the battlefield between the two tribes. Yi Xiao Tian relied on his natural skills to slaughter our people on the battlefield. Can we watch it? Can we tolerate it? The words of the chief of the Golden Lion tribe were passionate and resounding. Let the dozens of chiefs present were all excited, and they wanted to pick up their swords and kill the enemy immediately. So now, we need more supreme strongmen to go to the battlefield between the two tribes to kill Yi Xiao Tian, and victory will be ours. The chief of the Golden Lion tribe finally said. The chiefs of the tiger and elephant tribes sitting next to him nodded. The old lion really has two brushes, and he is much better than them in bewitching people. If they hadn't known the truth, they would have almost believed it. The tribe leaders who were just full of enthusiasm heard that they were going to send people, and they were supreme masters, and it was like a basin of cold water poured on their heads, which directly extinguished their enthusiasm. It's impossible for us to send supreme masters. If they really did, I'm afraid that in the future, let alone enjoying the fruits of victory, it's still unknown whether they can gain a foothold in the alien race. Don't say nonsense like they can choose the place after conquering Blue Star. If Blue Star is really that good, would you three tribes use it as a pie in the sky? You just know how to trick us into sending people and efforts to fight, and you pick up the benefits behind. If we send Supreme Masters, it's okay if they come back alive, but what if they die outside? Wouldn't that mean the pillars of the tribe will collapse? 
After all, the supreme masters of the human race are all real ruthless people. I don't know what the awakened humans have grown up eating. It's okay below the supreme. Whether it's a one-on-one -on -one fight or a group fight, at the same level, the awakened humans of the alien races are basically superior. But after reaching the realm of the supreme power, the combat power of the awakened humans of the human race soars, far surpassing the supreme power of the alien race. It's not an exaggeration to say that the supremes of the human race are the sons of the will of reincarnation. In the words of the rules, after the awakened humans of the human race are promoted to the supreme, the divinity they obtain is several times that of the awakened humans of the alien races. In other words, although they are both supreme powers, the divine power that the supreme powers of the human race can mobilize is several times that of the supreme powers of the alien races. Therefore, the supreme powers of the alien races are at a disadvantage after facing the supreme powers of the human race. If they are not careful, if they fall outside, it will be miserable. The fall of a supreme power can make their race rank far ahead of countless places among the alien races. Seeing everyone's expressions, the chief of the Golden Lion clan covered his chest. It felt very painful here. These bastards, they all said nice things, but when it came to the seriousness, they all acted like turtles. White Elephant Clan, what do you say? The chief of the Golden Lion Clan directly named and called the chief of the White Elephant Clan. The chief of the White Elephant Clan stood up like a white man, and said with a smile, Chief, our White Elephant Clan is originally weak, with only two supreme strongmen, and the ancestor has been in seclusion for many years. I can't disturb it because of this kind of thing, right? The chiefs present all rolled their eyes. You, the White Elephant Clan, dare to say that you are weak. The chief of the Golden Lion Clan looked at the chief of the Brown Elephant Clan sitting next to him, meaning that the White Elephant Clan is like this, and as the chief chief of the Elephant Clan, you don't care about it. The chief of the Brown Elephant Clan rolled his eyes. Is this something I can do? Your lion tribe has more branches, why don't you manage them? So he wisely turned his eyes to one side and looked at the White Tiger Tribe leader on the other side of the Lion Tribe leader. The White Tiger Tribe leader looked at it and thought, what does this have to do with me? I can manage it, but can I force them to send people? How can I manage the Tiger Tribe in the future? If something goes wrong, wouldn't the strength of my Tiger Tribe be worse than your two tribes? Besides, my Tiger Tribe has already sent the Supreme Strongmen, you can't just stare at us and bully us, right? You can wave the flag and shout, but you can't take action. So he simply closed his eyes and just turned a blind eye. The Golden Lion tribe leader was completely furious. What about the promise of advancing and retreating together? You guys are just advancing and retreating with me like this? The Brown Elephant tribe leader didn't look very good. How the hell did I know that you would start with my elephant tribe? Do you really think my elephant tribe is so easy to bully? If I open my mouth and other elephant tribes rebel against me, what should I do? Although my brown elephant tribe is the strongest among the elephant tribes, if other elephant tribes really unite, my position as the chief tribe leader will not be stable. The chief of the golden lion tribe is in trouble. His eyes swept over the chiefs of other lion tribes present, but the eyes of these chiefs gave him back were not good. No one supported him. Damn it, I don't care about this matter. Chapter, 405 You don't want to, and I don't want to either. This can't go on now. The chief of the Golden Lion tribe was also annoyed. When the big boss got angry, he didn't care. Fuck it, damn it, I don't care, I want to call back our Lion tribe's army in the alien battlefield. After the chief of the Golden Lion tribe threw down this sentence, he walked out of the meeting hall quickly. All the chiefs present were dumbfounded when they saw this scene. What do you mean? You are the boss of the upper three tribes. How can you not bear it after just a few words? Come back and talk about it. Your upper three tribes are powerful, you should send masters over. There are also the top ten races. There are many supreme strong people in your tribe. You should set an example. But some dared to whisper these words, while others could only think about them in their stomachs. A grand meeting ended unhappily like this. Moreover, the leader of the Golden Lion tribe did what he said, 
and immediately sent a message to withdraw the Lion Army from the alien battlefield. The supreme warriors sent by the Lion Tribe also withdrew. Seeing this, the Tiger Tribe and the Elephant Tribe did not delay and quickly withdrew their people. If they delayed any longer, they might not be able to come back. In just one day, hundreds of millions of alien troops on the alien battlefield were withdrawn completely. After Yi Xiao Tian was promoted to SS level Awakener, he rested for a day. When he wanted to show his power on the battlefield again. Suddenly, he found that the battlefield was silent and there was no one on the alien side. The major war zones sent people to the alien side to inquire about the situation. Soon, countless intelligence was gathered. On the human base camp, Commander-in-Chief Skov did not believe the news at first, and after confirming it again and again, he murmured, it's really strange. But no matter what, the withdrawal of the alien army is a good thing. In this way, the human army can have a good rest. But the aliens actually withdrew completely, which made them have nothing to do in the alien battlefield. The environment here is so bad. If there is no temptation to improve strength, who would be willing to stay here? This alien has no martial ethics. Skov began to worry. Is the human army also going to withdraw to Blue Star? This back and forth is a big waste. The human race is not like the aliens. The aliens are from the beast race and are not destined to live in an environment. It is already amazing for them to be able to set up a tent. Unlike the human race, all kinds of living facilities are complete. In addition, in order to build the base camp and the camps on the major battlefields, a lot of manpower and material resources were consumed. It's a pity to just throw it away. Faced with this situation, not only Skov, the commander-in-chief of the base camp, but also several supreme strong men of the human race, were all confused. Such a situation has never been encountered before. Even more than twenty years ago, when the alien race had a civil war and the major races withdrew their troops from Blue Star, the defensive forces in the alien battlefield did not withdraw. So in the past few decades, the awakened people of the human race and the awakened people of the alien race have been fighting each other in the alien battlefield. It's just that the scale is not as large as this time. In the battle, the awakened people of both sides, except for those who paid the price of their lives, have gained rapid improvement in strength. At least it is much faster than brushing dungeons in the reincarnation world. This is what allows the awakened people of the human race to stay in the alien battlefield for a long time. No matter how bad the environment is, it is not as tempting as improving strength. But what should we do now? And what does the alien race mean? They actually withdrew all the troops and did not even leave the defensive forces. Have the aliens completely given up the alien battlefield? While arranging defenses on major battlefields and major war zones, the leaders also asked the base camp what to do next. Yi Xiaotian returned to the third battlefield from the second battlefield and met his comrades. Brother Tian, what happened? Why did the alien army suddenly withdraw, and withdraw so cleanly? Even Huang Jia, who was well informed, was confused by this matter. Even Skov, the commander-in-chief of the alien army, was puzzled, not to mention others. Yi Xiaotian also shook his head and said, I don't know too much. Maybe something went wrong at the alien headquarters. I'm afraid this is the only explanation. Is there a fight between the aliens again? Huang Jia suddenly said with a bright look in his eyes. Fatty, what's that expression on your face? You don't want to kill your way into the alien world, do you? Wang Hao said unhappily. Huang Jia said, why not? In the past, the aliens took the initiative to attack, and we could only passively defend. Now such a good opportunity is in front of us, don't you want to try it? Everyone was in a trance. This is indeed an opportunity. An opportunity to enter the alien world. Before this, the awakened people of the human race had never successfully entered the alien world. In addition to the tight defense of the aliens. The alien race stipulates that one needs to restore one's true form to enter the alien world. In this way, the possibility of the awakened human race wanting to blend into the alien world is completely zero. As for relying on strength to kill their way in, forget it. 
Even if the pagans of the alien race have obtained the qualification to enter the alien world, they must transform before they can obtain the qualification to do so. Now, the alien army has completely withdrawn, and the transmission channel to the alien world is completely in front of them. But how do you know that there is no foreign army guarding the opposite side of the transmission channel? Xiao Qing said suddenly. Huang Jie's expression froze. This was indeed something he had not considered. Normally speaking, even if the alien race evacuates all the armies from the battlefield of the two races, it is impossible to completely open the transmission channel to the human army. Therefore, it is very likely that at the other end of the transmission channel, there is a foreign army guarding there, waiting for the awakened human race to go over and kill them. Everyone looked at Yi Xiao Tian, wanting to get some information from him that they didn't know. Yi Xiao Tian thought for a while and then said, Okay, we don't need to consider this issue. I think the base camp must have already started on this matter. They will definitely send someone to confirm this matter. Let's take a rest first. I will take you to clear the A-level team copy tomorrow. Only then did everyone realize that their brother Tian was now an SS-level awakened person. They all started asking, Brother Tian, what does it feel like to be an SS-level awakened person? Yi Xiao Tian thought about it for a moment before replying, It doesn't seem like there's been much change. I don't know if it's because I've already adapted to the power of SS-level awakeners. When everyone heard this, they all rolled their eyes wildly. This sounds so Versailles. Chapter, 406 In fact, Yi Xiao Tian now really hopes to find a fight with a supreme powerhouse. Just very hesitant. If it still doesn't work, wouldn't it be asking for trouble? And this behavior will definitely make the supreme power laugh to death. So Yi Xiao Tian was thinking about going to see Lord Sword God after returning to Blue Star. After receiving so much care from others, I always want to visit and thank them for their care. Of course, besides thanking you, asking for a discussion is also a very reasonable request, right? They are all from Xia country, so even if they lose in the end, there is nothing to be ashamed of. He is a supremely powerful person. It's normal to lose. There is a problem only if you win. Moreover, as the senior who is most optimistic about him, Lord Sword God will definitely show mercy. Even if he loses, he probably won't be beaten too badly. But it's hard to say about the other supreme powerhouses. No one can say whether they will take advantage of Yi Xiaotian's lack of maturity and beat him up when they find an opportunity. If I leave any stain or the like and achieve the name of supreme in the future, won't I still have to be ridiculed by them? Yi Xiao Tian would never give such a good opportunity to them. Du Qingwu and Han Zhan from the third battlefield learned that Yi Xiao Tian was back, and they both came to pay homage to Yi Xiao Tian. When Yi Xiao Tian was still an S-level awakener, they were already very polite. Now that Yi Xiao Tian has been promoted to SS-level awakening power, they all want to kneel down to Yi Xiao Tian. As long as you have a good relationship with this person, the benefits in the future will definitely be huge. Now it seems that it is a certainty that Yi Xiao Tian will achieve the supreme position. Judging from the speed at which he was promoted, it would be four to five years at most, or one or two years at least, so this would be a done deal. By then, he will be the sixth supreme powerhouse of the Blue Star human race. If they can seize the opportunity at this moment and become Yi Xiao Tian's followers. Thinking about the current status of Lord Sword God's followers, they were extremely envious. Although one of them is now the commander-in-chief of the Land Reclamation Army and the other is the commander-in-chief of the Night Watch Army, they can be said to have high positions of power. But compared with the few followers of Lord Sword God, they are still not impressive enough. The two commanders-in-chief first need to obey the orders of the Supreme Defense Committee. The Supreme Defense Committee obeys the orders of the Sword God. It's just that Lord Sword God never cares about this kind of thing, it's all managed by a few of his followers. In other words, the followers of Lord Sword God are the bosses of their two bosses. Putting aside the issue of position, the difference in status alone cannot be compared by position. If they could, they would rather become followers of Yi Xiao Tian than become the commander-in-chief. Mr. Yi, we have prepared some food and wine, and we would like to invite Mr. Yi and his party to show their appreciation. Du Qingwu's attitude can be described as humble. 
This man was a powerful being who massacred more than 20 SS level awakened aliens when he was in the S level awakened realm. What qualifications do they have to show off face in front of Yi Xiao Tian? Now that Yi Xiao Tian is willing to see them, it is entirely to give them great face, and they have to bear it. To do otherwise is to bring disgrace upon oneself. They are not those ignorant second generation ancestors. These are the essence of human beings that have been tempered by decades of experience in the world. They know very well what kind of situation, what kind of person they should face, and what kind of attitude they should adopt. Yi Xiaotian thought about it for a while and agreed to their proposal. Du Qingwu and Han Zhan were immediately overjoyed. Quickly guide the people of Haokian team to the hotel they arranged. Singing Commander Du, Commander Han, what are your plans next? At the banquet, it was very lively to change glasses, and at this time Huang Jia suddenly asked. Du Qingwu and Han Zhan did not hide anything, but answered directly, it's not clear yet, and there is no resolution at the base camp. But it is estimated that the large troops will not leave the alien battlefield so quickly. Everyone nodded when they heard this. The human army would definitely not withdraw from the alien battlefield before they understood the true intentions of the aliens. Then have you ever thought about leading an army into a foreign world? Huang Jia said. Du Qingwu and Han Zhan were both shocked. Are young people today so arrogant when thinking about things? With the current strength of the human race, it is not easy to defend, and they actually want to break into the alien world. Is this looking for death? The two commanders-in-chief twitched at the corners of their mouths, not knowing how to answer this question. They never seemed to think about it. These are issues that the top management should consider. We just need to do our part. In the end, Han Zhan gave such an answer. Huang Jie was a little disappointed. Sure enough, no one had considered this issue. Does everyone think that the alien race is too strong and the human race is too weak? Du Qingwu and Han Zhan are already at a high level and should be considered high-level leaders of the human race. Surprisingly, even they had not heard of this proposal. That shows that the top leaders of the human race have never discussed this issue. In other words, the gap in strength between the human race and the alien race may be greater than they imagined. His heart felt a little heavy. Du Qingwu explained, You should also know that in this war between the two races, the strength mobilized by our human race has exceeded 70%. But do you know how much power the aliens have sent here? Yi Xiaotian and others all shook their heads to indicate that they didn't know. Du Qingwu didn't show off and immediately said, less than one-tenth. Everyone was silent. Sure enough, the gap was too big. This is because there are too many races in the alien race. Everyone wants to get promoted and has no intention of destroying the human race and occupying Blue Star. Otherwise, we would have been finished long ago. Han Zhan also said. So our best choice now is to accumulate strength first. Killing into the alien world is completely different from being here. Once our army enters the alien world, it will force the alien races to unite completely, which is what we don't want to see. So I think the top leaders will not have such an idea, at least not within a few decades. What's more, don't forget that we have a strong enemy on Blue Star. Han Zhan's words made everyone realize that they had overlooked too many things. Huang Jia sighed and said, I am ignorant and arrogant. Yes, let alone the alien races, on Blue Star, they have another strong enemy whose foundation is unknown, that is the sea race. This time the aliens retreated, what they should do is not to provoke the aliens, but to solve the problem of the sea tribe. The loss they suffered this time is already big enough. They can't fall in the same place twice. Chapter, 407 a banquet and a conversation made the people of the Haokian team feel at ease. All the previous restlessness was put away. It also made them realize that this world is not as simple as they imagined. At the same time, it also sounded a wake-up call for them. They thought they could do whatever they wanted with Yi Xiaotian. But Du Qingwu and Han Zhan told them that there were too many things in this world that they only knew the basics of. Huang Jia decided that after returning to Blue Star this time, he needed to go home and have a good chat with his father. He believed that with his father's status and position, 
there should be not much he didn't know about this world. As long as he told everyone he knew, his position as the little prince of Team News would remain unshakable. After the banquet, everyone began to consider returning to Blue Star. It seems that we haven't studied much in school since we went to college. Should we make up for it this time when we go back? Han Xuyao said to Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian sighed and said, Yes, I used to think that there was nothing to learn in school, but this trip to the alien battlefield made me realize why I have to go to university for systematic learning. University can not only improve student strength, but also systematically teach students all kinds of information about this world. Students will not be left in the dark after leaving school. In addition to being warriors, awakeners must also be wise warriors. Those brainless reckless men must not come from the academy system. People like Yi Xiaotian are exceptions after all. There is no way, who let others be promoted quickly. The school will only hold them back. If it were in peacetime, Yi Xiaotian might be able to stay in school. But now it is a chaotic world, and the human race is in danger. How can he be at ease to learn systematic knowledge in school? This time, even if Han Xuyao didn't mention it, after returning, as long as the situation allows, he will also study systematically in school. The two talked about the situation of the alien race for a while, but there was no conclusion in the end. They don't need to worry about this matter. Anyway, the human army can't withdraw so quickly. We must first arrange the defense strategy for the alien battlefield. In just a few months, there is no result at all. But if there is a chance, I will definitely go to the alien world in the future. People have come to my territory and killed for decades. If I don't return the favor, it seems not very polite. And Yi Xiaotian is really curious about the alien world. What kind of world is it that only has alien creatures, but no human beings, the spirit of all things? No words were spoken overnight, and the spring rain turned into rivers. The next day, the group prepared to go home. There are no alien awakeners here anymore, and it would only be a waste of time for them to stay here. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were both reluctant to leave when they heard this. But soon, they were all happy again. Since Brother Tian and the others are going to continue their studies after returning, they can just transfer to the Magic City Awakener University. This kind of thing is extremely difficult for others, but for the two of them, it is simply too simple. Not to mention the forces behind them, just the two of them, both of them are SS-level talents, and now they are A-level awakeners. Where can you find such a super genius? As long as they show their willingness to transfer to the Magic City Awakener University, the Magic City Awakener University will definitely welcome them into the school gate with infinite joy. In this way, they can continue to study and struggle with Brother Tian and others. However, the transfer of such a super genius is estimated to make the top leaders of Qingshui Awakener University and Jiangnan Awakener University feel so heartbroken that they can't breathe. In addition to outstanding alumni such as Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu, they all plan to use them as representatives to prepare for the next semester's enrollment. But now it's gone. The Magic City Awakener University not only has Yi Xiao Tian, but also the Awakener team, which is really going to take off. The admissions directors of several other universities are so regretful at this moment. There was no ripple in the process of Yi Xiaotian and others returning to Blue Star. Even several supreme masters did not show up to meet Yi Xiaotian in the end. There was no need. Yi Xiaotian's growth did not need their interference. It was fine to follow his own pace. Forced interference might disrupt Yi Xiaotian's own rhythm. So they just watched Yi Xiaotian grow up silently from behind. Besides, there were still many things in the alien battlefield that needed their decision. Although the alien army had withdrawn, the follow-up matters were actually more important. They could not rest assured without solving this problem. In the magic city, Yi Xiaotian and his party returned here again. However, the team was not full this time. Huang Jie, Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu all went home. Huang Jie went to inquire about the news. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu went to handle the transfer procedures. The happiest person when Yi Xiaotian and his party returned to the Magic City Awakener University was Director Hishir. 
The proudest thing in the life of the person who personally recruited Yi Xiaotian into the Magic City Awakener University has now become bringing Yi Xiaotian into the school. Several other old friends no longer communicate with him. Two of the three sentences were praising Yi Xiaotian, and the other was praising how wise and brave he was at the beginning, and how he liked Yi Xiaotian at first sight. The others wanted to vomit blood after hearing this. If they didn't want to be sad, they could only stop contacting He Xiu. But recently they had to prepare for the next semester's enrollment, and they had to contact him again. It was really too difficult. Then something even more sad happened. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were actually going to transfer. When He Xiu heard the news, he was so happy that he almost jumped up. So the first thing he asked when he met Yi Xiao Tian was, Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu are going to transfer. Is it because of you? It should be. Yi Xiao Tian replied. Good, it's really great. He sure was very happy. Yi Xiao Tian rolled his eyes and said, Director He, aren't you afraid that the two directors of Qing Shui University and Jiangnan University will cause trouble for you? He sure said proudly, I'm afraid of them, what a joke. Sun Yao suddenly said, Director He, what do you say if they come to poach Brother Tian? They dare. He sure glared, and then felt a little guilty. They all know each other very well, and they are definitely capable of doing such things. So he sure was a little anxious. He quickly said to Yi Xiao Tian, Xiao Tian, I've staked my life on you, you can't leave. But don't worry, whatever conditions you have, as long as the school can provide them, there will be no problem. Chapter, 408 After Yi Xiaotian's repeated assurances, he sure left Yi Xiaotian's villa with a worried look on his face. Sun Yao, look how scared you are of director he. Han Xu Yao glared at her. Sun Yao curled her lips and said, I didn't expect director he to be so timid. Han Xu Yao said unhappily, is he timid? He was really scared. There is nothing wrong with what he said. He sure is certainly not timid, but he can't bear the consequences of losing. If Yi Xiaotian transfers, it will be a fatal blow to the Magic City Awakener University. So as he said, Yi Xiaotian can make any conditions, as long as the school can meet them, there is no problem. Even if it means selling everything, it must be met. It is a foregone conclusion that Yi Xiaotian will achieve the supreme position, it's just a matter of time. According to Yi Xiaotian's growth rate, it will take at least one or two years, and at most ten years. This is not a problem. The four awakening universities have not cultivated a supreme power since their establishment. Lord Sword God, the supreme power, came out of the chaotic era, not cultivated by the school. In the chaotic era, there was no condition to establish a school. All schools were established after they had fought their way out of a relatively stable situation. If the Magic City Awakening University can be the first to cultivate a supreme power, it will be infinitely attractive to the awakening freshmen. Who can resist such temptation as an alumnus of the supreme power? So for the future enrollment work of the Magic City Awakening University, the benefits are absolutely infinite. Look at the two admissions directors of Qing Shui Awakening University in Jiangnan Awakening University, how angry they are. This is just because Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu transferred. It has already caused a huge impact and blow to them. So the Magic City Awakening University will never be able to bear such consequences. After leaving Yi Xiao Tian and the others, he sure went straight to the principal. He told his concerns again. The principal was quite calm and said, don't worry too much. Since Yi Xiao Tian and the others didn't put forward any conditions, it means that they have no opinion on our school. Since he entered our school, we haven't done anything to make him unhappy. Especially you, he is still full of gratitude to you. But what you said makes sense. No matter what conditions other major schools put forward, we will follow them and surpass them. But with Yi Xiaotian's current strength, the resources that the school can provide are actually very limited. After listening to the principal's analysis, he sure felt much more at ease. At the same time, he also agreed with the principal's opinion. With Yi Xiaotian's current SS level awakening strength, the school can indeed provide very limited resources. In other words, the other universities simply don't have enough things to attract Yi Xiaotian. 
because the best destination for awakeners at the SS level should be the Tongtian Road to the Samsara Tower. It's just that there is no external force to influence the Tongtian Road. Everything depends on Yi Xiaotian's own ability. Of course, if they knew the characteristics of Yi Xiaotian's supreme talent, they would not think so. For other ordinary awakeners above S level, it is indeed the best choice to break through the Tongtian Road. But for Yi Xiaotian, as long as there are enough enemies for him to kill, the effect may be better. The principal said at this time, in fact, for Yi Xiaotian, what he lacks most now is knowledge. Knowledge? He sure was a little confused. What is this saying? The principal said, yes, the knowledge of the system, his rise is too fast, and he doesn't know a lot of knowledge that should be common sense. So next, we can make courses for him according to what he lacks, or let him enter the library and let him study by himself. He sure thought about it and felt that what the principal said made a lot of sense. Coming out of the principal's office again, he sure looked relaxed. He already knew how to arrange Yi Xiaotian and his team next. At the same time, in Beijing. Xiao Cheng's home. The principal and admissions director of Qingshui Awakener University came at the same time. Their purpose was very clear, that is, to have a good chat with Xiao Cheng. Student Xiao Cheng, we can promise that you can go wherever you want. We will not restrict you. As long as your student status remains in our Qingshui University, it will be fine. You can also raise any other conditions. As long as the school can do it, we will never hesitate. In order to keep Xiao Cheng in Qingshui University, the admissions director was almost worn out by his words. He was the main force in this battle, and then the principal Mu Qing helped. Also present was Xiao Cheng's father, Xiao Wuyan, the current head of the Xiao family. Mu Qing and Xiao Wuyan are old friends. Xiao Cheng chose to study at Qingshui University, and Xiao Wuyan played a big role in it. Otherwise, why would they choose Qingshui University instead of Kyoto Awakener University under the same conditions? Brother Xiao, you know the situation of our school. Many years ago, you also graduated from Qingshui University. If Xiao Qing leaves, it will be a huge blow to our school. Mu Qing was also helpless. Xiao Qing is really famous now, an A-level awakener who is less than 20 years old. He can't be compared with Yi Xiao Tian. But compared with other awakener students, he is a child of destiny. You don't have the ability to cultivate such a child of destiny, and you don't even have the ability to retain such a genius. What's the point of such a school? So Mu Qing and Guang Gu can imagine that their enrollment work in the next semester will definitely be very difficult. The first tier geniuses will definitely choose Magic City University. But if Xiao Qing is gone, they can't even recruit the second tier geniuses. If Xiao Qing stays, their Qingshui University will be second only to Magic City University. If he can't stay, Qingshui University will become a second-rate university. If this really happens, they will be the sinners of Qingshui Awakener University. For decades, Qingshui University has cultivated countless awakened talents for Xia country, and has become the backbone of the human race today. They can't let the outstanding alumni of these schools be ashamed of the school. After listening to Mu Qing's request, Xiao Wuyan spoke for the first time, Xiao Cheng, then your student status will remain at Qingshui University. You can go to Moda University to study as a temporary student. Xiao Qing said, Is it okay? Will Modu Awakener University have any objections? Xiao Wuyan nodded, indicating that it was okay. Guang Gu gritted his teeth and said, It won't be a problem. Even if I beat He sure to death, I will definitely help you get this done. Xiao Cheng's heart jumped, and he felt that this was not right. Chapter 409 The same scene happened in the Peng family in Jiangnan Bay City. Even the president and admissions director of Jiangnan Awakening University had contacted Qingshui University before they came. In this matter, the two universities must unite to confront the Demon City Awakening University. After agreeing on the conditions, Guang Guang, the admissions director of Qingshui University, and Jiang Ling, the admissions director of Jiangnan University, went to the Magic City together. They want to meet in person what happened at Mata University, and even the principal. What they brought was the will of all senior leaders of the two universities. 
If Shanghai University of Finance and Economics does not agree to their conditions, it will be equivalent to going to war with the two universities. The poor Kyoto Awakened University is not even qualified to negotiate terms with the Demon City University. It is the most miserable among the four major awakened university. He sure was still very enthusiastic about Guangu and Jiangling's arrival. After all, they sent two super geniuses, adding a bit more brilliance to the resume of the Demon City Awakening University. But after hearing Guangu and Jiangling's purpose, the smile on He Shi's face disappeared. Is it a good thing to keep my student status in your school? Such a good thing is of course exclusive to our Demon City Awakening University. What's the matter? You'll starve to death if you eat alone. Guangu said rudely. He sure Hun said nonchalantly, it doesn't matter, my prime minister's belly can support a boat. Director He, are you sure you want to start a war with our two universities? Or we should bring Kyoto University in too? I think they will be happy to participate in this matter. Jiang Ling said. When he sure heard this, he frowned. This war is of course not the others. But he also knows very well that if the other three universities really unite completely, the awakenings of the magic city will definitely not be able to please them. After all, the resources held by the other three prestigious schools are also very huge. Yi Xiaotian's effect is indeed very attractive. But the actual benefits are more attractive. If these universities unite and compete with them for students at all costs, it will be really difficult. I can't make the decision on this matter, I have to report it to the principal. He sure said thoughtfully after thinking about it. Guangu said expressionlessly, We are waiting here for your answer. When he sure saw this, he didn't delay and quickly went to find the principal. Let me explain the meaning of Qingshui University and Jiangnan University. The principal didn't think much and said, Promise them, we can't cause public outrage. If possible, we can persuade Yi Xiaotian to choose a team member from Kyoto University. He sure asked strangely, Why? The principal did not even say, the four major universities are in the same spirit. This will be good for both us and Yi Xiaotian, do you understand? After thinking about it for a while, He sure suddenly realized, the principal is still far-sighted, and his subordinates admire him. The principal smiled and nodded, you should look at things from a higher perspective. Next semester, I will propose a proposal to promote you to the position of vice-principal of the school. Thank you principal for your cultivation. He sure was overjoyed upon hearing this. Du Wei said, Do a good job, I like you. He said goodbye and came out. The wind was blowing when he walked, and he was floating. Returning to the reception conference room, he sure immediately said, The principal has agreed to this matter. The student status of Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu will remain in your school and they will study with us. But our school helps you cultivate talents, shouldn't you show your support? He sure said. This is no problem at all. Both Guangu and Jiang Ling said there was no problem at all. He sure said, okay, I have something to do with classmate Yi Xiao Tian, so I won't entertain you anymore. In fact, Guangu and Jiang Ling didn't have any extra thoughts to stay here. They had to go back quickly to solve the remaining problems. They successfully retained Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiang Yu's academic status, but they had to find a way to better train them. He sure found Yi Xiaotian in his villa again and met Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian was very surprised. Isn't director he very busy recently? I just saw him two days ago, and he came to see me again. Did something happen? Classmate Xiaotian, come here today. I want to discuss something with you. The matters regarding Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu have been discussed with their schools. He sure told Yi Xiaotian about the discussion with the two universities. Yi Xiaotian didn't have any objections to this. Anyway, no matter where Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were studying, it had nothing to do with him. So he didn't say anything and continued to wait for someone to explain his purpose. Xiao Tian, the principal said, if possible, I suggest you recruit a teammate from Kyoto Awakening University. He sure said. Yi Xiaotian was a little confused. What the hell was this idea? He sure hurriedly said, Classmate Xiao Tian, it's like this. 
If you can recruit students from the four major universities as teammates, then you can mobilize all the resources of the four major universities. I say this, do you understand? The four major universities control more than 60% of the resources of the school department, while hundreds of other universities can only compete for the remaining 40%. Although it seems unfair, there is nothing you can do about it. Only by concentrating resources and cultivating the most talented awakened people can we quickly cultivate more high-end talents. I know you have your own ways to improve your strength, but I can tell you that doing this will still be of great benefit to you. Since the establishment of the four famous universities, almost 90% of the backbone of the young generation of the human race came from the four famous universities. And all of these will become your help. He sure said a lot to Yi Xiao Tian. After the principal's reminder, he reacted. As a leader of the new generation, Yi Xiao Tian can even continuously attract talents from the four famous universities. Not to mention Magic City University. With Xiao Cheng, Qing Shui University will naturally give great support, and the same is true for Jiangnan University. After listening to He Shi's explanation, Yi Xiao Tian understood. Anyway, he didn't pay much for this matter, just recruiting one more teammate. I can agree to this, but I want to recruit this teammate myself. Yi Xiao Tian said. He Shi said, of course, we can contact Kyoto University and get you the detailed information of the students in the past 10 years. You can choose any one. 10 years, no need, just the same class as me. Yi Xiao Tian said. He sure said, there are indeed many talented people among your classmates at Kyoto University, and their talents are also varied, but wouldn't it be easier to choose if we expand the scope a little bit? It is not so easy to select teammates for the team. You have to consider personality, identity, talent level and type comprehensively before you can determine. Yi Xiao Tian said, no need, the rest doesn't matter, as long as they have good character. He sure. Is it so careless? Chapter, 410 Since Yi Xiao Tian had already made up his mind, he sure didn't say much. Perhaps for Yi Xiao Tian, the rest is really unimportant. After all, in this team, he alone is enough. As for other teammates, as long as they are sociable and have good conduct, that's enough. Even if it's a pig, with Yi Xiaotian's ability, he can be trained into a genius. Thinking of this, he sure inexplicably thought of Wang Hao. At the beginning, Wang Hao was just a C-level talent awakener, but soon, Wang Hao became an S-level talent awakener. And Chang Xiaosi, who was an A-level talent awakener at the beginning, but now, he has been promoted to an SS-level talent awakener. These two, who were not qualified to enter the Magic City Awakener University, have now been trained by Yi Xiao Tian into super geniuses. With these two examples, he sure didn't think so much. After returning to his office, he immediately contacted Li Chuncheng, the admissions director of Kyoto Awakener University. Li Chuncheng was a little surprised to receive Yi Xiao's call. This guy called me at this time, is he here to show off? Although Kyoto University did not participate in the swordplay between the three famous schools during this period, they knew it very well. Old He, what's the matter? Li Chuanxing's tone was very stiff, as if he would immediately turn hostile if he sure dared to show off in front of him. He sure was stunned and said, Old Li, who made you so angry? Li Chuanxing said unhappily, If you have something to say, just say it, if you have something to say, just fart. Who made me angry? Don't you know what's going on? He sure said leisurely, I wanted to give you a great opportunity, but if that's the case, forget it, I'll find other schools. Wait. Li Chunqing finally reacted before He sure hung up the phone. You didn't make fun of me. Li Chunqing didn't quite believe it. He sure said, I, He sure, am busy with all kinds of things every day, do I have the time to make fun of you? Damn it. Li Chunqing cursed in his heart. Damn, damn he sure, he only knows how to show off. This guy is almost becoming the public enemy of colleges and universities. Now that the Magic City Awakener University has Yi Xiao Tian, a great god, they can choose talented freshmen from all over the country and even all over the world. Yes, even if it is just to see Yi Xiao Tian and become his alumni, geniuses from all over the world want to study at the Magic City Awakener University. Okay, I won't waste my time talking to you. 
The Houtian team wants to select a player from your school. Send me a copy of the information of all your students this year, and I will give it to Mr. Houtian to choose. He should directly explain his purpose. Then Li Chuanqing's brain short circuited a little. The good news came too suddenly, and he was a little confused. The first reaction was that Yi Xiao Tian was teasing him. But it seems that there is no need for this. He sure is a smart man and will not cause trouble for himself. Is this true? Li Chunqing's voice was a little trembling. He sure said angrily, Li Chunqing, are you sick? I am bored and teasing you with this kind of thing. This is the proposal of our principal, and it has been agreed by Mr. Houtian. Hurry up, if you miss this opportunity, you will miss it. Okay, okay, I will ask someone to prepare it right away. I will inform the principal about this matter. If you have any conditions, just ask. Li Chunqing immediately understood and agreed. This is completely using Yi Xiaotian's hands to help them Kyoto University cultivate a super genius. This will be a super master in the future. Even, there is a possibility of achieving the supreme position. They know Yi Xiaotian's ability too well. He sure said, okay, let's talk about the conditions later. I will tell you the conditions now. Mr. Houtian has only one condition, that is, good character, understand? Li Chunqing thought about it for a while, and said, I understand, I will never let Mr. Houtian down. Yes, Houtian's teammates who are reborn, other things are not important, character is the most important. After hanging up the phone, Li Chunqing quickly ordered his men to prepare student information and then report to the principal's office. Fu Chen the president of Kyoto University, has also been angry about Yi Xiaotian recently. At the beginning, their school also had the opportunity to recruit Yi Xiaotian, but it was snatched away by Moda University. He regretted it. He was thinking that if their Kyoto University had improved the conditions, Yi Xiaotian would definitely be his student now. As for the rules, damn, in front of a super genius like Yi Xiaotian, any rules can be broken. Yi Xiaotian was born to make rules. Alas, it's still too conservative. If you meet such a genius in the future, you must not be bound by the rules. Fu Chenzhen sighed. But can such an opportunity be encountered again for the second time? It should be impossible. Yi Xiaotian is unique. The kind that has never been seen before and will never be seen again. In one year, from an awakened freshman to an SS level awakener, can you believe it? Before Yi Xiaotian showed up, if anyone dared to say such things in front of him, he would definitely slap the person against the wall. The kind that you can't even scratch off. The worst thing is that Qingshui University and Jiangnan University have established a relationship with Yi Xiaotian and got a share of the pie. Only their Kyoto University didn't get a single cent. At this time, a hurried knock on the door sounded. Come in. Fu Chingen's deep voice sounded, but he was thinking in his mind, has something big happened again? Bang! The door of the office was pushed open roughly, and Li Chunqing rushed in. Fu Chingen frowned and said, Chunqing, what happened? Why are you so anxious? Li Chunqing didn't care, and said anxiously, Principal, just now, he sure from Magic City University called me and said that Mr. Houtian wants to choose a teammate from our school. Fu Chen was stunned for a moment, and then he reacted and said in surprise, Really? Li Chunqing nodded vigorously. Fu Chen was immediately overjoyed and said, Okay, 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 great, then arrange it quickly. By the way, does Mr. Houtian have any special requirements? Li Chunqing said, Mr. Houtian's requirements are quite simple. Freshman, good behavior is enough. Fu Chen was stunned when he heard this. Is it so simple? Is it too hasty? He was still thinking about sending Mr. Houtian, the best genius in his school, over there, but who would have thought that he only had this requirement? Li Chunqing continued, Principal, what he sure means is that we send the detailed information and let Mr. Houtian choose. Fu Chen immediately said, then send the information, and at the same time, you can also show them that if Mr. Houtian is willing, he can also come to the school to choose. Li Chunqing was stunned for a moment, and then said, Principal, you are wise, why didn't I think of it? Fu Chen accepted Li Chunqing's flattery and said, Okay, go ahead, 
as long as our school can do the other conditions, we can agree directly, no need to ask me again. The most worrying thing was solved. At this moment, Fu Chen Zhen was in a particularly good mood. Chapter, 411 Yi Xiaotian stayed in school during this period, but he did not go to class, but stayed in the library. Han Shuyao was with him. They were all reading books here. He sure gave him the highest authority, and he could borrow all the books in the library. He first read history books. History books recorded since the arrival of the Samsara Tower. Of course, the history books he read were definitely not available to ordinary students in the school. Many of the secret historical records require certain permissions to borrow. After a few days of study, Yi Xiaotian's cognition was greatly enriched. He also had a deeper understanding of the Samsara Tower and the Awakeners. In the past few days, the news that Yi Xiaotian returned to school spread throughout the school, and all the students knew that their schoolmate, Hao Tian, had returned from the alien battlefield. The fact that Yi Xiaotian and the Haotian team went to the alien battlefield was kept secret at first. After Yi Xiaotian started killing people in the alien battlefield and established victory, the school began to publicize it. This publicity was almost synchronized with Yi Xiaotian's promotion to SS level awakener. If there were students who thought that Yi Xiaotian's entry into the Magic City University had occupied their resources, no one thought so now. It seems that although the school has given Yi Xiaotian a lot of resources, Yi Xiaotian actually uses very few. On the contrary, Yi Xiaotian has given back more resources to the school. So now students have nothing but admiration and respect for Yi Xiaotian, and no one dares to find fault with him casually. Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuya walked in the school, and students greeted them from time to time. They did not entangle too much, just greeted and then left. Although this was a bit busy, it did not cause Yi Xiaotian's disgust, but made him feel quite comfortable. On the contrary, those female students, seeing Han Xuyao beside Yi Xiaotian, envied and were a little jealous. It would be great if they were the ones who followed Yi Xiaotian. They can only blame them for not being born in Jiangcheng and not becoming childhood sweethearts with Yi Xiaotian. Otherwise, with their beauty, Han Xuyao would have nothing to do with them. It is said that it was Han Xuyao who took the initiative to pursue Hao Tian, the kind who was shameless. The most annoying thing is that Han Xuyao, this woman, actually deceived Hao Tian into getting married. This is too much. I heard that Hao Tian was an orphan, and it was so shameless to let him get married at such a young age. It must be Han Xuyao and the Han family who took advantage of Hao Tian's young age and ignorance. This is deception. This marriage is invalid. Villa no. Han Xuyao was swiping her phone, and then said to Yi Xiao Tian with a face full of resentment, Brother Tian, do you know what organization has been established in our school now? Yi Xiao Tian looked at a loss, he had never been interested in this, he was looking at the information sent to him by He Xiu. There were only thousands of pieces of information, and it looked very slow. And among these materials, which ones are true and which ones are watery, they still need to be verified. However, Yi Xiaotian thought of a very good person, Xiao Cheng. The Xiao family is from Kyoto, so they should be able to investigate and collect evidence. He made a preliminary screening and listed the names that met his requirements, and then prepared to send it to Xiao Cheng, asking him to check what these people are like. Then he heard Han Xuyao's complaints. I never watch that, how do I know? Also, what's wrong with you, who are you angry with, or who bullied you? Yi Xiaotian looked at Han Xuyao's pouting face and said with some amusement. It was you who bullied me. Han Xuyao said sadly. Yi Xiaotian raised his hand and said, Don't wrongly accuse me, I didn't bully you. Han Xuyao handed the phone to Yi Xiaotian and said, Look, did you bully me? Yi Xiaotian saw that this was a post on the school forum with the title Save Haokin God. He was a little interested. I am so powerful, but I still need others to save me. Then after reading the rest of the content, Yi Xiaotian looked strange and said, I didn't expect you to be such a person. Han Xuyao punched him hard and said, You were the one who proposed the marriage, but now these women put all the responsibilities on me, as if you were a fool and you believed everything I said. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, let these people say whatever they want. 
We live our own lives. Why do we care about other people's opinions? I am the great god Houtian, an SS level awakener. Who can deceive me? Such a post is fake and sensational. It will disappear in two days. Han Xuyao became even more angry when she talked about this. Originally, she also thought this was the truth. After all, Yi Xiaotian is a strong man. He can beat her family alone. Why should he listen to the Han family? And behind him stands the Lord Sword God. Who dares to deceive him? Don't want to live. As long as you think about it, you will know that everything written in this post is fake. But after reading the replies, she realized that a woman who is in love really has zero IQ. She operated it on her phone and then handed it to Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian took a look and was shocked. Damn, hundreds of girls actually joined this group to save the great god Haokian. Someone even started discussing how to save him, to rescue him from Han Xuyao's pit of suffering. Yi Xiaotian also broke out in a cold sweat after reading it. This woman's brain circuit is really incomprehensible. At Magic City University, hundreds of girls formed an organization to save him without Yi Xiaotian knowing. I am a great SS level awakener. I killed the alien army and forced them back to the alien world. I still need you to save me. What a joke. Yi Xiaotian really didn't know whether to laugh or cry. But what can he say? For this kind of thing, the best solution is to say nothing. Otherwise, once he shows up, he will fall into endless trouble. Those women are eager for him to show up on his own initiative. Okay, don't be angry. Just treat this as a joke. Don't go to the library in the next few days. I'll ask someone to bring the books back to the villa to read. Yi Xiaotian thought about it and said. Han Xuyao sighed helplessly. What can she do? Should she fight with them? Although there are hundreds of them, she is not afraid at all. But can she fight? After the fight, what should she do? Not showing up and not responding is actually the best way to deal with it. When this matter is no longer popular, everyone will naturally forget about it. Chapter, 412 Han Xuyao didn't hesitate for too long. She just felt a little blocked when she saw those people scolding her. With Yi Xiaotian's comfort, she let it go. No matter what others think, as long as Yi Xiaotian cares about her and loves her, that's enough. As for those women, they were just jealous of her. An outstanding super genius like Yi Xiaotian is a hot commodity in the first place. It is strange that no woman likes him. This also proves that she is the most discerning one. Before Yi Xiaotian became successful, he fell in love with him. Seeing that Han Xuyao was finally relieved, Yi Xiaotian breathed a sigh of relief. It seemed that he couldn't stay in this school anymore. Hurry up and pick your teammates, and then go out. Otherwise God knows what will happen. Now he is forced not to go out. If those girls break through the defense of the villa area in the future, he no longer dares to think about it. As for attacking those girls, he never thought about it at all. After all, these are his classmates, not enemies. He immediately contacted Xiao Cheng and sent him the list information, asking him to conduct an in-depth investigation. This is related to future teammates. Xiao Cheng can naturally figure out what to do. He immediately reported the matter to his father Xiao Wuyan. After Xiao Wuyan listened, he sighed with emotion, this young man will have an unlimited future. Xiao Qingdao, Brother Tian certainly has a bright future, and the supreme power is just his beginning. Xiao Wuyan shook his head, indicating that that was not exactly what he meant. No matter how strong Yi Xiao Tian is, he is still just one person. But now, he has used a team to tie together the four most powerful awakened schools in Xia Kingdom. From then on, everyone who came out of the four famous awakening schools would consciously regard him as one of their own. With his words, the awakened people from the four prestigious schools will all regard it as an imperial edict and carry it out. At this point, I'm afraid even Lord Sword God can't compare to him. The Sword God was born in the era of Great Melee. His status was aloof and he had little connection with the university department. His base lies in his followers, and he has also formed the Supreme Defense Council and the Awakened Association. 
he also has no intention of taking over the university department. Now that Yi Xiaotian was born, this university department seemed to be tailor-made for him. I don't know if Yi Xiaotian thought of it himself or if someone else helped him. Okay, I will have people investigate this matter carefully. Xiao Wuyen was speechless after knowing Yi Xiaotian's request. As expected of the great god Haotian, he is just willful. Xiao Wuyen really admired this great god-level figure who was the same age as his son, but whose strength far exceeded his own. In addition to admiration, I still admire you. Fortunately, with his son by his side, his future achievements are limitless. Thinking about the scenery of the followers around Lord Sword God, Xiao Wuyen could predict that Xiao Cheng in the future would definitely not be lower than them. And the Xiao family will be completely tied to Yi Xiaotian's boat because of Xiao Cheng. After pondering for a while, Xiao Wuyen took the list and read it carefully. He felt that as Xiao Cheng's father, it was necessary for him to give Yi Xiaotian some reasonable suggestions. Of course, it was a reasonable suggestion at the request of Yi Xiaotian. The Xiao family was still very efficient. Xiao Qing called Yi Xiaotian back the next day. Brother Tian, I have checked all the information. I will send it to you. I will add a few suggestions later. They were all added by my father. Take a look at them. If you think it is useless, just ignore them. Xiao Qing so said. Xiao Wuyan next to him rolled his eyes when he heard his son's words. That's not what he told his son just now. These suggestions from him are all good words, and they are all for the good of the Haotian team. Why is it that when it comes to my son, I just ignore him? He spent a lot of effort investigating this information. How could it be so easy to investigate the detailed information of dozens of students in such a short period of time? This means that the Xiao family has a huge business and a huge network of relationships. Otherwise, it would really be impossible for someone else to complete this task. Yi Xiaotian was surprised and said, I didn't expect you to investigate so quickly. Since it is uncle's kindness, I naturally want to take a closer look. He didn't think Xiao Cheng's father would give him any bad advice. After all, his son is a teammate of the team. If the teammates are not harmonious, wouldn't it be dangerous? So even if it was for the sake of his son's future safety, he would not be hasty in picking a teammate. After receiving the message, Yi Xiaotian started to read it. The information compiled by the Xiao family is very detailed. They checked all the eight generations of the students' ancestors on the list Yi Xiaotian sent them. There is also the personal conduct of these students. From birth, to going to school, to awakening talents, and going to college, all important things are recorded. There is also a summary at the end, either the student has poor conduct and is not recommended to be a team member, or the student has good conduct and a good background, it is recommended that the student be considered. As for talent levels and awakening levels, there really is no need to think about it. There is absolutely no mediocre person who can enter Kyoto Awakening University. At least they all start with S-level talents. So this is the least important. Just as he sure thought, in Yi Xiaotian's team, as long as you can be a mascot, you are qualified. After Yi Xiaotian flipped through the information, he handed it to Han Xuyao and said, Xuyao, which of these people do you think should be chosen? Han Xuyao took the information and took a look at it. It was very detailed. She also looked at the thick stack of documents that Yi Xiaotian placed on the coffee table and said, Are those unqualified? Yi Xiaotian said, Well, those were excluded by the Xiao family. Either their backgrounds were not suitable or their personalities were not suitable. Anyway, they were not suitable. Have you read it? Han Xuyao asked. What's the use of the Xiao family thinking that it is not suitable? Yi Xiaotian must think that it is not suitable. She doesn't want to see Yi Xiaotian being led by others. Yi Xiaotian understood what she meant and said, I have read it. The Xiao family is still very honest. Hearing this, Han Xuyao was relieved. As long as Yi Xiaotian confirmed it, it would be fine. And she also believed that with Xiao Cheng's relationship, the Xiao family would not be stupid enough to do something like this. At that time, not only would they offend Yi Xiaotian, the future supreme, but they would also pit Xiao Cheng. Which one do you think is suitable? After reading it, 
Han Xu Yao did not express his opinion immediately, but asked Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian said, I don't care, as long as you think it is suitable. Han Xu Yao said, How about calling everyone over and let everyone discuss it? Teammates involve everyone. With Yi Xiaotian's status, of course he can make a decision arbitrarily, but Yi Xiaotian is not that kind of character. Okay, call everyone over and see everyone's opinions. Yi Xiaotian agreed to Han Xuyao's proposal. Chapter 413 In the world of reincarnation, Yi Xiaotian opened a private room in a coffee shop next to the main square. After all, Xiao Cheng is in the capital, Ping Xiangyu is in Jiangnan, and Huang Jia is in Wanshan City in the southwest. If he wants to bring everyone together, he can only reincarnate in the world. 18 million for this cup of coffee, what a money grab. Wang Hao took a sip, and then complained, I don't see any difference in the taste. Chang Xiaoxi said angrily, it's not coffee that people come here to drink. Wang Hao glared and said, if you don't drink coffee when you come to the coffee shop, what should you drink? Mistral wind? Chang Xiaoxi said, what I want is class, do you understand? Wang Hao suddenly had nothing to say. Yes, rich people don't want taste at all. This is true for eating and drinking coffee. What is important is class and a status symbol. And being able to drink coffee in the cafe next to the main square represents class. I heard that driving a luxury car in the past represented strength. I don't know how these people judge it. Don't you know that luxury cars are also available for rent? Wang Hao muttered. Chang Xiaoxi said, don't you know that renting a luxury car is also very expensive? Wang Hao was speechless. Okay, I've called everyone here just to select teammates. Teammates have a relationship with everyone, so everyone should be serious. Yi Xiaotian knocked on the table, signaling everyone to pay attention and stop joking. Han Xuyao also said, yes, let's wait until the business is done before we play. After speaking, she sent all the information to everyone and added, there are several people's information here. You should take a good look at it to see which one is more suitable to be our teammate. Wang Hao picked up the information and took a look at it, then threw it on the table and shouted, Brother Tian can just make the decision on this kind of thing. Why do you ask us? The others had the same expression. Yi Xiao Tian immediately rolled his eyes and said, I am not a tyrant. This team is related to each of our lives and fortunes. Comrades are the trustees of life and death. I hope that my teammates can be friendly and harmonious. I'm afraid that the person I selected will be at odds with everyone, and the whole team will be in a state of panic. Wang Hao asked, what if the one we elected is like this? Then it's none of my business. After all, this is what everyone elected. Yi Xiaotian shrugged and replied. Wang Hao was stunned. After all, you are trying to shift the blame. You are no longer the Yi Xiaotian I know. So, choose carefully. If you make the wrong choice, you will be responsible. Yi Xiaotian emphasized again. Huang Jia was the first to say, I choose this girl named Lu Yun. Tell me the reason. Yi Xiaotian said. Huang Jia said, I have a good reason. I think her talent, identity, background, and appearance all meet the standards of our team. Everyone was stunned when they heard this. The first two were quite reliable, but what the hell was the last one? Of course, there is also the last and most important reason. This girl looks quite easy to bully. There will definitely be no conflicts if she is chosen. Huang Jia added. So everyone was dumbfounded. This is also a reason for choosing people. Are you choosing teammates or human beings? Especially the girls, they all wanted to beat up Huang Jia. Finally, Huang Jia was defeated by the sharp eyes of several girls and said, I surrender. I was just joking. It's just a joke. Don't take it so seriously. The atmosphere in our team is already very low. If you keep doing this, no one will dare to joke about it in the future. Huang Jia also complained. Then Huang Jia received ignored looks from everyone again. Huang Jia immediately lowered his head. His sophistry failed and he had no choice but to admit defeat. After suppressing Huang Jia, 
Xiao Qing also said, actually, the reason Huang Jie just said is quite reasonable. After speaking, he looked at Peng Xianyu again. Peng Xianyu also said, I agree. Huang Jie's eyes suddenly lit up. Sure enough, he still had like-minded brothers. There were nine people in their team, five men and four women. It was obvious that there was an imbalance of yin and yang. So it would be best to add a female teammate to the team. Men and women are matched, so the work is not tiring. Regardless of whether there is a chance in the future, we have to bring people in first. Wang Hao didn't understand the meaning of the single brothers, but he didn't have many opinions to begin with. Seeing that they all had the same opinion, he just went with the flow. Chang Xiaoxi rolled her eyes a few times, and then expressed no objection. Sun Yao also said it didn't matter. Mu Bingyan didn't even speak at all, this was her attitude. Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao looked at each other. They didn't expect it to be so simple. They felt a bit hasty. This is a decision about comrades in arms this is a very important matter. Can you be more serious and don't look so casual? Since you all have no objections, let's choose the one named Lu Yun. I will inform Director He to call Kyoto University. Yi Xiaotian made the final decision. Originally, I was thinking of taking this opportunity to take you to clear the team copy, but since there are new teammates to join, let's wait. Brother Tian, have you thought about the next step? Huang Jia asked. Before the war ended, Yi Xiaotian's purpose was very clear, which was to accumulate strength, go to the alien battlefield and end the war. Now, this matter has finally come to an end. So their next plan should also be put on the agenda. Do they really have to stay in school forever? There is nothing else, but the improvement of strength in school is too slow. For people like them who are promoted to A-level awakeners in one year and are used to riding rockets, it would be too uncomfortable for them to ride bicycles. So I thought about letting Yi Xiaotian give up the idea of staying in school. Even if it is one month outside and one month in school, it is acceptable. Yi Xiaotian said, didn't I say it before? There is nothing to do for the time being, so I will study in school for a while. It is necessary to consolidate the foundation. Han Xuyao said, Fatty, do you have any other ideas? Huang Jia smiled and said, Nothing, it's just that I didn't stay in school much before, and suddenly I have to stay in school for a long time, which is a bit uncomfortable. Han Xuyao said unhappily, Before you went to college, didn't you stay in school to study? Huang Jia said, how can this be the same? Your heart is wild, and you can't get it back, right? Han Xuyao said Huang Jie's little thoughts. It's not just Huang Jie, in fact, other people have similar ideas. Yi Xiaotian thought about it and said, let's combine work and rest. Stay in school for a month and go hunting outside for a month. After a long time, I'm afraid you will become rusty in actual combat. Brother Tian, that's actually what I mean. If you don't do it for too long, your hands will get rusty. Huang Jia said excitedly, slapping the table. Chapter, 414 When Kyoto University received the news, it was very surprised. When the Xiao family knew the result, they were also surprised. The female student named Lu Yun, in comparison, was really useless. No, she still had some advantages, she was pretty. She was born in an ordinary family and was dull, so it was no wonder that Huang Jie said she was easy to bully. A pair of large black framed glasses covered half of her face. However, the photo in the Xiao family's information was taken without the glasses. You can see Lu Yun's true face completely. Speaking of which, Lu Yun and Sun Yao had similar backgrounds, both of them were from poor families and had no supporting forces behind them. So Kyoto University and Xiao Cheng's father Xiao Wuyan both felt that Yi Xiaotian would choose an awakener from a noble family as a new comrade in arms. And Lu Yun's talent was also ordinary, SS level sword talent. Speaking of which, if her talent grade was not SS level, I'm afraid it would be unknown whether she could join Kyoto University. The talent of sword is too common. But such a person who is just a bunch of people was chosen. At the Xiao family in Beijing, Xiao Wuyan took the information, sighed, and said, as expected of the great god Haotian, his style of doing things is so unexpected. 
Kyoto University. Principal Fu Chinzhen took the information of Lu Yun sent by Li Chunsheng. After reading it, he didn't have any other expression, but said, then let's do it. Xiao Qing from Qingshui and Peng Xianyu from Jiangnan are both SS level talents. It seems that our great god Hao Tian really doesn't care about the talent grade. Are there any SS level talented students in Kyoto University? Yes, and there is more than one. There are some in the information sent to Yi Xiao Tian. But Yi Xiao Tian just doesn't choose. He doesn't want any of those dazzling geniuses. He just chose the most inconspicuous one. Where can you go to reason? Now they have to consider how to win the relationship with this student named Lu Yun. In fact, before the list came out, they didn't even know there was such a student in the school. As the director of admissions, Li Chunsheng would not have needed to go out in person if he was not a special talent or an SS level talent awakener. He was able to go to Jiangcheng to recruit Yi Xiaotian in person because Yi Xiaotian's performance was indeed too eye catching. His talent was too special. Such a talent awakener was what they needed. As for the principal Fu Chinzhen, he didn't need to ask about admissions in person. So the two of them hadn't even met Lu Yun. Chunsheng, go and call this Lu Yun over, I'll talk to her in person. Fu Chinzhen thought for a long time before speaking. Li Chunxing said, Okay, Principal, I'll go right away. At this time, some things began to spread in Kyoto University. The fact that the Haotian team was going to select a player at Kyoto University was still spread out. For things like selecting players, naturally the higher the talent, the stronger the strength, and the more powerful the background, the greater the chance. Among the freshman awakeners at Kyoto University, there are very few who can meet all these conditions at the same time. The one with the greatest chance is Long Outian, the young master of the Long family, who comes from one of the four major families in Beijing and is an SS level awakener of the supernatural system. Long Outian, such an arrogant name, such an arrogant person. Our team does not allow such arrogant people to appear. When Yi Xiaotian first saw this guy's information, he excluded him in one word. This guy is too arrogant, worthy of his name Long Outian. If he joins the team, it is estimated that the Haotian team will have no peace. It is better to have someone like Lu Yun who looks easy to bully. But in the rumors of Kyoto University, Long Aotian is the one with the greatest chance to join the Haotian team. Even Long Aotian himself thinks so. Looking at the current Haotian team, except for the great god Haotian himself, no one can catch his eye. Among the other team members, the highest talent grade is only Xiao Cheng and Peng Xianyu's SS level. As for Chang Xiaoxi's promotion to SS level talent awakener, it was not registered at all, so no one knew about it except the Haotian team and Sister Hong. Long Aotian naturally didn't know either. Not only did he think he had the best chance, but after joining the Haotian team, he would be the most important player in the team, no one else. As for Yi Xiaotian, he was the captain and didn't count. With his talent, if he could quickly be promoted to A-level, or even S-level awakener, then his future would also be guaranteed to be a supreme strongman. These days, wherever Long Aotian went, he would hear flattering voices. Even Long Aotian himself regarded himself as a member of the Haotian team. Of course, where there are flattering voices, there are voices that are not tolerated. No matter where you are, if you are too arrogant, there will be people who can't stand it. It's just that because Long Aotian's background is too strong, few people dare to say anything openly. Of course, it's not completely absent. Long Aotian, you are just a freshman, otherwise you would have nothing to do with the selection of players for the Haotian team this time. Said a junior. This junior has an extraordinary background and is not afraid of Long Aotian at all. Moreover, his talent grade is SS level, and his awakening level can even crush the current Long Aotian. So no matter what, he has no reason to be afraid of Long Aotian. And what he said was very reasonable. If Yi Xiaotian hadn't stipulated that only freshmen could be selected, Long Aotian would be nothing. When Long Aotian heard this, he was so angry that his face turned blue. However, he didn't act impulsively, but secretly decided in his heart that when he entered the Haotian team and his awakening level exceeded that of the junior senior, he would definitely make the other party look bad. I, Long Aotian, am such a person who will never let go of a grudge. 
If I say I will kill your whole family, I will definitely not miss a single person. Now, it depends on the feedback from the magic city. He was a little anxious. It is said that all members of the Haokian team are now A-level awakeners, which is really fast. In the classroom, Long Aotian had a blank expression on his face. Brother Tian, don't be angry, that Wang Jing is just jealous of you. Long Aotian's follower Xiao Qi said. Yes, Brother Tian, that environment is compared to you, it's this, and when you join the Haokian team, he will be double this. Long Aotian's follower Xiao Ba pointed his two little fingers down. Hearing this, Long Aotian felt relieved. Then another round of flattery entered his ears, and Long Aotian felt a little flattered. Although he had no shortage of flattery every day, he felt particularly comfortable today. Damn Wang Jing, you wait for me. Countless envious eyes were cast at Long Aotian. Although Long Aotian was born with countless envious eyes, at this moment, these envious meanings were even stronger. As everyone knows, joining the Haokian team is a step to heaven. Long Aotian's body began to glow. As for Lu Yun, who was sitting in the corner of the classroom, she was ignored by everyone, and she herself was very low-key. Chapter, 415 Lu Yun sat silently in the corner of the classroom. She wanted to block herself so that no one could see her. With an ordinary background and average talent, she has no sense of presence in this class. No, there is still a certain sense of existence. Lu Yun, go buy us food. Mr. Long is in a good mood today. I want to treat the whole class to snacks. At this moment, someone remembered her. Xiao Qi shouted, her voice making the whole classroom buzz. All the students heard it and suddenly became happy again. Thank you, Mr. Long. Young Master Long is so awesome. Young Master Long is mighty. Young Master Long is domineering. A series of rainbow farts made Long Aotian drift a lot. However, he maintained his persona of a cold and aloof young master, with a tense face that made it difficult for people to see his inner world. When Lu Yun heard Xiao Qi's cry, her whole body trembled and she stood up. Lu Yun, why are you lingering? You shouldn't hurry up. Xiao Qi became furious when she saw Lu Yun's appearance. This is the critical moment for Mr. Long to show off but it is simply unreasonable for Lu Yun to still let his guard down. Everyone in the classroom saw this scene, but no one came out to defend Lu Yun. In their eyes, this Lu Yun was originally a dispensable person. As for classmates, forget it. They don't have such useless classmates. Lu Yun awakened SS level sword talent, but she was not only a girl, but also very thin. As we all know, the stronger the physical quality of those awakened in melee combat, the better. Especially in the initial stages. As for Lu Yun, except for an SS level talent, it can be said that she has no bright spots at all. Of course, if Lu Yun chooses a first class university, she may use it as a seed to cultivate. But who told her to choose Kyoto University? In her current condition, it would be very difficult for her to move without help. And because of her personality, she has no friends or comrades in this class. Even after entering the reincarnation copy, she didn't even have the courage to kill monsters. So up to now, in addition to passing the novice dungeon with a mediocre evaluation, she couldn't even pass the simplest F-level dungeon. As for reality, there is no blood. I'm afraid there has never been such a student in the history of Kyoto University. This is why Fu Qinzhen and Li Chunxing were confused when they saw Yi Xiaotian choosing her as a comrade. It was indeed because after they looked through Lu Yun's information, they were really speechless about this student. To say it's weird is not enough to describe it. Especially Li Chunxing, he began to doubt his life. How could such a student be recruited to Kyoto University? If this kind of student continues to develop, he may become the first person in the history of Kyoto University to be dismissed because he failed the assessment. But everything is different now, she is attracted by Yi Xiaotian. So no matter what she was like before, at least her future achievements will be limitless. After Lu Yun heard Xiao Qi's roar, she trembled and walked outside the classroom, not daring to ask them for money. She helps them buy things. When has she ever asked them to pay? Seeing Lu Yun walking outside with her head lowered, 
one of the girls stretched out her sinful foot. Boom! Lu Yun fell to the ground very hard, and then caused the whole room to burst into laughter. Lu Yun didn't dare to say anything, so she quickly got up from the ground and continued walking outside. But when she arrived at the door of the classroom, she met the head teacher and Li Chunsheng. Classmate Lu Yun, where are you going? The head teacher tried hard to have the best attitude in his life. This is his student, but he was too neglected in the past. If it weren't for the fact that her actual grades were always at the bottom of the grade, he wouldn't have remembered that there was such a student in his class. When Li Chunqing took the information and said that she was selected as a team member by God Haokian, the head teacher thought that she was hallucinating. After confirming again and again, he began to regret it. Then I went through it in my head, and finally confirmed that I didn't seem to have offended Lu Yun, and then I breathed a sigh of relief. Lu Yun heard the class teacher's voice and said, Teacher Song, I'm going out to buy something. Head teacher Song Yi said in a gentle tone, Lu Yun, please go back and sit down first. Director Li has something to announce. Lu Yun was immediately embarrassed. Whatever Director Li was going to announce must have nothing to do with her. But if she didn't buy the things back quickly, Long Outian and his followers would definitely not be able to spare her. Teacher Song, can you let me go shopping first? Lu Yun summoned up great courage to say this. If Long Outian hadn't forced her, she would never have disobeyed her class teacher. Her voice was low, weak, and vibrating. It could be seen that her body was still swaying slightly. Li Chunsheng, who was standing next to Song Yi, saw all this and sighed. Sure enough, this student was exactly as described in the information. It's really easy to bully. It is simply a doormat that anyone can step on. But after today, it will be different. With great god Haotian backing her up, who dares to bully her again? Perhaps the reason why great god Haotian took a fancy to her was because of her personality. Only this kind of character will not have any external impact on the existing Haotian team. Li Chunqing knew it, and Fu Chen also knew it. But it doesn't matter. All they want is a name. A name to communicate between Kyoto University and Yi Xiaotian. And after joining the Haotian team, they can indeed get the best improvement. Thinking quickly, Li Chunsheng took a step forward and said, Student Lu Yun, I am Li Chunsheng, the director of the school admissions office, come to the podium with me. Li Chunsheng's voice was not loud, but everyone in the classroom heard it. After listening to Li Chunsheng's words, Lu Yun inexplicably felt a kind of power. Something called courage. So she followed Li Chunsheng and stood on the podium. This place, even after class, she has never stood on it. Song Yi followed behind and went to the podium. The appearance of Li Chunsheng caused a great impact on the students. Everyone knew that Director Li came here in person to announce the results of the casting of the Haotian team. Brother Tian, we are finally here. When you join the Haotian team in the future, you must not forget us. Xiao Qi hurriedly tried to build a relationship. Yes, it is said that after being selected, we will go to the Magic City to join the Haotian team. Then we will not be able to go to school and play dungeons together. Brother Tian, you will not forget us by then, right? Xiao Ba also said. Long Aotian looked at the two followers with resentment on their faces, and felt a chill in his heart. These two bastards were too disgusting. Chapter, 416 Xiao Qi and Xiao Ba, two people who have no vision, in order to flatter Long Aotian, directly said to Li Chunsheng on the stage, Director Li, why don't you let Lu Yun go shopping? Yes, Director Li, how can we not celebrate when announcing good news? Xiao Ba also said. It would be great if we could have some drinks to celebrate when announcing the news. Li Chunxing heard what Xiao Qi and Xiao Ba said and shouted directly, Get out of here. He was suspicious when he saw Lu Yun asking to go shopping just now. These damn bastards really treat Lu Yun as their maid. Forget it before, now that he is standing here in person, he dares to make such a request. Doesn't this mean that he, Li Chunxing, is not taken seriously? Xiao Qi and Xiao Ba were a little confused. They didn't understand why Li Chunxing was so angry. It's just asking Lu Yun to go shopping. What's there to be angry about? I told you two to get out, didn't you hear me? 
Li Chunxing shouted again when he saw that they didn't react at all. Xiaoqi and Xiaoba looked at Long Aotian and saw that Long Aotian had no intention of protecting them, so they could only roll out in shame. Li Chunxing's attitude scared Lu Yun. She stood beside Li Chunxing, her body trembling so much that she almost sat on the ground. Li Chunxing came back to his senses and comforted her, student Lu Yun, don't be afraid. From now on, no one will dare to bully you. Everyone in the classroom was a little confused. Did Li Chunxing take the wrong medicine? You are the director of the admissions office, and you are too idle to take care of such a trivial matter. Isn't the enrollment work for the new school year about to start? You don't go to the major base cities to find super talents, but come here to stand up for a bully. Are you crazy? After Li Chunxing comforted Lu Yun, he announced directly, I came here to announce something. Teacher Song, you come, I will take Lu Yun away directly. Song Yi knew that Li Chunxing must be angry. Originally, he should have announced such a thing. But now, he chose to take Lu Yun away directly. After that, Li Chunxing ignored others and took Lu Yun away directly. Lu Yun was confused. The students in front were also confused. However, some very smart students have realized something. But they are not sure. If this is true, it is too ridiculous. Why did Lu Yun do this? Is it because she is easy to bully? The student who is least likely to become a member of the Haokian team in the whole school really became one. When this news came out, glasses fell to the ground in shock. Lu Yun's classmates were almost suffocated by Song Yi's news. Xiaoqi and Xiaoba finally knew why Li Chunxing was furious. Long Aotian's face turned black as the bottom of a pot. He didn't come to school for several days and stayed at home. In order to protect Lu Yun, Li Chunxing personally took action after the announcement. After the principal talked with Lu Yun, he sent him to Magic City University. The members of the Haotian team gathered again and were all looking forward to Lu Yun's arrival at school. Although the information on the data is very detailed, everyone knows Lu Yun's situation very well. However, no matter how detailed the data is, it is not as real as seeing the real person. They all want to know whether Lu Yun is really like what the data says. Huang Jie is also looking forward to the arrival of this teammate who is bullied. In fact, in this team, his social status is the lowest, and anyone can say a few words to him. It's good that Lu Yun is here, and he can finally taste the taste of bullying teammates. Fatty, I warn you, Lu Yun is here, you'd better be honest, if I know you bully people, I won't forgive you. Han Xuyao took the lead in warning Huang Jie. Then Chang Xiaoxi and Sun Yao also expressed their opinions. Even Mu Bingyan, who was always cold, said that if anyone dared to bully Lu Yun, he would not be spared. As a woman, they knew Lu Yun's experience too well, and they could totally empathize with her. Put yourself in her shoes, what would they do if they were in the same situation as Lu Yun? Yi Xiaotian also said, Lu Yun's situation is quite special, and her joining will definitely not bring conflicts to our team. However, her personality is too introverted and her self-confidence is seriously insufficient, so after she came, the first thing was to help her regain her self-confidence. Brother Tian, this depends on you. Peng Xiangyu smiled. This Lu Yun's information says that she uses a knife, but you are a master of using a knife. Huang Jia also said, yes, Brother Tian, if you have strength, you will have confidence, you just need to set an example for Lu Yun. Yi Xiaotian glared and said, Is it just my business? You all have your attitudes in place. If I know that you have any contemptuous behavior, I will not forgive you. Don't worry, Captain, I promise to complete the task. Several men quickly made a promise. Yi Xiaotian and his friends did not meet Lu Yun in the school, but met outside the school. Li Chunxing looked at Yi Xiaotian and his friends and asked in confusion, Are you going out? Yi Xiaotian explained, directorly, the best way to cultivate tacit understanding between comrades is to fight, so we are going to go hunting in the wild for a month. Li Chunxing was a little confused. Is this what young people are like? They are really energetic. It was not long since they came back from the alien battlefield, and they were going out hunting again. However, he really had nothing to say to Yi Xiaotian and his group, 
so after introducing Lu Yun to them and admonishing Lu Yun, he went to Modi University to find out what was going on. Although Lu Yun was brought here, there were still many things that needed to be communicated between the two parties. These things could only be solved by the school. There were also Qingshui University and Jiangnan University. It was unprecedented for the four major universities to unite and train a team. In the armored vehicle, Wang Hao still played the role of driver. Lu Yun was pulled by Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi to sit in the middle and introduce her comrades. Lu Yun, you just came, we should let you adapt to this place, but we are awakened, and the best way to adapt is to fight. Han Xuyao said so. Lu Yun felt everyone's kindness and said in a low voice, My strength is too weak. It has been almost a year since she awakened her talent, and she is not even an F-level awakener, which is a precedent. It is no exaggeration to say that she is the shame of Beijing University. Fortunately, she has a good foundation and SS-level talent. As long as her awakening level is raised and her confidence is restored, she can definitely grow into a powerful combat force. Don't worry, the tradition of our team is to use the old to guide the new. Han Xuyao said with a smile, and then pulled Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu out for on-site teaching. Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were both depressed and embarrassed in front of the beauty. Chapter, 417 Sure enough, Lu Yun felt much better after hearing about Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu. A rookie awakener, and a whole team of A-level awakeners, who are the same age. Anyone who encounters such a thing will feel inferior to the point of being unable to control themselves. However, knowing that there are two unlucky people in this team like him, he was relieved. Okay, fat guy, stop laughing. You just knew brother Tian earlier than us and joined the team earlier, otherwise you would be even more miserable than Lu Yun. Peng Xiangyu said unhappily. Huang Jie couldn't laugh anymore. Although he certainly wouldn't be that miserable, there was one thing Peng Xiangyu said that was very right. If he hadn't met Yi Xiao Tian and the others, if he hadn't joined the Haokian team, Huang Jie would be nothing. However, with S-level auxiliary talent, even if he had a family as a backer, in one year, his awakening level would be at most E or D. If he wants to be promoted to the level of an A-level awakener, don't even think about it without more than 10 or 20 years. Although Lu Yun is still just a rookie awakener who is not in the level. However, as long as she joins the Haokian team, her awakening level will rise like a rocket. This is why Yi Xiaotian will take Lu Yun out of the city to hunt immediately. Because improving Lu Yun's strength is the best and most intuitive way to restore her confidence. No matter how much you say, it is not as real as direct practice. Then, Han Xuyao and the others told Lu Yun some interesting stories about the Haokian team. Can I ask you a question? Finally, Lu Yun took the initiative to speak. Han Xuyao smiled and said, Of course. As the captain's wife, she is definitely the best candidate to play the main attack. With her encouragement, Lu Yun finally asked, Why did you choose me? Since Li Chunqing told her the result, she has been thinking about this question. She also asked Li Chunqing and even the principal Fu Chenzhen. But neither of them could explain it clearly, so she asked Yi Xiaotian directly after she arrived in the magic city. Why can't it be you? Han Xuyao did not directly answer Lu Yun's question but asked back. Lu Yun thought for a while, then said, I am weak, and my family background is not good. At this point, Lu Yun could not continue, and her voice was as low as a mosquito. Chang Xiaoxi hugged her and said, Lu Yun, do you know what level of talent I had before? Lu Yun shook her head to indicate that she didn't know. Chang Xiaoxi said, A level defense talent, talent skill golden bell cover. And, yes, it's the driver Wang Hao, he used to have a C-level shield talent, talent skill furious battle, improve the power of blood, and he is an orphan. And Tian Gu is also an orphan, and Sun Yao, her parents are both dead, she grew up with her grandmother since she was a child, and lives in the slums. In order to boost Lu Yun's confidence, Chang Xiaoxi also went all out and dug up all the details of his teammates. Sure enough, the more Lu Yun listened, the bigger her eyes widened. In this way, it seems that her conditions are not the worst in this team. And this fat guy, although he has an S-level auxiliary talent, he is agile. 
If he hadn't met Brother Tian, he would be a scum. Chang Xiaoxi said venomously. Huang Jia said helplessly, Sister Shi, you want Lu Yun to integrate faster, I agree, but you don't have to belittle me. Am I wrong? Chang Xiaoxi said threateningly. Huang Jia could only admit his weakness and said, Yes, you are beautiful, and everything you say is right. Chang Xiaoxi smiled proudly, and accepted Huang Jia's flattery. Lu Yun, don't be afraid. When you follow Brother Tian to raise your awakening level to a level, except Brother Tian, these stinky men, one by one, are not your opponents. Chang Xiaoxi said proudly. I'm not a stinky man. Wang Hao in front protested in a low voice. But Chang Xiaoxi still heard it, and said sternly, If I say you are, you are. Okay, okay, I am, I am. Wang Hao saw Chang Xiaoxi's rage and could only beg for mercy helplessly. Seeing Lu Yun finally smile, everyone in the car breathed a sigh of relief. Very good, there was great progress on the first day, and finally the new teammate was integrated into the team. As for other things such as tacit understanding, there is plenty of time later. Brother Tian, where are we going? After leaving the city, Wang Hao asked Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian pondered and said, There are very few exotic beasts on land now. It's a waste of time to find them. It's better to go directly to the sea. Wang Hao smiled and said, Let's go to the east coast. They are already very familiar with the east coast. In the first semester of college, they spent half of their time hunting sea beast awakeners here. Even the night watchmen in the East China Sea Fortress are very familiar. And speaking of it, their domineering armored vehicle was provided by the night watchman. But this time Yi Xiao Tian came out and did not intend to alarm them. Prepare to enter the village quietly, and don't shoot. However, when they passed the East China Sea Fortress, their identities were still exposed. There was no way. Entering and exiting such a checkpoint is a real name system. However, when Wang Ju, the person in charge of the East Sea Fortress, learned the news, Yi Xiao Tian and his team had already left for a long time. After summoning the sea creatures to retreat, the East Sea Fortress also relaxed. However, because the sea beasts came ashore, everyone found a good place to brush attribute points, that is, the sea. There are countless sea beast awakeners in the sea. The only shortcoming is that you need to buy elixirs for breathing underwater to kill sea beasts, which is an extra expense. But fortunately, it is not expensive. The points earned from killing dungeons in the reincarnation world every day are enough. And the attribute points that can be obtained by killing sea beasts exceed the points exchange. However, the use of reincarnation points is omnipotent, which depends on personal opinion. But most people know that if you want more reincarnation points, you need stronger strength. So now the East China Sea Fortress and the East Coast can be said to be crowded with people. It's really lively here now. Wang Hao exclaimed while driving. On the road, the awakened teams coming to hunt sea beasts are coming and going. When they saw the armored vehicles of the Night Watch, they all made way. Although they didn't know who was in the car. But everyone knows that the Pioneer Army and the Night Watch are the two most powerful legions of Xia country. In this war between the two tribes and the defense of Blue Star, the two legions made outstanding contributions. Especially on Blue Star, the Night Watchmen have always been the main force. As for the fact that Yi Xiao Tian alone defeated the alien race and made them withdraw from the alien battlefield, they naturally knew about it. Such news could not be stopped at all, and it had already been known to everyone in the world through the reincarnation world. This is because they didn't know that it was Yi Xiao Tian sitting in the car, otherwise they would have stopped him and asked him to get off to sign. Chapter, 418 Come, Lu Yun, take this water-repellent pill. We will go to the sea to hunt the awakened sea beasts later. Without this water-repellent pill, we can't stay in the sea for a long time. Yi Xiao Tian took out the water repellent pill and distributed it to his comrades. The others took it very straightforwardly. They all knew that Yi Xiao Tian didn't need these points. But Lu Yun was different. For her, is she qualified to use such a good thing? 
Han Xuyao took the water-repellent pill from Yi Xiaoqian's hand and stuffed it into Lu Yun's hand, saying, Okay, take it. We are comrades. Without the water-repellent pill, how can you go into the water? If you don't go into the water, we can't go into the water either. How can we hunt sea beasts? Then wouldn't our trip be in vain? Huang Jia also said, Yes, Lu Yun, don't let us make a wasted trip. Lu Yun heard this and quickly took the water-repellent pill from Han Xuyao's hand. Huang Jia smiled and said, That's right. Han Xuyao scolded, Fatty, don't scare her. Huang Jia looked helpless. Why was it always me who got hurt? Everyone looked at the aggrieved Fatty and smiled knowingly. The atmosphere suddenly became relaxed again. Lu Yun smiled more and more. She suddenly felt that it was good to be here. None of her previous worries happened. She could feel the kindness of these teammates. That was completely different from the feeling before. What he could feel before was disregard or contempt or even malice. But since she came to the Houtian team, she felt warmth. She decided in her heart that if she had the ability in the future, she must repay these people well. The armored vehicles finally arrived on the beach, and teams of awakening teams were hunting sea beasts here. There are not many sea beasts on the shore now, but they are still coming in an endless stream. The human awakeners want to hunt the sea awakeners to improve their strength. The awakened sea tribe also thinks so. In addition, the number of sea tribes is increasing, and the vast sea is almost unable to accommodate them, so some of the sea tribes must go ashore. This is also the reason why the sea tribe chose to cooperate with the alien race after a hundred years of silence. However, because the sea tribe went ashore this time, the awakened human race suddenly discovered that in addition to the alien race and land beasts, there are also monsters in the reincarnation copy. There is also a paradise for improving strength, that is the sea. The boundless sea, I don't know how many awakened sea tribes are hidden. These are all the objects for them to improve their strength. Of course, it is also possible to become the object of the awakened sea tribe to improve their strength. But the awakened are like this, either you die or I die. Otherwise, how to move to a higher position. Low-level awakened people hunt sea beasts on the beach, while mid-level and high-level awakened people will choose to go deep into the sea. After all, low-level sea beasts are no longer useful to them. Killing more is just a waste of time. Not to mention them, even a super monster like Yi Xiaotian with supreme talent cannot escape this rule. Now Yi Xiaotian is a high-level awakener, and his team members, except for the new Lu Yun, are all A-level awakeners. It is obviously inappropriate for them to stay on the beach to hunt sea beasts. But it doesn't matter if they kill a few when passing by. Soon, they headed straight for the sea. Lu Yun, who went out of the city to hunt for the first time, had a complicated mood. There was both fear and excitement. Before, she didn't have a team, so she could only slowly brush the dungeon in the reincarnation world, but because no one led her, the efficiency was very low. This also led to her not being promoted to F-level awakener until now. Without strength, there is naturally no bottom in the heart. But now that she has joined the Houtian team, it seems that there is no need for her to worry about killing monsters. So she is also a little excited. As long as her strength is improved, she can kill the enemy. For any profession, the beginning is the most difficult step. For example, Lu Yun, even if she carries a knife, can't cut low-level sea beasts, so she can only stand in the middle of the team and be protected by teammates. Soon, the group entered the sea. Except for Xiao Cheng, the others in the Houtian team are familiar with the road. Among them, Peng Xianyu lives in Jiangnan Base City and is very familiar with the sea. He is very good at swimming, but he has never been to the sea. There is also Lu Yun, the new teammate, who also saw the sea with her own eyes for the first time. She has never left Kyoto City since she was a child, and she has never left Kyoto City except for this visit to the Magic City. The last time they came to the sea, they couldn't see even a human awakener. At that time, the human awakeners were already unable to defend the shore, so how could they have extra strength to go to the sea to hunt? But now it's different. The alien army has retreated, and the sea army has also retreated. 
they can completely free up their hands to enter the sea to hunt. It's really lively here. It looks like we have to go deeper. Yeah, the last time we came here, there was no one in the sea except the awakened sea creatures. Brother Tian, where are we going now? As a super base city, the population of Modu is the second largest in Xia country, and the number of awakened people is also the same. There are more than one million mid and high level awakeners, and so many of them are scattered on the east coast, which is still very dense. After all, the sea is still a newly opened hunting ground, and no one dares to rush too far, so the coastal area is a bit crowded. Along the way, they didn't even grab a sea awakener. But they were too lazy to grab. Yi Xiao Tian said, Don't waste time here, just go to the open sea. Brother Tian, should we continue to go east or south? Huang Jia asked while fiddling with a positioning device. Yi Xiao Tian said, Which direction do you think we should go? Huang Jia said, It depends on Brother Tian. Whether we continue to go east or south, there should be no problem. But if we go east, we may encounter awakeners from Ghost Island. Awakeners from Ghost Island? Yi Xiao Tian was stunned for a moment. It's not that easy. Huang Jia said, Now that the war is temporarily over, the awakened people of each country are working hard to improve their strength, and the best way now is to hunt sea beasts. There are actually many teams like ours. This is the case in our Xia country, and it is estimated that the Ghost Island is similar. Yi Xiao Tian said, so what you mean is that we may encounter each other in the sea between the two countries? Huang Jia said, although the possibility is small, it cannot be completely ruled out. Will the awakened people of Ghost Island dare to go so deep into the sea? Peng Xianyu said a little unbelievingly. Yi Xiao Tian decided, then go east and see if the ghosts from Ghost Island will cross the border. Chapter, 419 Yi Xiao Tian knew about the place called Ghost Island, but the only person who had really seen the awakened person on Ghost Island was Inu Saburo, the head of the logistics and munitions department of the base camp of the alien battlefield. But it was obvious that this Ghost Island was annoying, whether in the past life or this life. Anyway, we had to hunt sea beasts, and we could also go and see if those damned Ghost Island people would cause trouble, so going east could be said to kill two birds with one stone. After deciding the direction, the team headed east at a very fast speed. However, Yi Xiao Tian still felt that it was a bit slow, so he casually controlled a huge whale awakened person, which became a means of transportation for a group of people in the sea. So far, Yi Xiao Tian has a total of four spiritual pets. The first one is a giant spider crab, an S level sea awakened person, and is still in the sea outside Jiangcheng. In addition to protecting the safety of Jiangcheng, it is also responsible for inquiring Yi Xiao Tian about the intelligence of the sea people. The second one is Leopard Clan Awakener Leopard 2, also S level, with extremely fast speed, which provides great convenience to Yi Xiao Tian and his team on the alien battlefield. The third one is Tiger Clan Awakener Tiger General, SS level. After being controlled by Yi Xiao Tian, he has never appeared and has been staying in the pet space specially opened up from the reincarnation world. Then there is the killer whale in front of him. This ocean killer, which is very ferocious in the ocean, is very docile after being controlled by Yi Xiao Tian, and obediently serves as a mount. It is just an A-level killer whale awakener. In Yi Xiao Tian's view, there is no better choice. Otherwise, with such strength, it is not qualified to be a spiritual pet. After awakening, the A-level killer whale has a body size of more than 200 meters. In this sea, at least in the near sea, it is already a dominant existence. Many human awakeners who saw this killer whale were about to take action, and then they saw someone on its back, so they stopped. Peng Xianyu cast a water curtain spell, wrapping everyone inside. As a water-based supernatural being, after entering the sea, the power of the supernatural power increased a bit. The water curtain spell cast was like a huge blue light ball, emitting a blue light in the ocean, which attracted all the human awakeners who saw the killer whale unconsciously to its back. Everyone was able to discover in time that there was a human awakener on the back of this killer whale. Those who can control an A-level killer whale awakener as a spiritual pet are definitely S-level awakeners. No matter what the other party's identity is, they are not provocable. 
As they go deeper and deeper into the sea, they can see fewer and fewer human awakeners, but their strength is getting stronger and stronger. Yi Xiaotian waved his hand to deal with several small groups of sea awakeners, and then Lu Yun in the middle said directly, Captain, my attribute value is full. When Yi Xiaotian heard it, he quickly stopped the killer whale and said, Oh, it's full, then hurry to go to the promotion dungeon. However, if you can't continue to improve your attribute points in the promotion dungeon, then this hunting operation has nothing to do with Lu Yun. The purpose of their coming out this time is to train Lu Yun. Lu Yun looked at the surrounding environment and said, Now. This is in the sea, and it is more than 200 kilometers away from the coastline. It is a dangerous area. If Yi Xiao Tian and the others leave after she comes out, then it's over. People enter the reincarnation world to find a very safe place. You are so good, letting people enter the reincarnation world in the deep sea, are you trying to kill her? Yi Xiaotian said, don't worry, we will wait for you here. Just come out directly after the dungeon. Han Shuyao also said, don't worry, Lu Yun, it's okay. We also entered the reincarnation world directly from this sea to pass the promotion dungeon. After Yi Xiaotian finished speaking, he took out the B-level Tianjin war knife that he had eliminated and said, This knife is for you. Lu Yun took a look and immediately shook her head and said, No, it's too expensive, I can't take it. Yi Xiaotian said, I have a better weapon. This is eliminated. It's useless for me to keep it. You can use it first. Anyway, you have to change it later. Han Xuyao took the knife and put it in Lu Yun's hand, patted her shoulder, and said, Go, believe in yourself. With the help of the B-level Tianjin War Knife, SS-level talent, and awakened talent skills, it is no problem to pass the F-level promotion dungeon. A few minutes later, Lu Yun came out of the reincarnation world and was still in the same place. With the killer whale, you will not get lost in this sea. What's more, Huang Jia has a locator in his hand. Lu Yun breathed a sigh of relief. She was really afraid that as soon as she came out, she would fall into the sea, and then it would be pitch black around her. If that happened, she would be dead. Okay, keep going. As they went deeper and deeper, they could meet more and more sea awakeners, and their levels were getting higher and higher. Although it had no effect on Yi Xiaotian and other teammates, it was a great tonic for Lu Yun, an F-level awakener. After just over ten minutes, Lu Yun spoke again, Captain, my attribute points are full again. The previous scene was repeated. But this time, Lu Yun was much calmer. She didn't need to say anything more. As soon as the killer whale stopped, she entered the reincarnation world. After a few minutes, she came out again. No matter what the evaluation of the promotion dungeon is, it's good to pass it. Anyway, it's just a small number of points, which will not affect other things. Her first task now should be to seize the time and improve her strength. When her awakening level is the same as other teammates, she will be qualified. She is just an A-level awakener. One day ago, she really dared not think about it. In fact, she didn't need to be dismissed by the school. She was ready to drop out and go to an ordinary university. At least she awakened SS-level talent, which is average in Kyoto University, but in ordinary universities, or even many first-class universities, they are geniuses cultivated by the school. But now, it seems that everything is unnecessary. In the following time, Lu Yun has been repeating the previous things. The attributes are full, and then pass the promotion dungeon. She spent a year and made a lot of efforts before, but she couldn't earn enough reincarnation points to exchange enough attribute points for promotion. But in just a few hours, she has been promoted to a C-level awakener. And she has a hunch that it won't be too far to be promoted to a B-level awakener. Too scary. No wonder all members of the Houtian team were promoted to A-level awakeners within a year. This speed is definitely refreshing. This is because Yi Xiaotian was lazy and did not take action, otherwise the time could be shortened ten times. Chapter, 420 in the deep sea, Yi Xiaotian lay on the back of the killer whale, very leisurely. As for the other teammates, the psychic stayed on the back of the killer whale to perform magic, while the warriors fought in close combat. Even Lu Yun did not stay on the back of the killer whale. 
Under the protection of Wang Hao and Xiao Cheng, she began to hunt sea beasts at close range. Although Lu Yun was a little unfamiliar at the beginning, after all, this was in the sea, and the environment was completely different from the reincarnation copy. However, after fighting a few more times, she gradually adapted to the environment here, and her sword and style were also very methodical. The most important thing is that there are two A-level Awakened Warrior Masters around her, and there are several A-level Awakened Psychic Masters on the back of the Killer Whale in the distance to provide support from time to time. Her current conditions are completely different from the past. She had never enjoyed such treatment before. She didn't even have a teammate. Every time she spawned monsters in the reincarnation copy, she would die once, and then she couldn't enter the reincarnation world for a week. In a year, how many weeks can she waste? So her freshman year is almost over, and she is not even an F-level awakener, becoming a shame for Kyoto University. She is here, and Yi Xiaotian chose her to become a member of the Haotian team. Otherwise, her name will be recorded on the pillar of shame of Kyoto University, and she may not be able to raise her head for the rest of her life. So she is very grateful. After adapting to the environment here, she worked harder and harder. This made Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao a little worried, fearing that Lu Yun would overexert herself. So many times, everyone protected this new teammate better. Yi Xiaotian was very pleased to see the changes in Lu Yun in the past few days. As for the rest, just kill more Sea Awakeners. Sure enough, fighting is the best way to make people grow. Lu Yun is no longer the one who speaks in a low voice for fear of scaring others with loud voices. She can already communicate with them normally. In addition, she has become more confident when fighting. Sure enough, strength is the basis for a person to improve his confidence. With confidence, the whole person will become different. You are quite free. Han Xuyao sat down next to Yi Xiaotian and said unhappily. Yi Xiaotian said, isn't this to train your actual combat ability? Although Han Xuyao and his friend's awakening level has been improved, to be honest, it is very weak. After all, most of their attribute points were obtained when Yi Xiaotian killed strange beasts. This is the same as the team formation in the game. Here, every awakener has an attribute panel given by the reincarnation rules. In addition to personal detail data, there are also team formation and other functions. As long as a team is formed, when the team members kill the enemy, the members of the entire team have a probability to obtain attribute point rewards. As for the life essence and talent skills, they are Yi Xiaotian's supreme talent exclusive. In a year, Yi Xiaotian didn't know how many enemies he had killed, but there were still 10 or 20 million. He raised the entire team to the level of A-level awakeners. But it is precisely because of this that Han Xuyao and the others are not even a little bit inferior to the A-level awakeners who have really come up step by step. Now the racial war has come to a temporary end. Yi Xiaotian is not so anxious. This is a good time to train soldiers. Yes, yes, you are the great god Haokian. We should all thank you. But I am yours now. How do you want me to thank you? Han Xuyao said. Yi Xiaotian said, when did I say I want you to thank me? Han Xuyao smiled and said, really? If you miss this store, there will be no more. Yi Xiaotian was confused by what she said. Han Xuyao glanced at the others and saw that they were all seriously hunting sea beasts. She whispered, Brother Tian, think about it carefully. How do you want me to thank you? After that, she got up and went to hunt sea beasts together. Yi Xiaotian was puzzled. It seemed that there was no need for Han Xuyao to thank him in particular. The team is stable, and the relationship between the two is also stable, but sometimes their married life is a little disharmonious. There is really no way, he is now an SS level awakener, and an SS level awakener with all four attributes. The four attributes have exceeded 10 million points. You can imagine how strong his physical quality is now and how powerful he is. And Han Xuyao is still an A-level awakener, and an awakener with special abilities who is not good at physical quality. In terms of physical quality, she is half weaker than a warrior. Even because of Yi Xiaotian, their attribute points all come from hunting exotic beasts, and the four attributes also increase together. 
but her physical strength is not good enough compared to Yi Xiaotian. Especially after he was promoted to an SS level awakener, his body has undergone earth shaking changes. So the recent married life is a little disharmonious. But the problem is not big, Yi Xiaotian said that he can still bear it. In addition, there seems to be no other problems. After thinking about it for a while, he couldn't figure out anything, so Yi Xiaotian threw the matter behind his mind. I watched everyone fight leisurely. Then I thought about it and felt that it was not good for me to do this. I had to do something to help. So he called out the second soul, Yen Luo, and said, Brother, help me keep an eye on them. Yen Luo nodded, left the back of the killer whale, and merged into the dark sea water. With the talent skill of aquatic, there is no difference between being in the sea and on land. With Yen Luo watching outside, Yi Xiaotian can really sleep. As time goes by, they go deeper and deeper into the sea. They encounter more and more awakened masters of the sea clan. The combat effectiveness of the whole team has reached a new level. Although only Lu Yun's awakening level is improving, everyone's actual killing power has been greatly improved. Yi Xiaotian is very satisfied. This is very good. Before, he was worried that forcing the growth of seedlings would have an irreversible impact on these team members, but now it seems that such a situation does not exist. Facts have proved that if they are given a chance, they can do well. One of the goals of this underwater trip is to make them become true A-level awakeners. As for the improvement of awakening level, it is not so urgent. In the battle, they will understand how strong they are, what they still lack, and how to make up for it. I believe that when they return to the magic city again, this team will definitely be reborn. Yi Xiaotian is looking forward to that day. But at this time, a warning came from Yen Luo. Chapter, 421 Yi Xiaotian grinned when he heard Yen Luo's warning. These damn ghost islanders really didn't have any good intentions. They came to the sea so quickly. That's right, the news from the second soul Yen Luo was that they met ghost islanders in the sea ahead. These ghost islanders must have had no good intentions to come here at this time. Speaking of which, this time the sea beast came ashore, the ghost island suffered heavy losses. They didn't stay at home to lick their wounds, but actually came here to make trouble. They really didn't know how to live or die. Yi Xiaotian stood up and said to Han Xuyao and the others, You guys fight first, I'll go to the front to see, I haven't moved for so long, my body is a little stiff. Others didn't think much about it, and nodded to show that they understood. Yi Xiaotian left the killer whale with them again, so that they could run first when they encountered danger. Killer whales are large in size, but their speed in the water is still very good. After explaining it, Yi Xiaotian went in the direction of Yen Luo. Soon, Yi Xiaotian found the place where Yen Luo was. How is it, what are they doing here? Yi Xiaotian asked Yen Luo. Yen Luo replied, Brother, according to my observation, they seem to be recording something here. Recording the situation in the sea. Yi Xiaotian was thoughtful. What do these ghost island people want to do? He did not take action immediately, but said to Yen Luo, You go back and watch them, leave this to me. Yen Luo did not ask more, and went back directly. A few hundred meters away, two sneaky figures were communicating something there, and then recording it in a notebook. Yi Xiaotian advanced a distance until he could hear the sound of their discussion. After following for a distance, Yi Xiaotian understood what they meant. It turned out that they were exploring the sea area around Ghost Island. The sea clan went ashore, and Ghost Island suffered heavy losses. Now that the sea clan has withdrawn, they sent people everywhere to the deep sea to find out the situation in the sea. This can be regarded as being prepared for any eventuality. I really didn't expect that these people from Ghost Island actually have such awareness. I just don't know if the senior officials of Xia country have thought of this. Yi Xiaotian pondered for a while. It seems that he hasn't met anyone in this regard along the way. It seems that there shouldn't be any. Why? Is it because of confidence, or has he never considered this issue? Yi Xiaotian doesn't know. However, the exploration of the sea by Ghost Island has been pushed hundreds of kilometers away, which means that they have been doing this for a while. 
Yi Xiao Tian still admires it a little. Ghost Island is surrounded by coastlines. Once the Sea Tribe lands again, they can also take the initiative to make defensive adjustments. After all, they have investigated which sea area has more powerful Sea Tribe Awakeners. At the critical moment, they can make the best arrangements. Even, they can arrange the escape route. After all, they know clearly which side has no powerful enemies. It has to be said that these people from Ghost Island are really smart. Regardless of victory or defeat. No way, since we don't have a supreme master on Ghost Island, if we don't prepare a few more moves, we will be destroyed. At this time, the words of one of the Ghost Island people solved Yi Xiaotian's confusion. It makes sense. I just don't know if other countries without supreme masters are the same. Mr. Yamakawa, why don't we just merge Ghost Island into the United States? Asked another Ghost Island person. The one called Shanchuan replied, if we merge into the United States, then our Ghost Island will perish forever, and our generation will become the sinners of the Ghost Island tribe. We have now joined the United States Alliance, using the strength of the United States to preserve ourselves and survive in the cracks. What is the purpose? We are thinking that one day, our Ghost Island will also be able to produce a supreme strongman. At that time, we Ghost Island people can stand up completely. The environment of Ghost Island is not good. If we have a supreme strongman, we can go to those places with good living environments. But now we have no strength, so we can only endure it. Yi Xiaotian frowned when he heard it. This group of Ghost Island people are still thieves. Just thinking about grabbing other people's territory. Dogs really can't change their habit of eating shit. There should be nothing else here. Let's go to the next area. Shanchuan said. Shanchuan, this is already the middle line between our ghost island and Xia country. Do we need to go further? Said the younger ghost island people. Mr. Xiaoquan, Xia has always been the meat on the chopping board of our ghost island. Is there still a problem now? Mr. Shanchuan said with a proud face. But, Mr. Shanchuan, Xia has a supreme power. Xiao Quan Yitiao was obviously frightened by Shan Chuan's words. Shan Chuan said disdainfully, So what, our ghost island will have a supreme power sooner or later, and the United States and Xia have never been on good terms. Before, there was an external force, and they could temporarily join forces. Now that the external force is gone, they are fighting again. We can get our benefits from it on ghost island. Xiao Quan Yitiao suddenly said, Mr. Shan Chuan, Xia also has the great god Haotian Yi Xiaotian, who has unparalleled combat power. It is said that the reason why the aliens withdrew their troops is because of him. Bullshit. Shanchuan Xiaoshui suddenly shouted angrily, Do you think this is possible? Yi Xiaotian is just an SS level awakener. How can he make the aliens withdraw? Our human alliance has so many SS level awakeners in the alien battlefield. Are they all just eating for free? Even our ghost island has great SS level powers. If this is true, it can only be done by the awakeners of our ghost island. Xiao Quan Yitiao really has nothing to say. He was a little stunned. Which one is true? In the reincarnation world, this matter has been widely circulated, although no authoritative organization has come out to certify it. But there has never been a rumor refuted. If this is false, how could the Awakener associations of so many countries in the world not come out to expose this scam? But what Shanchuan Xiaojuan said makes sense. If an SS level Awakener can make the alien army withdraw, the aliens would have withdrawn long ago. It is said that this time, four supreme strongmen of the human race went to the alien battlefield. It seems that the retreat of the alien army must be their credit. Xia Quanjin, you have to remember that the Xia people are the most shameless. They like to transfer the credit of others to themselves. The Xia people have been brainwashed by them. Hundreds of years ago, the reason why our military operation to rescue the Xia people on Guidao failed was because the Xia people were brainwashed by their government leaders. We went to save them, not to invade them. Xiao Quan said stupidly, really? His IQ told him that this was not true. But why did what Shan Chuanjin said make so much sense? Chapter 422. Sure enough, they are shameless. 
they can make such a high-sounding statement about invading others. It is really a skill to be able to turn black into white. It is said that the Xia people are brainwashed, but the people of Guidao are brainwashed. They actually believe such absurd words. Yi Xiaotian almost laughed out of anger. However, Yi Xiaotian did not show up, because Shanchuan Xiaoshui and Xiao Quan Yitiao did not find it, but he found it. Right next to the two of them, there is an underwater mountain range that stretches for thousands of meters. This is not a real mountain range, it is a sea beast, or an awakened sea creature. He has already noticed that the sea beast has awakened, but it has not moved yet. Moreover, even if the sea beast has not awakened, Yi Xiaotian will find a way to wake it up. Now it's good, he doesn't have to do it. Of course, if the sea beast has not taken action before Shanchuan Xiaoshui and Xiao Quan Yitiao left, Yi Xiaotian would not mind helping them and angering the sea beast. In short, the two ghost islanders in front of them are dead. Since they are going to die, why not let the sea beast eat them? As for this sea beast, Yi Xiaotian is going to take it in. Although there is a killer whale, its strength is a bit weak, only the strength of an A-level sea awakener. And the sea beast in front of him is SS level. A level is just a transition, SS level is true love. Yamakawa Kuen, do you feel anything wrong? Xiao Quan Yitiao said in a trembling voice. Yamakawa frowned and said, What's wrong? No. It seems a little cold. Xiao Quan Yitiao said. Yamakawa also said at this time, It's indeed a little cold, as if the temperature suddenly dropped. Yamakawa Kuen, look at this sea water, why is it moving? Xiao Quan Yitiao suddenly exclaimed. They have been recording and checking around here for a long time, and the sea water has always been very calm. This is the bottom of the sea, not the surface of the sea. If the water on the bottom of the sea moves, then the movement on the surface of the sea will be big. Okay, since we've finished recording here, let's go quickly to the next area. Shanchuan Xiaoshui urged. Xiao Quan Yitiao naturally agreed in a hurry. But just when the two of them wanted to leave, the sea beast that was crawling there like a black mountain range not far behind them moved. What is that? Xiao Quan Yitiao was startled, and he finally realized that something was wrong. Isn't that an underwater mountain range? Why is it moving? Shanchuan Xiaoshui was also shocked. Damn, they have been here for a while, and they always thought that the black thing was a mountain range, but now it seems that it is not the case at all. As the black mountain range shook, the rocks covering the sea beast also fell down and went deep into the seabed. The nearby sea water was a little turbid for a while. Shanchuan Xiaoshui and Xiao Quan Yitiao opened their mouths wide. This scene was too shocking. A mountain range turned into a sea beast, how could they not be surprised? They were not surprised by the size of the sea beast. After all, after the change of heaven and earth and the arrival of the Samsara Tower, they would not doubt the size of the beast. In any case, there were many beasts as big as mountains on the alien side. A black giant dragon hundreds of meters long finally appeared in front of Yi Xiaotian, and the undercurrent surged. This giant dragon, just waking up, caused such a big commotion. There was an undercurrent on the seabed, but at the moment, the sea surface where they were, it caused huge waves. Fortunately, there are no boats sailing on the sea now, otherwise, with these huge waves, I don't know how many ships would be destroyed. Yi Xiaotian was lurking on the side silently, watching quietly. The giant dragon propped up its limbs, raised its huge head, and stretched it in front of Shanchuan Xiaoshui and Xiao Quan Yitiao. Those eyes were bigger than their people. The sudden change directly scared Shanchuan Xiaoshui and Xiao Quan Yitiao, and they forgot to escape. Gurgle gurgle. As the giant dragon's head stretched out, there were countless bubbles. This finally surprised Shanchuan Xiaoshui and Xiao Quan Yitiao. Run! Shanchuan Xiaoshui exclaimed, and then he was about to run. But just as they made their moves, the giant dragon opened its mouth and swallowed them. Shanchuan Xiaoshui is an S-level water awakener, and Xiao Quan Yitiao is an A-level water awakener. In front of the SS-level black dragon, there was no power to resist and was swallowed directly. Seeing this result, Yi Xiaotian was relieved. 
Then his figure flashed and landed directly on the head of the black dragon. The huge black dragon seemed to have noticed that something fell on its head, and then shook its head. Yi Xiaotian's body was really too light. For it, there was no difference between a person falling on its head and a little dust falling on its head. So it thought that it could get rid of the dust by shaking it. Swallowing two human awakeners was not enough to fill the gap between its teeth. I don't know how long I have slept. Now that I am awake, I think I should go eat a full meal and then come back to sleep. Anyway, one meal can be enough for others to kill for several months or even years. Just when I was about to move, I felt something was wrong. The breath above my head was that of a human awakener. And he was able to hide it from me, so he must be an SS level awakener at least. The black dragon was shocked. It began to churn in the sea, trying to throw Yi Xiaotian off. Yi Xiaotian stood on its head, causing it to have a visual blind spot. It could not see Yi Xiaotian at all, but could only feel someone on its head. Its claws could not reach its head, and it dared not move its tail casually, otherwise it would get a concussion. Just when the black dragon tried its best to deal with it, suddenly, a huge force came from its head. It directly pressed the black dragon's head onto the seabed. With a loud bang, the huge movement disturbed the sea area of thousands of meters in radius. Yi Xiaotian had been suppressing the black dragon's head. The black dragon did not care about much, and directly swung its tail and hit its head. Boom! The black dragon felt dizzy and had a little concussion. Should I slap that damn human bug to death? The black dragon felt it, and the huge force on its head had disappeared. Sure enough, the bug was slapped to death by itself. It heaved a sigh of relief and was about to find a place to eat and continue sleeping. Then another huge force came, and its head hit the ground with a bang. You bastard, are you done yet? You keep hitting me again and again. If you do it again, I will have a severe concussion. The black dragon was furious and roared. Its huge body twisted violently again, trying to throw Yi Xiaotian off. But Yi Xiaotian was nailed to its head like a diamond, so it could only twist its body, but its head could not move. Chapter, 423 Fuck him, those ghost island people are causing trouble again. On the exclusive public channel of Xia Country in the Samsara world, an awakener with the ID born for battle sent such a message. What's wrong, brother? Someone asked in confusion. Just now, Ghost Island released a message saying that our Haokian god slaughtered their awakeners under the sea, and even their beautiful father. Born for battle explained. What's going on? Why would great god Haokian wantonly massacre the awakened people of Ghost Island? It must be that the awakened people of Ghost Island have done something to provoke great god Haokian again. That's right. Since great god Haokian debuted, he has never killed innocent people indiscriminately. It must be that the people of Ghost Island felt that the alien race had retreated and no longer needed Great God Haokian, so they wanted to get rid of the Great God. That makes sense. The rise of Great God Haokian has violated the interests of many people and countries. In the past, there were alien races and sea races, and they had to rely on Great God Haokian. Now that the alien races and sea races have retreated, they think they can do it again. That's right, Great God Haotian shouldn't help them, just let them perish. The people of Ghost Island are just a troublemaker. If they don't make trouble for a day, they will feel uncomfortable all over. On the exclusive public channel of Xia Country, the awakened people of Xia Country all started to discuss. However, on the world public channel, the voices of the awakened people of Ghost Island and the awakened people of the Beautiful Alliance began to appear. They began to denounce Yi Xiaotian for this matter. They said that he destroyed the unity of the human race, and relied on his own strength to wantonly kill the awakened people of the human race. The awakened people of the sea race can be hunted by everyone, and they are the commonwealth of mankind. The great god Haotian should not occupy the resources in the sea by relying on his merits to the human race. In a word, Gui Dao is very wronged, Yi Xiaotian is too arrogant, in short, Xiaogua is too arrogant. Now Yi Xiaotian has not grown into a supreme strongman, and it is already like this. If he grows into a supreme strongman, will Xiaogua unify the world? Those who follow me will prosper, 
and those who go against me will perish. This seems to be a tactic that Xiaogua has used since ancient times. For a time, Yi Xiaotian was pushed to the forefront. It's just that Yi Xiaotian and his Haotian team entered the sea and could not be contacted at all unless they entered the reincarnation world. And if the people of the Haotian team did not come out to explain, the awakened people of Xiaogua didn't know how to defend themselves. Moreover, the Guidao Awakener Association issued a serious protest to the Xiaogua Awakener Association. Then the Awakeners Association of the Beautiful Alliance also protested to Xia country. Yi Xiaotian went too far. The current good situation of the human race cannot be destroyed by Yi Xiaotian. The people of Xia Country Awakeners Association were as anxious as ants on a hot pot. Deacon Wu was almost worried about losing his hair. In the reincarnation world, Yi Xiaotian sent countless messages every day, but there was no response. The Awakeners of Xia Country argued with the countries on the World Public Channel. Various data were listed to show that the great god Haotian would never kill innocent people indiscriminately. If he was killed by him, it means that he was not an innocent person. And there was no substantial evidence from the ghost island. It just said that their awakeners sent back information before they died, saying that they died at the hands of Haotian. This is simply nonsense. It is a deliberate frame-up. The awakeners on the ghost island side thought that if Yi Xiaotian thought he had no problem, why didn't he come out to explain himself? It was obvious that he had something to hide, so he didn't dare to face everyone. This retort directly made the awakeners of Xia country speechless. Yes, the matter has become so big that the whole world knows about it. They don't believe that Yi Xiaotian would not know, even if he said a word. But now, not only him, but even no one from the Haotian team came out to say a word. Are you stupid? No one from the Haotian team came out, which just shows that Haotian God didn't know about this matter. According to reliable information, Haotian God did take his team into the sea. As everyone knows, Haotian God will only enter the reincarnation world when he passes the first pass dungeon. From the above, it can be inferred that it is normal for Haotian God not to know that the people of Guidao slandered him. As soon as these words came out, everyone suddenly woke up. Yes, although Haotian God is famous in the reincarnation world and is the man who has the most world announcements in the reincarnation world. But speaking of it, he does rarely appear in the reincarnation world. This point has never been spoken on the public channel of the reincarnation world. Unlike the awakened ones like them, they will never leave the reincarnation world until the time limit is used up. His strength is piled up with the heads of enemies in the real world. Among all the human awakened ones in the world, I am afraid that only he and his team members are like this. Except for the chaotic era at the beginning, a large part of the attribute points of the awakened ones later were exchanged for the reincarnation points earned by brushing dungeons in the reincarnation world. Unlike Yi Xiaotian and his Haotian team. They didn't brush any reincarnation dungeons at all, but directly killed the awakened ones of other races. Although this is very dangerous, it is efficient. Of course, only Yi Xiaotian can achieve this high efficiency. If you change the awakened one, even if it is an SS level awakened one, I am afraid that he can't do it like Yi Xiaotian. For a while, the awakened ones of various countries quarreled on the public frequency of the reincarnation world. However, the top leaders of various countries kept making various small moves because of their own interests. As Yi Xiaotian's alma mater, Morty University naturally received great attention. Everyone is asking the school about the whereabouts of Yi Xiaotian and the others. Principal Du Wei and Director He Shi were both very distressed. Having Yi Xiaotian in school is indeed very prosperous, but when he gets into trouble, he is also very hurt. They couldn't contact Yi Xiaotian at all. So they don't know exactly what this thing is. So I can only try my best to defend Yi Xiaotian. But they naturally have to investigate the truth of the matter. The attack on Ghost Island is menacing. If Xiaogua does not fight back with facts, the Western countries will add insult to injury again. What does beautiful country mean? Are they really going to attack Yi Xiaotian? He didn't even ask anything. They all shook their heads and said, I don't know. Logically speaking, Yi Xiaotian's significance to the human race is self-evident. They have no reason to take action against Yi Xiaotian. 
What does that mean? Do you want to use this matter to achieve other goals? He sure guessed. They were stunned for a moment before hearing the words, and then their eyes lit up and they said, it's not impossible. This is what beautiful country is best at, provoking fights between other countries, and then they profit from it. He sure said, then what role does Guidao Kingdom play in this matter? Chapter, 424 Two Possibilities Du Wei raised two fingers and said, First, this matter has nothing to do with them. They are just a pawn of the beautiful alliance. The second possibility is that this matter was caused by the Ghost Island country, and the beautiful alliance took advantage of the situation. He sure pondered for a while before saying, I think the second possibility is more likely. Du Wei nodded approvingly and said, That's what I mean. The war has just ended and the beautiful alliance should not have more energy to deal with us. Then this matter is interesting. What is the reason that the ghost island country wants to throw dirty water on Xiaotian, and the beautiful country is also moving because of this? He sure hesitated and said, now that Xiaotian and the others have entered the sea, did the incident happen in the sea? Du Wei shook his head and said, I don't know, but my intuition tells me that there is only this possibility. It is possible that Xiaotian encountered some unspeakable secrets of the Ghost Island people on the seabed, so he took action. And the Ghost Island people are afraid that we will make trouble, so they strike first. He sure took a breath and said, Principal, is this possible? It's no wonder that he sure is suspicious. The war between the three tribes just ended. Would the Ghost Island dare to do such a thing? Yi Xiaotian is not only a hero of the human race, but also the future of the human race. Ghost Island is targeting him so much. Isn't it afraid of his revenge in the future? Also, isn't it unwise for the pretty alliance to do this? Du Wei snorted coldly and said, those people never remember to eat, but never remember to fight. This is the bad nature of their race. As long as it is not a life and death moment, they never think about the consequences. He sure sighed, as if what the principal said made sense. If that nation had such a pattern, it would not have ended up like this. To put it nicely, it is a member of the pretty alliance, to put it bluntly, it is a dog of the pretty country. When it is not needed, step on two roots. When it is needed, let it out to bite people. It is even worse than a dog. But they are happy to do it, and others can't say anything, as long as they don't come to bite people. But now, this dog has shown its fangs. The target is the great god Haokian. Since they chose this target, it means that this matter is on the verge of being out of control. If it is any other target, as long as it is not a supreme power, there will be no problem. But Yi Xiaotian is an invisible supreme power. It is not so easy for the Ghost Island people to deal with him. It is just because Yi Xiaotian never showed up, so the water was muddied by the Ghost Island people and the people of the beautiful alliance. On the Xia countryside, except for the people of the Awakener Association who came forward to rebuke the Ghost Island people for fabricating facts, there was nothing else to do. In any case, we can only wait until Yi Xiaotian appears. Under the sea, after Yi Xiaotian subdued the SS level Black Dragon, he returned to his salted fish like life. As for the others, they didn't know that he went out and subdued another SS level Sea Awakener. Although the Black Dragon was very strong, it was a pity that Yi Xiaotian caught its weakness. After being stunned, there was nothing it could do. Every time it whipped its tail, it would give itself a concussion. After a few times, the black dragon didn't need Yi Xiaotian to do anything. It knocked itself out. When it woke up, it had become Yi Xiaotian's spiritual pet. Brother Tian, I want to go to the reincarnation world. Lu Yun has been much more lively recently. This time, she came to talk to Yi Xiaotian with a smile on her face and jumped over. Yi Xiaotian smiled and said, Okay, go, the killer whale will be waiting for you here. But when Lu Yun came out of the reincarnation world again, her face was gloomy. Yi Xiaotian was shocked when he saw it. Did she fail to advance to the dungeon? No, with Lu Yun's strength, plus the B-level Tianjin War Knife it would not be a problem for her to advance to the dungeon through the B-level Awakener. It's okay, Lu Yun, it doesn't matter if you fail. You can try again in a week. Yi Xiaotian comforted. 
Lu Yun shook her head and said, Brother Tian, I didn't fail. I successfully promoted to a class B awakener. Why are you still unhappy? Yi Xiao Tian asked strangely. Lu Yun said, Brother Tian, I don't know what to say. Otherwise, you can go to the reincarnation world and take a look. Now the public channel of the reincarnation is arguing because of you. Because of me? Yi Xiao Tian was confused. He had not entered the reincarnation world for a while, nor had he triggered a world announcement. What was there to argue about? Lu Yun said, it's because of the matter of the ghost island country. I can't explain it clearly for a while. Otherwise, you should go in and take a look. Yi Xiao Tian had no choice but to say, okay, I'll go and see it myself. You wait for me here first. After saying that, Yi Xiao Tian had an idea in his mind, and the mark on his wrist lit up, and a force pulled him into the reincarnation world. As soon as he entered the reincarnation world, countless system information prompts came to his ears. Yi Xiao Tian opened it and saw that it was a good thing that this was not a game system, otherwise he was really afraid that the system would crash directly. Did this deacon Wu eat too much? He sent me so many messages. It's only been a few days, is he sending one message every second? Yi Xiao Tian opened one of the messages and read it. They were all for him. As for what they were about, he didn't say, just that he had something urgent to talk to him about. Yi Xiao Tian did not reply, but went to the Awakener Association. Go directly to Deacon Wu and ask him what is going on. Although there is also a quarrel on the public channel, it is hard to see the reason. All you can see is that Yi Xiao Tian did not kill people wantonly and had no overall view. And the Awakeners of Xia country are making the distinction for him. After watching for a while, he turned off the public channel. The scrolling was too fast and it was dizzying for him. Deacon Wu was so anxious that his hair was about to fall out. His superiors asked him to contact Yi Xiao Tian quickly. But how could he be so fast? It was always Yi Xiao Tian who contacted him, and he was waiting here stupidly. Caught between the two, he really wanted to vomit three liters of blood. Just when Deacon Wu was so anxious that he was about to die, Yi Xiao Tian finally came. Wu Wu Wu. You are finally here. The moment Deacon Wu saw Yi Xiao Tian, he knelt down in front of Yi Xiao Tian exaggeratedly and cried. Yi Xiao Tian was a little dumbfounded. It wasn't the aliens who attacked again. What was there to worry about? He sat down slowly and asked, Tell me, what's the matter with you so urgently? Deacon Wu quickly told Yi Xiao Tian what had happened recently. Mr. Yi, under the instigation of the Ghost Island people, Many awakened people from many countries in the beautiful alliance have joined in and denounced you. They said that you didn't dare to come forward because you had something to hide. We don't know how to explain it. Deacon Wu said with tears in his eyes. Yi Xiao Tian sneered and said, I didn't expect that these ghost island people would really blame you. Chapter, 425 At that moment, Yi Xiao Tian recounted what happened in the sea that day. Deacon Wu was stunned after hearing it. What the hell? He was not surprised that there were people from Ghost Island measuring in the sea. He was not surprised that there were SS-level sea beasts in the sea. It would be abnormal if there were none, right? What surprised him was that Yi Xiao Tian took a SS-level black dragon as a spiritual pet after just one trip. Envy, jealousy, and hatred. He also wanted an SS-level black dragon as a spiritual pet. No, even if it was not SS level, it would be fine if it was S level. After Yi Xiao Tian figured out the whole story, he lost interest. All the monsters and conspiracies were vulnerable in the face of absolute strength. He was not interested in doing these things, and he had no time. If the people from Ghost Island wanted to jump around again, then destroy them. After listening to Yi Xiao Tian's words, Deacon Wu was stunned for a long time before muttering, domineering. Yi Xiao Tian left. Deacon Wu quickly reported Yi Xiao Tian's affairs. Then the next day, the Xia Country Awakener Association held a press conference, and this press conference was held directly in the Samsara world. It was equivalent to being synchronized with the whole world. Mr. Hao Tian said that if the people of Ghost Island still want to use his period to make trouble, 
he doesn't mind going to Ghost Island in person. When the person in charge's voice fell, the scene was silent. What domineering, this is domineering. What is called arrogance, this is called arrogance. No, this is not called arrogance, this is called having a plan in mind. Or it can be said to be disdainful. You people of Ghost Island only dare to hide behind and make small moves, but I, Yi Xiaotian, dare to go to Ghost Island alone. As for whether you can afford the consequences, it has nothing to do with me. Deacon Wu, I am a reporter from the United States. May I ask if these words are really said by Mr. Houtian himself? A reporter from the United States stood up and asked. Deacon Wu said, Of course, I dare not pretend to be Mr. Houtian, and if I did, we would not have dragged it out for so long. Then Mr. Houtian said this to threaten the Ghost Island country. The reporter continued to ask. Deacon Wu said, How can this be a threat? Didn't you hear what I just said? Mr. Houtian just said that he would go to the Ghost Island country in person, but he didn't say what he was going to do. He might go to visit the scenery of the Ghost Island, or he might go to make a friendly visit. Please don't overinterpret it, reporters, thank you. Deacon Wu said this very seriously. But the hundreds of reporters in front did not believe a word. It would be a pity to believe you. Mr. Houtian went to the Ghost Island country in person to visit, was it really just to see the scenery and visit? If it was before the rumor incident, they might believe it a little, but now, they don't believe a word. Whether you believe it or not, I believe it anyway. Deacon Wu added at the end. Offstage, the reporters from the Ghost Island country were going crazy. He stood up and said, Deacon Wu, I am a reporter from Ghost Island. I would like to ask, regarding Mr. Houtian's massacre of our awakened masters, how do you plan to deal with it? Deacon Wu said with a confused look on his face, When did you come in? The Ghost Island reporter was a little confused, but still answered, I came in before the press conference started. Then did you not hear what I just said? Deacon Wu asked again. I heard it. Said the Ghost Island reporter. Then you are still talking so much, did you not understand what I just said? What is Mr. Houtian's identity, will he lie? Does he need to lie? Deacon Wu said very domineeringly. The reporter from Ghost Island was going crazy, what evidence do you have? Deacon Wu was too lazy to pay attention to him, but still said, Mr. Houtian's words are evidence, and this matter was provoked by your Ghost Island country. You said that Mr. Houtian slaughtered your awakened people for no reason. Please show me the evidence. If you can't show me the evidence, it is slandering Mr. Houtian. Speaking of this, Deacon Wu said in a cold tone, Mr. Houtian is a great contributor to my human race. He killed tens of millions of awakened aliens on the alien battlefield and made great contributions to the human race. You want to slander such a great contributor to the human race. What do you want to do on Ghost Island? For this matter, you, Ghost Island, must give an explanation to our Xia country and the human race on Blue Star. Deacon Wu's words were loud and clear. Directly put the Ghost Island country on the opposite side of the human race. Even the reporters from the beautiful alliance at the scene did not dare to speak casually. Yi Xiaotian's contribution in the alien battlefield is indelible. It is recognized by all countries. The aliens retreated and directly saved the countries of Blue Star. Yi Xiaotian played a huge role in it, which is also a fact. Although I dare not say that it was Yi Xiaotian's own strength. But it is not wrong to say that he is the main player. Speaking of which, so many people present here can live, and they are more or less due to Yi Xiaotian's light. But for such a great contributor to the human race, the Ghost Island people slandered him, just a few words without any evidence. I really believed your lies. At first, everyone thought that with Yi Xiaotian's current status and position, the Ghost Island people did not dare to throw dirty water on him. But now everyone has reacted, and they have been deceived by this subconscious feeling. Now it seems that they have all been tricked by the Ghost Island country. Now, the countries of the Beautiful Alliance have fallen into this pit. How can they climb out of this pit? Yi Xiaotian always keeps his word. He will go if he says so. At the beginning, he was in the Magic City Fortress, 
but he killed all the people of the Shin family in the villa of the Magic City Fortress, and he didn't even give face to the captain of the Night Watch, Wang Ju. Now Yi Xiaotian's strength has soared, and he can be said to be invincible under the Supreme. If he really kills in the Ghost Island country, or other countries in the Beautiful Alliance, the consequences. They dare not think about it. Yi Xiaotian is a real butcher. He slaughtered more than one million sea tribe troops in Xia country. In the alien battlefield, he slaughtered tens of millions of alien troops. Such a killing god, why do you say that the ghost island country provokes him? Is there a hole in your brain? As soon as the press conference ended, these reporters quickly went offline and reported the news. This time, they may have been tricked by the ghost island country. As for why the ghost island country did this, it is still unclear. Not to mention them, even the top leaders of the Xia country did not understand why the Ghost Island country did this. They could not afford to provoke the Xia country before, and they can't afford to provoke it now. Is it really as Yi Xiaotian said, the Ghost Island country has always wanted to start a war, so they want to destroy Yi Xiaotian first. Chapter, 426 The Ghost Island people coveted the land of Xia. More than 200 years ago, the Ghost Island invaded Xia, and Xia paid a heavy price to drive the Ghost Island back. In that battle, the Ghost Island also paid a huge price. Now Xia is strong, with supreme powerhouses, and a super genius like Yi Xiaotian. Everyone thinks that the Ghost Island will never dare to have a different mind under such a gap. But unexpectedly, this nation is a dog that can't change its eating shit, and it still misses the land of Xia. Now they have set their sights on Yi Xiaotian. Are they afraid? Are they afraid that Yi Xiaotian will grow up completely and make them despair? I'm afraid that this is the only reason. And the countries of the beautiful alliance followed suit, probably with such thoughts in mind. Anyway, this matter was provoked by the Ghost Island people, and they are just supporting their allies. Even if it is finally proved that this is slander, it has nothing to do with them, and it is all the responsibility of the ghost island. Killing two birds with one stone, it is really beautiful. After a discussion, the top leaders of the Awakener Association of Xia country came to this conclusion. Yi Xiaotian could not lie, so the only ones who lied were the people of Guidao. Moreover, the conversation between Shanchuan Xiaoshui and Xiao Quan Yidiao on the seabed was also transmitted back by Yi Xiaotian. It can be imagined that the top leaders of Guidao country have never stopped wanting to reoccupy Xia country. After these news were disclosed, the top leaders of Guidao country naturally did not admit it. They insisted that it was Yi Xiaotian who slaughtered their awakeners wantonly. Their awakeners just went to hunt the sea tribe, but were slaughtered by Yi Xiaotian for no reason. There are so many sea tribes, even if you, Yi Xiaotian, have a high status, you can draw a circle. You can also drive people to other places, there is no need to kill them all. As soon as this was said, Guidao country won a lot of sympathy. Especially those citizens who did not have a good relationship with Xia country, they were stimulated to protect the weak. Naturally, they felt that Yi Xiaotian was too domineering. Not only did they occupy the underwater hunting ground, but they also wanted to kill all the awakened human beings around them. This is too overbearing. Does the sea also belong to their Xia country? Yes, now that the aliens have withdrawn their troops and the number of land beasts has sharply decreased, we are now relying on hunting the awakened sea people to improve our strength. This Haotian god has such a vicious mind. He must be doing this to weaken our strength. Yes, I didn't see it before. I didn't expect him to be such a person. That's right, such a person, no matter how great his achievements are, it's useless. He is just a selfish ghost. Such a person is not worthy of being called a hero of the human race. For a while, the public frequency of the reincarnation world was boiling again, all of which were condemning Yi Xiaotian and Xia country. They said that this must be Xia country's intention. They want to monopolize marine resources, strengthen Xia country's strength, and then dominate the world. For a while, all kinds of voices came out. But if you look closely, it is easy to see that some of the words are really untenable. But there are too many idiots, and they just follow the wind and rain after being led by others. To put it bluntly, 
these people are fence-sitters. When the first wave of Ghost Island people just released the news, they stood on the side of Ghost Island people and denounced Xiaogua and Yixiaotian together. Then when the Xiaogua Awakener Association issued a press conference and announced Yixiaotian's intentions, they all stood on Yixiaotian's side. But now after the Ghost Island people's sophistry, they turned against them again. Countless Ghost Island Awakeners and Awakeners of the Beautiful Alliance led the rhythm on the public frequency of the Samsara world, almost dominating the frequency. The Awakeners of Xiaoguo wanted to make a few excuses, but they were drowned in the sea of words. And Yi Xiaotian himself did not show up. The warnings of the Awakener Association were ignored by them. They were sure that Yi Xiaotian would not dare to take action. Although Yi Xiaotian has never shown up, he is still clear about the news in the Samsara world. Seeing that the Ghost Island country was getting worse, he sent the Black Dragon out. Hypey, go to the Ghost Island country and kill all the awakened people who went to the sea. Yi Xiaotian ordered, and the Black Dragon nodded and left. As for why the master gave him such a rustic name, he didn't know, couldn't figure it out, and didn't dare to ask. Is it really a good idea to do this? Han Xuyao next to him said with a worried look. Originally, she wanted to say that it was really a waste to give such a majestic black dragon such a rustic name. But she swallowed it back when she got to her lips. At this time, she really didn't have the mood to joke. Rumors are terrible, and three people make a tiger. If the ghost island country is allowed to slander like this, Yi Xiaotian will be in trouble. In addition, the countries of the beautiful alliance are watching the excitement and don't mind making trouble. Before the changes in the world, they regarded Xia country as the number one enemy. It is still the same now. Under their instigation, Yi Xiaotian was a demon who killed people indiscriminately in the eyes of the ghost island country and the western world. His reputation would be ruined. Yi Xiaotian said, don't worry, it's okay. Why don't you come out and explain it yourself? Han Xuyao said. Yi Xiaotian said, what is there to explain? The innocent will be innocent. As long as you are strong enough, all the monsters are just paper tigers. But if you let them slander you like this, everyone will think it's true after a long time, and it will be too late to explain it then. Han Xuyao said anxiously. Yi Xiaotian said, many times, explanations are the behavior of the weak. I am a strong man, so I won't explain anything. I only have one way, that is to kill them until they surrender. Don't they want to slander me as a demon killer? Then I will kill them to show them, I can't let them really be wronged, right? Han Xuyao said worriedly, but in this way, aren't you afraid of causing dissatisfaction among the Supremes? Yi Xiaotian sneered, a ghost island country is not in the eyes of the Supremes. As long as I don't destroy the motherland of the Supremes, it's fine. Han Xuyao was a little unconvinced and said hesitantly, Is it really so? Yi Xiaotian said, It's really so, don't worry. After all, he has had direct contact with the Supreme Strongmen, and Yi Xiaotian still knows a little about their thoughts. Everything must follow the rules of the game. As long as it is within the rules of the game, you can have nothing to worry about. There is only one so-called rule, and that is strength. Yi Xiaotian has strength, so even if he destroys the Ghost Island Kingdom, those Supreme Masters will not say a word. Of course, the Awakened Ones below the Supreme will definitely denounce Yi Xiaotian. But what's the use? In the eyes of the Supreme, even ten Ghost Island Kingdoms are no match for one Yi Xiaotian. Chapter 427 after the Black Dragon arrived at the sea area around Ghost Island, it began to eat a lot. As an SS-level Awakener of the Sea Clan, he is definitely a king in the sea. Even if an ordinary SS-level Awakener of the human race came, it would not be enough. Unless it is someone like Yi Xiaotian who is not considered a human. So the Awakeners of Ghost Island suffered. Recently, Awakeners from all over the world have gone to the sea to hunt Awakeners of the Sea Clan to improve their strength, and the sea is overcrowded. There is no way, everyone can only hunt near the coast and dare not go too far. So the Black Dragon can definitely eat a full meal every day. This is hard for the Awakeners of Ghost Island. In just a few days, thousands of Awakeners were buried in the belly of the Black Dragon. 
the Awakener Association of Ghost Island has been worried these days. They sent masters to the sea, but unfortunately they were all eaten by the Black Dragon. What the hell, what hatred does this Black Dragon have, why is it staring at the Awakeners of our Ghost Island? I haven't heard of such a thing happening in other countries. It's all normal. Could it be that even the sea tribes are not used to our ghost island? At this time, someone reminded, it is said that Houtian has a spiritual pet. Could this black dragon also be his spiritual pet? As soon as this was said, everyone suddenly realized. No need to guess, this black dragon must be Houtian's spiritual pet, there is no second possibility. Even if it is not, it must be. My ghost island said it. So the Ghost Island Awakener Association held another press conference. At the press conference, in front of hundreds of reporters from all over the world, the spokesperson of the Ghost Island Awakener Association denounced Yi Xiaotian. He said that he indulged his spiritual pet and killed the Awakeners of Ghost Island in the waters near Ghost Island. This is extremely inhumane. This behavior is completely anti-human and heretical, and should be destroyed humanely. So far, our ghost island has paid the price of tens of thousands of awakened lives for this. I hope their lives will not be paid in vain. I hope that people all over the world will stand up and suppress this anti-human slaughter together. As soon as these words came out, there was an uproar at the scene. All the reporters raised their hands, hoping to get a chance to ask questions. Wu Qi Xia Lu, the head of the Awakener Association of Ghost Island, glanced at the reporters from Xia Country and snorted in his heart, you also want to get a chance to ask questions, forget it. Then he pointed to a female reporter from the beautiful country and said, please ask this beautiful reporter a question. Excuse me, Mr. Wu Qi Xia Lu, do you have any substantial evidence for saying this? Said the beautiful reporter. Wu Qi Xia Lu motioned the other party to sit down, and then answered, of course, first, as everyone knows, Mr. Houtian has a spirit pet, and he is capable of taming it. Second, at the bottom of the sea, our awakener saw Mr. Houtian and the black dragon together. To sum up, this matter was done by Mr. Houtian. We all admire Mr. Houtian's behavior on the alien battlefield, but Mr. Houtian has changed after leaving the alien battlefield. Now he has been kidnapped by power, and his mind is very unstable. If he is allowed to continue to develop like this, it will be irresponsible to all mankind. At this time, a reporter from the Ghost Island country stood up in the reporter group and said, President Wu Qi Xia Lu, what do you think should be done? Wu Qi Xia Lu showed the other party a a look of appreciation, said, Yoshi. I think we should unite and issue a solemn protest to Xia country. Mr. Houtian is a Xia country, this matter must be resolved by the Xia Country Awakener Association. Of course, I also hope that the beautiful alliance can supervise. At this time, the Xia Country reporter stood up and said, President Wu Qi Xia Lu, what you said is all empty talk, you are slandering Mr. Houtian. Wu Qi Xia Lu glared, and then said to the security guard, this reporter from Xia Country ignored the venue discipline, kick him out. I reiterate again, reporters must abide by the venue discipline when asking questions and speaking, raise your hands, and get permission before you can stand up and speak. Everyone rolled their eyes, this Wu Qi Xia Lu president, is really shameless and vulgar. He simply doesn't want any face. Just now, it was obviously your reporter from Gui Dao who first abided by the venue discipline, but your reporter was praised by you. The reporter from Xia country was kicked out by you. Even a blind person can see the problem with such different treatment. However, they also have their own interests, so no one pursued this matter, but asked about the black dragon again. Wu Qi Xia Lu talked fiercely again. They had already made up these things, forming a complete story without any flaws. Except for substantial evidence. But what substantial evidence does the big ghost island country need for its actions? As long as the father of the United States recognizes it, it will be fine. Yes, they have already been recognized by the father of the United States. That's why there was this press conference. The reporter of Xia country was kicked out of the venue, but he immediately reported the matter. The senior management of the Awakener Association of Xia country soon received the news. Their first reaction was absolutely impossible. 
Then the second reaction was, is this thing true? After all, they all knew that Yi Xiaotian had a pet. During the alien battlefield, Yi Xiaotian rode his pet around and beat the aliens. It was not surprising that he subdued a black dragon in the sea as a pet. But they didn't believe that Yi Xiaotian sent his pet to massacre the awakened people of Ghost Island. And these were all one-sided words from Ghost Island, how could they believe it? So naturally they immediately issued a statement to protest to Ghost Island and ask them to produce substantial evidence, otherwise it would be slander. Repeatedly slandering Yi Xiaotian, a hero of mankind, is a big deal and the consequences are serious. Of course, Deacon Wu was busy again because he had to contact Yi Xiaotian desperately. But this time it was okay. Yi Xiaotian replied to his message in just half a day. But when Deacon Wu saw this message, he almost fainted. This thing is actually true. Really? Deacon Wu reported the matter in a daze. Then the top leaders of the Awakener Association issued a gag order. No matter whether this matter was true or not, it must be false. Mr. Houtian's image as a hero of the human race must not be affected. As for the matter of the Black Dragon killing the Awakener of the Ghost Island Country, what does it have to do with them? If you, the Ghost Island Country, have the ability, go to the Sea Clan to seek justice. Chapter, 428 The tough attitude of the Xia Country Awakener Association made everyone very confused. In their opinion, the Xia people have always been very humble, unless they are forced into a corner. It seems that this time they are really forced into a corner. So the question is, is this thing true, or are they really wronged? Of course, the real beneficiaries don't care about truth or falsehood. They only care about which result is beneficial to them. So the smear campaign from the Ghost Island country and the beautiful alliance continues. Yi Xiaotian is not in a hurry either. He also told the top leaders of the Xia country not to be anxious. Because his black dragon is still hunting. And Yi Xiaotian is thinking about whether to catch a few more SS level sea awakeners. But he also understands that some things must be followed by the rules. If too many are caught, I'm afraid the supreme power of the sea will have to take action personally. So in the end he only caught one more SS level electric eel. So the days of the ghost island country are even more difficult, and the awakeners almost dare not go to the sea. Just kidding, two SS level sea awakeners are watching them. If they dare to go to the sea, they must want to die. Even the black dragon flies to the land of Ghost Island from time to time to have a bite. This scared the awakeners of Ghost Island so much that they dared not even leave the city. Now, not only can they not go to the sea, but they can't even leave the city. Do they really have to stay in the nest and rely on the points in the reincarnation copy to improve their strength? Then Ghost Island will be finished. Now awakeners from all over the world have entered the sea to hunt sea beasts, and their strength has increased rapidly. This matter has spread throughout the reincarnation world. Only the awakeners of their ghost island can't even leave the city. Of course, there are also some awakeners who are lucky enough to think that there is only one black dragon and they will definitely not be able to keep up. But they were horrified to find that they didn't know when, outside their city, there was another SS level tiger awakener. The ghost island country was originally a small place, and there were only a few base cities. Now, with two SS-level alien beast awakeners watching, they really don't have to go out. As for letting the Ghost Island country send out SS-level awakeners to kill. This is not such an easy decision. The Ghost Island country only has a few SS-level awakeners. If a few more are lost to these two SS-level alien beasts, it will be really finished. So the Awakener Association of the Ghost Island country has always called on the Pretty Alliance to send experts to help. But the people of the Pretty Alliance are not fools. It's okay to help with words, but forget it if you want them to fight with SS-level alien beast awakeners with real swords and guns. At this time, it's better to preserve strength. For the sake of others, it's a fool to sacrifice your own masters. What's more, they gradually came to their senses. This matter is probably really the work of Yi Xiaotian. Thinking of Yi Xiaotian killing more than 20 SS level awakeners and tens of millions of awakeners in the alien battlefield. With such a fierce record, no country dares to really confront him head on. 
Now Xia country has made it clear that they are not afraid of their fishing real war. What can they do? Their own supreme strongman is still on the alien battlefield. If the supreme sword god does not show up, who can punish Yi Xiaotian? Now the fishing reels are boiling. But the sword god still did not show up, as if he didn't know about this matter at all. In this way, the attitude of the sword god is clear. The ghost island country is almost unable to hold on, and the countries of the beautiful alliance have all reacted. If they don't stop at this time, it will be too late. If this matter is really done by the great god Houtian, if they don't stop, then they will be the next one. Thinking about the miserable end of the ghost island country now, they don't want to be the next ghost island country. Yi Xiaotian's supernatural means are too unpredictable. If they offend this person, even the alien race will withdraw their troops directly. How can they afford to offend him? The people of the Awakener Association of Ghost Island Country ask for help and help on the public channel of the Samsara world every day, and sanction this dictatorial behavior. But in the past, they responded to a hundred calls, but now no one cares about them. Even the Awakeners of the Beautiful Alliance have reacted. If their country is the same as the Ghost Island Country, then it will be finished. So they quickly shut up, for fear of angering Yi Xiaotian. Even the Awakeners of some countries have begun to seek justice for Yi Xiaotian on the public channel of the Samsara world. It is obvious that the Ghost Island Country is making trouble. If you have the ability, come up with some substantial evidence. Without any evidence, you want to slander a great contributor to the human race with just your mouth. It is simply too shameless. Then, more and more people stood in the ranks of denouncing the Ghost Island country. Inside the city of Guidao, you can hear the roar of dragons or tigers outside every day. The people of Guidao and the city are trembling with fear. If a powerful person like the SS level alien beast Awakener invades the city, there will be countless casualties. The headquarters of the Awakener Association of Guidao. President Wu Qi, you should resign. You are fully responsible for this matter. Said a powerful SS level Awakener of Guidao. That's right, Wu Qi Xia Lu, things have become so serious that if they are not stopped, they will really be out of control. Yes, only if you, Wu Qi Xiaoyou, are fired can Mr. Haokian's anger be appeased. If this continues, our Guidao nation will be finished. Wu Qi Xiaoyou, who was sitting in the first seat, was so angry that he trembled all over. These damn guys, the original decision was made by everyone together, and now, he is the only one who has to take the blame. Impossible. President Wu Qi, you have to think about it. As long as you take this matter down, we will take care of your descendants and family. This is our promise. That's right, Brother Wu Qi, you have no other choice. One by one, the words pierced into Wu Qi Xiaoyou's chest like a knife. These shameless guys actually threatened his family and descendants. Are they still human? But he still didn't say anything, just sat there with a cold expression. In fact, he also knew that he had no extra choices at this point. All he could do now was to compete for more resources for his descendants. This was originally a gamble, but unfortunately, he lost the bet. The Xia people, who always valued their reputation, did not make any move this time, allowing them to slander for such a long time. The Lord Sword God, whom he had been waiting for, did not even say a word. And those bastards in the beautiful alliance, who had agreed to work together to sanction Haotian and restrict the development of Xiao. But now that something happened, they turned their backs on him and directly abandoned him. Shameless Villains, All Shameless Villains Chapter, 429 Wu Qi Xia Lu can take the blame, but he must have enough benefits, this is his insistence. He can't twist his arm, otherwise he doesn't want to. But now, there is no second choice. The Awakeners of Guidao country have no way out. If he doesn't agree to take the blame and calm the anger of the great god Haotian. I'm afraid his family will be drowned by the saliva of the angry citizens of Guidao. He not only wants to get the resources promised by the top leaders of Guidao country, but also wants the father of the United States to pay a certain price. After all, they all agreed at the beginning. Now the father of the United States says that he doesn't care, do you really think it's so easy to get off the pirate ship? At worst, 
the fish will die and the net will be broken. I will make the truth public and see if you have a good life. Under Wu Qi Xia Lu's insistence, the top leaders of the Awakener Association of Guidao Country contacted the father of the United States and told them Wu Qi Xia Lu's demands. After receiving the message, they told Wu Qi Xiaoyo not to be impulsive and let the Awakeners of Guidao Country hold on for a while. They would study it carefully first. Anyway, it was not their country that was besieged, so what did the life and death of Guidao Country have to do with them? It was just a dog, and they had many dogs in their family. What did it matter if one died? However, they had to treat Wu Qi Xiaoyo's threat with caution. After all, Wu Qi Xiaoyo was a genuine SS level awakener. If he really leaked everything, would the father of the United States still have face? As for sending someone to kill Wu Qi Xiaoyo, they had considered this operation, but they gave up in the end. After a week of discussion, under the threat of Wu Qi Xiaoyo, the United States finally agreed to give some compensation. However, the senior officials of the United States were angry. The damn Wu Qi Xiaoyo dared to threaten his father. He was not a son. After you die, I will definitely send your family members down to accompany you. As for the resources sent out, they will naturally have to be taken back. Anyway, this is not the first time they have done this. Very skilled. Finally, the awakened people of Guidao country bowed their heads. Wu Qi Xia Lu, the president of the Awakening Association of Guidao country, sent a meeting request to Wu Dingxiong, the president of the Awakening Association of Xia country. Although he didn't know what tricks Guidao country would play this time, Wu Dingxiong still agreed to meet. The meeting between the two was held in the Samsara Square. This time it was not held at the places of both parties. Hello, President Wu. As soon as they met, Wu Qi Xia Lu bowed 90 degrees. Wu Dingxiong was shocked. As the saying goes, when you are polite to others, you must ask for something. Wu Qi Xia Lu, this bastard, is already shameless and vulgar enough, and I don't know what he is doing with this style. President Wu Qi, you are polite. I wonder what this meeting is about. Wu Dingxiong said directly. This damned group of Ghost Island people, together with the media of the Beautiful Alliance, are almost smearing Xiaogua into charcoal in the reincarnation world. He doesn't believe that this person can have any good intentions. Hey, it's like this, President Wu, I have a personal request, I hope President Wu can agree. Wu Qi Xia Lu thought for a while before speaking. He didn't know how to say this matter. The best way is to meet Yi Xiaotian in person. But he couldn't meet Yi Xiaotian at all, so he could only ask Wu Dingxiong for help. Doesn't President Wu Qi always claim to be straightforward? Why is he so unsmooth today? Wu Dingxiong said sarcastically. Wu Qi Xia Lu smiled awkwardly and said, President Wu is overpraising you. That's all false reputation. I never care about it. President Wu Qi, I'm very busy and don't have time to waste time with you here. Just say it directly if you have anything to say. His intuition told him that the matter must be related to Yi Xiaotian. But he couldn't guess what the Ghost Island people were doing. Could it be that the people of Guidao wanted to use Xiaogua to suppress Yi Xiaotian again? Are these people crazy? Xiaogua has produced a super genius like Yi Xiaotian. If they don't train him well, will they destroy themselves under the pressure of their fishing boats? Thinking of this, the expression on Wu Dingxiong's face became more and more gloomy. Wu Qi Xia Lu saw that Wu Dingxiong's expression was getting more and more unfriendly, and knew that the longer he dragged on, the more unfavorable the situation would be for him. He hurriedly said, President Wu, it's like this, I want to meet Mr. Haokian. Wu Dingxiong's eyes flashed with a sharp light, and violent murderous aura poured out. In an instant, the whole room was filled with his strong murderous intent. President Wu, don't get me wrong. I have no ill intentions. What's more, do you think that with Mr. Haotian's ability, can I pose a threat to him? Wu Qi Xia Lu had no choice. He had to bow his head under the eaves. Those bastards, I have already agreed to take the blame, but they actually want me to solve this matter personally. It's really shameless. These bastards just don't want to be humiliated. But he, Wu Qi Xia Lu, is flexible and he endured it for the sake of his descendants. 
Wu Dingxiong didn't believe the previous words, but he believed the last one. With Wu Jixia Lu's strength, he really didn't pose a threat to Yi Xiaotian. To be precise, since he was promoted to SS level Awakener, no one below the Supreme could pose a threat to him. After all, Yi Xiaotian's strength was gained through fighting. Others may not know, but Wu Dingxiong knows about Yi Xiaotian's fierce record in the alien battlefield. Killing more than 20 SS level awakened masters of the alien race in one battle, such a record is not only unprecedented, but also should be unmatched in the future. Invincible in the same realm. Such an achievement is the pursuit of almost all awakened people. But there is no one who can do what Yi Xiaotian does. No one knows how many cards Yi Xiaotian has. In short, no one has seen it completely. Even several supreme beings of the human race praised him. One day, Yi Xiaotian will be promoted to the Supreme, and he will be invincible in the world. What the Supreme Beings are most worried about now is that the alien race will send a Supreme Strongman to kill Yi Xiaotian. So the four Supreme Beings have been staying on the alien battlefield. On the one hand, they are assisting the army in the finishing work, and on the other hand, they are guarding against the alien race. But so far, there has been no unusual movement on the alien side. I don't know what he thinks. Instead of sending people to kill Yi Xiaotian before he has fully grown up, they are still fighting among themselves. This is really very alien. Maybe the aliens are also thinking that now that Yi Xiaotian has been promoted to SS level Awakener, it will not be so easy for him to be promoted to the Supreme. After all, Yi Xiaotian's awakening level has almost reached the ceiling level. Killing those ordinary alien awakeners has no gain. So the aliens think that as long as the army withdraws, Yi Xiaotian will definitely not be able to be promoted to the Supreme in 20 years. Chapter, 430 In a word, after Yi Xiaotian was promoted to SS level Awakener, it was impossible for him to replicate his previous rise. Unless he slaughtered all the high-level Awakeners of the Sea Clan. So they have more time to deal with this matter. Solve the internal problems first. So now something funny happened. Yi Xiaotian's biggest enemies, the aliens and the Sea Clan, have not taken any action yet, but the Ghost Island people and the Beautiful Alliance, who are also human races, have taken action first. I don't know if the aliens and the Sea Clan will send them a thank you letter after knowing this. What Wu Dingxiong didn't know was that the chief leader of the heretic organization, Amster, really wanted to publicly thank Wu Qi Xia Lu. This thing was too fucking heretical. Given the bad nature of the Ghost Island people, all members should join the heretic organization. He has organized people to go to the Ghost Island country and strive to get more Ghost Island people to join their organization. The organization suffered heavy losses before, and this time it must be supplemented well. Why didn't they find such a good personnel replenishment base before? Let's get back to the point. After listening to Wu Qi Xia Lu's words, Wu Dingxiong still shook his head firmly and said, Mr. Haokian's decision is not something we can influence. I can't help you with this matter. Wu Qi Xia Lu hurriedly said, President Wu, I just want you to pass a message for me. As for whether Mr. Haokian will see me, we'll talk about it later. Wu Dingxiong thought about it, and then said, I can forward this letter to you, but I have one thing to remind you first. If you want Mr. Haotian to see you, you'd better do something first. Do what? Wu Qi Xia Lu didn't understand. Wu Dingxiong snorted coldly and said, Your Gui Dao country has been smearing Mr. Haotian and throwing dirty water on him. Do you think Mr. Haotian will see you under this circumstance? Wu Qi Xia Lu looked bitter. What a big hole he dug for himself. Now the whole network is full of information that smears Yi Xiaotian. Let him calm down these storms how can he do it alone? But if this matter is not resolved, Yi Xiaotian will not see him. What to do? Wu Dingxiong left, but Wu Qi Xia Lu did not. He wanted to think about what he would do next. He actually had a lot of things to consider, not just about Yi Xiaotian. And about his family's descendants. He knew very well that his family's descendants would not be safe and sound after getting those resources. He knew what those people were like. Because he was such a person, he knew them best. So before solving Yi Xiaotian's problem, he had to find a safe place for his family's descendants. 
or, to help them get a gold medal for immunity from death. However, these two conditions, no matter which one, are difficult to achieve. Wu Qi Xia Lu really regretted it. Why did he agree to that trick in the first place? Can a person like Yi Xiao Tian be calculated by some conspiracy? He is the president of the Awakener Association of a country, but now he has become the scapegoat. It is ridiculous. But things cannot be violated. Now the whole Guidao country is indignant. Moreover, many coastal countries in the beautiful alliance have seen their future from the fate of the ghost island country, so they have come to their senses and put pressure on the ghost island country. Now, every day of delay, the pressure on the ghost island country will increase. He doesn't have much time left. Otherwise, Yi Xiao Tian doesn't need to take action, the awakened people of the ghost island country will kill him, and then throw his entire family into the sea to feed the black dragon. Yi Xiaotian's life is very leisurely, lying on the back of the killer whale every day, well, there is no sun. Although the temperature on the seabed is low, what does it have to do with him? His current physical fitness has long reached the point where he is immune to cold and heat. Not to mention him, even other teammates have reached this level. Even Lu Yun is no longer afraid of the cold here. After all, she is now a B-level awakener. As mentioned before, it is much more difficult for Yi Xiaotian to improve his strength now. Of course, it is not entirely as the alien speculated. After all, in addition to the normal attribute point drops, Yi Xiaotian also has special drops for supreme talents. It's just that the probability of this drop has shrunk again. So he is too lazy to earn these little things now. He still has several ways to quickly earn attribute points now. First, kill to the depths of the sea. The sea is much larger than the land, and there are countless high-level sea awakeners hidden in it. However, this method is too arrogant and will definitely be sanctioned by the supreme power of the sea. So this way of seeking death was ruled out by Yi Xiaotian at the first time. Second, kill into the alien world. However, this method is more dangerous than the sea, so it is temporarily ruled out. Then the last thing left is the reincarnation world. Reincarnation Tower, Tong Tian Road. It is said that this is the main source of attribute points for high-level awakeners. Yi Xiao Tian has also had a preliminary understanding, but has not experienced it personally, and does not know what is going on inside. But to put it simply, the stronger the strength, the more rewards you will get when you break through Tong Tian Road. So he was not in a hurry and decided to bring Lu Yun out first. But now he would go to the Samsara world every night, not to brush the dungeon, but to receive information. The last time Deacon Wu cried in front of him, he was so sad that Yi Xiao Tian, a grown man, felt uncomfortable. Considering that Deacon Wu had no merit but hard work, he promised him that he would take some time to enter the Samsara world every day. Yi Xiao Tian thought, it would be great if the information of the Samsara world could be received in the real world. In this way, not to mention national communication, the global communication problem would be solved. But unfortunately, they can use the attribute panel in the real world, but they can't use other functions. After all, information communication needs to be online. And the online time of the samsara world is time limited for those below S level awakeners. So it's not very realistic. But fortunately, this is not difficult for him at all. He is very safe in this sea. After watching the people fighting for a while, he told Yan Luo to keep an eye on them, and then entered the samsara world. As usual, his message box was full again. There were all kinds of messages. Yi Xiaotian cleared the emails from strangers directly, not interested in reading them at all. Then he saw two messages from Deacon Wu. One was about what happened in the world today. The second was about conveying a message that their president Wu wanted to meet him in person. The meeting was scheduled at Deacon Wu's place in the evening, and President Wu would wait for him until the next morning. Chapter 431 Yi Xiaotian had heard of Wu Dingxiong, the president of the Xia Country Awakener Association, but had never seen him in person. Regardless of other things, those who can sit in such a position are definitely not ordinary people. Otherwise, it is impossible to lead the hundreds of millions of awakened people in Xia Country. And to sit in this position, you must get the approval of the Lord Sword God. 
In other words, Wu Dingxiong is the president recognized by the Lord Sword God. Yi Xiao Tian did not hesitate and replied to Deacon Wu with a message, telling him that he would go there later. Then Yi Xiao Tian went offline and explained to Han Shuyao and others that he was going to meet Wu Dingxiong, and asked them to hunt the awakened people of the Si clan in this place. Don't leave before he comes back. Then Yi Xiao Tian re entered the reincarnation world and came to the Awakener Association. Deacon Wu respectfully welcomed Yi Xiao Tian in. Then he went to invite Wu Dingxiong over. Mr. Hao Jian. Wu Dingxiong was very polite. Yi Xiao Tian also responded very politely, President Wu is too polite, just call me Yi Xiao Tian. He is an SS level awakener, and President Wu Dingxiong is also one, and he is a high level one. In terms of awakening level alone, Wu Dingxiong is two small levels higher than him. However, in the world of awakeners, level does not represent everything, strength is. And any SS level awakener must admire Yi Xiaotian's strength. His strength is not boasted, but earned through killing. Wu Dingxiong even said he dared not, this is the future supreme, it is right to be polite. Seeing this, Yi Xiaotian did not force it. After both parties sat down, he said, I wonder what President Wu wants to see me for. Wu Dingxiong pondered for a while before speaking, this time I disturbed you because of the matter of Ghost Island. Yi Xiao Tian was a little surprised and said, Is the Ghost Island country causing trouble for you again, or putting pressure on you? He also knew that Wu Dingxiong was under a lot of pressure recently because of the matter of Ghost Island. SS level Tiger General, SS level Black Dragon, plus an SS level Electric Eel, are enough to make the Ghost Island country completely collapse. It is not surprising that these guys went crazy and joined the beautiful alliance to put pressure on the Awakener Association of Xia Country. Wu Dingxiong shook his head and said, on the contrary, they are here to seek peace. Seek peace. Yi Xiao Tian was surprised. These guys actually asked for peace. Aren't they very awesome? Don't they have the support of the beautiful alliance behind them? Why are they thinking about seeking peace now? What's going on? Yi Xiao Tian asked. Wu Dingxiong shook his head and said, to be honest, I don't know much, and I haven't received any news. But according to my guess, it should be that the Ghost Island country can't hold on anymore. Then don't they still have the beautiful alliance? Yi Xiao Tian said. Wu Dingxiong said, when disaster strikes, everyone will flee. The beautiful alliance is huge, but in the final analysis, they are all planning for their own interests. They saw the fate of the Ghost Island country and are probably scared. This guess is quite reasonable, so Yi Xiao Tian nodded. Sir, Wu Qi Xia Lu, the president of the Awakener Association of Ghost Island, came to me personally and said he wanted to meet you. Wu Dingxiong said at this time. Did you agree? Yi Xiao Tian's face sank. Wu Dingxiong immediately said, Of course not, how could I agree to such a thing? I just promised him to convey this sentence. As for whether to meet, of course it is up to you to decide. Yi Xiao Tian heard this and his brows relaxed slightly. Wu Dingxiong breathed a sigh of relief. He knew that such a thing must not be agreed to. I am not interested in meeting these cats and dogs, but you can tell them a message, either kneel down and beg for mercy, or wait for death. Yi Xiao Tian said and left directly. Wu Dingxiong did not dare to retain him at all. To be honest, he was already a bit troublesome to take this job. Now it is a very good result. He sighed. In this world, strength is still respected. He is the president of the Xia Country Awakener Association, and he is in a high position. Even the heads of the major families have to be polite to him. But when facing Yi Xiao Tian, he can't raise his dignity at all. It's like a subordinate facing his boss. Wu Dingxiong was too lazy to meet Wu Qi Xia Lu. He directly sent a message to him and told him what Yi Xiao Tian said. When Wu Qi Xia Lu received the message, he didn't know why he was relieved. Because this way, it's not just his own business. He took the blame alone, which didn't meet Mr. Ye's requirements at all. After he gave Yi Xiao Tian 10 0, 0 likes in his heart, he sent Yi Xiaotian's original words to the senior management of the Guidao Country Awakener Association. 
It was a screenshot, the original words, without any modification. What they said was that Guidao country either kneeled down and begged for mercy or waited for death. It wasn't Wu Qi Xia Lu, but Guidao country. So what does the name of Guidao country represent? At least they represent more than a dozen high-level members of the Guidao Nation Awakeners Association. All of these people must kneel down and beg for mercy. As for the content of the begging, it is naturally to clarify the facts. Otherwise, what kind of begging is it? In the sea. Yi Xiaotian returned to the back of the killer whale, and Han Shuyao was waiting here. Why didn't you fight? Yi Xiaotian asked. Han Shuyao replied, I'm worried about you, so I'm waiting for you here. Yi Xiaotian said, I'm fine. It was Wu Dingxiong, the president of the Awakeners Association, who came to me and said that the Ghost Island country couldn't hold on any longer. Han Shuyao said, Then what did you say? Yi Xiaotian said, I have nothing to say. They slandered me for no reason. It's not that easy to beg for mercy. Either see how they perform, or wait to die. Hearing this, Han Shuyao didn't feel anything. Anyway, she didn't have any good feelings for the people of the Ghost Island country. This nation seems to be born to be annoying. Although there are some good people among them. But it is obvious that in such a country, good people can't be in power. So this country can only go to the abyss in the end. Yi Xiaotian held his chin and said in a deep voice, I'm thinking, should I give them more fuel? Han Shuyao was startled, and cold sweat began to appear on his forehead. Now the Ghost Island country is already uncomfortable enough. If they are given more fuel, they will really not be able to live. But why do you feel excited when facing such things? Could it be that there is a killing gene in my genes? Absolutely impossible. It must be that the people of this ghost island are too despicable, cruel, and inhumane, so they have such subconscious thoughts. Yes, it is absolutely true. Yi Xiaotian saw Han Xuyao's face changing and thought she was sick. He touched her forehead and said, What's wrong? Are you feeling uncomfortable? He thought to himself that he had been out for more than twenty days and could prepare to go back. Even if you are an awakener, you can't miss the couple's life. Chapter, 432 For the sake of his little wife, Yi Xiaotian was ready to end this training early and go back to school. And the Ghost Island country was also constantly discussing. They were all forced by Yi Xiaotian. Too tough, too disrespectful. But what else could they do? They were the ones who started the matter. Now you still want others to give you face, how big is your face? Even, they couldn't even see Yi Xiaotian. Wu Qi Xia Lu sat in his seat, his face was serious, but his heart was full of joy. He had to thank Yi Xiaotian for saving his life. He was very happy to see these guys being humiliated. He no longer had the interest to give them advice. In fact, he didn't have any good solution. The way was in front of them. Either ignore Yi Xiaotian and use your strength to tell him that the Ghost Island country is not afraid. This road, for the current Ghost Island country, can still be taken. But how far it can go, I don't know. After all, no one knows how many spiritual pets Yi Xiaotian has prepared for them. Don't wait until the time comes, instead of showing off their muscles, they will mess up the Ghost Island country. As for the shameless guys in the beautiful alliance, they no longer count on them. When there are benefits, they have one face, and now they are in trouble, they have another face. These people are absolutely unreliable. After suffering a lot of losses, they will naturally understand. But they are weaker than others, what can they do? If they don't join the beautiful alliance, will they join the Yanhuang alliance? Or the White Bear alliance? Don't be funny, among the three most powerful alliances, the Yanhuang alliance is not to mention, the main country Dashia has a feud with them, which is unrealistic. As for the White Bear Alliance, it's almost the same, and the Polar Bears are also extremely unfriendly to them. In comparison, although the beautiful country once beat them to their knees and called them daddy, there is no direct conflict of interest. And the beautiful country also needs their Ghost Island country to contain the Xia country and the Polar Bears. To put it bluntly, they are useful to the beautiful country, so they will take them to play together. 
so although they have been abandoned by the beautiful alliance, they dare not complain at all. But how long will their ghost island country last in this kind of life? When will their ghost island country be able to stand up? Why is Yi Xiaotian not a super genius of their ghost island country? Why? If Yi Xiaotian is their man, then the ghost island country will rise. They are jealous of the Xia country. So they want to destroy Yi Xiaotian. But they didn't expect that they would lose more than they gain. They fantasized that their ghost island country would soon have a super genius like Yi Xiaotian. At that time, who would dare to look down on their ghost island country? At that time, their ghost island country will surely dominate the entire blue star world. But now, reality has broken all their fantasies. What they are facing now is the disaster of national destruction. Is it a question worth considering whether to save face or to save money? No. I kneel. A vice president said very straightforwardly. He just kneeled down to beg for mercy and told the truth, and he didn't ask them for more. What's so great about that? I kneel too. As long as there is green, there is no need to worry about firewood. Originally, they were afraid that Yi Xiaotian would ask for too much and blackmail them too much. Now it seems that Yi Xiaotian is still a young man. So what if I give him face? Will it cause any loss to the ghost island? As for face? How much is face worth? How much do you want? I still have a lot here. For a while, the whole hall was filled with the sound of kneeling. Wu Qi Xia Lu was stunned. Do you people still have any moral bottom line? Kneeled so quickly. Damn, I thought you were so hardcore, but you are still as softcore as me. Wu Qi Xia Lu was very disappointed. He was still thinking that there were a few hard bones here, and then he could use Yi Xiaotian's hand to eliminate them. As for whether this would weaken the overall strength of the ghost island, who cares? When they wanted to kill my Wuchi family, they didn't show any mercy. But now everyone is kneeling down, and his wishful thinking has failed. He became even quieter. But if the other vice presidents knew his feelings, they would definitely shout that we are not spineless. It's really that the ghost island country can't hold on any longer. We are patriotic. Of course, patriotism is just an excuse. The real reason is that their family can't hold on any longer. Because of their wrong decisions, the awakened people of the ghost island country have suffered immeasurable losses. Now all the awakened people in the ghost island country are full of hatred for these decision makers. Of course, they definitely can't afford to offend these SS level vice presidents. But their family descendants have suffered a lot of criticism. In the past, their family descendants went out, and they were arrogant. Now they hide at home and dare not go out. If you offend the public, you can't kill all the awakened people in the country. So now there is such a step, just step down. Originally, they all wanted to use Wu Qi Xia Lu's life to calm Yi Xiaotian's anger. Unexpectedly, Yi Xiaotian was so easy to talk to. Just as the top leaders of the Awakener Association of Ghost Island were discussing how to make Yi Xiaotian more comfortable, Yi Xiaotian took his team back to school. The first thing he did after returning to school was to take Lu Yun to brush all the team dungeons again. Then the notice of their super god evaluation began to float in the reincarnation world again. Basic operation is not six. I'm afraid the real surprise is Lu Yun's classmates. In just 20 days, she has been promoted from an Awakener rookie who was not in the grade to a B-level Awakener. This is too dreamy. But now Lu Yun is already an existence that they can't reach. It really proves the saying that if you ignored me yesterday, you can't reach me today. Lu Yun explained the true meaning of this sentence to them very well. Walking on the campus with his team. Really handsome men and beautiful women, causing a great sensation. It seems that every time Yi Xiaotian and his friends go out, they can cause a lot of commotion. Everyone greeted him, some came to ask Yi Xiaotian for autographs with notebooks and pens, and some even asked their entire team to sign. People greeted him with smiles, so Yi Xiaotian couldn't put on a bad face. Over time, his face became a little stiff. This is also the reason why Yi Xiaotian didn't want to go out. These classmates were too enthusiastic, and it was tiring to deal with them. 
but if you don't deal with them, they will say that you are arrogant and look down on your classmates. Fortunately, because Yi Xiaotian and Han Shuyao are already married, no crazy female classmates came to express their love. After all, Han Shuyao is still here. Her strength as an A-level awakener is not vegetarian. Stop. At this moment, a voice stopped Yi Xiaotian and the others. Chapter, 433 A freshman who was about the same age as Yi Xiaotian and the others came over and stopped Yi Xiaotian and the others. He looked as if he was ready to die. Classmate, what can I do for you? Han Shuyao was the first to speak, with a smile on his face. The classmate who looked down upon death said proudly, Yi Xiaotian, I know you are very powerful, but it doesn't matter, I, Yen Zixu, am not afraid of death. He introduced himself very powerfully at the beginning, saying that Yen Zixu is not afraid of death, and you, Yi Xiaotian, can kill him if you want. Or maybe he was afraid of death and used words to block Yi Xiaotian. Classmate Yen Zixu, what you said is serious. We had no grudges in the past and no grudges recently. Why should I kill you? Yi Xiaotian said with a smile. Who can't do acting anymore? He is just too lazy to act, tired. Yen Zixu snorted coldly and said, We have no grudges now, but we will after I finish my words. Okay. Tell me. Yi Xiaotian stretched out his hand and said. At this time, because of Yen Zixu's sudden appearance, the surroundings were crowded with people watching the excitement. Everyone wants to see what kind of awesome man he is, who dares to provoke even the great god Haokian. The last person who dared to provoke great god Haokian was the eldest son of the Shen family, one of the four major families in the original Demon City. But what about now? The grass on the graves of the Shen family is already three feet tall. Moreover, it was Master Sword God who personally took action to destroy the Shen family. Oh, I heard that the Shen family branch in the Magic City Fortress was wiped out by Yi Xiaotian. That really means leaving no one behind. If I say I'll kill your whole family, I'll kill your whole family. It's not false at all. You dare to provoke such a wolf killer. Putting aside everything else, Yen Zixu has won the admiration of many people for his courage alone. Of course, there are some who are disdainful of him. I think Yen Zixu is doing this just to gain fame. But the stupid thing is that Yi Xiaotian was chosen as the target. You can just change it to another one. Yi Xiaotian, you are too willful. Gui Dao Kingdom has provoked you. Are you going to kill like this? Now the awakened people in the entire Onigashima kingdom are afraid to leave the city, which has seriously affected the progress of the awakened people in Onigashima country to improve their strength. You have to know that our human race now has two great enemies, the foreign race and the sea race. And the awakened people of Onigashima nation are also part of our human race. If their strength is weakened, it is equivalent to weakening the strength of our human race. If you do this, at the very least, you are being cruel, but at the most serious level, you are doing a favor to the foreign race and the sea race. Yen Zixu didn't pause at all, and his series of words directly stunned Yi Xiaotian. He originally thought that Yen Zixu was unhappy because he had occupied some resources. Unexpectedly, it turned out to be a matter of Onigashima country. Is this guy sure there's nothing wrong with his mind? Yi Xiaotian's face pulled down, and the smile on his face disappeared. The members of the Haotian team also had livid faces. The expressions on the faces of the students watching the excitement around them also changed. This Yen Zixu really just made a name for himself and became a blockbuster. No one thought that he would actually complain for the awakened people of Onigashima country. It's really unexpected. After a long time, Yi Shaokai asked, Are you from Ghost Island? Yen Zixu said sternly, I am from the Xia Kingdom. Then why do you want to fight for the people on Ghost Island? Yi Xiaotian asked. Yen Zixu said, I am not fighting for the injustice of the Gue Island people, I am fighting for the justice of the human race. Such a noble reason, Yi Xiaotian was speechless. The righteousness of the human race? What do you know about the righteousness of the human race? Yi Xiaotian sneered. Yen Zixu said, Yi Xiaotian, don't think that just because you have made some achievements on the alien battlefield, you can be arrogant. 
Let me tell you, this is not a joke. If everyone is like you, the human race will be finished sooner or later. Yi Xiaotian said disdainfully, Oh, if I don't listen to you, the human race will be destroyed. Who are you? Yen Zixiu was so angry that he vomited blood and his face turned purple, but he still said loudly, I, Yen Zixiu, am an ordinary awakened human being. Although my strength is not as good as yours, I have a heart for the human race. Yi Xiaotian, you can underestimate my strength, but you cannot underestimate my character. Yen Zixiu said sternly. Character. Yi Xiaotian smiled, do you have such a thing? Yi Xiaotian, I want to duel with you. Yen Zixiu was questioned about his character by Yi Xiaotian. It seemed that he had stepped on a sore spot and began to speak indiscriminately. Duel with me. Did you forget to take your medicine when you went out? Seeing the strength of Yen Zixiu's E-level awakener, Yi Xiaotian felt a little pity for him. Don't talk about him, even Huang Jia and Sun Yao, who are the weakest in actual combat ability in the team, can press him to the ground and rub him. There was a burst of laughter from everyone watching the excitement. An E-level low-level awakened person actually wanted to duel with an SS-level awakened person. Only a lunatic who forgot to take his medicine could say such a thing. Yi Xiaotian, you insulted me. Yen Zixiu became even more angry. Yi Xiaotian said seriously, First, the affairs of Guidao country have nothing to do with me. Second, the life and death of Guidao country have nothing to do with me. Get out of the way, we are going to eat, I don't have time to fool around with you here. Nonsense. Yi Xiaotian, do you dare to act like this? If you continue like this, you will be ruined. What good will it do to you if the Guidao kingdom is destroyed? Are you a spy sent by a foreign race? Yen Zixiu said angrily. Yi Xiaotian had a headache. The guy in front of him really forgot to take medicine when he went out, otherwise how could he say such a thing? Everyone, does anyone know this guy, or know if he has any relatives or friends, please help to tell him to take him back quickly. Yi Xiaotian felt that if he continued to entangle with Yen Zixiu, his IQ would be lowered. Sure enough, the words of the sages made sense. This kind of mentally retarded person is best at pulling others to the same level as him. As a normal person, Yi Xiaotian certainly can't be on the same level as Yen Zixiu, otherwise wouldn't he also become mentally retarded? Yi Xiaotian's words caused another uproar. Take him back, do you really think people are dogs? Yi Xiaotian, what do you want to do? Can you still cover the sky with one hand? Even if you have strength, so what? If your character is not good, the stronger your strength, the greater the harm to the human race Yen Zixiu stood on the moral high ground and sprayed Yi Xiaotian. The core meaning is only one, if the ghost island country is not let go, Yi Xiaotian will be the sinner of the human race. As for the rest, they are all Yi Xiaotian sophistry. Dear students, big news, all the senior members of the Ghost Island Country Awakeners Association knelt down and apologized in the main square of the Samsara world, saying that the whole thing was their slander of Yi Xiaotian, and the purpose was to punish Yi Xiaotian, and they didn't want to see another supreme strongman appear in Xia country. Just when Yen Zixiu was so passionate that Yi Xiaotian was about to doubt himself, an enthusiastic voice overwhelmed Yen Zixiu. Chapter 434 the owner of the passionate and loud voice saw that there were many students here, which was just what he wanted, so he ran over without hesitation. Classmates, great news, the ghost island country has apologized and told the truth. The voice overwhelmed Yen Zixiu. When Yen Zixiu heard the loud-voiced classmates' words, the rest of the words were choked in his throat and he couldn't say anything. Damn, can you not be so timely? I'm so passionate, what should I do if you do this? Yen Zixiu is completely done. He is not a fool, otherwise he would not be able to enter the Magic City Awakena University. On the contrary, he is a smart man. Everything just now was carefully calculated by him. In his calculations, as long as he occupies the commanding heights of the human race's righteousness, no matter how angry Yi Xiaotian is, he can't do anything to him. After all, no matter how shameless the ghost island country is, it is also a part of the human race. And not all the awakened people of the ghost island country are wrong in this matter. Knowing this truth, 
he has a bottom line in his heart. He cursed very happily just now. Being able to openly scold Yi Xiao Tian like this will definitely make him famous all over the world. Gain both fame and fortune. Openly stepping on Yi Xiao Tian to get to the top. Unfortunately, those people from Ghost Island were too disappointing and actually knelt down first. The loud-voiced classmate was still there vividly describing what happened in the main square of the reincarnation world. The president and vice president of the Ghost Island Awakeners Association knelt on the ground, crying bitterly, saying that this matter was the fault of their ghost island. They shouldn't listen to the instigation of the traitors and slander Mr. Houtian. They also said that Mr. Houtian, as a great contributor to the human race, should not be slandered out of thin air. They want to apologize to Mr. Houtian, etc. It's really wonderful. After he finished speaking, he realized why these people didn't applaud at all. Such a wonderful drama, is it because he didn't tell it well enough? Then he discovered the situation of Yi Xiao Tian and his party fighting against Yen Zishu. Hey, Yen Zishu, why are you here? The loud voice was Yen Zishu's classmate, and he was surprised to see him here. And Yen Zishu's face was very ugly. Chu Tong, I hate you. Yen Zishu screamed, then covered his face and ran away. He failed to pretend to be cool and pretended to be stupid. Such a change is not something that everyone can bear. Yen Zishu's escape was both an escape and a play. This time it was messed up. Chu Tong looked confused. What did I do? Why do you hate me? Suddenly, Chu Tong shuddered all over. Damn, this roommate doesn't have a problem with sexual orientation. We have been classmates for a year, but I don't even know it. What can I do? Should I ask the teacher to change the dormitory? But it seems that discrimination is not allowed now. People are also free to fall in love. In an instant, Chu Tong thought a lot in his mind. Classmate, classmate. It was not until he was called several times by Yi Xiao Tian that he came back to his senses. Chu Tong took a closer look and said, Are you classmate Yi Xiao Tian? Yi Xiao Tian nodded and said, Yes, classmate Chu Tong, do you know Yen Zishu just now? Chu Tong nodded and said, Yes, we are not only in the same class, but also in the same dormitory. Yi Xiao Tian pointed to his head and asked, Is there anything wrong with him? Chu Tong looked confused and said, Is there no problem? Is this an uncertain tone? It's confirmed, there is indeed a problem with his brain, otherwise such a thing would not happen. Yi Xiao Tian breathed a sigh of relief. If there is a problem with his brain, then this matter has nothing to do with him. Then he said earnestly, classmate, as his roommate, he has a problem with his brain, shouldn't you take him to see a doctor? Chu Tong nodded blankly. As a classmate, if there is such a thing, he should. But, it seems, it seems that there is a possibility that Yen Zishu's brain is fine. What should he say? Yi Xiao Tian did not continue, but patted his shoulder and led people to the cafeteria. Why do I always feel that things are not that simple? Huang Jia said in thought. Yi Xiao Tian said unhappily, You don't care whether it is that simple or not, now we have to characterize this matter, that is, Yen Zishu has a problem with his brain. Huang Jia said, Why? Yi Xiao Tian said, Do you want me to kill my classmates? Huang Jia said, It's not that I haven't killed before, what are you afraid of? The other party is unreasonable first. Yi Xiao Tian said speechlessly, So you think I should be a bloodthirsty person, and I will kill people if they disagree with me? Huang Jie said, That's not what I mean, boss, it's obvious that Yen Zishu is thinking crookedly now. Yi Xiao Tian said, Forget it, now is a special period, it's better to have less trouble than more. Such a brain dead person will kill himself sooner or later, I said. Huang Jie immediately said, I understand, boss. You understand shit. Yi Xiao Tian laughed and scolded. Yen Zishu's incident still caused a big sensation. Some people thought that he was indeed mentally ill. But more people thought that Yen Zishu was just trying to attract attention. Standing on the commanding heights of human justice, he wanted to step on Yi Xiao Tian. Who knew that he would step on an iron plate? Although the awakeners of Ghost Island are miserable, not many people really sympathize with them. 
the grievances between Xia and Ghost Island can be traced back to more than 200 years ago. That unforgettable hatred is not so easy to forget. That was the national sorrow, and no one dared to forget it. So for the experience of the Awakeners of Ghost Island, although most Xia people did not say anything on the surface, they applauded secretly. Heaven has its own way, and no one can escape it. The video of all the presidents and vice presidents of the Awakeners Association of Ghost Island kneeling and begging for mercy in the main square of the Samsara world was circulated wildly around the world. This time, Wu Qi Xia Lu and his friends told the whole story in order to seek Yi Xiaotian's forgiveness. Even their father from the United States was not spared. For a time, the reputation of the Awakeners Association of Ghost Island was bad. The bad reputation of the high-level members of the Awakeners Association of the United States was also well known far and wide. But the United States would definitely not admit it. The president of their Awakeners General Association came out to refute the rumor, saying that this was slander, the most serious slander of the Ghost Island country against the beautiful country. They will definitely not give up on this matter. If the Ghost Island country cannot give them an explanation, then the beautiful country will take action. As for what action, they did not say. Facing this dog-eat-dog -dog scene, Yi Xiaotian just wanted to say, it's great. He was considering whether to send the black dragon and the electric eel to the beautiful country for a walk. In addition, it seems that there are many countries in the beautiful alliance that are coastal. It is impolite not to reciprocate, so it's good to go and take a look. Chapter, 435 Yi Xiaotian is a man of principle. Once he has decided something, he has to do it. He promised Wu Qi Xia Lu that he would let them go as long as they kneeled down and begged for mercy. So the Black Flood Dragon and the Electric Eel left the waters of the Ghost Island country and headed for the distant beautiful country. As for Tiger General, he did not appear around the base city of the Ghost Island country. Overnight, the awakened people of the Ghost Island country seemed to have ascended from hell to heaven. Originally, they did not agree with the behavior of Wu Qi Xia Lu and others. After all, even if you kneel down and beg for mercy and tell the truth, will the great god Hao Tian really let us go? But unexpectedly, that night, Tiger Roar and Jiao Yin had disappeared. The next day, when they went out of the city, they found that the Black Flood Dragon and Tiger General were gone. Then some awakened people rushed to the sea, and the SS-level Electric Eel awakened people who were originally patrolling near the Ghost Island country also disappeared. It seems that everything is back on track. And the price paid was that Wu Qi Xia Lu and others knelt down and told the truth. The awakened people of Ghost Island were all moved, and they didn't know how to describe Yi Xiaotian. One word, great. Another day, news came from the distant United States, saying that their awakened people met a powerful SS-level sea awakened person in the sea. After distinguishing, it was discovered that it was the Black Dragon and the Electric Eel. Everyone suddenly realized. The Black Dragon and the Electric Eel that caused the collapse of Ghost Island ran to the waters of the United States. But Yi Xiaotian seemed to have nothing to do with him. Even in school, when asked by classmates, he denied it very straightforwardly. No, don't talk nonsense, this matter has nothing to do with me. Yi Xiaotian said so. Then why did they run to the waters of the United States? The classmate doubted. Don't ask me, you should ask them. Yi Xiaotian replied so. The classmates can't speak, how to ask. Classmate Yi Xiaotian, don't lie to us. Tell us. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone. A classmate begged. Yi Xiaotian said, I said, this matter has nothing to do with me. What do you want me to say? Classmate Yi Xiaotian, it's meaningless for you to do this. We are classmates. Can't you tell us the truth? A classmate used justice to pressure Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian's face suddenly turned cold, and he said, what I said before was the truth. Okay, get out of the way. I'm leaving. Seeing that Yi Xiaotian was angry, everyone had to make way. Han Xu Yao followed Yi Xiaotian and said, Brother Tian, why don't we cook by ourselves and not come to this cafeteria to eat? Originally, he came to this cafeteria to integrate into school life and get along with classmates as an equal. 
it can be regarded as some feedback from him to Magic City University. But what happened in the past few days made Yi Xiaoqin's passion cool down. These classmates have been bothering him with these trivial matters. He must tell the truth, as if Yi Xiaotian didn't admit it, then it must be a lie. But how could Yi Xiaotian really admit this publicly? Are these people's brains sick? Instead of asking him for advice to improve their strength, they are entangled in these things. So when Han Xuyao proposed to cook by herself, Yi Xiaotian agreed. As for the question of who would cook, Lu Yun accepted the task very calmly. And Sun Yao's cooking skills are not bad. That night, Lu Yun showed off her cooking skills and prepared a large table for her comrades with the help of Sun Yao. Looking at the table of dishes, the color and fragrance are all good, and the taste has not been eaten yet. But looking at the appearance, it must be good. Lu Yun, Lu Yun, I didn't expect that you actually have this skill, amazing. Huang Jie was the first to exclaim. As a fat man, how could he not have the attribute of a foodie? Lu Yun smiled shyly and said, it's just something you can cook. It's fine as long as you don't mind. Huang Jie screamed, Lu Yun, you're going too far. You did such a good job, but you still said you cooked it casually. I tell you, be humble. Okay, fatty, you're the only one who talks too much. Han Xuyao said to the fat man, and then said to Lu Yun and Sun Yao, you two are really amazing. Teach me when you have time. As the saying goes, if you want to catch a man, you must first catch his stomach. Han Xuyao's words were sincere and not a joke. Lu Yun hurriedly said, as long as sister Xuyao, I can teach you any time. Okay, let's eat first. Han Xuyao waved her hand, and several boys who were already eager to pick up their chopsticks could no longer bear it, and hurried to take action. Delicious, delicious. Even the legitimate sons of big families like Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu had to praise it. The praise made Lu Yun embarrassed again. You must have eaten too much dry food this month. It's not as exaggerated as you say. Lu Yun, don't be modest. It's really delicious. As the only two girls in the team who can cook, Sun Yao stamped Lu Yun's seal of approval. At this time, Wang Hao also said, To be honest, I have been cooking since I was a child, but Lu Yun's cooking skills are really amazing. Yi Xiaotian said unhappily, Howzi, what you do is not called rice, but cooking. Is there any difference? Wang Hao asked. Yi Xiaotian said, The biggest difference is that when cooking, it's enough to cook rice but when cooking, you have to consider the taste. Wang Hao couldn't stand it anymore and said, How dare you say that to me? We have lived together since we were young. Don't you know how many times you have cooked? Yi Xiaotian said, Didn't you say you have a talent for cooking? How can I deprive you of your talent? Face to face his shamelessness, Wang Hao could only retreat. I didn't expect that the biggest problem of our team would be solved like this. In the future, you must bring enough cooking tools and various seasonings when you go out. Yi Xiaotian reminded. Everyone rolled their eyes when they heard this. When others go out, they try to empty the reincarnation space as much as possible to store the corpses of the alien beasts, but when it comes to Yi Xiaotian, there is actually extra space to store these things. You know, a team of nine people has a lot of food for a month. Lu Yun was also a little embarrassed. Don't worry. You buy the things, I will pack them. Yi Xiao Tian added. Yes, Lu Yun, don't worry, Brother Tian's reincarnation space is very large, you can install it without worry. Sun Yao also comforted Lu Yun. Yi Xiao Tian is now an SS level awakener, and they don't know how big his reincarnation space is. But one thing is clear, that is, Yi Xiao Tian's reincarnation space must be hundreds or thousands of times larger than theirs. With this calculation, you can almost know the approximate amount. Okay, starting from tonight, I will break through the Tong Tian Road, you can arrange your time by yourselves. After Yi Xiao Tian finished speaking, he began to concentrate on eating. Chapter, 436 The Road to Heaven, this is the high-end gameplay of the Samsara Tower. Only Awakeners above S level can pass the Road to Heaven. And there is no time limit. 
So after the Awakener reaches S level, there is no daily time limit when entering the Samsara world. After entering the high level, the Awakener's strength improvement is slower. Whether it is hunting exotic beasts or Samsara copies, the efficiency is greatly reduced. Even if Yi Xiao Tian has a talent skill like Nightmare, there are not so many high level exotic beasts for him to hunt. So there is the road to heaven. There is a saying among high level awakeners that only by going to heaven can you reach heaven. Although this sentence is a bit inexplicable, it is a wise saying. It means that only the road to heaven can achieve the awakener's way to heaven. The so called way to heaven is to become a god. Everyone knows that the supreme strongman today can only be regarded as a pseudo god. Only when you truly enter the SS level can you truly become a god. At that time, you can truly transcend the scope of mortals. Everyone believes that only by breaking through Tong Tian Road can one truly become a god. So if there is no war, high level awakeners are generally breaking through Tong Tian Road. As for those high level awakeners who do not have positions, they are immersed in Tong Tian Road all day long. According to normal procedures, Yi Xiao Tian and others want to get in touch with high end copies such as Tong Tian Road at least it should be a matter of 10 or 20 years later. But now because of the existence of Yi Xiao Tian, a super monster, Yi Xiao Tian will break through Tong Tian Road in just one year. During this period, Yi Xiao Tian has checked many records about Tong Tian Road in the school library, and has consulted He Xiu about Tong Tian Road many times. So now he still has a good understanding of Tong Tian Road. As for others, there is not much envy, after all, they are now A-level Awakeners, only one step away from S-level. According to their current progress, it will not take more than five years to be promoted to S-level. If there is another race-level war, it may take a few years in advance. Don't worry. Compared to other geniuses who start at least 20 years, they are really too fast. People should be content. But they also need to start to understand Tong Tian Road in advance. Fortunately, there is Yi Xiao Tian, a pioneer in their team. When they can break through Tong Tian Road, Yi Xiao Tian has already been familiar with Tong Tian Road. Let's say Yi Xiao Tian enters the reincarnation world and follows the guidance to a majestic tower. There are almost no people here, and even if there are one or two, they are tourists who come here to punch in and sign in. They didn't care when they saw Yi Xiao Tian coming. Although everyone knows the name of Hao Tian God, there are indeed not many people who really know him. Just seeing that Yi Xiao Tian is so young, they also think that he is here to punch in and sign in like them. After all, Tong Tian Tower is a high-end building. Those who know the meaning of Tong Tian Tower at such a young age must have a good background. They nodded to Yi Xiao Tian kindly, as a greeting, and then prepared to leave. But the next scene made them stunned. Did he go in? Yes, isn't this the Tower of Babel? Nonsense, if this isn't the Tower of Babel, what is it? Then how did he get in? Isn't it said that only Awakeners above S level can go in? That guy just now was younger than us, right? There is only one person in the world who can enter the Tower of Babel at this age, and that is Houtian. Fuck, we just saw Houtian. Yeah, it's a pity that we didn't recognize him. Soon, the news that Hao Tian had entered the Tong Tian Road appeared on the public chat channel of Xiaogua in the reincarnation world. Fuck, Hao Tian entered the Tong Tian Road when he was a freshman, but when I was a freshman, I was brushing E level awakener copies. The gap is too big. Brother, don't be sad, you are not alone. Yeah, even our geniuses only started brushing D level awakener copies at the end of the semester, it's nothing great. For a while, the entire Xiaogua chat channel was boiling again. Houtian God is indeed a super genius that is rarely seen in a hundred years. It is not what they can imagine at all. When Yi Xiao Tian entered the first floor of the Tong Tian Tower, he saw a prompt to choose the difficulty. Yes, the Tong Tian Tower also has many difficulties. Depending on the difficulty, different numbers of alien beasts with the same awakening level will be refreshed. This is the Tong Tian Road. Even if there is only one alien beast of the same awakening level, it is already difficult for human awakeners to deal with it. But in the Tong Tian Tower, it is like this at the beginning. And when you advance to the next level, the number will increase. 
I am afraid that only the Tongtian Tower can provide so many high-level alien beasts. Even if the Sea Clan and the alien race have them, no one dares to kill them like this. There is no doubt that the Supreme Strong will definitely take action. Damn it, you want to break our inheritance, and you still follow the rules. It was you who broke the rules first, okay? Yi Xiao Tian directly chose the highest difficulty. In an instant, five SS level initial level alien beasts appeared in the space. Yi Xiao Tian held the heavenly gold staff in his hand, and five spears of the ice god shot out at the five huge SS level primary alien beasts. Puff! Ice god spear pierced through the body of the alien beast and froze it directly. Two seconds later, there were several crackling sounds, and the ice of the five SS level alien beasts shattered, and the fragments fell to the ground. No complete corpse. However, Yi Xiaotian knew very well that he could not get the body of the alien beast by killing it here. However, he could get attribute points, and even precious props dropped. Of course, there are also life essence and talent skills rewarded by Yi Xiaotian's supreme talent, as well as additional attribute points. It's just that in the Tower of Babel, the probability of this kind of drop cannot be compared with the real world. There is only one purpose, that is, to encourage Awakeners to kill Awakeners of other races outside. I have to admire the ability of the will of reincarnation to make trouble. This is definitely a war element. I wish all the Awakeners would kill each other. It seems that only in this way can he get the greatest benefit. Yi Xiaotian suddenly found that he seemed to have discovered something extraordinary. Is this the purpose of the will of reincarnation? Yi Xiaotian thought for a few seconds, and then he had no time to think about it. Congratulations to the awakened Haotian, you killed five SS level beasts, passed the first level of the purgatory level of the Tower of Babel, and were rewarded with 800 reincarnation points and precious props SS level talent spirit liquid. This reminder not only rang in Yi Xiaotian's ears, but also began to be announced globally in the reincarnation world. Chapter 437 Congratulations to the awakened Haotian, you killed five SS level beasts, passed the first level of the purgatory level of the Tower of Babel, and were rewarded with 800 points of reincarnation and precious items of SS level talent and spirit liquid. Three consecutive world announcements ignited the chat channel of the reincarnation world again. Previously, because of the news that Yi Xiao Tian had broken through the Tong Tian Road, the news had just been transmitted from the Xiaogua chat channel to the world chat channel which set off a great wave of discussion. Everyone was discussing what it would be like for the great god Haotian to break through the Tong Tian Road. However, they all agreed that it should not be possible to be like the promotion dungeon and team dungeon. But reality slapped them in the face again. Not only did Yi Xiao Tian continue to get super god evaluation, but how much time has passed? And what did they just hear? The reward of 800 reincarnation points alone, and a bottle of SS level talent spirit liquid. Such a reward is too perverted. It is not an exaggeration to say that it is explosive. 800 reincarnation points. How many dungeons do they have to brush to earn it? An SS level talent spirit liquid is even more rare. As for buying it in the reincarnation mall, forget it, you can't afford it at all. This time, it's not just the middle and low level awakeners who are discussing it. Many high-level awakeners who don't care about worldly affairs have been blown out. They have studied the road to heaven for half a lifetime. In front of absolute strength, any language is pale. For ordinary awakeners, the reincarnation points awarded by Yi Xiaotian this time are equivalent to their savings for most of their lives. Comparing people is really annoying. As for the SS-level talent spirit liquid, they dare not even think about it. Countless high-level awakeners of the human race stared at the public chat channel of the reincarnation world and smiled bitterly. They wondered if they opened the Tower of Babel in the wrong way, otherwise why would the difference be so big? Although the rewards of the Babel Road are much richer than those of ordinary dungeons. But compared with Yi Xiaotian's rewards, it is a small witch meeting a big witch. Countless people left words of envy and jealousy on the public channel. But their sourness was just the beginning, and then they were already jealous to death. They seemed to have returned to the days when Yi Xiaotian had just awakened his talent. 
During that time, Yi Xiaotian was promoted very quickly, so from time to time, the world announcement of his super god clearance dungeon would float in the reincarnation world. At that time, they were not as jealous as they are now. Because the rewards at that time were completely incomparable to now. The rewards now are several times, or even dozens of times, better than those at that time. Alas, comparing yourself to others is so infuriating. I'm so angry, when will mortals stand up? Brother upstairs, mortals will never stand up. Brother, this hurts my heart. Great God Haotian, the Eternal God. Does anyone know what talent Great God Haotian has awakened? As soon as this question came out, the public chat channel suddenly stagnated. It seems that everyone is thinking about this question. Yes, what talent did Great God Haotian awaken? It seems that no one has thought about this question. Or maybe they thought about it before, but there was no answer, so they ignored this question later. According to the records of the Awakener Association, God Haotian is a dual talented Awakener, one with SS level supernatural power auxiliary skill, and the other with C level melee martial arts talent skill. Brother upstairs, you are talking nonsense. I am talking about the records of the Awakener Association. No one knows the specific facts. I am afraid that only God Haotian himself knows. Yes, God Haotian has made moves in public several times and his talents and skills are extraordinary. It can be seen that he has auxiliary, supernatural, and martial arts skills. Is there a possibility that God Haotian has awakened many talents and skills? Brother, it is not possible, but certain. It is unlikely. How can a person really awaken so many talents? Then why can God Haotian use so many talents and skills? Is there a possibility that God Haotian has awakened a very magical talent that can simulate other talents and learn various talents and skills? This guess has something. Everyone began to think about it and felt that this guess was still very reliable. Congratulations to the Awakener Haotian, you killed 10 SS level beasts, passed the second level of the purgatory level of the Tower of Babel, and were rewarded with 2 million reincarnation points and a precious item SS level Tianjin staff. Congratulations to the Awakener Haotian, you killed 10 SS level beasts, passed the second level of the purgatory level of the Tower of Babel, and were rewarded with 2 million reincarnation points and a high level SS level Tianjin staff. At this moment, another world announcement suddenly sounded, catching everyone off guard. Although they had already overestimated Yi Xiao Tian. But at this moment, they realized that they still underestimated the ability of the great god Haotian. How long has it been? The second level has been passed. In addition to 2 million points, there is also an SS level Tianjin staff. Although the value of the Tianjin staff cannot be compared with the talent spirit liquid, it is also very expensive. And the 2 million reincarnation points, they are even more jealous. In just 10 minutes, he made a net profit of 2, 8 million reincarnation points. Who can he complain to? This is the reincarnation points they will never earn in their lifetime. He did it in 10 minutes. The whole school of Magic City University was boiling. Villa area. No one from the Haotian team entered the reincarnation world, so they didn't know what happened. Han Xuyao was pulling Lu Yun and Sun Yao to study cooking. Mu Bingyan was bored alone, so she also joined in. She swore that she definitely didn't really want to learn cooking, she just felt bored. Several boys were playing landlord. It's not that they didn't work hard, it's just that Yi Xiao Tian gave them too much, and they need to digest it well. At this moment, there was a noisy sound outside. Huang Jie put the cards on the table and said, What happened? Why is it so noisy outside? Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu were both confused. Wang Hao, who didn't participate in the game, stood up and said, You play your cards, I'll go out and take a look. Chapter 438. Soon, Wang Hao came back. Brother Hao, what's going on? What happened outside? Huang Jia asked immediately when he saw him coming in. Wang Hao said with a confused face, It is said that Brother Tian got some good things in Tong Tian Road. They are all here to inquire about the news. The three landlord poker players suddenly lost interest and threw their cards away. What the hell? 
Brother Tian has only been in the world of reincarnation for a long time, and now he got something good? Is this too fast? But yes, Brother Tian is famous throughout the universe as a quick shooter. If Yi Xiao Tian knew that Huang Jia and the others dared to talk about him like this, they would definitely be miserable. By the way, did they say Brother Tian got something good? Xiao Qing asked calmly. Wang Haodao, it's said to be SS level gifted spiritual fluid, Brother Tian's reward for clearing the first floor of Tong Tian Tower. Then there was a sound of breathing. This shit is really perverted. It's just the first level, the rewards are so good, but if you go up, won't it be a huge change? I'm sorry, Brother Tian is awesome. It seems that we don't have to worry about our talent level promotion. Huang Jie said with a smile on his face. Yes, it is already an SS level talent liquid now, and there will definitely be SS level talent liquid later. No wonder those people outside are so excited. Peng Xiangyu also said. Xiao Qing said calmly, the commotion behind will definitely get louder and louder. We are still just students from our school, and there will definitely be more people involved in the future. Not only our Xia kingdom, rich and powerful people from other countries will definitely come over. After all, high-level gifted spiritual liquid has always been priceless, and the largest source cannot afford it. The probability of other sources is too low, so for them, this is a good opportunity. Huang Jie said, Do you think Brother Tian will sell it? Xiao Qing smiled and said, Why not sell it? With Brother Tian's ability, I'm afraid there is no shortage of high-level talent spiritual liquid. If you don't sell it, will you keep the cubs? Everyone thought, Yes, now on the first floor of Tong Tian Road, Yi Xiao Tian has already received the SS level talent spirit liquid reward. The rewards that follow are at least equal, or even better. No one knows how many floors the Tower of Babel has, but one guess is that it is 99. Generally, high level awakened people break through the normal difficulty level, and even those at the difficult level are very few. After all, it is already difficult to deal with one alien beast of the same level. To deal with two beasts at the same time is simply to seek abuse. Only a few extremely talented people can pass. As for the super god evaluation, it had never appeared before Yi Xiao Tian appeared. No one knew that Tong Tian Road actually had such awesome rewards. What's more, I just gave him the SS level talent liquid. Will there be SS level ones in the future? Then in the future, wouldn't everyone in the human race be able to become SS level talent awakeners? But smart people know that this is definitely impossible. After all, the Tower of Babel has a limited number of floors, and not every floor will reward talented spiritual liquid. Moreover, this was Yi Xiaotian's first pass, so the rewards were greatly increased. If you try again later, it will definitely be gone. But even so, Yi Xiaotian will definitely have no shortage of SS level and above talented spirit fluids in his hands in the future. If not now, then when? Take advantage of this opportunity to build a good relationship with the great god Houtian first, and it won't be too late to buy it later. This kind of thing is something that quick hands have but slow hands don't have. Therefore, if you have something to do, you should quickly inform your juniors at Magic City University and quickly find people from the Houtian team to build relationships. However, they did not enter the villa area and were directly stopped by the guards. If everyone can enter the villa area, then why do we need a villa area? However, the students in the villa area did not have this trouble. They gathered directly in front of the door of Villa No. They did not make trouble, but put forward their demands very politely. But now that Yi Xiao Tian is not here, Wang Hao came out and didn't say much. The real decision maker here should be Yi Xiao Tian's wife Han Shuyao. It's just that now she is learning cooking skills from Lu Yun and Sun Yao and she has no interest in dealing with these things. Wang Hao has a stupid mouth, and Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu also find it troublesome. So in the end this matter fell on Fatty Huang Jie. Huang Jie felt that the most glorious moment of his life had come. Everyone, please be quiet. I can't hear you clearly. Huang Jie stood on the steps of the gate and looked at his classmates on the road in front of the villa. Those who can live in the villa area are not simple people. At the very least, they are all in the top 50 on the school's most popular list. 
Moreover, these people each have their own teams, so including their teammates, the entire villa area only has 50 buildings. But the total number of student awakened people living there is at least several hundred. For example, Yi Xiaotian's villa no. One houses 10 members of the Houtian team. The other awakened team, if not 10 people, is composed of five or more. It's really spectacular to have so many people crowded together. Huang Jia has never spoken in front of so many people, and he still sticks to his words. As soon as he finished speaking, the scene fell silent. However, there was still a lot of movement coming from the entrance to the villa area. The students outside are still arguing with the villa area guards. But if the school doesn't say anything, the guards will never let anyone in. As for climbing over the wall, they do have the ability, but no one dares. If they are caught, they will be expelled directly. This is an iron rule, and no one can change it. Otherwise, people will come to visit the villa area every day. After everyone calmed down, Huang Jia continued, Everyone, Brother Tian is trying to break through the Tong Tian Road, and we don't know the specific situation. So I can't make any promises to everyone, but when Brother Tian comes back, I will tell him the situation. Classmate Huang Jia, we have a question to ask, will the rewards obtained by Haotian God for breaking through the Tong Tian Road be sold to the public? A classmate asked loudly. Huang Jia stretched out his hand to touch his forehead and said, I have just said that Brother Tian is still breaking through the Tong Tian Road. We don't know when he will come back. Whether the rewards he obtained will be sold to the public, we don't know either. Classmate Huang Jia, you are from the Haotian team, you must be friends of Haotian God, can you go into the reincarnation world to ask him, we will wait here. Another classmate said. Huang Jie didn't know what to say. This is indeed a good suggestion. But Brother Tian is currently trying to make his way to the sky. Is it really okay to disturb him now? However, he also knew that these people would not leave without getting an answer. He saw himself in these people. If he changed his identity, he would definitely be sent by the family to inquire about the news. Okay, I'll go ask Brother Tian. As for whether he has time to answer, I can't guarantee it. You guys just wait quietly. Chapter, 439 Just when Huang Jia entered the world of reincarnation and sent a message to Yi Xiao Tian, Yi Xiao Tian had already passed the third level of SS level Tong Tian Road Purgatory Difficulty. Earned 3, 5 million reincarnation points and no prop rewards. This also made Yi Xiao Tian understand that not every level has prop rewards. It all depends on luck. At this time, he received Huang Jie's message. After taking a look at it, he immediately replied, I'll talk about it after I've used it myself. You're crazy. You don't know anything right now, so you just want to buy the resources in his hands. You want to eat shit. He urgently needs these things now. Promising to the team members to help them strengthen their talent levels, I originally thought it would not be a difficult task. However, after walking around the alien battlefield, he realized that getting high-level talent spiritual liquid was not as simple as he imagined. Even the human base camp on the alien battlefield only has one bottle of S-level talent spirit liquid, let alone other places. This means Chang Xiaoxi is extremely lucky, otherwise she would be blind. Xian Yexi Ocean is not lacking, nor are the corpses of alien beasts, but what is lacking is the high-level talent spiritual liquid. These people are really stupid. They just released a bottle here and they are already here. Don't let go, or you will have to annoy them to death in the future. So he asked Huang Jie to refuse very simply. It will never be sold until there is no balance left. Huang Jie took this news and told his classmates outside the villa. Brother Tian replied, These resources will be used internally within the team first, and we will wait until there is a balance. Huang Jie did not say anything, lest these people say anything bad to Yi Xiao Tian again. When everyone heard it, they immediately knew what was going on. Who Yi Xiao Tian is, and the forces behind these people are all clear. While on the alien battlefield, Yi Xiao Tian bought a bottle of S-level talent liquid for his teammate Chang Xiaoxi. They knew Yi Xiao Tian's character very well, and they didn't care about gains and losses for their teammates. In other words, Yi Xiao Tian lacked everything but this kind of high-level resources. 
so people have to use it themselves first. When you no longer need it, you will consider selling it. As for face, you have to have that face first. At this stage, I am afraid that except for the five supreme beings, no one has that much respect in front of Yi Xiao Tian. This is a scarce high-level resource. Some people are already wondering whether they can ask the supreme power to come forward and persuade Yi Xiao Tian to sell a bottle of SS-level gifted spiritual liquid. As the saying goes, dragons give birth to dragons, phoenixes give birth to phoenixes, and mice give birth to sons who can dig holes. But obviously, accidents can happen at any time. Sometimes, it happens that a tiger father gives birth to a dog son. As the head of a big family, it would be very painful if there was no direct heir, right? So at this time, the role of high-level talent spiritual liquid is reflected. Raise a useless son into a genius son. This works. Don't you want to sell it? It doesn't matter, lay the emotional foundation first, and then you can sell it when the master's resources are left, right? This kind of thing is not positive, and you can't get anything hot even if you want to eat shit. Huan Jie sent the people outside the villa away and turned back. Han Xuyao and the others came out with food at this time. She asked Huang Jie, what's going on outside? Huang Jie explained it to her. Han Xuyao didn't take it seriously and said, come over quickly and try the food I cooked. Huang Jie and the others hesitated for a moment. This was the first time my sister-in-law had cooked. Can the fried food really be eaten? Won't he be poisoned to death? Of course, they did not dare to refuse directly. They moved to the restaurant with difficulty and sat down at the table. Looking at the dishes on the table, they look good. It smells pretty good too. It seems really good. It shouldn't be toxic. Han Xuyao introduced, this is fried under Lu Yun's supervision and guidance. It should be good. Let's try it. Huang Jie was immediately rude. With Lu Yun, a great master, supervising and giving guidance, no matter how bad he was, how could he be any worse? This is the sister-in-law. As long as she won't be poisoned to death, she has to give her face. Not to mention, this dish looks really good. At this time, Mu Binyan also came out with a plate, placed it on the table, and said coldly, I fried this, you can try it too. Looking at the unknown object on the plate, Huang Jie and the others felt their hearts skip a beat, and an unpleasant emotion surged into their hearts. They say cooking requires talent. This is indeed true. Han Xuyao seems to be the talented type. Under the guidance of cooking master Lu Yun, the first stir-fried dish was both delicious and delicious. But if you don't have talent, even if the national chef comes to give you personal guidance, it will be in vain. And Mu Binyan is the kind of person who has no talent. Under the personal guidance of Master Lu Yun, the vegetables were fried into a pile. But she has one advantage, that is, she is very courageous, and she actually brought it out for Huang Jia and others to taste. Sister Binyan, there's no need for this. I think it's better to pour it directly. Huang Jia said directly. Mu Binyan said with a cold face, I knew you were a superficial person who judged people by their appearance. Huang Jia was speechless and said, Sister, are you judging people by their appearance? See for yourself, is this thing edible? May I ask, what are you cooking? You will know after you have eaten it. Bad appearance does not mean bad taste. Mu Binyan definitely talked the most today. In order to clear her name, she also tried her best. Huang Jia looked at the other brothers, and Wang Hao hurriedly said, I will go to see if Xiao Xi needs help. Xiao Qing also hurriedly said, I will go to see if Sun Yao needs help. I will help Lu Yun with the dishes. Peng Xiangyu also hurriedly said. Huang Jia was the only one left among the four boys at the scene. He had run out of excuses. What could he do? Looking at Mu Binyan's cold eyes and the flashing electric light all over his body, Huang Jie knelt down very simply. It is better to be poisoned than electrocuted. Huang Jie took a bite with the mentality of heroic sacrifice. Fortunately, although he didn't know what it tasted like, at least it didn't look like it was poisonous. How is it? Mu Bingyan asked. It's edible. Huang Jie was very humble. 
Mu Bingyan said, then eat it all. Huang Jie. Sister, can you please stop teasing me? Although I am a little fat, I have no intention of losing weight. How can I swallow this plate? When I say edible, I mean I won't be poisoned to death. Sister, I am trying to lose weight recently, so I can't eat too much. Otherwise, let's wait for Brother Hao and the others to come out and eat together. Huang Jia suggested. Mu Bingyan thought about it and nodded, okay. Huang Jia was relieved. Brother Tian, you are so lucky. Why didn't I think of brushing the reincarnation copy? Food tasting is really deadly. Chapter, 440 On the fourth floor of the Tower of Babel, twenty SS level beasts appeared in front of Yi Xiao Tian. Seeing this, Yi Xiao Tian couldn't help but sigh. Sure enough, the difficulty of the purgatory level was not that simple. If he didn't have the supreme talent, he wouldn't even think about such a difficulty. He would die ugly. I don't know what awakening level of the Babel Road other SS level awakeners chose. Such a thought suddenly popped up in Yi Xiaotian's mind. As the great god Haotian, of course he directly chose the SS level awakening level Babel Road. This is also the highest difficulty he can choose at this level. But other awakeners are definitely not as awesome as him. Brushing the dungeon always starts from the easy one. It is easy to understand the comparison between your own strength and the dungeon. Like Yi Xiao Tian, there is no one who directly challenges the highest difficulty right from the start. In their opinion, Yi Xiao Tian's choice is definitely to seek death. But Yi Xiao Tian is enjoying it. 20 SS level beginner level beasts, in Yi Xiao Tian's eyes, are a bunch of rewards. Congratulations to the Awakener Hao Tian. You kill 20 SS level primary beasts, passed the fourth level of the purgatory level of the Tower of Tong Tian, and were rewarded with 5 million reincarnation points and precious props SS level gold armor. As the world announcement was refreshed three times in a row, the awakeners around the world who were online were numb. As if this news had been expected by them. Indeed, it was. After Yi Xiaotian's first super god announcement appeared, they knew that this time Haotian's world announcement would definitely be refreshed for a long time. What they are now guessing is how long Yi Xiaotian can refresh the screen. How many levels of Tong Tian Road can he pass at one time? At this time, those SS level awakeners of the human race who were practicing in seclusion in Tong Tian Road could not sit still. They all wanted to come out to Yi Xiaotian to learn from him. They have been in there for so many years, but the gains are not as big as Yi Xiaotian's half an hour. This is too depressing. So they all want to ask Yi Xiaotian how he did it. Even though Yi Xiaotian is the great god Haotian, with amazing combat power. But the gap shouldn't be so big, right? Well, interests move people's hearts. Even though they know that Yi Xiaotian's combat power is far superior to that of the same realm, they are still unwilling to give up. They want to know if Yi Xiao Tian has other means. Let them also benefit from it. So the Magic City University is even busier. Duemo and He Sure are both happy and sad. Duemo is busy greeting those big shots. And He Sure is busy with enrollment. Because of Yi Xiao Tian's existence, the successors of major forces and the geniuses who just appeared in the awakening ceremony all want to enter the Magic City University. If it were in the past, he sure's mouth would be so happy that it would crack. But now, he can't be happy. Everyone came for Yi Xiaotian's fame, of course he has no objection. But Nima, now because you want to trade with Yi Xiaotian, you also want to enter the Magic City University, which is a bit too much. What is our Magic City University? Is it the ladder for your trade? Moreover, he had a new understanding of Yi Xiaotian's ability to stir up trouble. It seemed that wherever Yi Xiaotian went, he could make a big noise. Yi Xiaotian's journey was accompanied by extraordinary things. Starting from the temporary training camp, things happened one after another, until he shined on the alien battlefield and directly beat the alien army back to the alien world. Originally, it was thought that Yi Xiaotian would be able to calm down for a while in the following time. Then the Ghost Island incident happened. The matter of Ghost Island had just subsided, and something happened again in the Pretty Alliance. During this period, the Xia Country Awakener Association was under tremendous pressure. 
As an organization under the Supreme Committee, the Awakener Association and the Magic City University were considered brother units. The Awakener Association did not dare to do anything to Yi Xiao Tian, but when it came to the Magic City University, it was not under any pressure. Then this kid went to the Tong Tian Road and made a big thing again. The awakening organizations and forces all over the world heard the news and gathered at the Magic City University. They had only one purpose, to find Yi Xiao Tian. Listening to the world announcements, the mouth-watering rewards, no organization could refuse. Forget about the reincarnation points, which cannot be bought or sold. Equipment can also be tolerated. After all, although SS-level equipment is also very rare, it can still be obtained by major forces. But the SS-level talent spirit liquid, talent skills and other resources. That is not something that can be bought with money. As Yi Xiaotian cleared higher and higher levels, the rewards he received became better and better. Even after clearing one level of the Tower of Babel, the reward of SS-level talent spirit liquid started to start at two bottles. And the reincarnation points can no longer be ignored. What are reincarnation points equal to? It is equal to omnipotence. Reincarnation points can be used to purchase any product in the reincarnation mall. The premise is that you have enough reincarnation points. Now Yi Xiaotian has enough reincarnation points. So even if there is no direct high-level prop reward, you can use points to buy it from the reincarnation mall. It can be said that Yi Xiaotian has attracted the interest of all awakened organizations and power transactions. Even the Awakened General Association of the United States can't sit still. They have always boasted that they are the most powerful and have the most abundant resources. They have always been the only ones who ask others to trade with them. When have they ever asked others to do so? Even the global freshman competition is controlled by them. But now, the appearance of Yi Xiaotian directly broke their monopoly on certain resources. As for the appearance of Yi Xiaotian's black dragon and electric eel in the coastal bay city of the United States, they did not care too much. The strength of the Awakener Association of the United States is not comparable to that of the Ghost Island. It is not an exaggeration to say that the Awakener Association of the United States completely crushes the Awakener Association of the Ghost Island. If it were just two SS-level sea beasts, they would not care too much. However, they still put pressure on the Awakener Association of the Xia country, hoping that they could restrain Yi Xiaotian's behavior. The dignity of the United States is inviolable. But when the news of Yi Xiaotian breaking into the Tower of Babel came out one after another, they had no intention of targeting Yi Xiaotian. Even if his pets are willing to play in the waters of the United States, let them play. As long as they don't invade the cities of the United States, it will be fine. No matter how big the matter is, we have to wait until the transaction with Yi Xiaotian is completed. The United States Awakeners Association sent a vice president with a large team to Xia country. Their purpose is very clear, to find Yi Xiaotian and complete a transaction with him. They believe that with the background of the United States, Yi Xiaotian will definitely be willing to make friends and trade with them. Chapter, 441 Congratulations to the Awakener Haotian, you killed 50 SS-level primary beasts, passed the 10th level of the purgatory level of the Tower of Babel, and were rewarded with 25 million reincarnation points and two precious items of SS-level talent spirit liquid. Congratulations to the Awakener Haotian, you killed 55 SS-level primary beasts, passed the 11th level of the purgatory level of the Tower of Babel, and were rewarded with 27, 5 million reincarnation points and one precious item of SS-level talent, spirit liquid. Fuck, did I hear it wrong? Is it really SS-level talent spirit liquid? Brother upstairs, you didn't hear it wrong, because I heard it too. Yes, if you suspect you heard it wrong, you can check the system public channel, there is a text announcement on it. When the world announcement of Yi Xiaotian's obtaining of the SS-level talent spirit liquid came out, no one could remain calm. A bottle of SS-level talent spirit liquid can create an SS-level talent awakener. And the success rate is still 100%. Before this, no one had ever received such a dungeon reward. When everyone thought that Yi Xiaotian could only get SS-level talent spirit liquid reward at most after breaking through the SS-level Tong Tian Road, Yi Xiaotian broke their cognition again. 
whether it was the reward of reincarnation points or the reward of props, their three views were shattered. A dungeon rewarded more than 10 million reincarnation points, which was too abnormal. At this time, Yi Xiao Tian had really reached the height of mass production of SS level talent awakeners. It is no wonder that the vice president of the Awakener General Association of the United States personally came out. Kyoto, the headquarters of the Awakener Association of Xiao. Wu Dingxiong personally received Jones, the vice president of the United States, and his party. Welcome President Jones. Wu Dingxiong shook hands with Jones very politely, and then invited him to sit down. Jones is a very stylish middle-aged man with a beard and a big back hair. After shaking hands with Wu Dingxiong, he said very gentlemanly, Thank you, President Wu. After both parties sat down, Wu Dingxiong and Jones first recalled the style of the past. Both of them are now in high positions, but decades ago, they were also ordinary awakened geniuses, and they had fought their way all the way. They met at the Global Awakener Freshman Arena competition. Decades have passed, and both of them have become high-level officials in the two countries. One is the president of the Awakener Association of Xia Country, and the other is the vice president of the Awakener General Association of the United States. They can both be said to have grown into big bosses. They have also fought side by side on the battlefield of foreign races. After reminiscing about the past and recalling the glorious years of the past, Jones got to the point. President Wu, I believe you also know the purpose of my visit. I would like to ask President Wu to introduce Mr. Haokin. Jones said so. Wu Dingxiong certainly knew the purpose of Jones's visit, but he didn't want to get involved in the matter. Yi Xiaotian's character is too unpredictable. He is young and energetic. If he is not careful, he will be a nobody. However, it is okay to simply introduce him to someone. He has received many such requests, but Jones is the fastest. Mr. Jones, to be honest, I don't have much friendship with Mr. Houtian. It's okay to simply introduce you to him. I can't do anything else. Wu Dingxiong said. Jones hesitated for a moment and realized that what Wu Dingxiong said was also true. He also knew very well what kind of character Yi Xiaotian had. After all, the Awakener Association of the United States has collected a lot of information about him. If there is a country in the world that has studied Yi Xiaotian the most, it is undoubtedly the United States. Thinking of the two SS-level black dragons and electric eels that are still wreaking havoc in the waters near the United States, Jones also smiled bitterly. This Mr. Haokian is really straightforward. No matter what you say, I will still do what I want to do. I don't care about public opinion at all. In this Ghost Island incident, Ghost Island Country and the Pretty Alliance threw a lot of dirty water on Yi Xiaotian. If it were any other awakener, they would have collapsed long ago. Or been useless. But what about Yi Xiaotian? He didn't care at all, and just went hard. He only sent out three SS-level spirit pets to force Ghost Island Country to kneel. Now it's their pretty country's turn. Although it doesn't pose a threat to pretty country now. But Joan's intuition told him that it would be very difficult for him to complete the task. They offended Yi Xiaotian first, and this little guy has always been vindictive. That's why he came to visit Wu Dingxiong first, hoping that Wu Dingxiong could help. I hope Yi Xiaotian can let go of his previous prejudice. But now it seems that this road doesn't seem to work. If that's the case, then he should have made other plans earlier. Question, how to calm Mr. Houtian's anger. Vice President Jones thought about it and decided to find director he sure of the Magic City Awakener University. It is said that he has the best relationship with Yi Xiaotian. From the beginning of recruiting Yi Xiaotian, he was optimistic about Yi Xiaotian and paid a great price to bring Yi Xiaotian to Magic City University. It is said that before Yi Xiaotian's rise, he sure was ridiculed by many people, saying that he broke the rules for an unpredictable genius. But after Yi Xiaotian rose to prominence, everyone's attitude changed again, and they all praised Yi Xiaotian. They said that he had a keen eye for talent and brought a super genius to Magic City University. Now it seems that compared with the resources Magic City University paid, what Yi Xiaotian brought to Magic City University is simply too much. Not to mention the corpses of the high-level beasts killed by Yi Xiaotian, 
Now Yi Shao Tian brought out various high-level resources from the Tower of Babel, I think Magic City University will be the first to benefit. The other three famous universities can be said to be regretful. Unfortunately, there is no regret medicine in this world. The past is the past. Now that Magic City University has completely risen because of Yi Shao Tian, the awakened University of Xia Country will probably go from the four famous universities to the situation of one super three. The super famous school Magic City University, the three famous schools Kyoto University, Qingshui University, and Jiangnan University. Yi Xiaotian's rise is unstoppable, so the promotion of Magic City University is also unstoppable. As a senior official of the United States, Jones naturally did not want to see such a situation. After all, the United States only had super prestigious schools before. This was a super business card for them to attract talents from other countries to join the United States. But now, Xia Country is about to have such a business card. And with the support of Yi Xiaotian, the Magic City University is definitely more attractive than the super prestigious schools in the United States. This is something that no one in the United States wants to see. Otherwise, they would not agree to the plan of the Ghost Island country to discredit Yi Xiaotian. Who would have thought that Yi Xiaotian was such a monster at the plan that had worked every time before was completely useless to him? Now it has set up a barrier for themselves. Chapter 442 The SS level talent spirit fluid has been rewarded. In other words, Yi Xiaotian no longer needs the SS level talent spirit fluid and can sell it. The aristocratic family was boiling again. Yi Xiaotian doesn't need the SS level talent liquid, but they do. You must know that if a person with an awakened talent lower than the SS level consumes the SS level talent spirit fluid, it will 100% promote him to a SS level talent awakening person. And there is still a chance to be promoted to SS level talent awakener. How could they not be tempted by such a good thing? Chang Xiaosi was able to be promoted to SS level talent awakener with a bottle of S level talent liquid. They still don't believe it. They can't be promoted even if they take SS level talent liquid. Even if you can't be promoted to SS level talent, it's enough to have a guaranteed SS level talent. No matter from which aspect, this must be fought for. Otherwise, other people's strength will be greatly improved, but you can only stay where you are. How will you be competitive in the future? Strength is power, and power is equal to resources. Only with strength can we have resources. Only with resources can we cultivate a steady stream of talents. This is the reason for a long-lasting power. Why is the beautiful country the most powerful in the world? It is because they are the first country to have the most powerful person, so they took the first bite of meat. Moreover, he was very full and fed very fat. By the time other countries emerged with supreme power, the beautiful alliance had already been established, and among the five supreme beings, the beautiful alliance had won the second place. The other three are fighting on their own. So speaking of it, the beautiful country is still the most powerful. Resources are allocated according to strength. A beautiful state-owned super prestigious school with the most resources and the most talents. One step ahead, every step ahead. By the time other countries react, the beautiful alliance has become a reality. Then the status of the beautiful country as a superpower has remained until now, and other countries can only follow behind. It's just that the beautiful country occupies the beautiful alliance, has the most resources and the most talents, and has two supreme powerhouses sitting there. Who can match it? The rule set by the supreme experts is that competition is allowed and is within the rules of the game. Whoever dares to break the rules of the game will die. But now because of the appearance of Yi Xiaotian, this pattern seems to be broken. The situation where the beautiful country is dominated by one family is about to change. People from the Yanhuang Alliance, people from the Beautiful Alliance, people from the Bear Country, and people from the Yama Alliance all came. Wu Dingxiong was in pain and happiness. Those who came from the top powers would naturally come to visit Wu Dingxiong first, hoping that he could get acquainted with Yi Xiaotian. This is better than them just rushing over, right? Yi Xiaotian knows who you are. According to Yi Xiaotian's temper, he would really blast people out directly. With Wu Dingxiong pulling the strings, it would be different. 
Yi Xiaotian could not give them face, but why not even Wu Dingxiong, his own family member? Wu Dingxiong could only smile bitterly in his heart. People really don't give me face. He had already experienced Yi Xiaotian's temper during the last incident in Gui Dao country. It's just that with so many big guys coming, he definitely can't refuse them directly. Therefore, he could only reluctantly agree to introduce it on his behalf. As for the final result, he would not make any promises. If Wu Dingxiong is just a hard worker, then Du Mo and He Shi from Moda University are almost idiots. Compared with the people who visited Wu Dingxiong, the people who came to Moda University were like Christian carp crossing the river. They were about to collapse. The place where they talked was changed directly from the principal's office to the school's large conference room. Then there was no room for seating in the large conference room, so we had to move to the school auditorium. That's how it can be accommodated. However, he sure estimates that tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, this auditorium will not be able to seat any more people. This is the first day. Are these people crazy? In this current situation, not even a day has passed, and everyone has already gathered at Magic City University. When did Xiaogua's transportation become so awesome? Family heads, I really didn't lie. I really can't contact classmate Yi Xiaotian. In the entire Magic City University, only the people from Haokian team are his reincarnation friends. Oh, and a deacon from the Awakened Association is his friend. I keep adding him as a friend, but he just doesn't pass. What can I do? Speaking of this matter, he sure had a look of resentment on his face. I don't know if Yi Xiaotian did it on purpose. It has been so long and his friend application has not been approved yet. It's better now, this has become the reason for him to reject these talkative people from aristocratic families. Director He, isn't Mr. Ye's wife still at school? Why don't you introduce her to us? One of the clan leaders said. Yes, Director He, it's really not easy for us to come all the way here. Another clan leader also said. There were still some blood stains on their bodies. Obviously, these people came all the way. It can be seen how fast they move and how determined they are. He sure said, it's useless even if I introduce you to classmate Yi Xiaotian's wife. She can't make the decision. Otherwise, you should stay in Shanghai first, and I will contact him after classmate Yi Xiaotian comes back. He definitely couldn't bring these bastards directly to the door, otherwise Yi Xiaotian would definitely not look good on him in the future. But these clan leaders were not willing to do that. They paid a certain price and rushed to the Magic City University in the shortest time just to see Yi Xiaotian first. If they stayed here, who knows how many people would come tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. I heard that even the top leaders of the Awakener Association of the United States have already arrived in Xia country. This is really fast. I am really envious. It is said that these guys came directly on high-level flying beasts. This thing, I am afraid only the supreme strong can capture and tame it into a spiritual pet. So envious, they don't have such a spiritual pet. Even if they have it, they dare not use it. The sky is a forbidden area for humans. At least at this stage. Although awakeners above S level and wind type psychics who have learned flying skills can fly. But how can they compare with flying beasts in the air? Flying is very energy consuming. Fighting with the enemy in the air immediately reduces the combat effectiveness. So far, the sky is still a forbidden area for human awakeners. The speed and efficiency of air travel is several times, or even dozens of times, that of land travel. How can they not be envious and jealous? They can get to the magic city so quickly, just because they are close to the magic city. If they don't seize this opportunity, they may really have nothing to do later. Director He, we want to contact Mr. Yi as soon as possible. Please help us think of a way. If you have any requests, just let us know. A clan leader said. Chapter, 443. He sure looked calm and said, I can't make the decision on this matter. Sorry, I can't do anything. He directly rejected the request of these people. Although such a refusal might offend these people, he sure had no choice but to do so. Because they didn't want to offend Yi Xiaotian. Compared with Yi Xiaotian, these people together are not good enough. 
What's more, there is still a need for trade between Moda University and Yixiaotian. These people came to compete with them for resources, how could they do such a thing of eating from the inside out? Those clan leaders and family heads were helpless about this, what else could they say? This is the territory of Moda University. He sure rejected their request, so how dare they take action? Now the whole world is saying that Director He is Yi Xiaotian's mentor. With this identity, as long as Director He doesn't betray the human race, no one dares to touch him. Because he has Yi Xiaotian behind him. And behind Yi Xiaotian is Lord Sword God. So He Shu's backer is Lord Sword God. Who dares to touch him? So these clan leaders and family heads had to leave the Magic City University first and live nearby. In any case, they came first and could live closer to the Magic City University. Those who came later naturally had to line up at the back. And they were also trying to find a way to see if they could meet Han Shuyao or other members of the Haotian team. But now everyone in the Haotian team knows that the outside world is in such a mess, so they don't want to go out and cause trouble. They don't even go out of the villa gate. Even the food can only be sent by Director He. He sure was also drunk. He was the newly promoted vice president of the Magic City University in charge of the admissions office and the teaching department, but he actually became an errand boy. But this matter seems to be something that only he can do personally. Brothers, has anyone counted how many reincarnation points and high-level props rewards Hao Tian has obtained in the past few days? Someone raised this question on the public chat channel of the reincarnation world. I don't know, is there anyone downstairs who knows? Please upload the data. Downstairs, upload the data. Keep the formation. The people upstairs are really bad. I did a simple statistics. From yesterday to now, except for the rest time, Haotian has entered a total of 22 levels of Tongtian Road. The reincarnation points he has obtained have exceeded 1 billion, which means that he can afford the most expensive treasures in the reincarnation mall. Also, there are almost 20 bottles of SS level talent spirit liquid, 2 bottles of SS level talent spirit liquid, and a number of other props and equipment above SS level. As soon as this data came out, the excitement boiled again. More than 1 billion reincarnation points can buy the most expensive treasures in the reincarnation mall. They quickly called up the reincarnation mall and checked the most expensive treasures. God Killing Axe, requires 1 billion points. Chaos Bell, requires 1 billion points. Tai Chi Diagram, requires 1 billion points. Hangu Banner, requires 1 billion points. Sun Shooting Bao, requires 500 million points. Taishu Divine Armor, requires 500 million points. Demon Damaging Whip, requires 500 million points. Sure enough, the most expensive treasure in the Samsara Mall requires 1 billion points, followed by 500 million. And whether it is 1 billion or 500 million treasures, they are all heaven-defying. For example, the attack treasure God Killing Axe, even if an F-level Awakener holds it in his hand, can break the defense of the Supreme Strong. The premise is that you can attack the opponent. For example, the defense treasure Taishu Divine Armor, when worn on the body, even the attack of the Supreme Strong cannot destroy the defense of the armor. That is, as long as you wear this armor, even if you stand there and let the enemy attack, you can't hurt you at all. Unless the opponent's attack can penetrate the defense of the armor and act directly on you. Everyone was stunned. If this continues, Yi Xiaotian will have all the attack and defense treasures ready. By then, he will be able to kill any god who stands in his way. However, after Haotian God passed the 22nd level of the SS level Tong Tian Road, he has rested for several hours, and there is no world announcement yet. There are two possibilities. Either there is no super god who passed the Tong Tian Road later, or Haotian God failed to pass the level. This speculation also caused a huge response. Yi Xiaotian did fail to pass the level, but he did not die. It was really that the beasts in the 23rd level were too special, and they were all SS level flying beasts. He couldn't beat these beasts, and the beasts couldn't do anything to him, so they were in a stalemate. In the end, Yi Xiaotian gave up continuing to pass the level. He felt that he still had to get more flying attack methods, otherwise he would not be able to pass the level of flying beasts. 
SS level flying beasts fly as fast as lightning. Yi Xiao Tian couldn't catch up with them, and his flying talent skill grade was too poor. His flying talent skill eagle soaring was only A level, and there was no chance for air combat later, so he never strengthened this talent skill. As a result, when he faced more than a hundred SS level flying beasts, he could only watch and had no way to deal with them. At the beginning, because the flying beasts took the initiative, he took the opportunity to kill a few of them, and then these flying beasts did not approach him at all. They could not do anything to Yi Xiao Tian, and Yi Xiao Tian could not do anything to them. After the two sides confronted each other for several hours, Yi Xiao Tian decisively gave up. It is better to strengthen the flying talent skill first. As long as the flying speed can catch up with these flying beasts, one knife can kill one of them. The world's martial arts can only be broken by speed. You can't even touch the corner of their clothes, let alone attack. Yi Xiaotian's attack on land may catch up. But in the air, it is really too different. Yi Xiaotian speculated that the talent grade of these flying beasts is at least SS level, and there are even SS level. He just came out of the reincarnation world and planned to start strengthening the flying talent skill. There is not so much life essence, so he can only use the talent spirit liquid. Although it is a bit regrettable, compared with the gains of the Tong Tian Road, it is not worth mentioning. But before he could make any move, he was pulled over by Huang Jia and his team. Then he told him what happened during his time in Tong Tian Road. Brother Tian, Vice President he is going crazy. Now all the big forces and big families from all over the world have sent people to trade your high-level resources with you. Huang Jia said so. Yi Xiao Tian didn't expect that so many things would happen in just one day. No sale. Yi Xiao Tian said very straightforwardly. With these talent spirit liquids, in addition to strengthening the talent grades of his teammates, of course he also has his own. He has so many talents that need to be strengthened, and the demand for talent spirit liquid is still very large. In the past, he could use life essence, but now it seems that it may be more reliable to use talent spirit liquid. Chapter, 44 Brother Tian, it's going crazy outside. The school can't hold on anymore. I'm just waiting for you to come back. If you do this, the school will collapse. Huang Jia said. Yi Xiao Tian rolled his eyes and said, what does that have to do with me? Huang Jia said, Brother Tian, don't say that. After all, we are students of Shanghai University of Magic and we should make some contributions to the school. Yi Xiao Tian said, It's not like I haven't made contributions to the school. Don't you know how many corpses of high level alien beast awakeners I have provided them? The corpse of a high level alien beast was covered in treasures. Every corpse of a high-level alien beast awakener is worth a sky-high price. In addition to studying the weaknesses of the awakened alien beasts, the artificially synthesized natural spiritual liquid requires the use of parts from the awakened alien beasts. There are also high-end equipment that also require parts from exotic beasts. There are other man-made treasures that require corresponding levels of awakened alien beast corpse parts. Why is the probability of artificial production of various resources low, and why are high-end resources in short supply? It is because of the lack of corpses of high-level alien beast awakeners. Without the ingredients, even if the god of cookery came down to earth, there would be no way to cook. As one of the four prestigious universities, Shanghai University of Finance and Economics, part of the school's responsibilities is various scientific research tasks. Scientific research requires a variety of materials. The corpses of high-level alien beast awakeners are the most in short supply. It can be said that the corpses of high-level awakened people provided by Yi Xiaotian over the past year will allow the University of Magic to not have to worry about not having enough for the next 10 years. After all, each corpse of a high-level alien beast awakener is as big as a hill and can be used for a long time. Huang Jia said, Brother Tian, this is different. You got too many good things this time, and the school is under a lot of pressure. If you don't agree to the transaction, the outside world will definitely think that it was ordered by the school. Do I still need the school's guidance? I decide my own things by myself. If you have the ability, come to me. Yi Xiaotian said nonchalantly. Huang Jia said helplessly, 
of course they don't dare to target you, so they can only target the school. Yi Xiaotian was speechless, what the hell is this? This is reality. Huang Jia added. Yi Xiaotian thought about it for a while and then said, Okay, I will discuss this matter with Lao He. There is no need to think about the SS level talent spirit liquid. However, the SS level talent spirit liquid and equipment can be traded out. Brother Tian, can we trade internally first? Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu took the opportunity to say. Yi Xiaotian stared, good guy, waiting for him here. He looked at Huang Jia again. Huang Jia quickly raised his hand and said, Brother Tian, I didn't say that. Although my family asked me to ask what you mean, I have already rejected them. He had persuaded Yi Xiaotian so much just now, but he didn't want Yi Xiaotian to misunderstand that it was because they wanted it, so they took the school as an issue. Yi Xiaotian withdrew his gaze and said, Okay, I know what you mean. By the way, where are Xu Yao and the others? In the kitchen, I said I should seize the time to study cooking skills. I won't have such a good opportunity in the future. Wang Hao explained. Yi Xiaotian didn't care. He took out his mobile phone and called He Shi and asked him to come over. It's troublesome when he goes out, but it's easier when he comes in. Seeing that he was finally back, He Shi breathed a sigh of relief, said nothing to the principal, and then went straight to Yi Xiaotian. Vice Principal He, you're not in the villa area, are you? Huang Jie saw He Shi's arrival, it was too fast, was it two minutes? Didn't it mean that Vice Principal He is very busy now? Why do you still have time to squat in the villa area? He sure said with a speechless face, Okay, don't be poor, I have something to do with Xiao Tian, where is he? Huang Jia pointed to the big villa behind and said, Brother Tian is reading messages inside. Hearing the words, he didn't care about anything. Director He, here you are, sit down quickly. Yi Xiaotian saw he came in and quickly greeted him and sat down. Sorry, I don't dare to go out during this special period, so I can only invite you over. Yi Xiaotian said with an apologetic look. He sure said helplessly, Okay, I know what the situation is now, and I don't want you to appear in public now, otherwise we will really have no peace. Yi Xiaotian said, Director He, I asked you to come here just to ask what the situation is now. I heard Fatty Huang say something before, but it was not very specific. He sure smiled bitterly and said, The current situation is that all the powerful people in the world have come to the Magic City. Now the Magic City can't even stay in hotels, and many people are even sleeping outside the city. It's not that exaggerated, is it? When the others heard this, they immediately exclaimed. It is entirely possible to say that the hotel cannot accommodate you, but to say that you can sleep outside the city is a bit exaggerated. He sure shook his head and said, it's not an exaggeration at all. In fact, for many people, there is not much difference between sleeping outdoors in the city and sleeping outdoors. When everyone heard this, they immediately breathed a sigh of relief. As long as the city is not crowded with people, it will be fine. He sure added, the city is already very crowded, so activities outside the city can be somewhat freer. If the news of Yi Xiaotian's return is announced and people from outside the city come in, the city will definitely be in chaos. It doesn't look like lying, but everyone still doesn't dare to believe it. If you don't want to be so exaggerated, the Demon City Base City is the second largest city in Xia Kingdom and can accommodate 30 million people. Adding streets and the like, this number can be doubled. In other words, in just one day, tens of millions of people from all over the world have flocked in. This is too exaggerated. He sure said, don't doubt it. These awakened forces are all families, and it is normal for the population to surge. And this situation is still continuing. In two days, it is estimated that the population of the magic city will exceed 100 million. Even Yi Xiaotian's scalp is numb now. The magic city base city is large, but if it really squeezes 100 million people, it is estimated that it will be a waste of effort to travel on the streets. Okay, Director He, help me spread the word, I will take out some treasures for trading, but the quantity is limited, and everything goes to the highest bidder. Also, I don't accept money transactions. Let them prepare treasures of the same value. Yi Xiaotian said so, 
and he had better send these people away quickly, otherwise once these people rushed into the school, he really had no good way. He sure breathed a sigh of relief and said, this is as it should be. For high-level resources, barter is the right thing to do. Do you have any special requirements? Yi Xiaotian said, no, as long as the value is equal, I believe you are more professional than us in this regard. He sure said, don't worry, the school will help you with this. Chapter, 445 In fact, most of the people who came to the magic city this time were here to watch the fun. After all, the treasures in Yi Xiaotian's hands were at least SS level. You can imagine how expensive this level of treasure is. They knew there was no chance, but they still wanted to come and watch the fun. When Yi Xiaotian's request came out from the Magic City University, they didn't have much fluctuation in their hearts. It was just a pity that it was almost the same as they guessed. Now, the last bit of luck is gone. But it doesn't matter if they can't participate, at least they can still watch the fun. There are too many awakened people coming to the Magic City this time, from all over the world. With all the good and bad people, anything can happen. The Magic City city guards are almost going crazy these two days. The prison of the city guard is almost full. Many awakened people have bad tempers and will fight if they disagree. According to regulations, fighting is not allowed in the city, unless it is in a designated area. Moreover, during this period, the population of the Magic City has skyrocketed, and various frictions are naturally inevitable. So there are thousands of fights a day. The whole city is in pain and joy. With so many people coming in, they can provide food, clothing, housing and transportation, which brings huge income to the city. But it is also a huge challenge to the management of the city. Recently, many awakened people hope to see the scene of the transaction. Whether they are from Xia or other countries, they all hope to be able to live broadcast online. The so-called online live broadcast is to put the transaction site in the dedicated auction house of the reincarnation world. But in this way, you need to pay the venue rental. What the reincarnation world collects is not the money of the real world, but the reincarnation points. Yi Xiaotian now has more than 1 billion reincarnation points, but who would do something without benefits? But he sure gave him a suggestion, to charge admission. The auction house of the reincarnation world can be infinitely large. At that time, no matter how many people come in, they can see the auction scene up close. Charge per person. Although the reincarnation world has to take a commission, at least it can get 90% of the ticket revenue. And this world-renowned auction is destined to create a new record of the number of viewers. So the income must be greater than the cost. He sure said that the school can use it with Yi Xiaotian, they will pay the expenses and share the profits. Yi Xiaotian doesn't have to worry about anything, just wait to collect the money. Yi Xiaotian thought about it and it didn't seem to be a bad thing, so he entrusted He Shi with this matter. Huang Jie, Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu all envied He Shi for having Magic City University. The family behind them could also use this kind of thing. Not to mention the ticket revenue, the connections that can be pulled up through this matter alone are a big profit. As for Yi Xiaotian, he didn't care about these at all. It's really annoying to compare people. Speaking of which, holding this auction in the reincarnation world, there is no need to worry about the venue layout. What the school needs to do is actually publicity. Publicize in the real world and in the reincarnation world. This requires a lot of manpower. So Huang Jia and Xiao Cheng called their families and asked them to contact the school to see if they could cooperate together. They didn't bother Yi Xiaotian with this matter. On the third day after Yi Xiaotian returned, he called everyone together. Then he said, I have something to discuss with you and see what you think. I gained a lot from this journey to Tongtian Road. At the beginning, I was going to strengthen your talent level to SS level. But after I was rewarded with SS level talent spirit liquid, I changed my mind. I decided to do it in one step. The problem now is that there is not enough SS level talent spirit liquid. I only rewarded two bottles, and I have to keep one of them for myself. So now there is a quota for promotion to SS level talent. Who will go first? The atmosphere at the scene was quiet at first, and then Huang Jie was the first to speak, saying, otherwise, 
Brother Tian, you can use these two bottles of talent spirit liquid first. We are not in a hurry. He knew very well that Yi Xiao Tian would get more and more SS level talent spirit liquid in the future. So there is no need to rush at all. Tong Tian Road is really Tong Tian Road. Directly reach the sky in one step. Only when Yi Xiao Tian is stronger can he gain more. Yes, Brother Tian, you keep it for yourself first. Anyway, we are not in a hurry now, so we are in a hurry for you first. When you become stronger, you can break through a few more levels of Tong Tian Road, and our talent spirit liquid will come. Xiao Qing also said so. Others also said that what Huang Pangzi and Xiao Qing said made sense. Yi Xiao Tian waved his hand and said, I have thought about it. I will leave one bottle for you. Then give it to the sister-in-law first. Huang Jia was still the first to suggest. Since Yi Xiao Tian has already planned it, there is no need for them to say more, just listen. In the team, the lowest talent grade is also S level. Except for Chang Xiaoxi, the son of luck, who has SS level talent, Xiao Cheng, Ping Xiangyu and Lu Yun are all SS level talents. The rest of the people are S level talents. S level talents are given priority, and Han Xuyao is Yi Xiaotian's wife, so she is naturally the first choice. Han Xuyao said, No, I can come later, you guys go first. She is Yi Xiaotian's wife, so she won't have to worry about lacking SS level talent spirit liquid in the future. Let's do it according to the needs of the team. We will strengthen the talent of the team that will benefit the team the most first. Han Xuyao added. Yi Xiao Tian was very satisfied with Han Xuyao's attitude. As the eldest sister in law of the team, she had such a broad mind, which was very good. He liked it very much. It was just that the benefits that Han Xuyao promised him in the sea before seemed to have not been fulfilled yet, and he didn't know what they were. I don't know if he has forgotten it. I think our team's attack and defense capabilities are already very good, and we have Brother Tian as the auxiliary, so there is no need to worry at all. The first thing to strengthen should be life saving. Yes, I think so too. As long as you are alive, everything will be easy. You two are really timid but it is necessary to improve the rescue capabilities of the entire team as soon as possible. Peng Xiangyu's words directly angered Huang Jia and Xiao Cheng, who were analyzing in front. The two of them pressed Peng Xiangyu and beat him hard. Then everyone agreed that strengthening the rescue capabilities of the team as soon as possible was the wisest choice. Sun Yao was a little flattered. This is SS level talent spirit liquid, and she was the first one to use it. This is not like Chang Xiaoxi's time, where she needed to rely on luck. This is the talent spirit liquid that has 100% enhanced the talent grade to SS level. If it is put outside, it can definitely be sold at a sky-high price. It's definitely a pig brain that has been beaten into a dog brain. When it came to them, everyone unanimously pushed it to her head. She was so touched. Chapter, 446 in the next few days, whether it was the real media, the public channels of the samsara world, or the big screens of the samsara squares of various countries, they were all dominated and flooded with advertisements for the auction. Even ordinary people knew that there would be a century auction held in the samsara world auction house in a few days. 90% of the awakened said that they must go and have a look. Even if they couldn't buy high-level treasures, they could still gain knowledge. He sure was so happy that his mouth was almost unable to close. Of course, the three major families that cooperated with the Magic City University were even happier. After all, the income of the Magic City University belongs to the school, but the income of the three major families belongs to their families. Yi Xiao Tian had already taken the SS level talent spirit liquid. Originally, Yi Xiao Tian wanted to specify a talent grade to be promoted to the SS level. But after he took the talent spirit liquid, he found that there was no option to specify this. This was the first time he took this thing. Yi Xiao Tian was a little confused. He originally wanted to strengthen his flying talent so that he could continue to break through the road to heaven. But now it seems that he can only rely on luck. He has dozens of talents, except for the supreme innate talent and the SS level water god borrowing method. The other talents are from A to SS. 
In other words, all these talents are possible. There is little hope to choose the flying talent eagle soaring. Yi Xiao Tian regretted it. But it is useless to regret it now. When the medicine power was completely exhausted, Yi Xiao Tian quickly opened his attribute panel. When he saw the talent column, he was completely confused. In the talent column, except for the supreme innate talent infinite growth, the other nearly 30 talents were all followed by the SS level logo. This is a bottle of SS level talent spirit liquid, which strengthened all his talents to SS level. No one told him about this. Looking at the SS level talents, Yi Xiao Tian felt that he had one. This is so damn precious. Is the SS level talent spirit liquid so precious? It is worth more than 100 million points in the Samsara Mall. This wave of profit is huge. This matter needs to be inquired, whether such a thing has happened before. With this strengthening, Yi Xiaotian's strength has soared again. He feels that he can beat at least 10 of his previous selves now. When he came out, Sun Yao and the others were already waiting. Brother Tian, what took you so long? Sun Yao has been out for a long time. Han Xu Yao saw Yi Xiao Tian and hurriedly asked him to come over and sit down. Yi Xiao Tian asked Sun Yao, Sun Yao, how are you? Sun Yao smiled and said, Brother Tian, I feel very good now, better than ever before. And my talent skills have also evolved, with the effects of resurrection and white bones. Yi Xiao Tian expressed his congratulations. In this way, the combat effectiveness of their team has been improved by several levels. What does resurrection and white bones mean? As long as the dead are just dead, they can be saved. No matter how serious the injury is, it can be cured. This is equivalent to giving everyone an extra life. SS level healing talent skills, so terrifying. However, when Yi Xiao Tian thought of his two healing talents, it was not surprising. Brother Tian, how are you? Sun Yao asked. Yi Xiao Tian said, I'm fine. By the way, fatty, let me ask you something. Does this talent spirit liquid strengthen all talents? Huang Jie said, yes, brother Tian, don't you know? Yi Xiao Tian said, I don't know. Huang Jie said, by the way, brother Tian, you are a multi-talent awakener, so the strengthening time must be longer than Sun Yao, but this is too long, right? Speaking of it, Huang Jie was a little skeptical about life. Sun Yao came out in just half an hour, but Yi Xiao Tian took more than 10 hours. If we only count the time, then Yi Xiao Tian's number of talents is not dozens of times that of Sun Yao. Is it so exaggerated? They prefer to believe that Yi Xiao Tian was delayed because of other things. Thinking of this possibility, Huang Jie and the others breathed a sigh of relief. It must be like this. It is definitely not because of strengthening talents that it takes so much time. Everyone guessed in their hearts. Yi Xiao Tian was too lazy to explain. Some things cannot be explained too clearly. Are you going to the auction? Yi Xiao Tian changed the subject. Of course. As expected, as soon as this topic came out, everyone's attention was completely diverted. Huang Jie was the first to say that he must go. Yes, this is a grand scene that only happens once in a century. It would be a pity if you don't go to see it. Peng Xiangyu is also a guy who likes to watch the excitement. Next, Xiao Qing just nodded. Wang Hao said, if Xiao Xi goes, I will go. Huang Jie and the others quickly made a vomiting gesture. Several ladies also said that they must go. This is an auction in which all the major forces in the world participate. I don't know what kind of sky-high price will be shouted. Yi Xiao Tian said, okay, let's go and see it together tomorrow. Anyway, there are no special seats in the auction hall of this reincarnation world. Everyone is watching online. The special technology can give all the audience who bought tickets VIP level visual treatment. Of course, if you want other services, you have to pay extra. For example, services such as fruit snacks and drinks. The next day, Yi Xiao Tian and his friends got up early and entered the world of reincarnation together. The auction was held in the big auction hall in the central square of Xiaogua in the world of reincarnation. The advantage of this is that all awakened people in Xiaogua can save a teleportation fee. 
After all, awakened people from other countries need to be teleported to the square of Xiaogua. The will of reincarnation is very humane, and each country has prepared a dedicated reincarnation world. As for the main square where the Ghost Island held a press conference last time, it does not belong to any country, but awakened people from each country do not need to pay for teleportation to the main square of the world of reincarnation. And the main square is much larger than the national square. The reason why the auction was not held in the main square this time is entirely because the Awakened Association of Xiaogua can also share the teleportation fee. After discussing with the Awakened Association, Magic City University and the three major families felt that it was the wisest choice to hold the auction in the square of Xiaogua in the world of reincarnation. Perhaps the income from tickets will be reduced, but the income from teleportation can earn more. After all, the transmission fee is much more expensive than the ticket fee. After strict and scientific calculations, several parties said that the transmission fee may be the top income of this auction. Of course, the money from the auction of treasures is excluded. When Yi Xiaotian heard this decision from He Shi, what else could he say? He could only say, Awesome. Chapter, 447 Too shameless, the Xia people are too shameless. A foreign awakener came out of the teleportation array of the Xia country's reincarnation square and cursed. A large number of foreign awakeners came to Xia country in reality, but after they entered the reincarnation world, they found that they were back to their own world square. Then they had to take the teleportation array to the reincarnation square of Xia country. This is damn, the Xia people are too shameless, they actually earned their reincarnation points in this way. Reincarnation points cannot be traded between private individuals, but the reincarnation points obtained through the reincarnation world can be distributed. For example, the Xia Country Awakener Association has the right to distribute the reincarnation points obtained by this teleportation. This is the case for the Awakener Associations of every country. It can be said that the Awakener Association is bound to the reincarnation world of their own country. This is one of the high-end resources controlled by the Awakener Association. This time, because of the participation of Magic City University and the three major families, they can also get a share of the pie. Brother Tian, there are two types of reincarnation points. One is earned by individuals from dungeons. This type of reincarnation points is considered to be bound and can only be used by individuals to purchase items in the reincarnation world. Of course, the items you buy here can also be used by other awakeners. But you can't directly use reincarnation points to exchange attribute points for others. Another type is the reincarnation points earned by cooperating with the reincarnation world. This type of reincarnation points is in the hands of the awakener association and can be freely distributed. This type of reincarnation points is also called free reincarnation points. Whether it is an individual awakener or an awakener organization, as long as it has made great contributions to the human race or the country, it can apply to the awakener association for redemption. We should have a lot of this kind of free reincarnation points at Magic City University. But every point of free reincarnation points is very precious. No matter whether it is an individual or an organization, it will not be used easily. Huang Jia introduced the difference between personal reincarnation points and free reincarnation points to Yi Xiaotian. It was also the first time that Yi Xiaotian knew that the Awakener Association could actually cooperate with the reincarnation world. But thinking that the world of reincarnation is controlled by the will of reincarnation, I feel relieved. Since the world of reincarnation has will, it means that it is the same as humans. As the god of the world of reincarnation, he can do whatever he wants. What's so strange about cooperating with the Awakened Association outside? What Yi Xiaotian is curious about now is, what does the will of reincarnation want to do with points? Is it because he is injured? Does he need reincarnation points to treat? But it doesn't make sense. These reincarnation points were originally created by the will of reincarnation. He can have as many as he wants. Why does he need to cooperate with humans to earn them? This is a paradox. Yi Xiaotian has an advantage, that is, he doesn't think about things that he can't understand. Why haven't you heard of it before? Yi Xiaotian asked. Huang Jia smiled and said, Brother Tian, this is a top secret. How can everyone know it? 
Young Awakeners, only the direct heirs of big families like us are qualified to know these things. Yi Xiaotian didn't say anything after hearing this. This world is like this. The rules are made by the strong, so the resources must also be in the hands of the strong. Of course, the strong are also the ones who protect this world. The strong have the right to make rules, and naturally enjoy various privileges. For ordinary awakeners, secrets that they will never know in their lifetime are just common sense for the strong. Everyone came directly to the auction house and bought tickets to enter the auction house. The ticket fee is 100 reincarnation points. For most awakeners, 100 reincarnation points can afford it. Even the lowest level awakeners can earn it back by walking on the dungeon for a few days. 100 reincarnation points are very cheap, but they can't stand the large base. How many people will there be in this auction in the end is still unknown. But one can guess that it will definitely be a very terrifying number. After all, the treasures and props to be sold in this auction are all SS level. Most awakeners are not qualified to see such high level treasures and props in their lifetime. So coming to broaden their horizons is definitely not just talk, they really come to broaden their horizons. Even if there is no food to eat tomorrow, we have to learn more first. And this is in the world of reincarnation, and all awakened people in the world can come and watch. Fatty, do you know how many reincarnation points are needed to teleport from other countries to our Xia country? Yi Xiaotian asked Fatty a question. Before, I only read books about strength realm and cultivation, but I didn't have time to understand these questions. Huang Jia said, it depends on the distance. The closer the distance, the cheaper it is. The farther the distance, the more expensive it is. The closer the distance, the more expensive it is. The closer the distance, the more expensive it is. The closer the distance, the more expensive it is. The closer the distance, the more expensive it is. The farther the distance, the more expensive it is. Yi Xiaotian frowned slightly and said, maybe your family has calculated it wrong. Is it really the most profitable to hold the auction in the Xia country's reincarnation auction house? This ticket can be sold for 100 points. If it is held in the auction house in the main square of the reincarnation world, the audience of this auction can at least exceed 100 million. But now that it is like this, I am afraid that many people can't afford the teleportation fee, so they don't come to watch. After all, these days, when reincarnation points are obtained, many people will exchange them for attribute points as soon as possible to improve their strength. There are still a few people who will really leave thousands or tens of thousands of reincarnation points on their bodies. Huang Jie said, don't worry, since they have made such a decision, it must be right. Brother Tian, there is one thing you don't know. There are some small countries around our Xia country. When the reincarnation tower first came, many of them were destroyed. Even those who survived are not many. They teleported here, and only a hundred reincarnation points, not much. As long as you are willing, you can come. The place with a real large population base is still covered by the beautiful alliance. The awakened people there are rich and don't care about these thousands or tens of thousands of reincarnation points. After Huang Jie's explanation, Yi Xiaotian had to admit that he was still too young. Sure enough, the school plus the three major families, and the awakened association participated in it, and the decision made was definitely not wrong. And the auction was publicized a week ago. Even if there were not enough reincarnation points before, this week was enough for them to save enough for the teleportation fee and ticket fee. This move can only be said to be really insidious. Both teleportation and tickets are charged. Even if the awakened people in other countries have objections, they can only bear it. Or you don't have to come, no one forces you to come, everything is voluntary. Chapter, 448 Although these foreign awakeners came voluntarily, they were very resentful. After all, anyone who spent so much money would feel uncomfortable. And they were calculated by the Xia people. This made them even more uncomfortable. However, no matter how uncomfortable they were, they could only bury it in their hearts or talk about it. But the points that should be spent still had to be spent, and the places that should be visited still had to be visited. There was no way. If you missed this time, there would probably be no next time. 
Yi Xiao Tian had just entered the Tower of Babel, so he obtained many high-level treasures. But it does not mean that he can continue to enter. Many people speculated that Yi Xiao Tian must have encountered a bottleneck, so he came out of the Tower of Babel. In the following time, he would not be able to continue to enter the Tower of Babel. Or he would definitely not have this ability in a short period of time. In other words, the high-level treasures in his hands might be out of print. Even if he could obtain one or two in the future, it would be impossible to publicly auction them. So for most awakeners, this was the only chance to see many high-level treasures. Yi Xiao Tian and his party entered the auction hall and sat down. They chose a team and a box, and then they could see the scene on the auction table up close. You are worthy of it, Samsara will, you are really powerful. Now in this auction hall, I don't know how many awakened people from all over the world are sitting. But so many people are sitting here, and their visual experience is still so good. It seems that everyone is sitting in the center of the stage. It's a bit like VR technology. But VR is virtual, but this is real. Samsara will is an omnipotent god. There must be no problem with rules like this in space. Yi Xiao Tian is a little envious. He has dozens of talents, but he has never obtained a space talent. Space talent, that is the best among billions of talents. It's a pity that among the aliens and the sea race, those with space talents are too rare. Yi Xiao Tian now has his mind on the Tower of Babel. I don't know if he will encounter space beasts later. As for the Samsara copy, he has given up. Because there are no space-type beasts in the various copies of the reincarnation world. The Tower of Babel is considered a high-end gameplay for Awakeners, so the probability of space-type beasts appearing is still quite high. But don't worry, let's see how much this auction can sell for first. Soon, the time came to the start of the auction. The auctioneer was assigned by the auction house. Hello, Awakeners, welcome to this auction. Next, I will briefly introduce the items for this auction. The first group, SS level weapons and equipment, a total of 8 pieces. The second group, SS level beast corpses, a total of 10. The third group, SS level talent spirit liquid, a total of 12 bottles. Okay, without further ado, the next is the time for the official auction. The auctioneer ignored the buzzing discussion below and directly entered the process into the official auction. Next, the first group of treasures to be auctioned is the SS level talent spirit liquid. As soon as the auctioneer's voice fell, it immediately caused a wave of discussion at the scene. How could this happen? Yeah, aren't good things put at the end? Yeah, these three sets of high level resources, the talent spirit liquid, should be the most expensive, followed by the exotic beast corpses, and the weapons and equipment are the worst. The worst? I can't even afford the worst. Brother, are we discussing whether we can afford it? What we are discussing now is which one is better. Good things are usually put at the end of the auction. Even Yi Xiao Tian was confused and asked Huang Jia and the others, why is the talent spirit liquid put at the first auction? He really didn't know the process of this auction. But he believed that Huang Jia and Xiao Cheng and the others should know about it. Obviously, Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu didn't know at all. As the information person in charge of the team, Huang Jia naturally had to keep this kind of information in his hands. His biggest role in the team should be that he could tell the captain what he wanted to know. Brother Tian, I have inquired about this matter. If we follow the general process, the gifted spirit liquid should indeed be put at the end. But there is a problem here. That is, there are too many awakened people coming this time, and too many rich people. So after careful consideration, the gifted spirit liquid was put at the first auction. Han Xuyao said with a blank face, Fatty, what you said is equivalent to not saying anything, please explain it clearly. Huang Jia wiped the sweat off his face and explained, it's like this. If we save the gifted spirit liquid for the last, then everyone will definitely think about saving the trump card until the last. In this way, the auction price of the corpses of alien beasts and weapons and equipment will not be too high. On the contrary, if the gifted spirit liquid is auctioned off in the first round, then those guests who didn't bid for it may engage in revenge consumption. At that time, 
the price of the corpses of alien beasts and weapons and equipment may reach a new high. As soon as these words were spoken, everyone understood what was going on. It has to be said that when it comes to calculating and controlling people's hearts, the Xia people are really top-notch. The military tactics handed down for thousands of years were all used in this auction. Yi Xiaotian said, forget it, I'm too lazy to ask. Since it is something that you have agreed on, it must be correct. Magic City University, Jiangnan Peng family, Wanshan City Huang family, and Kyoto Shao family, and finally an Awakener Association. No matter which one is taken out, it is top-notch. These few together, it will only be a pitfall for others. Think about it. This time, most of the Awakeners came for the gifted spiritual liquid. But there are only twelve bottles of gifted spiritual liquid, and it is destined that only a few people can get it. So what about the rest of the people? Since they are here, they naturally have to get the others. And this is the thing of the great god Haotian. If you don't pay a high price, how can you get the favor of the great god Haotian? Everyone be quiet. The auctioneer knocked the hammer on it and shouted. The auction is about to start. Please pay attention to the venue discipline. Otherwise, we will directly expel the awakened person who violates the venue discipline from the venue. As soon as these words came out, the scene suddenly became quiet. Damn, this is the Samsara auction house. This is the auctioneer who comes with the auction house. He will not talk to you about human feelings and morality. That's what he said. If he said he would kick you out, you will definitely not run away. Many people sitting in the venue paid twice to come here, but they didn't want to be kicked out before the auction started. The auctioneer was very satisfied when he saw this scene, and then took out a bottle of SS level talent spirit liquid and said, The effect of SS level talent spirit liquid does not need me to say more. Everyone here should be very clear. Then let's not waste time. Our bidding is calculated by samsara points. But at the end of the bill, you can replace it with treasures of equal value. Okay, now, the auction officially begins. Chapter, 449 The price of SS level talent spirit liquid in the Samsara Mall is 10 million Samsara points, but everything in the Samsara Mall requires Samsara points to purchase. But what we are auctioning now can be exchanged for equivalent items, so the final auction price should be more expensive than the Samsara Mall. Huang Jia looked at the auction below and explained in a low voice in Yi Xiaotian's ear road. He must make himself valuable and cannot just sit around and reap the benefits in the team. Huang Jie continued to show his value to Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian comforted him, okay, sit down and drink a glass of water. I see your mouth is dry. Huang Jie stopped his explanation, took a sip of water, and then continued, it's okay, I'm not thirsty, I'll continue. Yi Xiaotian rolled his eyes helplessly. He also wanted to see how much the SS level talent liquid could be fetched. How can I listen to your little mouth? Just when the Blue Star Human Race's first high end resource auction started. Alien World. The bosses of the upper three tribes once again called the top 100 heads of each tribe over for a meeting. There was no way, after the war stopped, the big bosses of the three upper clans thought that Yi Xiaotian would stop for a few years. But he didn't expect that only a month had passed and something happened to him again. And this also seriously threatens the survival of alien races. This bastard actually managed to achieve the aura of a normal copy of Tong Tian Tower. And the rewards they received made them all drool. Although the clan leaders of the three clans had an extremely rich resource, they could not be like Yi Xiao Tian, who visited the Babel Tower and brought back more than 20 bottles of SS level gifted spiritual liquid. There are even two bottles of SS level talent liquid. What the hell, this is the rhythm of mass defection to SS level talent awakeners and SS level talent awakeners. How can I bear this? If this continues, won't the strength of the human race be greatly improved? The blue star human race is a direct competitor with them, and they are still fighting to the death. Once the strength of the blue star human race soars, the first ones to be destroyed will definitely be their alien race. So they couldn't sit still, and while sending people to contact the Sea Clan, they also convened a meeting with the big guys from all races. We must work out countermeasures, either to kill Yi Xiaotian or to limit his development. 
he must not be allowed to grow up like this unscrupulously. Originally, I thought it would take more than ten or twenty years for Yi Xiaotian to fully grow up, but looking at it now, it was quite embarrassing. Everyone, here's the bad news. That boy Yi Xiaotian has stirred up trouble again. If this continues, our demise will not be far away. The patriarch of the Lion Clan tapped his fingers on the table, attracting everyone's attention. Next to it, sitting were the chief of the Tiger Clan and the chief of the Elephant Clan. These are the upper three tribes of alien races. The three tribes of lions, tigers, and elephants are definitely among the top three in terms of strength among all tribes. The so-called patriarch is the overall patriarch of all branches of these three tribes. After all, under these three races, there are many sub-races. There are also new races born from the combination of the lion clan and foreign races, but because they have the blood of the lion clan, they always belong to the lion clan. But these newly born races will gather into a new group. This is the lion clan branch. But they will respect the overall clan as the leader. That's what it means to enjoy the shade under a big tree. After the Lion Clan leader finished speaking, the scene was still silent. Everyone is talking. Aren't you usually pretty good at talking? The Lion Clan leader said with anger on his face, and his aura overwhelmed the entire audience. Grand Chief, it's not that we don't want to talk, it's really that we can't think of any good solutions. One of the chiefs said. Yes, Patriarch, if we had our way, we would not withdraw our troops. After hearing this, the chief of the Lion Clan was so angry that he almost vomited blood. What the hell, the decision to withdraw troops was its final decision. What does it mean to say it now? Does it imply its incompetence? At this time, the chief of the Leopard Clan said, Chief, I have an idea. Oh, tell me. The chief of the Lion Clan glanced at the chief of the Leopard Clan and said calmly. The Leopard Clan is responsible for intelligence collection among the alien races because of their fast speed. To say that among the alien races, the one who knows the most about the human race is definitely the Leopard race. The chief of the Leopard Clan said, that's it. A few days ago, I received news that the human race's ghost island country was targeting Yi Xiaotian, and the human race's beautiful alliance was also involved. It can be seen from this incident that there are many people within the human race who can't stand Yi Xiaotian. This kid is too arrogant. So my opinion is that we can send our friends in the human race to get in touch with Onigashima country. The chief of the leopard clan told everyone his plan, and everyone nodded after hearing the words. For them, the plan of the Leopard Clan leader is really great, almost perfect. Anyway, as long as you don't let them use their brains, it's a good idea. The three chiefs of the upper three tribes exchanged opinions, and then the chief of the Lion tribe said to the chief of the Leopard tribe, Okay, just go ahead and do this. If you can kill Yi Xiaotian with this, I will mark your great contribution. The chief of the Leopard Clan was immediately overjoyed. Great achievements equal great resources. Please rest assured, Chief Patriarch, I will definitely get it done. In his opinion, this matter can definitely be done. There is a popular saying among the human race. When they face a crisis, they will unite and work together. But once the external force is gone, they will start fighting again. This is a bit similar to the alien race, but not completely similar. Whether there is external force or not, the internal fighting of the alien race has never stopped. They don't care whether the alien race will perish or not. What they consider is whether their own race can gain enough benefits in this disaster of extermination. They don't believe in the saying that no eggs will be broken when the nest is overturned. They believe in one sentence, the bigger the fist, the truth. The first reason why they sent the awakened people in the tribe to form an army to go to the alien battlefield is that it is beneficial, and the second reason is that the strength of the three tribes is too strong, and if they don't send troops, they will be beaten. It's that simple. Other than that, everything else is nonsense. The chief of the leopard tribe said goodbye and thought about how to deal with this matter in order to maximize the interests of the leopard tribe. In this war, the leopard tribe lost a lot of warriors. After all, as a race on the intelligence front, the places where they travel are full of dangers. If you are not careful, you will lose your life. 
And because of Yi Xiaotian's appearance, the alien race's grand strategy this time was not completed, which can be said to be a loss of both the wife and the army. This time, I must take back what my leopard tribe has lost. The chief of the leopard tribe said silently. Chapter, 450 The auction is still in full swing. As Huang Jia said before, the price of SS level talent spirit liquid in the Samsara Mall is 1000 points. But the treasures in the Samsara Mall all require real points. And this time, the auction can be converted with other treasures. Specifically, Yi Xiaotian doesn't care what people use to settle. Anyway, in terms of high end resources, this group of people combined may not earn as much as he can. So just watch quietly. Soon, the price of SS level talent spirit liquid has exceeded 10 million points, and then continued to rise. Such an opportunity, if missed, it will be difficult to have it again. Even in the scene of the two races fighting, I don't know how many alien awakeners died in the entire alien battlefield, but not a bottle of SS level talent spirit liquid dropped. It can be seen that SS level talent spirit liquid is rare. Generally speaking, only SS level alien awakeners have the opportunity to drop SS level talent spirit liquid, and the probability is very small. As for alien awakeners below SS level, there is also a chance, but the probability is even smaller. According to the rules of the will of reincarnation, all alien awakeners with SS level talents or above may drop SS level talent spirit liquid after being killed. On this basis, the higher the awakening level, the greater the probability of dropping. But even for SS level awakeners, the probability of dropping SS level talent spirit liquid after being killed is only about 1 in 10,000. Such a probability is almost infinitely close to zero. As for the SS level talent spirit liquid above, let alone. The reason why Yi Xiaotian can get so many SS level talent spirit liquid rewards is, first, because he broke through the SS level Tong Tian road. Second, he chose the highest difficulty, which raised the grade of the reward. Third, he passed the level too quickly and directly reached the evaluation of Super God, so that the grade of the reward was directly raised to the top. It can be said that he has already obtained the highest reward that can be obtained from the SS level Tong Tian Tower. As the place where the Awakeners go to the sky, how can the highest reward of Tong Tian Road be low? The rewards are too low. How to attract Awakeners of all races to fight? But even so, at present, the best reward that most high level Awakeners can get by breaking through Tong Tian Road is still reincarnation points. The reincarnation points rewarded by Tong Tian Road are much richer than those of ordinary dungeons. So after Awakeners are promoted to high level, they basically will not mix in ordinary dungeons, but go to Tong Tian Road. Tong Tian Road is the same as ordinary dungeons. It can be repeated infinitely, but the rewards will change according to the rules. For example, Yi Xiaotian broke through Tong Tian Road and got tens of millions of reincarnation points for the first pass, but when he brushed it again for the second time, this reward may be only 1% of the first pass reward. This is for Yi Xiaotian. For other awakeners, as long as they get better achievements in breaking through Tong Tian Road every time, their rewards will increase. For example, when they break through for the first time, the evaluation they get may be only D level, and the better one may be C level. On this basis, each time they get a higher evaluation, the rewards they get will increase. Of course, if they get the same evaluation repeatedly, the reward will be only 1% of the first pass. Each level of the Tower of Babel has a first time reward for each level of difficulty. As long as you are willing and have the energy, you can kill monsters in it without limit. The rewards are given to you according to the level, so that you will not waste your efforts. But how much reward you can get depends on your personal ability. Therefore, the reason why Yi Xiaotian has so many reincarnation points for the first pass of the highest difficulty is not because of the Super God first pass reward of the Purgatory difficulty alone. Instead, from the ordinary difficulty upwards, the reincarnation points of the first pass rewards of all difficulties are given at once. This is the reincarnation mechanism. Although he did not brush up the difficulty level by level, as long as he cleared the highest difficulty, all the first pass rewards of other difficulties would be calculated in it and distributed to Yi Xiaotian together. In comparison, he also saved a lot of time. 
but how many awakeners can jump directly to the highest difficulty like him? Really rich. Peng Xiang Yu sighed. Have you heard a saying? Huang Jie suddenly asked at this time. What saying? Peng Xiang Yu asked curiously. You don't know how poor you are until you go to the auction. Huang Jie replied. That makes sense. Peng Xiang Yu laughed and cursed. Listening to the awakened people from all over the world bidding prices, it's impossible not to admire them. These guys are really willing to spend too much. Okay, don't be envious. Those who are still bidding now have accumulated hundreds of years of experience. What do you think? Huang Jia comforted. They are really willing to spend too much. Is a bottle of SS level talent spirit liquid worth spending so much money? Peng Xiang Yu said puzzledly. Huang Jia explained, it doesn't matter whether it is worth it or not. It depends on who you are. Some people think that even if they spend all their wealth, it is worth it. For example, if you don't have an awakened SS level talent, and your father only has you as his son, do you think your father will spend a lot of money to buy you a bottle? Huang Jia asked. Peng Xiangyu hesitated for a moment before saying, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I think it will. Huang Jia said with certainty. Why? Peng Xiangyu was a little confused. Even he, as a son, was not sure. How could Huang Jie be so sure? Huang Jie said, because if I don't strengthen your talent, then your lineage will lose the position of the head of the family. Peng Xiangyu was stunned when he heard this. Thinking about it carefully, it seemed to make sense. It goes without saying how important the position of the head of the family is. There are too many examples of entire families falling apart for the position of the head of the family. If you have to lose the position of the head of the family because the younger generation is not talented, you will definitely be unwilling. But the world of awakeners is like this, the strong are respected. Low talent means that the future strength will not be good. It is absolutely impossible for an awakened family to let a weak person sit on the position of the head of the family. And the resources that the head of the family can control make it difficult for them to willingly give up the position of the head of the family. Even if they give up the position of the head of the family, their lineage will be cut off. So as long as there is a way, even if it means selling everything, we are willing to do it. After Huang Jie's explanation, everyone understood. Peng Xianyu suddenly said, Fatty, I didn't expect you to be so cunning. Could it be that your qualification as the heir to the family head has been threatened? Others looked at Huang Jie, hoping to get an answer. Chapter 451 Huang Jie looked unhappy and said, What's so strange about that? My talent is really not that good. Huang Jie is a direct descendant of the Huang family in Wanshan City, but he went to Jiangqing to participate in the temporary training camp. This can explain some problems. Fortunately, he met Yi Xiaotian, otherwise, his position as the heir would be in danger. For ordinary people, being able to awaken S level talent is definitely a great honor. But for people of Huang Jie's status, S level talent is the most embarrassing. It's not high enough, and it's not low enough. To strengthen talent, the talent spirit liquid you need must start at S level. There is no effect below. But S level talent spirit liquid is also in short supply. The two clans have been fighting for so long, and there is only one bottle of S level talent spirit liquid in the base camp. This is just for Yi Xiaotian's sake. If someone else wants this bottle of S-level talent spirit liquid, it may not be so easy. So Huang Jie's situation is really embarrassing. Even the position of the temporary training camp was squeezed out by other people in the Huang family. Huang Jie's parents had no choice. Some things cannot be done by power. The Huang family is big and powerful. Although Huang Jie's father is the head of the family, this kind of blatant shady dealings will make other people in the Huang family dissatisfied. When the people's hearts are scattered, it will be difficult to lead the team. So after thinking about it, it is still wronged for his son. But Huang Jie's father did not do nothing. It was also in his plan to find an opportunity to buy him S-level or higher-level talent spirit liquid. But he also knew that such opportunities are hard to come by. It's just that the blessed people have their own help from heaven. 
Huang Jia was squeezed out of the base camp of the Huang family's power, and then he met Yi Xiaotian. The so-called willows and flowers are bright and there is a village to see. With the rise of Yi Xiaotian, Huang Jia and his team are getting stronger and stronger. Huang Jia's status in the Huang family is also getting higher and higher. Until later, everyone knew that as long as Yi Xiaotian was together, no one could shake Huang Jia's position as the heir to the head of the family. Even if Huang Jia himself proposed to withdraw from the competition for the position of the head of the family, I am afraid that the elders of the Huang family would not allow it. Damn, he finally got the opportunity to hug the thigh of the great god Haotian, how could he just give up like this? Of course, before Yi Xiaotian broke through the Tongtian road, there were still a few geniuses in the younger generation of the Huang family who did not give up the competition. After all, Huang Jie's talent grade is there. Not everyone is Chang Xiaosi, who can upgrade from A-level talent to SS-level talent. S-level talent spirit liquid is rare, and the probability of successful upgrade is very touching. As for SS-level and SS-level talent spirit liquid, to be honest, no one has ever asked for it. But when Yi Xiaotian broke through the Tong Tian road, SS level talent spirit liquid was rewarded as if it was free. Even SS level talent spirit liquid was rewarded with several bottles. And Yi Xiaotian is famous for being generous to his teammates. According to gossip, Yi Xiaotian once promised to help his teammates strengthen their talent grade. In the past, he had money but nowhere to buy it. Now, in Tong Tian Road, countless high-level talent spirit liquids are available for Yi Xiaotian to obtain. Now, the younger generation of the Huang family really stopped thinking about competing for the position of the head of the family. As long as Huang Jia is promoted to SS-level talent awakener, his position as the heir to the head of the family will be unshakable. If he can be promoted to SS-level talent awakener, then the elders in the family will beg him to sit in that position. In a word, Huang Jie's position as the heir to the head of the family is stable. No one can help. Unless Yi Xiaotian is gone. Then Huang Jie's talent grade will not be improved at all. However, from the current point of view, this possibility is almost zero. So the Huang family is now united. They all know very well that as long as they hold on to Yi Xiaotian, the Huang family can definitely reap a lot in the future but they didn't expect that the opportunity would come so quickly. This time when Yi Xiaotian came out of Tong Tian Road, the Huang family became one of the partners of the auction. Then Yi Xiaotian gave the Huang family an additional purchase qualification for a bottle of SS-level talent spirit liquid. Not only did the Huang family get it, but the Xiao family and the Peng family also got a share. As for the Magic City University and the Xia Country Awakener Association, Yi Xiaotian gave them two bottles. Then the other three famous schools where Xiao Cheng, Peng Xiangyu and Lu Yun were, also gave them a bottle. There is no way, who said that Magic City University is a biological child. As for the Awakener Association, it is naturally for the face of the Lord Sword God. The other three famous schools are very bitter, but there is no way, who made them blind at the beginning and did not see Yi Xiaotian's thousand-mile horse. Now is just the beginning, the gap has opened, and this gap will become larger and larger in the future. The promotion of Magic City University to a super-famous school is unstoppable. And with Yi Xiaotian's resources, the time for this promotion will be shortened to the shortest. Apart from other things, in terms of enrollment alone, Magic City University has already left the other three famous schools far behind. After hearing Huang Jie's words, Xiao Cheng and Peng Xiangyu fell silent. As they were born into a large family, they were very aware of the burden they had on them. Since childhood, they were trained as heirs. This was even more true after their talents awakened. SS-level talent, already qualified. Of course, it would be better if SS-level talent could be awakened. But it doesn't matter, it has already reached the standard. Plus the accumulation of the family head's lineage over the years, there is no problem. But when they joined the Haokian team, this no problem became absolutely no problem. When Yi Xiaotian came out of Tong Tian Road, it became absolutely no problem. As long as they don't die, then the position of the family head in the future will definitely be theirs. This is the promise made to them by the family head and the family elders. 
Now everyone knows that as long as Yi Xiao Tian doesn't die, then there is absolutely no problem for all members of the Haokian team to have SS level talent. There are 10 people in the Haokian team, 5 men and 5 women. In addition to Yi Xiao Tian, there are now 2 people who are SS level talent awakeners. They are the defensive warrior Chang Xiaoxi and the auxiliary healer Sun Yao. The strength of the Haokian team is constantly rising. No one will doubt that it will grow into the top team in the future. The average age of these little guys is less than 20 years old. This is definitely a record in the history of reincarnation. At the auction, the first bottle of SS level talent spirit liquid was finally sold for 12 million points. It was bought by an awakened family in the United States. Although it is 2 million points more expensive than the reincarnation mall, it does not require reincarnation points to pay, it is worth it. Chapter, 452 What do you think they will pay with? Peng Xiangyu suddenly asked. As time went by, bottle after bottle of SS level talent spirit liquid was auctioned off, and the price reached 12 million points. Everyone seemed to have a tacit understanding, that is, after reaching 12 million, there would be no more price increases. Although they all wanted it, it seemed not worth it if it exceeded too much. But when there were only two bottles of SS level talent spirit liquid left, this tacit understanding was broken. Because if they didn't bid again, there would really be no more. Before, they always thought that they should get the talent spirit liquid in the next round of auction. But unexpectedly, the price was raised to 12 million several times in a row. This made some big guys who wanted to pick up the bargain squeeze their facial features together. Damn, are these people crazy? Don't they complain all the time? Why are they more generous at this time? Fuck. The head of an awakened family in the United States cursed in a low voice. So far, they have won three bottles of talent spirit liquid in the United States. The first bottle was taken away by a top family in the United States, and the other two bottles were taken by the Awakener Association of the United States. In addition, the Awakener Association of the Bear Country took two bottles. Then the Awakener Association of the Yama Alliance also began to exert its strength and took two bottles in a row. Then the Awakener Association of the host country Xia Country took action and also took two bottles. The tenth bottle was bought by an Awakener family in Xia Country, who was the Qian family in Kyoto. Seeing the Qian family take the tenth bottle, Yi Xiaotian's hidden memory seemed to be awakened. When he was on the battlefield of the alien race, the Qian family had caused him a lot of trouble. It was just that the war was tight at that time, so he did not fight back immediately. Later, after the war was over, Yi Xiaotian forgot about it. Now that the Qian family has bought a bottle of talent spirit liquid in a high-profile manner, some forgotten memories suddenly emerged again. This Qian family should also settle accounts with them. Suddenly, Yi Xiaotian looked at the Qian family with murderous intent in his eyes. The people around felt the murderous intent from Yi Xiaotian, and they all felt cold all over. Brother Tian, what's wrong with you? Han Xuyao asked Yi Xiaotian first. She was watching with great interest, but suddenly she felt cold all over, and her hair stood on end. These are all their family's things. This time they really made a fortune. Yi Xiaotian wanted to kill people in this mood. What's the matter? Did he think the price was too low? Qian family, after returning from the alien battlefield, we all forgot one thing. Yi Xiaotian reminded. After his reminder, everyone came back to their senses. At the alien battlefield, they were ambushed by people sent by the Qian family. Except for Lu Yun, everyone else present in this matter was a participant. Lu Yun didn't know, so Sun Yao whispered in her ear to explain. After listening, Lu Yun immediately understood what was going on. Wang Hao said at this time, Brother Tian, I haven't forgotten about the Qian family. Then why don't you say it? Yi Xiao Tian said in astonishment. Wang Hao said, I thought you didn't want to pursue it for the sake of the overall situation, so I didn't say anything. What the hell, these bastards from the Qian family, if they stay in the world, they will only harm more talents. Yi Xiaotian cursed. We in the Haotian team can be considered talents, even people like us have to suffer from the Qian family's poisonous hands, 
what do you think will happen to other awakeners who offended the Qian family? They can ignore the overall situation, why should I consider the overall situation? Yi Xiao Tian said angrily. The Qian family is a big disaster, a big cancer, destroying them is to act on behalf of heaven, and to retain more talents for Xiaogua. Yi Xiao Tian added. Wang Hao said very excitedly, no need to say, go after them, brother Tian, just say, when to start. Others also said, go after him. Seeing everyone's indignation, Yi Xiao Tian said with a smile, okay, it's all hindsight. Let's watch the auction first. After the auction is over, we'll go to Kyoto. Then Yi Xiaotian's interest in the auction waned. After the initial excitement, he felt that it was meaningless. After all, he didn't lack anything. What he really lacked, others couldn't give him now, and he had to earn it himself. So he began to think about the trip to Kyoto. Now he is no longer the same as before. He has a mature team, and around this team, there are many powerful forces. For example, the four famous schools headed by Magic City University, and the family forces headed by the Huang family, the Xiao family, and the Peng family. Originally, there was a powerful awakener family behind Mu Binyan. However, because Mu Binyan didn't like her family, Yi Xiao Tian rejected the Mu family's overtures to take care of her feelings. The Qian family is the top family in Kyoto, with a complex and deep-rooted power. If we follow the conventional method, it will be absolutely useless. And the Qian family will not be afraid. So the best way is to uproot them directly and let them know that even if they are top families, they will not have a good ending if they offend Yi Xiao Tian. Of course, Yi Xiao Tian is not a person who likes to kill. The many evidences of the Qian family's crimes must be made public. No need to do anything else, just publish the evidence of the alien battlefield, I believe the fishing boat will automatically stand on Yi Xiaotian's side. Of course, Yi Xiaotian can use far more than these. So he decided to visit Lord Sword God first when he went to Kyoto. Because Lord Sword God has returned from the deep sea. Now it has become normal for human awakeners to go to the sea to brush attribute points. Of course, there is a saying that makes sense, when you stare into the abyss, the abyss is also staring at you. Human awakeners are hunting sea awakeners to brush attribute points. And the awakeners of the sea clan are also hunting human awakeners to improve their strength. As for who is the hunter and who is the prey, it depends on their respective abilities. Under the tacit understanding of the top leaders of the two clans, the awakeners of the two clans get along very harmoniously. So Lord Sword God does not need to stay in the deep sea and went back to Kyoto. Yi Xiao Tian received the favor of others, so he naturally had to visit and thank them. The next day, the news about the auction continued to ferment in the samsara world. Those who had been to the scene told the thrilling stories of the auction on the world public channel. Some people said their hearts couldn't bear it, and as the price soared, their blood pressure also soared. Yi Xiao Tian and his group went to Kyoto. As for the follow-up of the auction, it would naturally be handled by the Magic City University, the Awakener Association and several major families. As for him, he only had to wait for the return. Chapter, 453 This time Yi Xiaotian's trip to Kyoto, he didn't tell anyone. Without even knowing what happened, Yi Xiaotian and the others went straight to Kyoto after leaving the Magic City base city. He thought that Yi Xiaotian couldn't sit still anymore and ran to the sea to hunt. Nowadays, it is common for the awakened people from the human race to go to the sea and the awakened people from the sea race to come ashore. The two sides have a tacit understanding, not to attack the city or the core area, but to build other areas with all their strength. After three days, the armored vehicle driven by Wang Hao finally arrived outside Kyoto. The last time they came to Kyoto, Yi Xiao Tian and the others did not enter the city at all. After waiting for Xiao Qing outside the city, they went straight to Zhigu City. After Zhigu City, we went to the southwest and then entered the alien battlefield. Strictly speaking, this is Yi Xiaotian's first time in Beijing. With Xiao Cheng, an old Kyoto native, there will definitely be no problem entering Kyoto. And it's different now than during the war. Now the review of entering and exiting the base city is not as strict as before. After all, 
there are countless awakened people entering and exiting the Kyoto Bay city every day. It is really necessary to strictly review them. The efficiency is too low. It is estimated that countless awakened people will curse. Especially now that Lord Sword God is stationed in Kyoto, there is no need to worry about safety issues. What's more, Yi Shao Tian and the others came in the Night Watch armored vehicle. I don't know what the Night Watch Legion is thinking. They have never said that they want to take back the armored vehicles. Yi Shao Tian just kept using it. Many times, it is very convenient to have this car. Especially a team of awakeners like them who spend most of their time running outside. It can save a lot of trouble. Moreover, the Night Watch's armored vehicles are very powerful and very fast. Of course, it is definitely incomparable to his spiritual pet Mount Leopard 2. But this is the world of the human race, and Yi Shao Tian still wants to keep a low profile. Armored vehicles of the Night Watch can often be seen, but those riding high level spiritual pet mounts are very rare. As soon as they saw the Night Watch's armored vehicle, the awakened city guardsmen at the city gate didn't even stop to take a look, and just waved to let them go. The Night Watchman still has a very hard face. Brother Tian, where are we going now? Xiao Qing asked after entering the city. Yi Xiao Tian pondered for a moment and replied, Find a place to live first. I have to visit a senior. After the visit, I will go to find trouble with the Qian family. Who are you going to find? Just tell me and I will take you there. Xiao Qing said confidently. In Kyoto, their Xiao family still has plenty of energy. Sword God. Yi Xiao Tian said directly without hiding anything from him. Ah. Uh. Xiao Cheng was immediately stuck. Embarrassing. The Xiao family has great power in Kyoto, but not everyone can see the Sword God. Not to mention the Xiao family, even Wu Dingxiong, the president of the Awakened Association, had to make an appointment if he wanted to see the Lord Sword God. Yi Xiao Tian looked at his expression and said, Okay, find a hotel close to the Awakened People's Association, and I'll go find Wu Dingxiong. Xiao Qing breathed a sigh of relief. The Association of Awakeners is considered a direct force of the Sword God, and they can indeed directly contact the Sword God. Of course, it is not up to the Awakened Association to decide whether to meet the Lord Sword God or not. After all, they were only followers who could contact Lord Sword God. However, Xiao Qing estimated that if it were Yi Xiao Tian who asked for a meeting, Lord Sword God would definitely agree. Because they are all on the same level. Xiao Qing knew Yi Xiao Tian's character, so he didn't invite him to stay at home. They came to Kyoto this time to cause trouble, not to travel. So at this time, Yi Xiao Tian will never go to live in the Xiao family. After finding a high star hotel next to the Awakened People's Association, Xiao Qing checked in at his expense. In his words, when I arrived in Kyoto, I originally wanted to invite you to stay at home, but I know Brother Tian would not agree, but I must pay for the food and accommodation. Yi Xiao Tian did not struggle with this issue. It is his principle not to live in Zhao's house. Don't want to cause trouble to others. However, Xiao Cheng is personally responsible for the food and lodging expenses, so there is no problem at all. An individual is an individual, and a family is a family. These are two concepts. After the check-in procedures were completed, Yi Xiao Tian asked them, Do any of you want to go to the Awakened People's Association with me? Mu Bingyan shook her head and said, What's going on? I'm tired and need to rest. Lu Yun is not interested either. She is originally from Kyoto. Although she was a little transparent before, she is still from Kyoto, and the awakened ones will always know. Han Shuyao was also a little tired. As a person with powers, physical fitness was their weakness, so she didn't want to go. Chang Xiaoxi didn't care, but seeing that Mu Bingyan and Han Shuyao were not going, she chose not to go either. Wang Hao was a little confused. He wanted to go, but he also wanted to accompany Chang Xiaoxi. However, Chang Xiaoxi saw his thoughts and said directly, Go ahead, I can just rest by myself. Wang Hao was immediately overjoyed. Huang Jia raised his middle finger to him. This big man had such a body in vain. Xiao Cheng was going to the Awakened People's Association, but as the host, he naturally had to be the guide. 
Peng Xiangyu was a lively person, so he went too. So in summary, all the girls went upstairs to rest, while all the boys went to the Awakener's General Assembly. A group of five people came to the hall of the Awakener's General Assembly, and Xiao Cheng told the staff that he wanted to see President Wu Dingxiong. The staff saw that he was young and said indifferently, Do you have an appointment? No. Xiao Cheng said very straightforwardly. No appointment. Can you see President Wu whenever you want? Young people, do you know what politeness is? Go back and make an appointment before coming. The staff taught him a few words. Young people nowadays are really getting more and more unruly. What kind of person is President Wu? Can anyone meet him? And President Wu is so busy during this period, how can he have time to meet a few young people? Xiao Qing said directly, We are from the Haotian team. We want to see President Wu. You can report to the higher-ups. If he doesn't want to see us, then we'll leave. When the staff heard this, they got angry and slammed the table and said, Who do you think you are? What's so great about your Haotian team what did you say? He finally woke up. Haotian team, there is only one awakened team in the whole Xia country that dares to call it this name, and that is the team of the great god Haotian. Then he looked at Yi Xiaotian standing behind him and felt a little familiar. After careful identification, he found that it was really the great god Haotian in person. Ah, little brother, sorry, I was a little excited just now. You want to see President Wu, right? No problem, I'll contact you right away. Well, I'll take you to the reception room to rest first. Chapter, 454 Yi Xiaotian and his friends really witnessed what it means to change faces. This staff member of the Awakener's General Association, this ability to change faces is really amazing. However, Yi Xiaotian was too lazy to bother with such a small character. Under the leadership of the staff, the group came to the reception room, and the staff personally served them tea. The whole process was like a bootlicker. Looking at the pitiful little eyes, Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, go and notify, my time is precious. This means that he will not pursue his previous attitude. The staff was overjoyed and almost knelt down to Yi Xiaotian, and went to report in a flash. Wu Dingxiong has been very busy these two days. Although the specific things are done by the people below, he has to make the final decision and sign. The cooperation with the Magic City University has now entered the settlement stage. This time, it is a big profit. So Wu Dingxiong is in a good mood. It has been a long time since I felt so happy. Finally, it is their turn to cheat the Western Awakeners. So he has a better impression of Yi Xiaotian. Although Yi Xiaotian often behaved unkindly. But at the critical moment, this little guy was still very considerate. This time, they made a lot of money. Conservatively estimated, the total number of reincarnation points added up to the transmission fee and ticket fee this time has exceeded tens of billions. Unfortunately, they still have to share the money with the reincarnation world. And it is a 50 to 50 split, without any favors. After the split with the reincarnation world, the rest is to be shared by multiple parties. First of all, Yi Xiaotian, as the initiator, he naturally takes the lion's share, and no one dares to object to this. Then there is Magic City University, the Awakener Association, the three major families and the three major famous schools. According to different proportions, it is conservatively estimated that the total number of reincarnation points that their Awakener Association can get this time can reach more than one billion. The Xia Country Awakener Association has been established for hundreds of years. When has it been so rich? The Awakener Association has always been a place where there are too many monks and too little porridge. Wu Dingxiong is so worried that his hair is almost falling out. He even wants to change his style. Every time the Positive Awakening branch asked him for resources, it was the saddest time for him. Without money, he couldn't stand up straight. But now, his back is straight. Wu Dingxiong propped his legs on the desk and closed his eyes to rest. He was too busy during this period. Although he was very excited, he was also a little tired. At this moment, the door of his office was violently pushed open. Wu Dingxiong opened his eyes and two cold lights flashed. What's the matter? 
looking at the secretary in front of him, Wu Dingxiong's face was not good. The good mood just now disappeared instantly. President, he is here. The secretary also realized that he had made a mistake. But thinking that the man was here, he didn't worry too much. He believed that as long as the president knew that the man was here, he would definitely be as excited as him. Who is here? Wu Dingxiong was even more dissatisfied with the secretary's nonsense. This secretary had to be replaced. It's better to change to a woman. The male secretary is too sloppy. It's better to have a female secretary. She is meticulous. President, it's Mr. Houtian, he's here. The secretary said excitedly before he realized that the boss had already changed his mind. Wu Dingxiong's brain was stunned for a moment, and he lost his ability to think for a short time. But soon, he came to his senses and said, Quick, take me there. In the VIP reception room, Wu Dingxiong came here under the guidance of the secretary. Although he had not met Yi Xiaotian in reality, he met Yi Xiaotian once in the reincarnation world at the end of the auction a few days ago under the introduction of Yi Xiu. So when he saw Yi Xiaotian and others in the VIP reception room, he recognized them at a glance. Mr. Houtian, why didn't you let Deacon Wu say hello to me in advance when you came, so that I could pick you up? Wu Dingxiong went straight to Yi Xiaotian as soon as he came in and stretched out his hands. Yi Xiaotian shook hands with him, and then said, President Wu, you are too polite. I came to see you this time because I want to trouble you. It's too polite to say trouble, Mr. Houtian, please tell me what you want. Wu Dingxiong said generously. He needed to let Yi Xiaotian see his attitude. If there is such a good business in the future, I will have to find them for cooperation. If they come a few more times, the Awakener Association will be completely rich. Yi Xiaotian said, It doesn't matter if you tell me, I just want to ask President Wu for a favor. Help me contact Lord Sword God. I want to see Lord Sword God. If someone else had such a request, President Wu would definitely fight back directly. Damn, can you see Lord Sword God whenever you want? If this person is Yi Xiaotian, it doesn't matter. So he immediately agreed with a smile on his face, No problem, Mr. Houtian, please sit here for a while, I will contact you right away. They have a dedicated line to contact the office of Lord Sword God's followers. Instructing the secretary and staff to treat Yi Xiaotian and his party well, Wu Dingxiong went to make a phone call. When the call was connected, a cold voice came from the other side, What's the matter? Director Sun, Mr. Houtian is here, he wants to see the Lord Sword God. Wu Dingxiong did not dare to talk nonsense, and directly stated his purpose. He knew very well what kind of personality the person on the other side of the phone was. If you dare to say a word of nonsense, he will hang up the phone, very straightforward. Sun Ping, Director of the Sword God's Office Normally, the followers of Lord Sword God are all managed by him. The Association of Awakeners can also be regarded as a subordinate organization of this office. He has Master Sword God on his back, so strictly speaking, Sun Ping is Wu Dingxiong's direct boss. But generally speaking, Sun Ping and the others would not interfere with Wu Dingxiong's work unless Master Sword God gave other orders. But for Wu Dingxiong, he wanted to listen more to Master Sword God's teachings. It's a pity that the Lord Sword God may not give him an order all year round. This distressed him, and he felt like a child without roots. I'm afraid no one would believe that he, the dignified president of the Association of Awakeners, would actually have such an idea. But this is reality. Not to mention the Blue Star level, in Xia Kingdom alone, various awakened forces are emerging in endlessly. How many can Wu Dingxiong command? The Land Reclamation Army is not under his control, the Night Watch Army is not under his control, the major colleges and universities are not under his control, and the major families have no direct affiliation. At a glance, only the awakened associations in various base cities will obey the orders of his president. But if there is the support of Lord Sword God, then all the forces mentioned above must be obedient. That's the difference. Okay, I will send someone to pick him up. After Sun Ping said that, he hung up the phone directly, leaving no chance for Wu Dingxiong to talk. Wu Dingxiong had no choice but to put down the phone and tell Yi Xiaotian the result. 
Chapter, 455 If possible, Wu Dingxiong wanted to drive Yi Xiaotian there himself. Unfortunately, Sun Ping didn't give him this opportunity at all. Not everyone can enter the residence of Lord Sword God. Even if Wu Dingxiong is the general president of the Awakener Association, it is not possible. Only a few followers of Lord Sword God can enter and leave this place freely. He can only find another opportunity. But now there is a thigh in front of him. If he can get the support of Yi Xiao Tian, then his voice in the Sword God's faction will definitely increase. But there is another problem. If he hugs Yi Xiao Tian's thigh, will the people of the Sword God's faction think he is betraying? This problem is what he needs to consider. And this problem is very serious. After thinking about it, Wu Dingxiong still didn't make a big bet. If you are not careful, you will lose more than you gain. Mr. Haotian, Lord Sword God will send someone to pick you up soon. You just need to wait here. Wu Dingxiong didn't do anything weird. Half an hour later, the car to pick up Yi Xiaotian arrived. Yi Xiaotian said to Xiao Cheng and the others, You go back to the hotel and wait for me first. This is to see the Sword God, not to see some random people, so it is impossible to bring everyone with you. Xiao Cheng and the others also knew that this matter was not something Yi Xiaotian could decide, although they really wanted to see the Sword God. But they still went back to the hotel obediently. Yi Xiaotian took the car and went to the Sword God's residence. The driver was Sun Ping, who Wu Dingxiong had just introduced. Wu Dingxiong did not expect that Sun Ping would come to pick him up in person. This is the first person under the Sword God, and he personally served as Yi Xiaotian's driver. As expected, this is a big thigh that everyone wants to hug. Director Sun, thank you for coming to pick me up in person. Yi Xiaotian sat in the back and said politely. Sun Ping did not dare to be arrogant, and said very politely, It should be, Mr. Haotian, you don't have to be polite. If Wu Dingxiong saw Sun Ping's attitude at this moment, he would definitely feel that he recognized the wrong person. Ice Cube Sun Ping, when has he ever been so polite to others? I'm afraid that he would only use such an attitude when he is with the Lord Sword God. Yi Xiaotian said, Director Sun, just call me Yi Xiaotian or Xiaotian. Okay, Mr. Yi. Sun Ping was still very polite. Yi Xiaotian didn't say much. It seemed that he corrected other people's names several times, after all, he was still young. But it didn't work. So he didn't bother to correct it later. It's just that Sun Ping is the first follower of the Sword God, and his status is not ordinary. I didn't expect him to be so polite. Sun Ping was like this, and Yi Xiaotian lost the interest in chatting with him. Half an hour later, the car entered a mountaintop manor and soon stopped outside a castle. Mountaintop, manor, castle. Although it's not as exaggerated as the Huang family manor, this is Kyoto. However, with the status of the Lord Sword God, even if the residence is exaggerated, it doesn't seem exaggerated. After getting off the car, Yi Xiaotian sighed a few words, and then entered the castle at Sun Ping's invitation. Entering the castle, it is the hall. At first glance, the middle is hollow and more than 10 meters high. There are circular stairs, corridors, and numerous rooms around. In the middle of the hall, there stands a tall figure. Just looking at him, you can feel the extremely sharp sword energy. Brother Yi, you are finally here, I am Zhuang Bufan. Sword God Zhuang Bufan saw Yi Xiaotian coming in and showed a warm smile. Hello, Senior Sword God. Yi Xiaotian bowed and saluted. Sword God Zhuang Bufan waved his hand, indicating that Sun Ping could go out, then came over and pulled Yi Xiaotian to sit down, poured him a cup of tea, and then said, We don't have to be so polite, just call each other brothers. How can that be? Yi Xiaotian was shocked. Not to mention the strength of both parties, just looking at their ages, Zhuang Bufan is more than enough to be Yi Xiaotian's grandfather. Zhuang Bufan still smiled and said, Why not? At our level, age and other things are empty, strength is the hard currency. Your future is limitless. Maybe you will be the first awakener of our blue star to be promoted to SS level. At that time, I will benefit from you. Yi Xiaotian hurriedly said, No matter what time, 
you are my elder. Chuan Bufan was naturally very happy that Yi Xiaotian could do this. But now Yi Xiaotian is qualified to be on an equal footing with them. He forced the alien and sea tribe armies to retreat with his own strength, but even they couldn't do it. Now he can definitely influence the future of Blue Star. The five Supremes all treat Yi Xiaotian equally. As the Supreme of Xia country, Zhuang Bufan was very optimistic about Yi Xiaotian, so he was naturally more easygoing. Okay, I'm not polite to you. You have also seen afar on the alien battlefield. What kind of person do you think he is? Zhuang Bufan said. Yi Xiaotian hesitated for a moment before he said tentatively, easy to approach and not fussy about details. Ha ha ha. Hearing this, Zhuang Bufan burst into laughter. Yi Xiaotian was confused by Zhuang Bufan's laughter. Looking at Yi Xiaotian's confused face, Zhuang Bufan found it even funnier. After he finished laughing, he said, only you would say he is easy to approach and not fussy about details. Yi Xiaotian said blankly, isn't it? In his eyes, Afar seemed to be like this. In his eyes, among the five supreme beings, only Zhuang Bufan looked like a human being, and the others were not. Isn't such a person not casual? And the way of getting along with him is also very easygoing. Isn't this approachable? Zhuang Bufan said, don't be fooled by his appearance. That guy is the most ruthless and cold. Yi Xiaotian was speechless. He felt that the afar that Zhuang Bufan said and the afar he knew should be two people. Senior, are you sure that the afar you are talking about is the one I know? Yi Xiaotian asked carefully. Zhuang Bufan said, he saved you in the alien battlefield, so he must be right. That guy rode a golden lion, the golden bow god afar, so he must be right. Yi Xiaotian was speechless. Was he really deceived by him? He is a supreme strong man with his own style. How could he deceive young people casually? Zhuang Bufan looked at Yi Xiaotian who was in a dilemma and waved his hand, saying, forget it, it's not your fault. You don't spend much time with him, so it's not surprising that you were deceived by his appearance. Yi Xiaotian suddenly said, Do you know how Senior Afar described you guys at the beginning? It must be nothing good. This guy is also known for his poisonous tongue. Zhuang Bufan said unhappily. Chapter 456 It seems that the senior really knows Senior Afar very well. Yi Xiaotian said. Zhuang Bufan suddenly became interested and said, Then tell me, how did he evaluate us? Yi Xiaotian hesitated for a moment before speaking, Well, he said that the senior was an ordinary mortal, Senior Thor of the beautiful country was a sloppy fat man, the god of war of the bear country was a brainless big guy, and the pharaoh of the Yama alliance was a half dead lunatic. Zhuang Bufan was stunned for a moment when he heard this, and then laughed again. From what you hear, you know that it must be said by that shameless hypocrite afar. Zhuang Bufan said with a big laugh. Yi Xiaotian. Afar didn't say this about himself. He said he was an elegant gentleman. But in Zhuang Bufan's mouth, he became a shameless hypocrite. Who of these big guys is telling the truth? In Yi Xiaotian's heart, of course, he is more inclined to believe what Zhuang Bufan said. After all, these are all people of the Yen Huang bloodline. So he also laughed twice, a little embarrassed. Zhuang Bufan also saw his embarrassment and said, Don't mind it. Afar is such a person. He likes to joke and is a bit poisonous. But the title of shameless and hypocrite is not said by me, but by Thor of the United States. They are both members of the United States Alliance, so I think what he said should not be false. Zhuang Bufan's words directly put all the responsibility on Thor. Yi Xiaotian was even more speechless. These big guys were really different from what he imagined. Afar was like this, and so was Zhuang Bufan. I think Thor was not much better. In an instant, the image of the big guy in Yi Xiaotian's mind collapsed a little. You are all the ceiling of human combat power, you are big guys. What should we do as juniors if you do this? Zhuang Bufan kept asking Yi Xiaotian to drink tea. After Yi Xiaotian drank it, he found that the tea seemed to be different. Have you tasted it? This tea is a good thing. Zhuang Bufan said, without too much explanation. 
At the end, he said, by the way, you must have something to do when you come to see me this time, right? If I guess correctly, you must have something to do when you come to Beijing this time. Yi Xiaotian thought about it, and did not hide it, but nodded and said, Senior, you guessed right. This time I came to Beijing, there are indeed some old accounts to settle. Zhuang Bufan smiled and said, So you are here to greet me? Yi Xiaotian was a little embarrassed, but soon said seriously, Of course not, I came to Beijing this time to visit you, after all, I have received a lot of favors from you, and I have never thanked you in person. As for the old account, it was just a byproduct. Zhuang Bufan said, Okay, I believe what you said. Yi Xiaotian was a little embarrassed again. There was no way. Young people can't hide things on their faces. Zhuang Bufan said, Okay, I won't tease you anymore. Tell me, what's the matter? Yi Xiaotian immediately talked about the grievances between him and the Qian family, and also told them about the Qian family sending people to attack them on the alien battlefield. After hearing what Yi Xiaotian said, Zhuang Bufan looked serious and said, What do you want to do? Yi Xiaotian did not answer, but asked, What do you want me to do? Zhuang Bufan smiled and said, I can do anything. Even if you destroy the Qian family, I have no objection. Now it was Yi Xiaotian's turn to be surprised, really? Zhuang Bufan said, why do you think I will interfere with you? Yi Xiaotian said, Senior is the supreme ruler of our Xia country, and Kyoto is where you live. I just think that you don't want Kyoto to cause too much trouble. Zhuang Bufan said disdainfully, It's just a Qian family, what kind of trouble can it cause? Yi Xiaotian was surprised. Good guy, the Qian family is one of the top families in Kyoto. If it is really destroyed, not to mention the panic of the people, it will definitely cause a huge discussion. But when it comes to Lord Sword God, it's like an ant has died. Zhuang Bufan said, Okay, Brother Yi, let me tell you the truth. With your current status, let alone the Qian family, even if you wipe out all the families in Kyoto, we will not have any objections. Because you alone are equal to countless aristocratic families. Yi Xiaotian was a little stunned. But the Qian family is also a part of the strength of Xia country and the human race. Yi Xiaotian said. Zhuang Bufan said disdainfully, they are all selfish people. I just don't bother to pay attention to them, otherwise I would have taken action against them long ago. In recent years, Blue Star has been a little more peaceful, and these aristocratic families have begun to have different thoughts and various small actions. Do you really think I am blind? Yi Xiaotian said then why don't you stop them? Zhuang Bufan said, why should I stop them? Ah! Uh. Zhuang Bufan has made Yi Xiaotian unable to do anything again. Zhuang Bufan said, at our level, it doesn't matter what kind of aristocratic families appear in Xia country. What really matters is talents like you. Others are like leeks. Once cut, they will grow again. Instead of wasting time doing these useless things, it is better to sit back and watch the wind and clouds rise. Yi Xiaotian said, then aren't you afraid that the real geniuses will be harmed by them? Zhuang Bufan sneered, real talents will not be harmed. Those who can be harmed are ordinary people. Yi Xiaotian really didn't know what to say. I'm afraid that in the eyes of these big guys, the definition of genius is different from that of ordinary people. In their opinion, true geniuses are those who can fight their way out of the sea of blood and corpses. Those who can't even get through a little suppression can only be regarded as mediocre. At this time, Zhuang Bufan said, Brother Yi, you have risen too fast, and you still retain the passion of a young man. Some things will be just like that after you see more. Yi Xiaotian fell into deep thought. He always felt that Zhuang Bufan's words were wrong, but he didn't know where it was wrong. It can only be said that the scenery you see is different when you stand at different heights. Standing at the height of Lord Sword God, all people in the world are the same. Or, in their eyes, there are only two kinds of people, one is a fellow like Yi Xiaotian. The other is ordinary people. As for the various geniuses outside, they are not in their eyes at all. Seeing Yi Xiaotian's expression, Zhuang Bufan smiled and said, Okay, don't worry about it. You will understand this kind of thing after experiencing it many times. 
It's useless for you to think more now, so you can do whatever you want with the Qian family's affairs. I won't interfere. As for any troubles, you have to solve them yourself. Do you understand? Chapter, 457 After coming out from the Sword God, Yi Xiao Tian had a clear idea in his mind. He also understood what these big guys were thinking. For them, there are only two kinds of people in this world, one is people like them, and the other is other people. They don't care about the life and death of others at all. Or, they have experienced too much, so they have let it go. Some things, they just can't care about them. After all, as people standing at the top of the ceiling of human combat power, they need to be responsible for the rise and fall of the entire human race. As for which people rise up and become the best in this rise and fall process. And which people become dry bones, it is not something they can decide. Whether it is luck or strategy, those who can survive are all heroes. As long as they don't stand completely against the human race, they won't care. For example, they have known what the Qian family did for a long time. And there is definitely more than one Qian family in this world. But they didn't do much. Other geniuses are geniuses, and the geniuses of the Qian family are also geniuses. As long as the Qian family does not betray the human race, they will not come forward directly. For example, now, the Qian family has provoked Yi Xiaotian, and Yi Xiaotian wants to make trouble for the Qian family. Zhuang Bufan directly said that he does not care about this matter. As long as Yi Xiaotian has the ability, it does not matter if the Qian family is destroyed. This is the pattern of the Supreme Strong. Yi Xiaotian couldn't help but sigh, and he had already made up his mind. As the Lord Sword God said, his rise was too fast, so his mentality has not been adjusted. But he should try to start looking at the world from a higher position. Otherwise, he will be very tired. After all, this world, in the final analysis, is still the world of human beings. As long as human beings do not perish, the rivers and lakes will always exist, and some ghosts and monsters in the rivers and lakes will always exist. Even gods may not be able to prevent such things. Yi Xiaotian thinks that what the Lord Sword God said makes sense. From a personal perspective, the Qian family must die. But from the perspective of the entire human race, there is really nothing wrong with the Qian family. However, Yi Xiaotian felt that he was just a small figure, a normal awakener. Therefore, the Qian family must go there. Under the escort of Sun Ping, Yi Xiaotian returned to the hotel. Hearing that he was back, Wang Hao and the others hurried over to see Yi Xiaotian, and then asked about the process of meeting the Lord Sword God. In their eyes, the supreme power is God. Before becoming members of the Haotian team, they may not have the opportunity to meet the supreme power in this life. But now with Yi Xiaotian, they have expectations for meeting the supreme power, but they will not despair. After all, it is a consensus that Yi Xiaotian will definitely become a supreme power in the future. There is one around, so why rush? But they are still very curious about what Yi Xiaotian will talk about when he meets the Lord Sword God. Yi Xiaotian certainly will not tell them the content of his conversation with the Lord Sword God, but just tell them that the Lord Sword God is very easygoing. Very approachable. Then they received a lot of envious eyes. What does Lord Sword God say about the Qian family? Xiao Qing asked with concern. They came to Beijing this time for two things. One is that Yi Xiaotian wants to meet Lord Sword God and thank him in person. The other is to cause trouble for the Qian family. When Yi Xiaotian goes to see Lord Sword God, he will definitely ask for his opinion. Yi Xiaotian said, Lord Sword God has no opinion. He said that I can do whatever I want. Everyone was stunned. What kind of attitude is this? Neither support nor opposition, but this ambiguous answer is the most difficult to figure out. Seeing Xiao Cheng's thoughtful look, Yi Xiaotian said, is there any problem? Xiao Qing said, There are some problems, but they should not be big. Yi Xiao Tian was a little confused again. Those who came from big families like to say half and leave half when speaking. He hates this behavior. It's like this. As one of the top big families in Kyoto, the Qian family is not only very strong in itself. 
but also very strong in various relationships and networks. Xiao Qing said here and stopped again, looking at Yi Xiao Tian. He felt that he had said it so clearly, and Yi Xiao Tian should be able to understand it. Yi Xiao Tian did understand a little bit, and said, You mean that the Qian family is very powerful? If we want to deal with the Qian family, we may have to deal with the forces related to them? Xiao Qing said, It is possible. Of course, there is another possibility. Xiao Qing added, What is possible? Xiao Cheng, can you finish your words at once, not one paragraph at a time, like squeezing toothpaste, and not being straightforward, like a woman? Wang Hao couldn't help yelling and cursing when he heard this. It was really too strenuous for him to listen to Xiao Qing speak. Yi Xiao Tian couldn't help but give Wang Hao a thumbs up in his heart. He also wanted to scold Xiao Cheng, but he was embarrassed. Damn, am I just a little ordinary? It's been like this in my past and present lives, what can I do? I don't have the opportunity to receive special training. Unlike Xiao Cheng and Peng Xianyu, they have been trained according to the standards of family heirs since childhood. No matter what grade of talent is awakened, at least the ideology, morality and brains must be cultivated as the heir to the head of the family. But Yi Xiao Tian was of ordinary origin in his two lives, and it was impossible for him to receive this kind of training. Therefore, when we behave in the world, what we think and think are the thoughts and thoughts of the common people. This may be what Senior Sword God said, the rise is too fast, so the mentality has not caught up yet. Yi Xiao Tian thought silently in his heart. When you think about things, you subconsciously think from the bottom. But Xiao Cheng and the others always think about things from a very high level. So what Yi Xiao Tian wants is to destroy the Qian family, and he has the ability to destroy the Qian family. But what Xiao Cheng and the others were thinking about was the Qian family's intricate network of relationships. He can destroy the Qian family, but can he also destroy the forces related to the Qian family? The Xia kingdom's estimated power is estimated to be less than half. Xiao Cheng was scolded by Wang Hao, but he was not angry and said directly, Brother Tian's current status and strength are all here. So the other possibility I mentioned is that the Qian family's connections are the ones who attack at first sight. Brother Tian, just stop. Wang Hao muttered, you said something humane. Xiao Cheng. What I always say is human words, okay. Yi Xiao Tian thought about it for a while and then said, then do you have any good suggestions? Listen to others and eat enough. Yi Xiao Tian feels that in the future, he should discuss his behavior with these aristocratic family members and learn more about their wisdom in life. He can be willful, but he cannot let senior sword god down. Chapter, 458 We can use fishing reels. Xiao Qing said, and repeated his plan. It seems that the Ghost Island country and the beautiful alliance had joined forces to fight a fishing reel war before, targeting Yi Xiao Tian, and then failed. So Yi Xiao Tian didn't seem to be very interested. For him, it was just a matter of crushing with force. Whoever dared to stand on the same line with the Qian family would die with them. He still didn't quite believe that the Qian family's network of relationships would dare to get close to them after knowing that he was targeting the Qian family. He, Yi Xiao Tian, is now very famous. As everyone knows, he, Yi Xiao Tian, never does things that bully others by taking advantage of his power. However, what Xiao Cheng said also made some sense, so he would do both. Didn't we take a video when we were on the alien battlefield? Send that video out, and then find the Qian family. Xiao Cheng saw the hesitation on Yi Xiao Tian's face and added. In this way, there would be no problem. When Yi Xiao Tian heard it, he felt that this was in line with his character. Two-pronged approach, this is the real good way. Whoever dares to help the Qian family should consider the power of public opinion. The best way to do this is of course to let Xiao Qing do it. The Xiao family has a lot of connections in Kyoto. Afterwards, the hotel called and said that someone wanted to see him. His surname was Mu. The biggest family with the surname Mu in Kyoto is Mu Bingyan's family. It was just because of the marriage that Mu Bingyan broke up with the Mu family. Otherwise, with her status as the eldest daughter of the Mu family, she would not have gone to Jiangqing alone to take the college entrance examination. 
To be honest, she is much more pitiful than Huang Jia. After all, although Huang Jia was squeezed out of the quota of Wanshan City, at least he was arranged to go to Jiangcheng, and there was family support. But Mu Bingyan was completely alone. Even the family could not know. God knows how she ran from Kyoto to Jiangcheng alone. At first, Yi Xiaotian didn't think so, but later he thought about it and was really scared. This girl is also a ruthless person. You have to know that although the wilderness is much safer now than before, it is not 100% safe. It is a long way from Kyoto to Jiangcheng. Mu Bingyan, a rookie awakener who has just awakened, can survive to Jiangcheng. It is really a great honor for her ancestors. Later, after the Mu family knew that Mu Bingyan joined the Houtian team, they wanted to meet her several times, but they were all rejected by Mu Bingyan. Mu Bingyan didn't want to see her, so Yi Xiaotian would not see her. Unexpectedly, the Mu family knew about their visit to Beijing so quickly. There are only two forces that know that they are coming to Kyoto, one is the Awakener Association, and the other is the Hotel. The Awakener Association should not expose their news. Then it can only be the hotel. This hotel has shares of the Mu family, I forgot before. Xiao Qing suddenly realized at this time. As for Mu Bingyan, she didn't know about this at all. She had never been involved in the family's business. Yi Xiao Tian glared at Xiao Qing. This host was not competent at all. Bing Yen, if you want to see them, you can see them. If you don't want to see them, you don't have to see them. It's the same as before. Han Xu Yao was the first to support them. Yi Xiao Tian also said, That's right, now we don't have to fear anyone. Others expressed their support for Mu Bingyan's idea. Let's meet. As the saying goes, if you don't return home when you are rich, it's like walking at night in brocade clothes. Besides, I also want to hear what they can say. Mu Bingyan said calmly. Mu Bingyan, the person involved, agreed, so Yi Xiaotian naturally had no reason to refuse. He ordered the hotel to have someone bring the Mu family up. As for the hotel's account, no matter how Mu Bingyan negotiated. If they can forget their grudges with a smile, then there is no need to settle the account. They are all family members. If the negotiation fails, there is nothing to say. The hotel must be responsible. Is his whereabouts so easy to leak? Why didn't anyone dare to leak the whereabouts of Lord Sword God? After some arrangements were made, Mu Bingyan would entertain the Mu family herself, but Yi Xiaotian and the others were hiding in the room connected to the suite, so they could rush out immediately if Mu Bingyan called out. When Xiao Qing saw the people coming, he exclaimed in surprise, Why are they here? Who? Looking at the person who was posted on the door and looking outside through the peephole, Xiao Qing asked. Mu Bingyan's parents. Xiao Qing replied. Do you know her parents? Wang Hao said. Xiao Qing said, They are both in Kyoto, and her parents are both famous people, how could they not know each other? Wang Hao continued. Then why do you think they forced Mu Bingyan to marry Qian Junli? Xiao Qing explained, It is very common for big families to marry each other. Being in a big family, enjoying the support of the family's resources, you naturally have to be aware of devoting yourself to the family. Wang Hao said, You mean, the children of big families have no freedom of marriage? Xiao Qing said, That's about it. This is the helplessness of being in a big family. Wang Hao said, it seems that it is not so easy to be a child of a big family. He thought to himself, fortunately Xiaoxi is not from a big family. Uh, no, in Jiangqing, the Chan family is a big family. I can only say that fortunately he has a good brother, otherwise his and Chang Xiaoxi's affairs would not be so easy. Because of the skill isolation, the conversations inside the room could not be heard outside, but the voices outside could be heard clearly inside. Outside. Mu Bingyan still maintained a cold expression, and there was no change even when her parents came. She even didn't call her parents. It seemed that since they forced her to marry Qian Junli, her parents were already dead in her heart. How could they force their daughter to jump into the fire pit? Since they didn't recognize her as a daughter, why should she recognize her parents? Mu Bingyan was such a straightforward person. Mu Jinli, the head of the Mu family, 
found that Mu Bingyan had no intention of speaking on her own initiative. Knowing his daughter's character well, he quickly winked at his wife. Madame Mu Qin Xingzhu could only say, Bing Yen, I haven't seen you for more than a year. Don't you want to see your parents at all? Mu Bing Yen didn't say anything, just sat quietly. Seeing this, Mu Jianli could only continue to wink. Qin Xingzhu could only continue, Bing Yen, although my parents were wrong about what happened before, we can't do anything about it. There are no parents in the world who don't love their children, so don't be angry with us. Yes, daughter, no matter what, you are our daughter, no one can deny this, and we have our own difficulties. Mu Jianli couldn't help but speak. Xiao Cheng and others in the room were relieved when they heard what Mu's parents said. Fortunately, their IQ is online. They didn't say anything stupid or do anything stupid. Chapter 459 Faced with her parents' flattery, although Mu Bingyan knew that their intentions were not pure, it must be because of Yi Xiaotian. But her frozen heart was still moved. No matter what, they are indeed her parents. Although they were wrong in the original matter, what Xiao Qing said seemed to make sense. Being in a big family, you have to be aware of sacrificing for the family after enjoying the family's training. Looking at Mu Jianli's graying temples, Mu Bingyan's heart was also filled with unspeakable distress. Although her father is the head of the family, he is usually very impressive. But the more she gets in touch with him and understands him, the more she understands that her father is not as glorious as he looks. In other words, there are very few heads of families who can be truly consistent and glorious. As strong as Huang Jie's father Huang Xiongying, he gained his reputation from the bloody sea of monsters. But when encountering major family events, isn't there any way but to send the newborn son to the temporary training camp in Jiangcheng? Scenes flashed through Mu Bingyan's mind, and two lines of tears fell unconsciously. Mu Jianli and Qin Xingzhu were very disappointed. In fact, they had already regretted when Mu Bingyan ran away from home. But there were many things that they could only keep in their hearts and could not say. Later, they were very happy to know that their daughter was still alive. They did not alarm the snake. Since their daughter had already escaped, let her escape. Finding her back would not be like pushing her into the fire pit. They knew too well what kind of character Qian Junli was. But what could they do? This was the decision of the family. Even if he was the head of the family, he could not resist and could only accept it. Later, Mu Bingyan joined the Haokian team. With the rise of Yi Xiaotian, they finally put their minds at ease. And after that, they contacted Mu Bingyan completely because Mu Bingyan had Yi Xiaotian's support and did not need to pay attention to the family's orders at all. But in Mu Bingyan's view, they came to her at this time just to get in touch with Yi Xiaotian through her. So she didn't want to pay attention to them anymore. Until today. She agreed to meet her parents only after they came to her again. She originally thought that maybe after this meeting, they might never meet again in this life. But after listening to her parents' words, her heart was still touched. It's not that she was touched, but she also realized it. She grew up. She also knew that in the world, no matter how powerful you are, you have your own helplessness. Even as powerful as Wu Dingxiong, he also has helplessness. Even the supreme strong man has his own helplessness. What about her parents? At this moment, tears overflowed uncontrollably and slid down her cheeks. In her heart, she had forgiven her parents, but she was not good at speaking, so she couldn't say anything. She could only cry. Mu Jianli and Qin Xingzhu panicked and they saw their daughter crying. It was Qin Xingzhu who sat next to Mu Bingyan and held her in his arms. Mu Bingyan also hugged her mother and cried. She needed to vent so much. Her parents, who used to love her, suddenly stopped loving her. They even pushed her into the fire pit. How could a girl who had just grown up bear such a change? She was fine, but the more extreme ones would have tried to commit suicide. Mu Jianli breathed a sigh of relief when he saw this. When everyone in the room heard that Mu Bingyan was crying, they were furious and wanted to come out to support her. Then they saw Mu Bingyan hugging her mother. Only then did they realize that she was not crying because she was wronged, but because she was crying with joy. 
As teammates, they were naturally very happy that Mu Bingyan could resolve misunderstandings and conflicts with her family. They felt sorry for Mu Bingyan, but she was not good at communication and had a cold face all day, so they could only hide their concern in their hearts. Now that Mu Bingyan was finally able to make peace with her family, they were naturally happy for her. The family of three had resolved their knot, and Mu Jinli thought about letting his daughter go back home to live. But she was rejected by Mu Bingyan. She could forgive her parents, but that didn't mean she could forgive other people in the Mu family. Mu Jianli saw that Mu Bingyan's attitude was very firm, so he didn't force her. They just reconciled, and he didn't want to force his daughter anymore. As for whether to go home or not, it didn't matter. Now his daughter no longer needed to rely on the family's power. On the contrary, the Mu family might have to rely on their daughter's power in the future. So this family, if the daughter wants to go back, she can go back, if she doesn't want to go back, forget it. Mu Jianli originally wanted to meet Yi Xiaotian, but unfortunately, Yi Xiaotian didn't show up in the end. But there was no rush, as long as his daughter was still in the Haotian team, there would be plenty of opportunities in the future. Mu Jianli took his wife back, and Yi Xiaotian and others immediately came out of the room. Several girls surrounded Mu Bingyan and congratulated her. The man didn't know how to speak, so he could only sit aside and listen. With the comfort of Han Xuyao and others, Mu Bingyan soon returned to her cold appearance. That night, in the hotel room. After an in-depth exchange between the couple, Yi Xiaotian still felt a little unsatisfied as usual. But he was used to this situation. His physical strength was much higher than Han Xuyao's. If he wanted to enjoy himself, Han Xuyao's physique would have to be above the A-level awakener standard. But it is obvious that as a superpower, Han Xuyao's main attribute is spirit, and her physique can only be regarded as a secondary attribute, which will not be emphasized. Han Xuyao suddenly asked Yi Xiao Tian, Brother Tian, do you remember that time when I said I would give you a gift at the bottom of the sea? Yi Xiao Tian was stunned. He remembered this matter, but he thought Han Xuyao had forgotten it, so he didn't mention it again. Han Xuyao suddenly asked this question, and he didn't know how to answer. Fortunately, Han Xuyao didn't ask any more questions, but continued, Now I can tell you. What gift, you won't always carry it with you. Yi Xiaotian said strangely. It seems that Han Xuyao has not left alone these days. As for the gains on the battlefield, it seems to be of no use to him. Do you want to guess again? Han Xuyao suddenly said playfully. Yi Xiaotian scratched his head and said, Just forgive me. You know I'm not good at these things. Han Xuyao said with a disappointed look on her face, forget it. I know you're just a piece of wood. I don't know what I like about you. Isn't that what you like about me? Yi Xiaotian asked back. Han Xuyao complained, bullshit, I'm not. I just like you because you're handsome. Otherwise, who would like you? What else could Yi Xiaotian say? This was the greatest compliment to him. Okay, let me tell you directly. The gift I told you about before is Mu Bingyan. Han Xuyao said. Chapter, 460 Yi Xiaotian was shocked by Han Xuyao's words. What gift is Mu Bingyan? What nonsense are you talking about? Yi Xiaotian was very clear-headed at this moment, and the sage time ended in an instant. Don't talk nonsense. Yi Xiaotian scolded in a low voice. Han Xuyao smiled and said, Do you dare to say that you have no feelings for Mu Bingyan? Of course not. Yi Xiaotian answered very firmly, but his confidence was not so strong. For Mu Bingyan, as long as he is a man, no one dares to say that he has no feelings. And for Mu Bingyan, he originally had a sense of guilt in his heart, and he always felt sorry for her. If he hadn't concealed his identity at the beginning and let Mu Bingyan fall in love with his identity of Haotian, she wouldn't have been unable to let go until now. Although Mu Bingyan has been very restrained. But Yi Xiaotian can still feel that Mu Bingyan's eyes looking at him are full of strangeness. Thinking of this matter, Yi Xiaotian is also very distressed. What if Mu Bingyan can't let him go for the rest of her life? Do I really want to delay her for the rest of her life? He never let go of that strong sense of guilt. 
Now that Han Xuyao asked him this, he felt a little guilty. Although he had no physical problems, he still had some mental problems. Han Xuyao said, Okay, do I think I don't know what you think? I believe in your character, and Bing Yen believes in it too. It's just that some things are not subject to human will. Yi Xiao Tian was confused and said, What are you talking about? Han Xuyao stretched out her hand and twisted his waist hard, then said angrily, You are such a good guy. Yi Xiao Tian couldn't understand it anymore. I really don't know what you are talking about. Yi Xiao Tian said very straightforwardly. Whether you really don't know or are pretending to be stupid, you have to be firm at this time. Han Xuyao hugged Yi Xiaotian's arm, leaned her head on his shoulder, and said, I have talked to Bing Yen. Although she said she needs to think about it, I think she doesn't have any objections. Yi Xiaotian's heart was pounding. Was Han Xuyao really going to give Mu Bing Yen to him as a gift? And the ridiculous thing is that Mu Bing Yen didn't refuse. What's your expression? Are you so happy that you are stupid? Han Xuyao said dissatisfiedly. Although she personally promoted this matter, she was still very unhappy when she saw Yi Xiaotian's look. Yi Xiaotian hurriedly said, What nonsense are you talking about? I have never thought about this kind of thing. I only have you in my heart. Han Xuyao said sweetly, Although I know there is some water in this word, I am very satisfied that you can say it like this. Yi Xiaotian is a dull boy in terms of feelings, and his mouth is very stupid. Forget about some coaxing words between couples. It's better to let him say it. It won't be so tiring if she takes the initiative. Having known Yi Xiaotian for nearly ten years, she still knows Yi Xiaotian's character very well. Many times she would wonder, if she didn't seize the opportunity, who would this man end up with? Yi Xiaotian was born an orphan and lived on state aid. Then, at the awakening ceremony, he only awakened his sea level talent. In the eyes of most people, Yi Xiaotian's life is already useless. Either be an ordinary person or be a cannon fodder on the battlefield. And what about Han Xuyao? She awakened the S level thunder talent Thunder Punishment, which is a real genius. There are several worlds between her and Yi Xiaotian. But she did not give up Yi Xiaotian, and still pursued Yi Xiaotian as before. It surprised countless people. At the beginning, everyone's evaluation of Han Xuyao's behavior was that she was blind. But now everyone's evaluation of her is that she has a keen eye. It is said that women in love have zero IQ, and this sentence still makes sense. Otherwise, why did Han Xuyao insist on pursuing Yi Xiaotian? This is unscientific. But now, no one does not admire Han Xuyao. A wise eye is a wise eye. She even identified the hero that the awakening ceremony did not identify. Han Xuyao is also very satisfied with Yi Xiaotian. But she also knows that the gap between her and Yi Xiaotian is too big, and she will never be able to catch up. Even if she catches up in the end, she alone cannot satisfy Yi Xiaotian. So it is a very wise choice to bring Mu Bingyan in. This can not only meet Yi Xiaotian's needs, but also occupy a dominant position in this three-way trip. Han Xuyao really wants to praise her own intelligence. Yi Xiaotian hesitated for a while before asking, Xuyao, how can you have such an idea? He remembered that he did not seem to have actively expressed his intention in this regard. Han Xuyao explained in a low voice. Yi Xiaotian was stunned. It turned out to be so simple. If he had known this earlier, he should have worked harder. No. Yi Xiaotian is a pure person, how could he have such a dirty idea? This is definitely not his real idea. He must have been led astray by Han Xuyao. The two chatted for a while and then went to sleep. The next day, everyone packed up and prepared to leave for the Qian family. When Yi Xiaotian saw Mu Bingyan, his expression was a little unnatural. Mu Bingyan, on the other hand, seemed as if nothing had happened, just like before. Anyway, up to now, she only had Yi Xiaotian in her heart, and she had never forgotten him. In fact, every time she met a boy, she would unconsciously compare him with Yi Xiaotian. After a comparison, she would feel that the other party was useless. As the comparisons became more and more, she became more and more desperate. 
In this case, her impression of Yi Xiaotian became deeper and deeper. It is estimated that she will never forget him in this life. So in the end, she gave up. Why must she forget? As long as she does not interfere in Yi Xiaotian's marriage, can anyone stop her from loving someone silently in her heart? At this time, Han Xuyao found her and told her about that thing. Mu Bingyan was stunned at first and couldn't believe it. As the communication deepened, Mu Bingyan believed that what Han Xuyao said was true. But how could she, as a woman of the new era, accept such a thing? But why was she so tempted in her heart? Mu Bingyan was also distressed. When Yi Xiaotian looked at her in the morning, she glared back as usual. But soon, a blush appeared on her face. She realized that Han Shu Yao must have told Yi Xiaotian about her. Her face looked a little unnatural. The group quickly left the hotel and headed towards the Qian family. Chapter 461 Bang! Kyoto, Qian family. The head of the family, Qian Zhendong, smashed a table with one palm and shouted, Have you found out who did it? Below him, there were two people standing. One was Qian Jinnan and the other was Qian Jinxi. They were both his younger brothers, and they were also his biological brothers from the same father and mother. In fact, they also had a youngest brother, Qian Jinbei. However, it was the one that Yi Xiaotian met when he first came to Kyoto, and was summoned by Qian Junli to help. Qian Zhendong's words had two meanings, asking two people respectively. Qian Zhenan replied, Brother, I have already checked here. This matter should be related to Juanli. The one who contacted the alien battlefield was Lao Si. But Qian Zhenxi said, Brother, we can't find any information about the reincarnation world, but we speculate that it should be the video released by the Haotian team. And brother, the people of the Haotian team have entered Beijing yesterday. According to our investigation, Yi Xiaotian went to the semi-god residence after arriving in Kyoto. There was a silence in the hall. Qian Zhendong's mind kept turning, thinking about what to do about this matter. The impact is really too great, and it's all negative. Yi Xiaotian took the Haotian team to the alien battlefield to help fight the aliens, but what did your Qian family do? You actually sent people to intercept and kill them. Now the video of this incident has spread in the reincarnation world, and the awakened people of the whole Xia country and the whole Blue Star have already known about this matter. Even if it ferments, even the aliens and the sea will know. By then, their Qian family will be really famous. Even if the Qian family is the top awakening family in Xia country, they cannot bear such a bad reputation. Just killing their own awakeners in the alien battlefield is already a huge crime. And the target of the killing is the great god Haotian. The combined power of these two means that the Qian family has become notorious in the reincarnation world this morning. Qian Zhendong did not sleep all night and has been paying attention to the information trends in the reincarnation world. Basically, no one spoke for their Qian family, and they were all one-sided. Even if there are one or two people who speak for their Qian family, they will soon be cursed for their ancestors. After that, no one really dared to speak for the Qian family. Even the awakened people of the Qian family hid and dared not show up. The awakened people of Xia country petitioned the Awakening Association and the Supreme Defense Committee, hoping that they could come forward to sanction the Qian family. But so far, Qian Zhendong has not received any information from these two organizations. This made him feel a little relieved. It was just that after hearing what his third brother Qian Jinxi said, Qian Zhendong almost fainted. He knew what it meant for the Haotian team to enter Beijing at this time, and he also understood what it meant for Yi Xiaotian to go to the half-god residence. But the final result is still unknown. What about those two evil creatures? Qian Zhendong groaned for a long time before growling. One is his own son, and the other is his own brother. What can he do? The Qian family has become powerful and a little arrogant. And this time his son actually awakened an SS-level talent, which overshadowed the Xiao family and the Mu family. This is actually the worst for the Mu family. The best talent of this generation of the Mu family is only awakened to an S-level talent. Then the Mu family was eager to marry the Qian family and marry the son of the head of the Mu family to the Qian family. Qian Zhendong naturally would not object to this matter. 
The Mu family wanted to borrow the power of the Qian family, and the Qian family was also planning to take advantage of the Mu family. But later I heard that the girl from the Mu family ran away from home. Qian Zhendong did not make any statement on this. Anyway, it was just a verbal agreement now, and there was no engagement party or anything like that. Moreover, as long as the Qian family was willing, could they not find it back? The child was still young, and Qian Zhendong was not very concerned about this matter, so he delayed it. But later, he heard that the girl from the Mu family joined the Haotian team. After Qian Zhendong knew the news, he became concerned about this matter. But the two old guys from the Mu family actually refused to do so, which was simply unreasonable. Qian Zhendong was planning to make another appointment with Mu Jianli to discuss the marriage of the two children. Unexpectedly, a fire broke out in his backyard. Now the fishing reel is very unfavorable to the Qian family. At this time, Yi Xiaotian went to Beijing, and also went to the semi-god residence to visit Lord Sword God. Qian Zhendong knew very well what Lord Sword God's attitude was towards Yi Xiaotian. If Yi Xiaotian wanted to cause trouble for the Qian family, Lord Sword God would definitely not stop him, and he would probably applaud on the side. Thinking about Yi Xiaotian's record in the alien battlefield, Qian Zhendong felt his scalp tingling. He killed more than 20 alien SS level awakeners by himself, forcing the aliens to withdraw their army from the alien battlefield. Such an awesome feat, even several Supremes have not done it. He did it. So he is a great contributor to the human race. His name will go down in history. At this time, if such a thing is exposed, if the Qian family fails to handle it well, it is destined to leave a bad reputation for all ages. Qian Zhendong began to contact people, and then sent people to find Qian Zhuanli and Qian Jinbei. The Qian family can't let them be buried with them. If he can't reach an agreement with Yi Xiaotian, Qian Zhendong will consider using the two of them to eliminate Yi Xiaotian's anger. Although Qian Zhuanli is the future of the Qian family, a genius among geniuses. But if the Qian family is gone, what's the use of this genius? And without the Qian family, Qian Zhuanli, a genius, would not be able to grow up. Qian Zhendong knows very well what kind of person his son is. This is just a stroke of luck, awakening the SS level talent. Otherwise, Qian Zhuanli would not have the qualification to be the heir to the head of the family. Qian Zhendong has more than just Qian Zhuanli as a son. Although the talents of the other sons cannot be compared with Qian Zhuanli, it doesn't matter. Their Qian family just won a bottle of SS level talent spirit liquid. Just create another SS level talent heir. The minimum standard for the heir of their family is SS level talent. Of course, the best result is to reach a settlement with Yi Xiaotian. For this reason, he also called Wu Dingxiong specifically, wanting him to take the lead in contacting and negotiating with Yi Xiaotian. Unfortunately, Wu Dingxiong refused directly when he heard the matter, and hung up the phone very straightforwardly. This made Qian Jindong very annoyed. I didn't expect that you, Wu Dingxiong, with thick eyebrows and big eyes, are such a shameless person. You didn't have this attitude before. However, Qian Zhendong didn't despair too much and began to contact other friends of the Qian family. But after making one call after another, Qian Zhendong's face became more and more ugly. These damn guys actually want to draw a clear line with the Qian family at this time. They are all shameless and cowardly. Chapter 462 Qian Zhendong made more than a dozen calls in a row, but there was no good news. Those close friends who used to have a close relationship with him actually refused to help at this time, and then they were busy distancing themselves from the Qian family. Qian Zhendong was so angry that he almost had a heart attack. Too shameless, too shameless. Qian Zhendong was so angry that he directly crushed the phone in his hand, and then cursed. In the past, these people, who received his call without a flattering expression and a flattering tone. But now. Cold, without any emotion. It was as if they were strangers who didn't know each other. Human hearts are too sinister. Qian Zhendong sat there in a daze. He knew that from this moment on, he no longer had any helpers, and everything depended on the Qian family. At this time, Qian Zhenan walked in quickly and reported to Qian Zhendong, 
brother, according to the spy, he Xiao Tian and his Haokian team are coming to the Qian family. Qian Zhendong's face changed, and then quickly dimmed. He knew that this time, the Qian family was doomed. But he was unwilling to accept it. His dignified Qian family had fought for several generations to reach its current size. If it was destroyed in Yi Xiaotian's hands, how could he face the ancestors of the Qian family after his death? For hundreds of years, how many ancestors of the Qian family died at the hands of foreign races for the sake of the human race? His Qian family did not get the status it has today. It was fought for with swords and guns. Is it possible that my Qian family has done so much, but there is no privilege at all? Jinnan, gather all the masters of the Qian family, we have to make preparations for both situations. Then, Qian Jindong told Qian Jinnan about his plan. After listening, Qian Jinnan did not say much nonsense and went to do it directly. The Qian family has to make preparations for both situations. Now Yi Xiao Tian is on the way, and there is not much time. While gathering masters, arrange a retreat. If you can reach a reconciliation with Yi Xiao Tian, it will naturally be the best. If not, then you can only fight first. It would be best if they could repel them. If they couldn't, the Qian family would be destroyed, and some blood would be left to the Qian family. These are what Qian Jinnan has to do now. Arrange some of the Qian family's children with good qualifications to leave immediately and leave Kyoto. If the Qian family can survive this disaster, then they can come back. If they can't survive, then they will have to settle down outside. What the Qian family will become in the future depends on their ability. The Qian family has been operating in Kyoto for hundreds of years, so how can they be underestimated? The entire Qian family started to operate. Qian Zhendong sat there, thinking about what else had not been arranged. Now he no longer has the mind to settle accounts with Qian Jinbei and his son Qian Juanli. Everything has to be postponed until this matter is over. At this time, Qian Jinshi came in and reported, Brother, Juanli and Jinbei have not been found yet. Where did they go? Qian Zhendong had a cold face, as if ice was about to form. At this time, these two bastards were not there. Qian Jinshi shook his head and said, All the available means of contact cannot be used. They are not in the reincarnation world. The most likely possibility is that they have gone out to sea. Now it is normal for awakened people to go out to sea to hunt awakened sea people. If Qian Jinbei took Qian Juanli out to sea to hunt, it would not be surprising. Qian Zhendong was relieved when he heard this and said, Well, they have to leave Kyoto anyway. It is safer for them to go out to sea now. Send someone to leave them a message to let them know what happened in Kyoto and tell them that if they don't receive any information from the family, don't go back to Kyoto. After Qian Zhendong gave the order, he waved his hand and said, Go and do it. I need to think about it again. Qian Jinshi heard this and immediately went to do the work. The Qian family is not a small family. There are so many things to do. One negligence is a big deal. So at this moment, Qian Jindong's brain dare not slack off. In this crisis, where is the chance for their Qian family to survive? These are all issues that he, the head of the family, should consider. After filtering it from beginning to end, Qian Zhendong finally breathed a sigh of relief. All aspects have been taken into consideration, and there is no omission. If there is any omission, the only place is Qian Zhenbei and Qian Juanli. But since they are out at sea, it doesn't matter. This huge crisis caused by these two guys, which concerns the survival of the Qian family, these two parties are not here. Soon, under the leadership of Xiao Cheng, Yi Xiao Tian and his party came to the Qian family. The Qian family's manner is larger than expected. When in Jiangcheng, Yi Xiao Tian felt that the Han family's house was very large. When in Wanshan city, he felt that the Huang family's manner was exaggerated. But it doesn't matter. After all, Jiangcheng is a small place, and Wanshan city is even larger and less populated. But this is Kyoto, a place where every inch of land is worth money. Let's not talk about the semi-god residence. After all, it is the residence of the supreme power. Even if a mountain is the entire range of the semi-god residence, it is reasonable. But here, a Qian family, 
occupying an area, looking over, those who don't know, would think they have arrived at the palace. The Qian family's manner is probably only comparable to the imperial palace. Xiao Cheng, do all the big families in Kyoto have manners this grand? Yi Xiao Tian asked casually. Xiao Qing said awkwardly, Brother Tian, there are more people in the family, so the living space must be larger. Fortunately, Yi Xiao Tian did not continue to pursue this matter. How big the place they live is, it has nothing to do with him. Anyway, he thinks that the living space should not be too big, otherwise the relationship between people will be alienated. But this thing is just like buying luxury cars for businessmen, and the facade is also a symbol of strength. For a big family like the Qian family, if they want to recruit powerful awakeners to join their family, the more attractive the better. When they come here, they can see that they can have such a large manor in Kyoto. The family must be very strong and rich. Joining such a family will definitely have a brilliant future and money. But Mr. Haotian in person? At this time, a middle-aged man came to Yi Xiaotian and asked politely. Yi Xiaotian looked around, and everyone shook their heads to indicate that they didn't know the situation. I am, who are you? Yi Xiaotian asked in a deep voice. The middle-aged man said, I am Qian Lai, the manager of the Qian family. The head of the family ordered me to come and invite Mr. Haotian and his party to the mansion for a chat. Did you know I was coming? Yi Xiaotian said with a gloomy face. Qian Lai replied, Yes, we knew it from the moment Mr. Haotian stepped into Kyoto. This is to show them hard power. Chapter, 463 Are you trying to show me your power? Yi Xiaotian said coldly, while the aura of an SS-level awakener emanated from his body. Qian Lai was frightened to death, and immediately knelt down, trembling and saying, I dare not. Yi Xiaotian was stunned. This guy was too frightened. He thought he was a noble man, but he was just a coward. I'm not here to discuss business with the Qian family. I'm here to seek justice from the Qian family, so forget about your tricks. I'll wait here for 30 seconds. When the time is up, I will start to attack indiscriminately. Yi Xiaotian said murderously. This Qian family really disgusted him. What is this? Putting on airs in front of him, sending a steward to receive him, what do you think of him? Do you really think that he, Yi Xiaotian, dare not kill people? What's more, he came here to cause trouble, not to travel around. What's there to talk about? Either the Qian family satisfied him, or he destroyed the Qian family, it was that simple. Qian Lai was really scared now. He was really a ruthless man who would attack indiscriminately after 30 seconds. I heard that he killed tens of millions of alien troops in the alien battlefield. I'm afraid there is no second one more ruthless than him in Blue Star. So he didn't dare to delay and went to report. 30 seconds, fortunately, Qian Lai was also an awakener, and he was not slow when running at full speed. In five seconds, he was already in front of Qian Jindong. Master, Mr. Haotian said that indiscriminate attacks will begin after 30 seconds. Qian Lai didn't dare to waste time with nonsense, and directly told Qian Jindong what Yi Xiaotian meant. When Qian Jindong heard it, he almost choked on his saliva. Only 30 seconds, and now half of it has passed. So he didn't care, and he flashed directly and arrived at the gate of the manor. Speaking of which, the reason why he asked Qian Lai to come to greet him was to test Yi Xiaotian's attitude. See if there is anything to talk about, whether it is easy to talk or not. But now it seems that this killing god is not here to seek justice, he is here to kill people. He can't sit still. In one second, he went from the hall of the manor castle to the gate of the manor, with a botanical garden hundreds of meters away in between. Mr. Haotian, I am Qian Jindong, please come in and have a chat. Qian Jindong was very humble. After trying every possible way, he knew that it was useless to fight hard. All the power of the Qian family combined is not enough to beat Yi Xiaotian alone. Yi Xiaotian was on the battlefield of the alien race, and he killed hundreds of millions of alien troops and had to withdraw. Compared with the power of the alien army, the Qian family is like an ant. In front of such a killing god, how long can the Qian family resist? Qian Zhendong has no idea. 
Fortunately, he has made arrangements now. The geniuses of the younger generation of the Qian family have all moved outside Kyoto. As long as these people survive, even if the Qian family is gone, there is still a bloodline in the world. Perhaps in a few years, a powerful Qian family will be established. Especially his son, who has SS level talent, will definitely achieve great success in the future. There is absolutely no problem in cultivating to the SS level awakener realm. Of course, the premise is that he does not commit suicide. But I think after this incident, he will grow up. There is also the help of his fourth brother Qian Jinbei, so there should be no problem. However, if the Qian family can survive, no one wants to destroy hundreds of years of business. So he behaved very humbly. At the same time, he secretly regretted in his heart. What is there to try? Isn't Yizaya Ocean's method clear? Even if the ghost island country is exhausted, it was still forced to kneel and kowtow by Yi Xiaotian's few spiritual pets. If the ghost island country is not also a part of the awakening power of the human race, I am afraid that the island will sink. But with the faces of the people in the ghost island country, it is only a matter of time for the island to sink. Master Qian, I'm not here to chat with you, I'm here to seek justice. I only want two people, Qian Juanli and Qian Jinbei. When he was on the battlefield of the alien race, he knew that these two guys wanted to kill him. They sent them. So he asked Qian Jindong for these two people, and the reason was justified. At this moment, the movement at the gate of the Qian family manor had attracted a lot of people who were watching the excitement. After they recognized Yi Xiaotian, the news was immediately passed on. Originally, because of the incident of the Qian family sending people to assassinate Yi Xiaotian in the reincarnation world, it was now a hot topic. Everyone was speculating when the great god Hao Jian would go to trouble the Qian family, but they didn't expect it to be so soon. Everyone seemed to have some understanding of the character of the great god Hao Jian. From the Shen family in the magic city to the incident of the ghost island country. Whether it was a big family or a country, the great god Hao Jian was not afraid. So everyone was very sure that the great god Hao Jian would definitely go to trouble the Qian family. Today, the news came. God Hao Jian has brought people to the door of the Qian family. Some people even live broadcast at the door of the Qian family. Yi Xiaotian's request is reasonable and well-founded. The initiators of this incident are Qian Jinbei and Qian Juanli, so Yi Xiaotian asked the Qian family to hand them over. This is already a great grace to the Qian family. God Hao Tian still cares about the human race and does not want to see the power of the human race disappear. Yes, it was like this last time with the Ghost Island country, and it is still like this this time. No matter what time, God Hao Tian always puts the safety of the human race first. What you are saying is all nonsense. If Hao Tian God is not such a person, how could he go to the alien battlefield? You know, when he first entered the alien battlefield, he was an S-level awakener. Now that you mention it, I remember it. It's true. The damnable Qian family, Hao Tian God risked his life for the human race, but they actually sent people to assassinate him. They are simply not human sons. Such people are not worthy of being a big family. On the internet, on the public channel of the reincarnation world, everyone's discussion is aimed at the Qian family. Almost one-sided attack on the Qian family. After all, there is video evidence, and the Qian family cannot be denied at all. Mr. Yi, my son and fourth brother are not in Kyoto. They have gone to see half a month ago. Qian Jindong said sincerely. Yi Xiaotian didn't know whether what Qian Jindong said was true or not, but he took it as a lie. Master Qian, are you treating me like a fool? I know that your Qian family is very powerful in Kyoto. You knew it when we just entered Kyoto. Since then, you have already started to prepare these backup plans, right? Very good, the Qian family is indeed a top-notch family in Xia country, and their methods are amazing. Do you think that if Qian Juanli and Qian Jinbei hide away, I can't do anything to you? I give you two choices, either hand over the two people, or I will destroy your Qian family. Chapter 464. Qian Jindong felt a surge of anger in his heart. He was really bullying others. 
Mr. Yi, I told you that Juanli and Jinbei are not at home. They went to see half a month ago. There is a record of their departure from the city at the city gate. You can check it. As the head of the Qian family, Qian Jindong has a distinguished status. Who would have dared to talk to him like this before? What he said was the imperial edict. Anyone who dared to question it would be disobeying the edict and harming the Nine Yi tribes. But the person resisting the decree was Yi Xiaotian, so there was nothing he could do. Who makes people stronger? So he could only calm down and explain. Yi Xiaotian sneered and said, You really fooled me like a three-year-old child. Your Qian family is very powerful in Kyoto. This is known to everyone. It won't be difficult for you to change the record of leaving the city, right? Your steward just said that you already knew from the moment we stepped into Kyoto. Knowing that I came to trouble you, you made some preparations. I think the Qian family has been clearly arranged by you. Bar. Qian Jindong was shocked. This Yi Xiaotian was indeed extraordinary. He really couldn't be treated as a young man. The Qian family was indeed clearly arranged, so Qian Jindong felt confident. Now that the matter is clear, the Supreme Master will not care about it, and neither will those relatives and friends. This time, the Qian family has to handle Yi Xiaotian's matter by themselves. How to carry it? This god of death can even kill aliens on the battlefield, what a heck he can do. If we can't talk about it, then well just wait to die. Qian Zhendong had already been prepared in his heart, so he could face it calmly. But now that Yi Xiaotian said it like this, he still felt a little guilty. It is the basic law to see things through without telling them. But now, Yi Xiaotian has revealed it. Does that mean that he already has countermeasures? When Qian Zhendong thought of this, his heart tightened. He knew Yi Xiaotian's methods very well. If the other party really had countermeasures in place, then his previous arrangements would not work at all. In fact, at this moment, the descendants of the Qian family that he arranged have fallen into Yi Xiaotian's hands. Although they are surrounded by experts to protect them. But what's the use? In addition to the supreme powerhouse, what kind of master can be effective in front of Yi Xiaotian? What did you do? Qian Zhendong's face was livid and furious. Mr. Yi, you have to be merciful and merciful. Killing them all will not do you any good. Yi Xiaotian said, Oh, really? Why didn't I know? Didn't your Qian family do enough to kill everyone? Ask the people of your Qian family, how many awakened human beings have died tragically at their hands since the rise of your Qian family, and how many people have had their families destroyed because of your Qian family? You have to be merciful and merciful, what qualifications do you, Qian Zhendong, have to say such things to me? At the end of the sentence, Yi Xiaotian was already scolding him sternly. Qian Zhendong was so shocked by these words that he took three steps back, his expression a little dull. Yes, the Qian family has killed so many people over the years, what qualifications does he have to say such a thing? No, our Qian family is the heroes and heroes of the human race, different from those lowly people. Our Qian family shed blood and sacrificed for the human race, and countless ancestors have come forward to succeed us. This is what our Qian family deserves. Qian Zhendong almost shouted. Yi Xiaotian's expression calmed down instead, and he said, Yes, your Qian family has made contributions to the human race, but your Qian family has also received feedback. You know very well how many resources your Qian family has controlled over the years. If it weren't for the ancestors of your Qian family, do you think your Qian family would really be able to survive based on what they have done over the years? You didn't reflect on yourself. Instead, you got worse. You felt that the whole world owed you, and you wantonly harmed the awakened people of the human race. Why do you have it? At this point, Yi Xiaotian felt that his emotions were a little excited, so he paused for a while, waited for a while to calm down, and then continued to spray. If we follow your logic, whoever has the most merit can be killed or killed, then why do you need order? What's the difference between you and the aliens? The reason why Blue Star was not destroyed under the iron heel of the alien race is because our human race is united, while the alien race is in a mess. But now, just a few years after the foreigners fought back, you have begun to follow the old ways of the foreigners. 
how can you still have the dignity to talk to me about human heroes now? After a burst of spraying, Yi Xiaotian felt much better. His words were also broadcast live on the internet, then spread, and then posted in the form of a video to the public channel of the world of reincarnation. After reading it, the entire public channel started to boil again. Especially those awakened people at the bottom, many of whom have been from poor families for a long time. They control a lot of resources, but they don't have enough people. It is even more common to humiliate and suppress ordinary awakened people. Yi Xiaotian's words really spoke to their hearts. Sure enough, great god Haotian deserves to be from the lower class and knows the suffering of those who are awakened at the bottom. Especially the last sentence, if the human race really follows the old path of the alien race, it is really not far from extinction. In the history of reincarnation, the first 80 years were okay because they were focused on fighting against the alien race. But in the next 20 years, these aristocratic families began to dominate. And the trend is getting more serious. If this continues, civil strife will inevitably break out among the human race. Who will fight against the alien races at that time? Yi Xiaotian's scolding was to say what they wanted to say but dared not to say. And Yi Xiaotian's influence is huge. I believe that when those aristocratic families see these words, they will think about whether they are as Yi Xiaotian said. If there is, they should correct it, and if there is nothing, they should encourage it. In a word, they must not follow the old path of the alien race. Whoever dares to take this path will be the public enemy of the human race and a great sinner. Now, the Qian family is the great sinner, so he must be judged by all mankind. Qian Zhendong was completely stunned at this moment. He did not expect that this matter would be raised to such a height by Yi Xiaotian. The Qian family has become the sinner of the human race and the source of the disaster of genocide. Who can stand this? Not to mention their Qian family, I am afraid that even the supreme strong man would not be able to bear it if he was accused of such a hat. You are talking nonsense, you are slandering me. Qian Zhendong was anxious and started to scold Yi Xiaotian. He had to scold him. If the charges were proven, it would be the end. The Qian family could be destroyed by Yi Xiaotian, but it was just a personal grudge. They blamed the Qian family for being blind and offending Yi Xiaotian. After the Qian family was destroyed, no one would say anything. But if they were accused of this, they would be infamous forever. At that time, their Qian family would definitely become a typical example in history books that warned future generations. This would lead to their ancestors' graves being dug up. The Qian family would never accept it. Chapter 465 What is killing someone and destroying their heart? This is it. The members of the Haotian team following Yi Xiaotian were all stunned. They didn't expect Yi Xiaotian to be so fierce. Originally they thought he was just looking for trouble, but now he is trying to drive the Qian family into the abyss of history and nail them to the pillar of shame in history. If this is true, the ancestors of the Qian family will be infamous for thousands of years. No wonder Qian Zhendong denied it crazily. At this time, even if he would die at the hands of Yi Xiaotian in the next moment, he couldn't back down. I'm talking nonsense. Am I slandering others? The evidence has been put on display in the world of reincarnation. You still say I'm slandering others? Oh, yes, it's not just your Qian family. There are actually many other people. For example, the little dog Ichiro who works in the base camp of the alien battlefield of Guidao country is also the same. Seeing that I am a Xia countryman, he deliberately made things difficult for me and refused to exchange cultivation resources for me. I believe that these are just a microcosm of it. Whether it is the Qian family or the little dog Ichiro, they are not isolated cases. They just encountered me. And some time ago, Guidao country and the people of the beautiful alliance launched a fishing boat offensive in an attempt to throw dirty water on me and slander me. What is their purpose? Isn't it because the alien race has withdrawn and the external pressure is gone, so it doesn't matter whether I am there or not? And they don't want to see the power of Xia country grow stronger, fearing that it will pose a threat to them. But they can't see that there is a bigger threat outside. The alien race has withdrawn, but won't they come back again? 
The strength of the alien race is ten times, or even a hundred times, that of our blue star human race. If they quell the internal chaos, how long can the human race stop them? Speaking of this, Yi Xiaotian did not look at Qian Zhendong again, but looked at the audience who were watching the excitement around him. And there are the sea races. The human race has fought with the alien races for a hundred years, but the sea races have been hiding in the sea for hundreds of years. How powerful are the sea races? Does anyone know? As soon as these words came out, there was a brief silence whether it was on the scene, on the internet, or on the public channel of samsara. Yes, the alien races are a big enemy, but aren't the sea races also? The alien races are powerful, but aren't the sea races also powerful? The sea race has been developing silently for hundreds of years. No one knows how powerful it is. But we can speculate. The area of the ocean is several times that of the land. The number of awakened sea races must be much more than that of human awakened people. The resources must be more than those of land races. Such a huge race, why did the human race forget them? Aliens need to be valued, don't the sea races need it? This time, the sea race assisted the aliens and showed their strength in front of the human race for the first time. It can be said that if the war on the alien battlefield had not ended so quickly, the human race on Blue Star would not have much resistance in front of the sea race. In other words, the sea race actually has the strength to destroy the human race. I am really disappointed. Yi Xiaotian suddenly felt that it didn't matter whether the Qian family was destroyed or not. The hatred in his heart had disappeared here, and it was replaced by deep disappointment. Not only was he disappointed with the Qian family, but he was also disappointed with other people like the Qian family. Among the three races, the human race is still the weakest. But now many human beings have begun to focus their energy on internal struggles, conspiracies, and you plotting against me, I plotting against you. If this continues, what future does the human race have? I hope that today's drink can wake up most people and let them know that the human race is still facing the disaster of genocide. The human race is far from being able to sit back and relax. Looking at the crowd still immersed in thinking, Yi Xiaotian took the Haotian team away. The Qian family is already stinky, and it doesn't matter whether they are killed or not. In fact, letting them live is more cruel than exterminating them. As stinky as them, there are also the Awakeners Association of Guidao Country and the Awakeners Associations of some countries in the Beautiful Alliance. After all, they supported Guidao Country at the beginning. Wu Qi Xiaoyou of Guidao Country was very uncomfortable. He thought that the matter was over, but he didn't expect that Yi Xiaotian would add a kick. This kick directly kicked them into the abyss. They have been stigmatized as sinners of the human race. What is the difference between what they did and helping the alien race and weakening the power of the human race? The awakened people who saw this clearly all denounced them. If the trick of the ghost island country succeeded, Yi Xiaotian was really defeated by them and never recovered from it, what would happen to the human race? I'm afraid the alien leaders would laugh their teeth off. Kyoto Demigod Residence After watching Yi Xiaotian's live speech, the sword god Zhuang Bufan suddenly said, Sun Ping, is our method wrong? Sun Ping bowed, how could he dare to answer such a question? Zhuang Bufan did not embarrass him, but continued, our idea is actually very simple. Flowers that can withstand wind and frost cannot be grown in a greenhouse. We interfere too much, but it's not good. Whether it's the previous war era or the current semi-peace era, it's the same. People can only grow up truly after experiencing various hardships. Originally, we all thought that our free-range model was correct, but after listening to Xiaotian's words, I found that it was a bit wrong. Letting them run free is fine, but it doesn't mean we don't care about anything. People always make mistakes, so at this time, we adults should remind them and correct the mistakes, instead of letting them continue on the wrong path. Sun Ping looked shocked. Boss, are you serious? In his eyes, Zhuang Bufan is their god. God will not make mistakes. Even if there is a mistake, it is the fault of the people below. But now, Zhuang Bufan has begun to reflect on himself, what else can he say? Zhuang Bufan said, it seems that we need to make some changes. Sun Ping, 
pass the order to the Supreme Defense Committee, the Awakener Association, and the two major legions, let them organize people to watch the video of Xiaotian's speech. It's not terrible to take the wrong road, but it's terrible to never turn back. It's a great virtue to know one's mistakes and correct them. Of course, if you don't change, just wipe them out. The trouble we have nurtured must be solved by ourselves. Sun Ping said, Yes, sir. But the other four sirs are still on the alien battlefield, what should we do outside? Zhuang Bufan thought for a while before saying, Since they are not here, I will take their place and send them a message. As for whether they listen or not, it's up to them. We Xia people should use courtesy before force. Return a clear and bright world to the world. Chapter 466 Just when everyone thought that the Qian family was just in bad reputation and nothing would happen. The Supreme Defense Committee of Xia suddenly ordered to investigate the Qian family. At the same time, the Awakener Association of the Western Powers also announced that from today onwards, it would investigate the major families in the alliance, and those with problems would not be tolerated. Everyone was stunned. What is going on? If it was only Xia that announced the news unilaterally, they would not be surprised. After all, Yi Xiaotian still needs to be appeased. But now, even the United States has expressed its position, and it is the United States that is going to investigate. This is unusual. The United States is not the United States, there are dozens of countries in it. Although most of them can only be regarded as younger brothers, there are also several countries that are very strong. Especially Gaul, there is even a supreme strongman sitting in charge. The reason why the United States is the strongest is because there are two supreme strongmen behind this alliance. So the strength of the United States is beyond doubt. But now, the United States has actually begun to investigate itself, which simply subverts the three views of most people. You can imagine what kind of pressure the Awakener Association of the United States has endured to announce such a decision. As far as they know, among the five supreme beings of the human race on Blue Star, only the sword god of Xia country is still on Blue Star, and the other four are still dealing with the aftermath on the alien battlefield. The attack of the alien army is indeed serious, but the arrangements after the alien army retreats are the most challenging. No one knows what the situation is on the alien side. It is too difficult for human spies to sneak into the alien plane. Because on the alien side, except for the top leaders of some races, other aliens live in their original form. Even the top leaders of the alien race will carry the corresponding alien characteristics when they transform into human form. So it is almost impossible for the human race to mix into the alien plane. The top leaders of the human race have also considered whether to learn from the heretical organization and inject the essence and blood of the alien race to make the human spies become like pagans. But in the end, this plan was abandoned because it was too cruel. In addition, the human race has always been in a defensive posture, and even if people are sent into the alien plane, it will not have much effect. On the internet, on the public channel of the reincarnation world, there are awakeners discussing this matter everywhere. Then they connected this matter with Yi Xiaotian. Everyone thinks that this must be because of the great god Haotian, and the spring of civilian awakeners is coming. At least, they no longer have to worry about being persecuted by the awakened family and have nowhere to complain. It must be because the great god Haotian, like them, is also a commoner and has been persecuted by the family, so this movement was launched. Of course, the contribution of the great god Haotian to the human race is unquestionable. Just when various countries were carrying out vigorous self-examination actions, Yi Xiaotian and his party left Kyoto and went to Jiangnan base city. Because Yi Xiaotian's talent grade was strengthened to SS level, his strength soared, so he urgently needed a battle to fully use these strengths for himself. After all, the sea area on the other side of the magic city is limited, and there are too many people. This is not the case with Jiangnan Base City. Facing the ocean, they can directly enter the ocean from here. The boundless ocean can provide them with endless resources. When the sea tribe came ashore, everyone ran to the inland base city. But after the war ended and the sea tribe retreated to the sea, everyone began to run to the coastal base cities again. Among these coastal base cities, the two base cities of Modu and Jigu have the most people. 
Although Jiangnan Bay City faces the widest sea area, it is still a little far after all. Peng Xiangyu was very happy that he could finally return home in glory. Moreover, the feedback from the internet and the reincarnation world also made them feel very happy. The most abundant seafood in Jiangnan City is all kinds of seafood. You can eat as much as you want when the time comes. Peng Xiangyu waved his hand generously. Xiao Qing said, We are not here to eat seafood, but to hunt the awakened sea tribe. We have been in the sea for nearly a month. Haven't we eaten enough seafood? Peng Xiangyu said unhappily, What we eat is also called seafood. Let me tell you, the real seafood is delicious, which can make you want to eat it again. What we make ourselves can only be regarded as fooling around. Xiao Qing said, What does it matter? This time we brought enough seasonings. After going to the sea, Sister Lu Yun can make seafood delicious. I don't believe it. The seafood made by Yu Jiangnan City is better than that made by Sister Lu Yun. Peng Xiangyu felt that Jiangnan City was underestimated by Xiao Cheng, and was about to fight back, but was hit by Huang Jie in the waist. After getting Huang Jie's hint, although Peng Xiangyu did not understand what the other party meant, he knew that Huang Jie, the little fat man, was smart. Compared with Sister Lu Yun, that's of course not possible, but we can't keep tiring Sister Lu Yun. Finally, Peng Xiangyu understood that Sister Lu Yun was a good cook. Moreover, they were counting on Lu Yun to get them food when they went out hunting. If they offended her, wouldn't they have nothing to eat in the future? Xiao Cheng, Xiao Cheng, how vicious are you? I treated you as a brother, but you actually plotted against me like this. You wait for me. Peng Xiangyu looked at Xiao Cheng with an unfriendly look. But Xiao Qing didn't care at all. Lu Yun, on the other hand, was too proud to accept Peng Xiangyu's praise and said, My cooking skills are average, how dare I compare with those great chefs. Jiangnan Bay City is close to the sea, and the chefs there must have studied seafood very deeply. I'd be lucky if I can make one-tenth or one-twelve times the taste of theirs. Peng Xiangyu said loudly, Sister Lu Yun, you are really too modest. When we get to Jiangnan City, I'll take you to those big hotels, and you'll know how good your cooking skills are. Xiao Qing said, Peng Xiangyu, you are doubting Sister Lu Yun's cooking skills. Xiao Cheng, what nonsense are you talking about? Peng Xiangyu retorted. Xiao Qing smiled and said, if you didn't doubt it, why would you take Sister Lu Yun to verify it? Peng Xiangyu was speechless and couldn't think of a rebuttal. This damn Xiao Cheng, why must he go against me? Is he interested in Sister Lu Yun? After two months of recuperation, Lu Yun's body has completely recovered to its peak state, and her beauty has also been fully revealed. It is normal for Xiao Cheng to like her. The more Peng Xiangyu thought about it, the more he felt that his guess made sense. Then his mind changed and a plan came to his mind. He felt that he had grasped Xiao Cheng's weakness and was waiting for Xiao Cheng to surrender to him. He was very happy when he thought that he could control Xiao Cheng at will in the future, and his face unconsciously showed it. Xiao Cheng and others saw the obscene smile on Peng Xiangyu's face and quickly sat away from him. It seemed that they were afraid of being infected. Chapter 467 But Peng Xiangyu himself was unaware of this and was still immersed in his beautiful fantasy. Finally, their car entered Jiangnan City, and under Peng Xiangyu's guidance, they came to the Peng family mansion. The Peng family's mansion is naturally incomparable to the Han family and the Shen family in Jiangcheng. But compared with the Qian family in Kyoto, it is also far inferior. But thinking of the current fate of the Qian family in Kyoto, Yi Xiaotian felt very refreshed. Originally, he wanted to destroy the Qian family directly, but later he couldn't hold back and directly scolded the Qian family. So Yi Xiaotian wanted to keep the Qian family and let them live in the condemnation of hundreds of millions of awakened people every day. This made them ten thousand times more sad than destroying them. The Qian family will be infamous for thousands of years. This result is much better than what Yi Xiaotian had decided before. But he didn't expect that the Sword God would take such a big move later and directly instruct the Supreme Defense Committee to liquidate the Qian family. Didn't he say before that he would not interfere in this matter? Why did he intervene again now? 
He didn't quite understand what the Lord Sword God was thinking, but he didn't ask again. It was only when the Awakener Association of the United States announced a self-examination that Yi Xiaotian understood a little. At the same time, he also felt a sense of urgency in his heart. Perhaps after this self-examination, the power of the human race will be weakened a lot. This matter was caused by him, and he had to fill this gap. Therefore, improving strength is his top priority. If he can be promoted to the realm of the Supreme Strong, then the human race will no longer have to worry, unless the alien race has a true god. After all, now his talents are all SS level. Not to mention anything else, the clone transformed by the nightmare, talent can inherit the strength of the real body 100%. Combined with the combat power of many other SS level talents, he alone can beat all the supreme strong of the alien race and flee. Even kill them. It's really too difficult to just want to be promoted to the supreme position. The promotion standard of SS level is that the main attribute reaches 100 million points, and the other three secondary attributes must also reach the corresponding proportion, and then pass the SS level promotion copy of the reincarnation world. Only when these conditions are met at the same time can one truly be promoted to SS level awakener, which is the rumored master level. It is also called the true god realm. After all, the realm of the supreme strong, said to be a god, but it is only a pseudo god level. The standard of the supreme strong level is that the main attribute reaches 100 million points, but the other three secondary attributes have not been met, or have not passed the promotion copy. Yi Xiaotian has just been promoted to SS level awakener, and the four major attributes are only more than 10 million points each. However, he still has more than 1 billion points of reincarnation points. According to the exchange ratio between reincarnation points and attribute points, it can be exchanged for about 40 million attribute points. So Yi Xiaotian has been keeping it, preparing to decide the use of these reincarnation points at the critical moment. Although the treasures in the reincarnation mall are awesome, if the strength is not enough, no matter how strong the treasure is, it will not be able to exert its power. This trip to Jiangnan, on the one hand, is to let teammates go to sea to improve their strength, on the other hand, he is ready to continue to challenge the Tower of Babel. The rewards of the Tower of Babel are really tempting. It's just that the noise is too loud. It would be better if there was no world announcement. Making a fortune quietly is the kingly way. The world of reincarnation announced all his gains, forcing him to deal with the situation of dividing the fruits. What's the use of him having those things? Not to mention him, even giving them to the team members is not good enough. When his strength reaches this level, he has to fight for the resources he needs. And the resources needed by his team members also need him to fight for them. As for the resources obtained from the auction, Yi Xiaotian has distributed them to several universities for them to cultivate talents. Now because of the relationship between the team members, Yi Xiaotian is more and more tied to the four major schools. But there is a saying that goes, there must be someone to support him behind him. The sword god Zhuang Bufan has the Supreme Defense Committee, the Awakener Association. What Yi Xiaotian holds in his hands are the four leading forces of the college department, as well as some awakened families. Of course, Yi Xiaotian wants to recruit younger brothers, but not all forces. Like the Qian family, he would not even accept them for free. As for the use of these forces, he is not very clear now. In his opinion, he seems to have no use for them. He alone is the largest force in one side. Because he has the SS level talent skill nightmare. Others do not have it, or they have not reached the SS level. This level is very important, very important. Especially as Yi Xiaotian's awakening level increases, he feels more and more the importance of the talent grade. It can be said that an SS level talent can make a person's strength change dramatically. What's more, the talent grade determines where the ceiling of an awakener is. After all, the awakening level improvement does not mean that you have enough attribute points, but you have to pass the promotion copy yourself. And the promotion copy is set according to the awakener's talent grade. In other words, if you only have SS level talent, then you will definitely not be able to pass the SS level promotion copy. Yi Xiaotian has seen all this knowledge in the school library. It's just that he has too many high-level talents, so he has no pressure to pass the promotion dungeon. 
I asked other people, and it seems that they haven't encountered this problem yet. After all, the team members are only A-level Awakeners now. With their talent level, it is indeed not difficult to pass the promotion dungeon before the A-level Awakener. But it should not be so simple in the future. After all, there are still a few people in the Haukian team who are only S-level talents. This is also one of the reasons why he is in a hurry to continue to break through the Tower of Babel. Brother Tian, otherwise I'd better notify my dad first. Peng Xiangyu interrupted Yi Xiaotian's thinking. Yi Xiaotian waved his hand and said, No, we are not outsiders. Your father is our elder after all, and the etiquette should be there. No matter what others do, Yi Xiaotian can't act like a big boss in front of his comrades and elders. Peng Xiangyu was very moved, but he didn't show it on his face. Since Brother Tian said so, let's do it. The guard at the gate of the Peng family mansion certainly knew the eldest young master Peng Xiangyu. Now, who in the entire Peng family is not proud of this eldest young master? This eldest young master is now a member of the Haokian team and a teammate of the future supreme power. How many people in the world have such an identity? You should know that the five supreme powers today have no teammates, only followers. After all, in that era, the awakening team had not yet taken shape. Young Master, you are back. Chapter, 468 Peng Xiangyu hummed in a very reserved manner, and then asked, Is my father at home? Young Master, the head of the family is not at home. The guard replied. Peng Xiangyu was surprised. He had originally thought of asking someone to inform him. He could not neglect Brother Tian no matter what. Unexpectedly, his father was not at home. Where did he go? Peng Xiangyu asked. The guard replied, the head of the family led a team to go out to sea for hunting. Puff. Peng Xiangyu almost choked on his own saliva. What the hell, leading a team to go out to sea? Is this still his father? The head of the Peng family actually led a team to go out to sea for hunting. What's going on? Does the Peng family have no masters to lead the team? Peng Xiangyu turned around and gave Yi Xiaotian an apologetic look, and then said, Okay, I'll go in by myself, Brother Tian, Sister Tian, everyone follow me. Han Shuyao looked disgusted. This title was too second year, but she couldn't refute it, so she could only endure it. Mu Bingyan's face twitched slightly. She was wondering if she might be called that. No, absolutely not. This is too shameful. They must not be allowed to call them that, or else they would fight. Led by Peng Xiangyu, the group entered the Peng family mansion. Soon, the news of Peng Xiangyu's return spread. Suddenly, a large group of people came to watch the fun. Yi Xiaotian felt like a monkey in a zoo, being watched by people. Xiangyu, since your father is not at home, why don't we go out to see directly? Yi Xiaotian couldn't stand it anymore. Who can stand this wave after wave of people coming? One said that the real person is better than the photo. The other said that he finally saw a living person. This, I haven't died, have you seen a dead person? But of course, such words cannot be said, so he directly proposed to go out to see. Peng Xiangyu was a little embarrassed. This incident was indeed caused by their family's fault. But what can he do? With so many people, either elders or family members, what can he do? So leaving is the best choice. Peng Xiangyu wiped his sweat and said, Okay, let's go quickly. He couldn't bear it anymore. The eyes of his comrades looked at him like knives. If he continued, I'm afraid his future would not be easy. Under the leadership of Peng Xiangyu, a group of people left the Peng family in Jiangnan city. Later, I heard that not only the people of the Peng family, but also those families that were friendly with the Peng family, also proposed to visit Yi Xiaotian and his party. After hearing this, Yi Xiaotian was very fortunate. And Peng Xiangyu was complained all the way. I don't want to, and I can't help it. Peng Xiangyu could only explain to his comrades with a bitter face. It was really uncomfortable to be watched like a monkey. After being disturbed by these people, Peng Xianyu's original idea of taking them to Jiangnan City for a stroll was also shattered. This made Peng Xianyu feel very embarrassed. 
As a local tyrant in Jiangnan City, I brought my comrades here to play. It would be fine if I didn't have a good time, but I was so embarrassed. It can be described as escaping from Jiangnan City. In the final analysis, I was too kind. I lost face in front of my comrades, which was too abominable. Seeing Peng Xiang Yu's depressed look, Yi Xiaotian couldn't help but say, Okay, I was just joking with you, I don't really blame you. Seeing Peng Xiang Yu's look, other people also thought that Peng Xiang Yu was really disappointed, and they also comforted him. Wang Hao said, No, Peng Xiang Yu, you can't stand it. You can't take a joke, right? Peng Xiang Yu said, No, I'm not angry. I just feel a little bit embarrassed. I am the eldest son of the Peng family, the future heir of the Peng family. I went back home with my comrades, but I came out in such a mess. It hurts my self-esteem. Wang Hao said, what should we do? Or should we kill them back? Peng Xiangyu widened his eyes and looked at Wang Hao with disbelief. Damn, they are my Peng family, my elders and family members. What do you mean by killing them back? Others also looked at Peng Xiangyu with a smile on their faces. This time Peng Xiangyu was even more depressed and decided to ignore them for five minutes. After arriving at the beach, Yi Xiaotian said, Let's go, I'll take you to find my little brother. Originally, his first spiritual pet, the giant spider crab, was in the sea area over Jiangqing. But later, as more and more human awakeners went to the sea, the giant spider crab felt bad, so it migrated to the ocean. It didn't dare to kill the human awakeners, nor did it want to die in the hands of human awakeners. So it had to retreat. Fortunately, it received Yi Xiaotian's message, asking it to wait for its master's arrival in the sea area here. With Zhu De leading the way, I believe Yi Xiaotian and his team will be more comfortable in the sea. Well, there are also SS-level black dragons and SS-level electric eels called over. They don't need to do anything, as long as they can give early warnings at critical moments. Add an A-level killer whale, such a protection camp should be foolproof. In this way, he can also safely enter the Tower of Babel and continue to break through the road to the sky. In the sea, Yi Xiaotian and his party rode on the back of the killer whale and drove quickly towards Zhu Da's position. Countless sea awakeners along the way, after sensing the breath of the killer whale's A-level awakener, all avoided it. This is the coastal area. The awakened seamen in this sea area are basically below S-level. S-level awakened seamen are masters among masters no matter which tribe they are from. In the past, the sea tribe also deployed some S-level awakened seamen to defend the coastal area, but since the human race and the sea tribe started the mutual hunting mode. These S-level awakened seamen who were deployed in the coastal area have retreated to the deep sea. In the final analysis, the awakened seamen of various tribes hunt and improve their strength are all low-level awakened seamen. The real battlefield for high-level awakened seamen is still in the Tower of Babel in the world of reincarnation. Without the defense mission, who would be willing to stay in the coastal area? They must return to the deep sea and then enter the world of reincarnation to break through the Tower of Babel. In this regard, the sea tribe still has a lot of martial ethics. But the human race seems to be a little bit unethical. Hunting in the coastal area, they are actually accompanied by S-level awakened seamen for protection, and even SS-level awakened seamen for protection. In this situation, it is not enough to describe it as unethical. It is simply insane. The descendants of your human race are treasures, but are the descendants of my sea race not treasures? Fortunately, so far, the high-level awakeners of the human race who are accompanying and protecting them do not seem to have the intention of slaughtering the awakeners of the sea race. Otherwise, a new round of melee between the two races is estimated to start again. After arriving at the destination, I will leave my second soul to accompany you to hunt, and I will enter the reincarnation world to break through the road to the sky. You should be careful. If there is any emergency, you can let the second soul notify me. Sitting on the back of the killer whale, Yi Xiaotian instructed his teammates. Chapter, 469 When Yi Xiaotian came to the Babel Tower again, he was shocked. Ah, how can the great god is going to break into the Babel Tower again? Screams came. Yi Xiaotian was stunned. 
On the huge square in front of the Babel Tower, a large group of people were waiting there, as if they had nothing to do, just waiting for him here. But why are they waiting for him here? Don't they have their own things to do? Don't they need to improve their strength? There are too many questions, but Yi Xiaotian has no mind to ask them. In order not to be besieged, he can only enter the Babel Tower as quickly as possible. Oh, it's a pity, I almost touched him. A woman said unwillingly. Me too, just a little bit, he is really handsome. Soon, the news of Yi Xiaotian's second entry into the Babel Tower made the headlines of the real network and the reincarnation world. How Tian the Great God is so big. Whatever he does, as long as it is announced, it will be on the headlines. Unfortunately, his whereabouts were erratic and could not be caught at all. Countless paparazzi tried to track Yi Xiaotian, but failed. After he shocked the world in Kyoto, he disappeared in Kyoto. Later, some people said that he went to Jiangnan City. When someone chased him to Jiangnan City, he disappeared again. After asking around in the city, no one knew where they went. Yi Xiaotian's whereabouts were too difficult to grasp. All the reporters and paparazzi who wanted to dig up his news were going crazy. As long as it was his news, no matter how big or small, it was all money. But they could only watch the money slip from their hands. So uncomfortable. The smarter ones squatted outside the Tong Tian Tower, because they knew very well that Hao Tian would definitely come to Tong Tian Road again. Now, they finally waited for it. Then the news spread all over the world in almost a few seconds. This is the convenience of transmitting news in the reincarnation world. Yi Xiaotian didn't know these because he once again entered the 23rd floor of Tong Tian Road. Last time, because this lair was full of flying beasts, and each of them had SS level strength. With his flying talent only at S level, he had no way to catch up with these flying beasts. And the attacks of these flying beasts could not do anything to him. After a long confrontation, Yi Xiaotian took the initiative to withdraw from the 23rd floor Tong Tian Road. This time, Yi Xiaotian brought a full set of SS level talent skills and vowed to kill more than 100 flying beasts on the 23rd floor. Now, because his clone talent skill nightmare, has been promoted to SS level, the clone can copy the strength of the real body 100%. In this way, Yi Xiaotian himself almost does not need to move, just provide the energy to activate the nightmare, skill. Sure enough, when Yi Xiaotian entered the 23rd floor, more than 100 SS level flying beasts appeared in the sky at the same time, and then flew towards Yi Xiaotian. However, more flying beasts were flying around in the sky. And outside. Do you think that Haotian God can pass the 23rd floor of the Tower of Babel this time? Awakener A asked first. The person above, you should ask Haotian God how long it will take to pass the 23rd floor. Awakener B reminded. But didn't Haotian God fail last time? Even if his strength has improved this time, it shouldn't be that big, right? Awakener A said with some disbelief. If it were another Awakener, it would naturally be like this, but how can God, you can always trust him. Awakener B said very confidently. Think about it, how long did it take how can God to be promoted from awakening his talent to the current SS level Awakener? Fuck, I calculated it, it's only more than a year. Awakener A seemed to have suffered tens of thousands of points of critical damage. What are we doing for more than a year after our talent awakening? Someone asked. Still slowly improving attribute points in college. Yes, we have been awakened for a year, and we are still E-level awakeners, but Haotian God is already an SS-level powerful awakener. Don't compare, otherwise you will feel that life has no meaning. You are too late, I have just compared, and suddenly I feel that I have no motivation to brush the dungeon. Is this post off topic? Didn't you ask Haotian God about the road to heaven at the beginning? Yes, let's get back to the topic. Guess whether Haotian God can succeed this time. The topic was once again brought back to whether Yi Xiaotian could succeed, and everyone started to guess. Because the last time he failed, everyone's guesses were more stable this time. I don't think so. There is a possibility of failure. I think so too. It has only been half a month since Haotian failed last time. Even if Haotian is so powerful, 
he can't improve too much. After all, he is already an SS level awakener. What the above said makes sense. If the strength of an SS level awakener can be improved so quickly, it would be too fake. But don't forget that Houtian obtained many high level treasures last time, and even got two bottles of SS level talent spirit liquid. So what? I think the talent spirit liquid has little effect on the great god Houtian. After all, his talent must be SS level, or even higher. Is there a talent higher than SS level? I haven't heard of it. Just because you haven't heard of it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. The talent of the great god Houtian is beyond SS level. It seems to make sense. Otherwise, there is no way to explain why his strength can be improved so quickly. Everyone seemed to have discovered a new continent. No one speculated whether Yi Xiaotian could successfully pass the level, but began to speculate about Yi Xiaotian's talent level. The vast majority of people felt that Yi Xiaotian's ability to improve so quickly must be because his talent level exceeded SS level. After all, in the past 100 years of the reincarnation calendar, there have been many SS level talent awakeners in the human race. But none of them can compare with the great god Houtian. Now the five supreme beings of the human race are already the fastest in strength improvement. They all fought their way out of the sea of blood and corpses. But even so, it took them 20 to 30 years to advance from an awakening novice to an SS level awakener. It is completely incomparable to Yi Xiaotian's more than one year. Unless his talent level exceeds the SS level. Then, what level is the talent that exceeds the SS level? What are the specific magical effects? Chapter, 470 Just as they were discussing, the world announcement sounded again. Congratulations to the Awakener Houtian, who passed the 23rd floor of the Tower of Babel with a Super God evaluation and received the reward of reincarnation points. When everyone heard this world announcement, their minds were confused. Then they realized that they didn't remember anything. He quickly asked, does anyone remember what item reward Houtian received in the announcement just now? I remember, it was an SS level spirit pet egg. The awakeners who still remembered immediately replied below. Then there was a breathtaking gasp of encouragement. Fuck, Nima. Then there was a classic Chinese curse. Because only this can express their excited hearts and trembling hands. Spirit pet egg, and its SS level. This is going against the sky. Spirit pets have always been a pain in the hearts of awakeners. Catching strange beasts as spirit pets is a good way. But there is a shortcoming. That is, if a powerful spirit pet is used by the younger generation, it will not be able to be suppressed. So generally speaking, spirit pets have become the mounts of the strong and cannot play their greatest role. The best role of spirit pets is naturally to protect the younger generations with extraordinary talents. It's just that finished spirit pets are unreliable, and unfinished spirit pets are even less reliable. There is also a bigger problem. The growth of spirit pets also takes time. And the time for spirit pets to grow is directly linked to the grade. How can high-grade spirit pet eggs be so easy to obtain? So far, although there is a market for spirit pets, it is not hot. In the final analysis, there is a market only when there is demand. It cannot be said that there is no demand for spirit pets, and it can even be said that the demand is very large. Unfortunately, it is difficult to buy a suitable spirit pet. The ones that can be used are unreliable, and the reliable ones cannot be used. What's the use? Who will buy it? But the spirit pet egg that Yi Xiaotian just harvested is different. This is an SS level spirit pet egg. If they remember correctly, this should be the first SS level spirit pet egg harvested by the Blue Star human race, and there are no SS level ones. Even S level spirit pet eggs can be counted on one hand. Such spirit pet eggs, after hatching, are estimated to reach adulthood in a few years. This is awesome. After a few years, after the talent awakens, it takes at least four years to go to college. With the help of resources, the SS level spirit pet will reach adulthood. Of course, it does not mean that the spirit pet reaches its peak when it reaches adulthood. But once the SS level spirit pet reaches adulthood, its strength is at least S level. With such a spirit pet as a companion, 
does the sense of security rise to a very high level all of a sudden? If such a spirit pet egg is thrown out, will people fight over it? Yi Xiao Tian is not sure, and he is not very interested. If he wants a spirit pet, he can just capture an adult one, SS level spirit seeding technique, SS level alien beast awakeners can be captured at will. This spirit pet egg needs to be hatched and cultivated, and he doesn't have the leisure time. So he threw it directly into the reincarnation space and waited until he remembered it. As for the reincarnation points, it is only more than 50 million, not worth mentioning. On the contrary, the single layer of life essence has exceeded 100 million. This surprised Yi Xiao Tian. For a long time, the acquisition of life essence has been won by quantity. That is, the number of alien beasts killed. But now, it is also won by quality. Each SS level alien beast has contributed 1 million life essences to Yi Xiao Tian, and the number of alien beasts in this layer has exceeded 100. In other words, this 23rd layer alone has contributed 100 million life essences to Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian is thinking about whether to continue to use life essence or talent spirit liquid to strengthen new talents in the future. Needless to say, the effect of talent spirit liquid is too precious, but SS level talent spirit liquid is really too precious. If there is enough life essence, he really can't bear to use it. However, the advantage of talent spirit liquid is that you can accumulate more new talents, and then, after a bottle of SS level talent spirit liquid is swallowed, all talents will be strengthened to SS level. But if you use life essence to strengthen it, the amount of life essence you need will be huge. To strengthen a talent to SS level, the amount of life essence you need starts at 1 billion. For a dungeon like the 23rd floor, Yi Xiao Tian needs to play it more than 10 times. But the good thing is that the Tower of Babel can be played repeatedly indefinitely. But after the first pass, the dungeon rewards will drop sharply. The reincarnation points alone will probably drop from tens of millions to hundreds of thousands. It can't be accurately described as a plummet. The difference is hundreds of times, is this a plummet? Is this a drop from the sky? Then Yi Xiao Tian chose to go directly to the 24th floor. Roar! As soon as he entered the 24th floor, Yi Xiao Tian heard the roar of the alien beast in his ears, and that sound shocked the sky. Yi Xiao Tian looked up and saw hundreds of huge alien beasts running towards him on the plain in the distance. The ground shook, as if there was an 18 magnitude earthquake. The huge beast, which was a hundred feet tall, created such a powerful momentum when it ran that even the earth could not bear it and began to tremble violently. Yi Xiao Tian smacked his lips. With such momentum and might, an ordinary SS level awakener would probably be scared to death by the noise alone. Yi Xiao Tian understood why no one had ever come to the purgatory level Babel Tower. If it weren't for his talent and various supernatural skills, he would not have come to break in. This purgatory level Babel Tower is not for humans to break in. And he is no longer an ordinary person, he is a godlike existence. No wonder even several supreme strongmen are willing to get along with him on an equal footing. The future Yi Xiao Tian will definitely be an existence that they can't even dream of. Now if you have a good relationship with Yi Xiao Tian, you can also catch Yi Xiao Tian's express train in the future. Yi Xiao Tian didn't stand there in a daze. He immediately activated his talent skill true body. The SS level true body, skill made his body suddenly increase by hundreds of times. A hundred foot tall human appeared in front of the strange beasts. These strange beasts were also stunned for a moment. This tiny human suddenly became so big that he was as tall as them. How did he do this? After activating the true body, skill, Yi Xiao Tian did not stop, and various lights flashed on his body. He had several physical enhancement skills alone. After all of them were activated, Yi Xiao Tian became a golden man shining with golden light. The SS level defensive talent skill Vajra Bodyguard directly maxed out his physical defense. Then there were the SS level Frenzy, SS level Bull Demon Power, SS level Strength, SS level Swiftness, and so on. With the blessing of these talent skills, although Yi Xiao Tian's body had grown hundreds of times, his movements were still very flexible. This time, he was going to beat these scum with his own hands. Chapter, 471 SS Level, 
violent and terrifying beasts that are hundreds of feet tall, in Yi Xiaotian's eyes, they are nothing. No one can compare. Yi Xiaotian, who only has several SS level talents and skills, has already soared to an indescribable height in terms of strength and defense. These terrifying beasts seem to be nothing in his eyes. In the ocean, Han Xuyao and others continue to hunt the awakened sea creatures under the secret protection of Yi Xiaotian's group of spiritual pets. Behind the killer whale, a figure flashed, it was Huang Jia. Now Huang Jia has another task, which is to keep an eye on the movements of the reincarnation world. Especially when Yi Xiaotian entered the reincarnation world, he would make a big news almost every few minutes. As a group of young people, we can't be out of touch with society. We can't go out and people don't know anything when they ask us. This can be regarded as a lesson learned. How is it, Fatty, any news? Peng Xianyu asked while waving the staff in his hand. As a water-based superpower, he feels like a fish in water in this sea. It seemed that in this sea, the power of his water skills has increased a lot. Now their team is more and more tacit in cooperation. First of all, Chang Xiaosi is no longer in the battle, she is responsible for the protection of the logistics team. Wang Hao is the main shield, and he is close to the beast. Xiao Cheng and Lu Yun use a sword and a knife respectively, mainly close attack. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan are long-range violent output. As for Peng Xiangyu, his ability is relatively mediocre, he can be both long-range and control, and at worst he can defend. So he can chat and gossip during the attack. Huang Jia doesn't need to say anything, just look for the right time to bless everyone, just like Yi Xiaotian's second soul Yan Luo. But now he has another task, which is to enter the reincarnation world to inquire about the news. The last one left, Sun Yao, is the easiest in the team, but also the most important. Although she may rarely take action once a month, her importance is self-evident, and she is the most important protection object of the whole team. Peng Xiangyu asked lazily when he saw Huang Jie coming out. Huang Jie said excitedly, another big thing happened. Brother Tian got an SS-level spirit pet egg in the Tower of Babel. Spirit pet egg. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan's attention was also attracted, and then they stopped their attacks. The three melee fighters, Wang Hao, Xiao Cheng, and Lu Yun, who were miserable, suddenly found that there was no support behind them, and their pressure was even greater. They thought that the long-range logistic support team was attacked by surprise, so they took the opportunity to look back and found that these guys were actually gathered together to chat. The three were dumbfounded in an instant. Brother, we are fighting, can we kill this sea beast first and then chat? This is a high-level A-level sea awakener. With the cooperation of their team, he was beaten without any temper. But without the support of long-range attacks and micro-control, the pressure on the sea beast was greatly reduced. Without taking the opportunity to fight back, they chased Wang Hao and attacked him violently, directly beating Wang Hao without any ability to fight back, and he could only raise his shield to defend with all his strength. As for Xiao Cheng and Lu Yun, they could only attack in circles, but the effect was not very good. Wang Hao was beaten so hard that he screamed. Chang Xiaosi, who had been paying attention to this side, felt distressed and hurriedly said, Don't talk for now, help quickly. This is an A-level high-level sea awakener, but they have just entered the A-level awakener realm not long ago. In terms of single combat, the strength of the two sides is not at the same level. If there is no support, I am afraid that Wang Hao will be beaten by the opponent. Sun Yao reacted the fastest. She waved the staff in her hand, and countless branches came out from the deep sea, tying up the sea beast that was beating Wang Hao tightly. Hurry up, I can't tie it up for long. Sun Yao reminded quickly. Everyone who had reacted attacked the sea beast together. In just a moment, the sea beast that had just been so powerful and suppressed Wang Hao was dead on the spot. Wang Hao was unwilling to give up, and kicked the sea beast's body for a while to vent his anger, and then stopped and collected the sea beast's body. You guys are really too heartless. You almost sold me out. Wang Hao returned to the back of the killer whale and started to curse. Han Xuyao said a little embarrassedly, Howzi, I'm sorry, I just heard the fat man say that brother Tian got something good again, 
so I was distracted and didn't pay attention. Han Xuyao opened his mouth, what else could Wang Hao say, and his attention quickly shifted to the good things Yi Xiao Tian got. Brother Tian got something good again. What is it this time, is it the talent spirit liquid again? Wang Hao asked. Han Xuyao said, no, it's an SS level spirit pet egg. Spirit pet egg. Wang Hao suddenly lost interest, this thing is relatively useless. Or, to the people of the Haotian team, it is a bit useless. Brother Hao, you are so arrogant that you even look down on the SS level spirit pet egg. Huang Jia saw Wang Hao's expression and immediately scolded him. Wang Hao came back to his senses and said, Who said I looked down on it? I didn't, don't slander me. Although the spirit pet is useless, anything with SS level in front of it is not a mortal thing. So Wang Hao naturally couldn't let Huang Jia put such a hat on him. Huang Jia saw Wang Hao admitting defeat, curled his lips and said, The public frequency of the samsara world has gone crazy, and they are all discussing this SS level spirit pet egg. What is there to discuss? They can't see it. Wang Hao looked down on this kind of time-wasting discussion. Huang Jia said, it is still necessary to discuss. Everyone is guessing what type of spirit pet egg this is. And as we all know, the growth of spirit pets is linked to the grade. How long does it take for SS level spirit pets to enter adulthood after hatching? Even some aristocratic families have begun to bid for it. Wang Hao has also seen the madness of these local tyrants. They have already started bidding after just getting it. It can be seen that the demand is indeed very large. It is really good to hatch and cultivate this level of spirit pet for the younger generation of the family. Xiao Qing said in a deep voice. Wang Hao's eyes lit up. Yes, this thing is useless to them, but it can be used by the younger generation. His thoughts spread out. If he and Chang Xiaoxi had a child, how good would it be to give the child a spirit pet egg like this? Although the price of such a spirit pet egg is not as high as that of SS level talent spirit liquid, it is not much worse. At this time, Xiao Qing added another sentence. Then Wang Hao took back the thoughts that had just spread out. I can't afford to offend you, I can't afford to offend you. Chapter, 472 On the twenty-fourth floor of the Tower of Babel, more than a hundred humanoid beasts as tall as a hundred feet came roaring in. Yi Xiaotian activated true body, and his body was a hundred feet tall, and then he could see clearly what these beasts looked like. Titan Beasts In the first battle after all the SS level talent skills, Yi Xiaotian did not immediately activate the nightmare, skill, but prepared for a head-on confrontation between men. Well, well, he just wanted to test his current melee strength. He did not use weapons, but directly punched. He even did not use the commonly used amplification talent skill deer and crane blessing. The effect of the SS level deer and crane blessing, was further improved, not only can it amplify the attributes by more than 10 times, but the number has also increased to 4. In other words, as long as he activates deer and crane blessing, the four attributes on his body can be fully amplified by more than 15 times. He felt that after activating so many physical talent skills, activating deer and crane blessing would be completely bullying these titan beasts. Even now, Yi Xiaotian felt that he was bullying others. After all, his SS level talents and skills have increased his combat power by who knows how many times. And these titan beasts have at most one SS level talent, or even SS level talent. Yi Xiaotian didn't know how to judge the talents of the beasts in the Tower of Babel, so he could only guess. Boom! This was the sound of the Titan Beast's fist hitting Yi Xiaotian. The mountain like fist fell on Yi Xiaotian's body, making a loud rumbling sound. But apart from the sound, there seemed to be no other movement. Yi Xiaotian didn't move his body, but the Titan Beast that hammered him was shaken back several steps. The titan beast's huge eyes showed an unbelievable look. He originally thought that this punch could kill this arrogant guy. But unexpectedly, his fist didn't work at all. His punch that shook the mountains and mountains didn't even cause any damage. This is so unscientific. The scene was very embarrassing for a while. Yi Xiaotian looked calm. But a group of titans stared at Yi Xiaotian, which was incredible, 
and they were no longer excited. Of course, they did not retreat. Retreating is definitely not something that the Titan bloodline can do. So they continued to pounce on Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian punched directly, as fast as lightning, and the Titan in front of him could not react at all. Yi Xiao Tian's fist hit the Titan's head. Bang! It was like a watermelon being smashed. That scene was extremely bloody and exciting. Blood and flesh splattered, but were blocked by the golden light around Yi Xiao Tian, and he was not stained at all. Yi Xiao Tian turned into a ghost giant and quickly shuttled among hundreds of titans. One after another, Qin Bei beasts died under his fist. So easy. It seems meaningless. Soon, Yi Xiao Tian was fed up. Originally, he thought that this group of titan beasts could cause him some trouble. But after taking action, he found that it was not the case at all. Now, his three-dimensional talents and skills are all SS level. It can be said that the awakened people of the same level, no matter what race, cannot pose a threat to him. Now, the only awakened people who can pose a threat to him are the supreme strongman level awakened people. The last time he went to see the sword god Zhuang Bufan, Yi Xiao Tian actually wanted to spar with the sword god. But later he thought about it and gave up. At this time, it is better to develop at the SS level honestly. It is better not to provoke the supreme level boss first. Although the result of the sparring between him and the sword god may not be spread. But what if it is? No matter what the result is, once it is spread, it will not be good for Yi Xiao Tian. Now that the alien race and the sea race have finally calmed down a little, he does not want to cause waves between the three races again because of a sparring. If he could fight the supreme power with the level of SS level awakener, then no matter the sea clan or alien race, they would never let him go. Because this means that once Yi Xiao Tian enters the level of supreme power, there will be no rival for Yi Xiao Tian under the starry sky of reincarnation. At that time, it will be the end of the sea clan and the alien race. So killing Yi Xiao Tian before he fully rises is the only choice for the two clans. However, in this space, Yi Xiao Tian has no intention of hiding anything and fights with full strength. Punches hit the flesh and blows the head. A good trial, let Yi Xiao Tian fight to the extreme bloody. Yi Xiao Tian is also very happy. From awakening talent to now, he has never been as happy as today. In the past, fighting, either relying on strength to crush the enemy from a distance, or directly opening the clone skill, and then killing the enemy in seconds. There are almost no close range, purely physical battles like this. This fighting style is the easiest to arouse men's hormones. This fighting style is the fighting style that men should have. Standing at a distance and using skills is really not good. Of course, fighting is for the purpose. As long as the goal can be achieved quickly and the cost is the most saved, it is the best fighting style. Therefore, Yi Xiao Tian always ended the battle with the minimum cost. It's cool to be like this today. But in terms of cost, it's still a bit over the top. But even so, it only took him more than a minute to end the battle. Naturally, it is incomparable to ending the battle in a few seconds. But to end such a battle in just over a minute is already very good. Soon, the world announcement sounded again. This time, in addition to tens of millions of reincarnation points, Yi Xiao Tian also received a pair of SS level equipment, Tianjin gloves. Yi Xiao Tian didn't know how the rewards from the Babel Tower were calculated. Maybe it has something to do with the alien beasts, maybe it has to do with the number of layers. Of course, the biggest factor should be the clearance evaluation. A super rating is definitely the highest reward level. In the history of reincarnation, only he has been rated as a super god. I have never heard of such a review before. A pair of SS level heavenly gold gloves caused excitement among countless people who had awakened their boxing talents. If you could get such a pair of gloves, how much would it increase your combat power? Apart from anything else, when an awakened boxer fights against an enemy, the thing that suffers the most is the weapon. No matter how hard your fist is, you will still suffer a lot against someone else's heavenly gold weapon. But if you have a pair of SS level Tianjin gloves, then there will be no problem. No matter how good the enemy's weapons are, they still pose no threat. 
a weapon that was even close to shattering with one punch. As far as they knew, Yi Xiaotian and his team members did not have boxing awakeners. Therefore, this pair of gloves will most likely be sold. Chapter 473 Those who have connections can use them, and those who don't can find ways to use them. You must find a way to get this pair of boxing gloves. It's just SS level equipment, but the price is also very touching. At this step, 90% of the Boxing Talent Awakeners have already lined up. The Boxing Talent Awakeners are excited, but the Pong Talent Awakeners are jealous. After all, the competition between the two types of Talent Awakeners is very fierce. Because both use both hands as attack weapons. They also want to use weapons such as knives or swords. But unfortunately, their talents require them to use boxing or palm techniques with their bare hands to have an amplification effect. Of course, there are also boxing gloves and gloves for sale in reality. But this talent system is relatively unpopular, and it cannot be compared with weapons such as swords. So the intensity of research investment is definitely not comparable to weapons such as swords. In a word, there are general boxing and palm equipment, but the quality is not very good. Of course, no matter how unpopular the equipment is, the Samsara Mall has it. Just buying weapons and equipment in the Samsara Mall is really not something that everyone can do. This time, a pair of SS-level boxing gloves appeared in the world, which is absolutely sensational. In addition to the awakened ones with boxing talents, there are also major equipment research institutions that are trying to contact Yi Xiaotian, hoping to get this pair of boxing gloves from him. This is of great help to their research work. Most of the awakened resources manufactured in reality are made through reverse research. It is self-evident which is easier, researching out of thin air or having ready-made equipment in front of you for research. Then they found that they still couldn't contact Yi Xiaotian, or even the Haotian team. So they could only turn their attention to several places that were closely connected with Yi Xiaotian or the Haotian team. The first one is naturally the Magic City University. That is definitely Yi Xiaotian's mother's home. Then there are the forces behind several comrades. Especially the Han family in Jiangcheng, who was shocked by the waves of people swarming in. After understanding their intention, Han Xuyao's father Han Jing told them clearly that it was useless to ask him for this kind of thing, and asked them to contact Yi Xiaotian directly. This kind of loophole must not be opened otherwise there will be no peace in the future. The last time Yi Xiaotian went back to Jiangcheng, the Han family was already in chaos. He didn't want to happen again. If this happened before Yi Xiaotian became famous, Han Jing would definitely be happy. He dreamed of making the Han family bigger and stronger. But now, he is Yi Xiaotian's father-in-law. That's different. Don't think about anything else, just live a peaceful life. Live however you want, as for the rest, Yi Xiaotian has arranged it for them. Resources High-level resources Others don't have them, so could his Han family not have them? Those resources that Yi Xiaotian doesn't need, in addition to exchanging them for major universities, are given away. Not only the Han family has them, but also the families behind several other comrades. Of course, the Han family is definitely the most generous among them. This is the family of my father-in-law, how can we treat them unfairly? Everyone can't find a way in the Han family, Han Jing doesn't leave them any loopholes. They have no choice but to go to Magic City University. Several other roads are also blocked. The three major colleges want to speak up, but they are afraid of offending Yi Xiaotian, so they simply refuse. As for the major families, it is even more so. They can't say too much about this kind of thing, so as not to cause trouble for their sons and daughters. Only Magic City University, because it has already opened a loophole, there is no way to avoid it, no way to push it, and can only agree to contact Yi Xiaotian to try. As for the result, he is not sure. Naturally, everyone can't really force He sure to protect them. He sure can promise to convey this matter, which is already very face-saving. Now who in the awakening world of Xia country doesn't know that vice president he is Yi Xiaotian's mentor, who won't give some face. No one bothered Yi Xiaotian, but the others received the message from Yi Xiu. However, only Huang Jia received the message. 
Because he was in charge of information, he would go to the reincarnation world every now and then to collect information. The same loss cannot be suffered twice. For example, now that Yi Xiao Tian has obtained SS level equipment, the people of the Haokian team will know it immediately. For example, there are many people outside who want to buy the SS level boxing gloves in Yi Xiaotian's hands. The discussion outside is still going on, and Yi Xiaotian's road to the sky is still going on. On the 25th floor, Yi Xiaotian gained tens of millions of reincarnation points, and then got two bottles of SS level talent spirit liquid as a reward. When the world announcement came, everyone was jealous. Since when did this extremely precious SS level talent spirit liquid become wholesale? It seems that it started when Haokian God started to break through the road to the sky. In the past, there might not be one bottle of SS level talent spirit liquid in a year, but dozens of bottles appeared all of a sudden. And as long as Yi Xiao Tian continues to break through, there will definitely be a lot of SS level talent spirit liquid. Even SS level talent spirit liquid will not be lacking. Now everyone is guessing not how many levels Yi Xiao Tian can break through, but where is his ceiling? Supreme Power? Supreme Lord? Or Immortal God? No one knows. Because the level above the Supreme Power is the Supreme Lord, because five Supreme Powers were born on Blue Star. As for what level is above the Supreme Lord, even several Supreme Powers don't know. No one knows Yi Xiao Tian's upper limit. But what people know is that the appearance of Yi Xiao Tian will completely change the fate of the human race. Not only himself, but now he can already mass produce SS level or even SS level talent awakeners. This will be an immeasurable improvement in the strength of the human race. The boxing gloves in front made the boxing talent awakeners boil, and the major equipment research institutions drooled. Now that the SS level talent spirit liquid reward has appeared again, those forces that didn't buy it last time have sharpened their knives. They pray that Yi Xiao Tian can get more talent spirit liquid, so that it won't be too difficult to grab. Next, every time Yi Xiao Tian breaks through a layer of the Tower of Babel, the rewards he gets will cause a sensation. In the end, everyone was a little numb. What happened last time was what happened last time. What happened this time was still what happened this time. They couldn't help but get excited. After all, more than twenty days had passed. Now their passion was full again. He sure's phone was bombarded with calls again, and some even came directly to his house. He was very distressed. It was naturally a good thing to have such an excellent student like Yi Xiao Tian. But sometimes, it's not always a good thing when students are too excellent. Chapter 474 just as the outside world was buzzing with discussions, a conversation was going on at the headquarters of the Awakened Ones in Onigashima country in the reincarnation world. One of the two parties involved in the conversation was Wuda Xiaoyo, the president of the Onigashima Nation's General Association of Awakeners. Yes, he was not removed from office. Later everyone discovered that sitting in this position was too dangerous. So he was miraculously succeeded. The other party in the conversation was Amster, the global chief minister of the heretical organization. President Toothless, please think about it carefully. We have sent people to contact the Sea Clan. We can assure you that after we succeed, your ghost island nation will become one of the spokespersons of the Saint Clan in Blue Star. Amster said. Of course Toothless Xia Lu is not that easy to fool, and said with a look of disdain, Do you think I am a three-year-old child? When the aliens occupy Blue Star, will there be a way for us to survive? Armster smiled and said, President Toothless, even if the saints occupy Blue Star, the humans still need to be led by the humans. The saints don't understand the humans at all, they need more spokespersons. Toothless Xia Lu suddenly said, Amster, aren't you afraid that after the aliens occupy Blue Star, they will eat you first? Amster's face looked a little ugly, which was certainly possible. But he believed that he was loyal to the alien race and that the alien race would still need him, so he ignored this possibility. But no matter how small the possibility is, it is still possible. He had already forgotten it, but now it was revealed by Toothless Xia Lu. President Toothless, do you think we have any other choice? Compared with the power of the human race, there is a huge gap between the power of the saint race. 
What's more, now the Saint Clan also has the Sea Clan to help. I'm not afraid to tell you that the Holy Race is currently solving its internal problems once their internal problems are solved, the human race will be destroyed. You have to think carefully about whether you want to be the spokesperson of the Saint Clan in Blue Star, or whether you will be like the other human races and become the captive blood food of the Saint Clan. Toothless Xia Lu didn't speak, just thought quietly, and Amster didn't urge him. He believed that the wise Toothless Xia Lu would definitely make a wise choice. I need time to think about this matter, and what you said is just verbal talk. Toothless Xia Lu said. Then what do you want? Armstrong frowned. Toothless Xia Lu said, I need to participate in your contact with the Sea Tribe. Amster's frown deepened. Whether it is the contact with Onigashima country or the contact with High Clan, they are all secrets among secrets. How to get others involved? If it is accidentally leaked, the consequences will not be good. What he was most worried about at the beginning was that Wu Tooth Xia Lu would expose him as soon as he saw him. But fortunately, this guy Wu Tooth Xia Lu is not too stupid. Moreover, this is the world of reincarnation, so Amster has no worries about his own safety. Once this matter is exposed, the plans of the Holy Clan will definitely be affected. Now it was Amster's turn to think about it. Seeing Amster's troubled face, Toothless Xia Lu added, Mr. Amster, I can't risk the tens of millions of people in my Gue Island country, and I can't become the eternal sinner of the Gue Island country. You are already an eternal sinner of Onigashima country. Amster angrily shouted in his heart. With a group of high-level officials from the Association of Awakened Persons of Onigashima Country kneeling down to admit their mistakes, they have completely disgraced the ancestors of Onigashima Country. Are they not sinners through the ages? If the ancestors of Onideo Country had spirits, you, toothless Shalyo, would have died long ago without a burial place. Of course, these words only flashed through Amster's mind, and they certainly could not be spoken out. Amster thought about it for a moment and then said, this is a bit troublesome. Just like meeting you and me, our connection with the Sea Tribe is also completed in the world of reincarnation. But you also know that countries are not on the same dimension, let alone races. The reason why we can connect with the Sea Clan in the world of reincarnation is because the Saint Clan helped us. Even if I wanted to take you with me, you wouldn't be able to get through. Amster's reason was very legitimate. Of course this toothless Shalyo knew. Although the human race, sea race and alien race are all covered by the world of reincarnation, they cannot communicate freely with each other. Teleportation arrays can be used to directly deliver goods between different countries in the human race. But no one knows how the human race can go to the world of the sea race or alien races. Toothless Xia Lu was also curious, how did the alien race and the sea race get in touch? How are the connections between the various races in this reincarnated world formed? Mr. Amster, how do you go to the sea world? I can go there as well. What's so difficult about it? Even if it costs a teleportation fee, I can pay for it myself. Toothless Xia Lu slapped his chest loudly. Everyone in Amsterdam is numb. Do I care about the transmission fee? What I care about is that you can't follow me. We negotiate with the High Clan and take you with us. How can I brag about your ghost island country? Moreover, your Onigashima country belongs to the Beautiful Alliance. How can I take advantage of the Beautiful Alliance then? Mr. Amster, isn't this an excessive request? Toothless Xia Lu said, staring at Amster. Amster didn't know how to answer. After pondering for a long time, he said, Well, let me communicate with the Sea Tribe first. If they have no objection, I can take you there. However, you cannot be present when we are negotiating with the C clan. Toothless Xia Lu pretended to think for a while, and then agreed, Okay, I just went over to confirm whether you and the C clan are really in agreement. As for the terms you negotiated, it's really not convenient for me to know. Wu Tooth Xia Lu was not interested in knowing what conditions the foreign race had negotiated with the C clan. What he really wanted to know was how to get to the reincarnation world of the Sea Clan. In Wu Tooth Xia Lu's heart, a sentence said by a great monarch of Xia Kingdom thousands of years ago could not help but emerge. The enemy can go, so can I. 
You alien race can communicate with the sea race, and you heretics can communicate with the sea race and the alien race, why can't we, the human race, do it? This secret must be in your own hands. At this moment, Wu Tu Xiao Lu thought a lot. About the fate of their family, about the fate of Onigashima country, and about the fate of human race. Seeing that Toothless Xiaoyo agreed to the conditions, Amster said with a relaxed expression, Okay, then President Toothless will just wait for my news, and I will take the first step. Toothless Xiaoyo didn't keep him, sent him out of the headquarters gate, and returned to his previous seat. At this time, a staff member walked in quickly and said a few words in Wuji Xiaoyo's ear. Wuji Xiaoyo's expression changed. Chapter 475 Wu Tooth Xia Lu just received the news that Yi Xiaotian started to break through the Babel Tower again, and the rewards were very good. He was struggling in his mind. On the one hand, Yi Xiaotian's strength made him a little hesitant. As Amster said, if the alien race really occupied Blue Star. Of course, it goes without saying that he can indeed gain a first mover advantage by joining a foreign race. It is indeed possible to become the spokesperson of the alien race in Blue Star. But there is another possibility, that is, once Yi Xiaotian becomes the supreme powerhouse, what is the possibility of aliens occupying Blue Star? Although it takes a long time to go from an SS level awakener to a supreme powerhouse. But since Yi Xiaotian started breaking into the Tower of Babel, this time has been shortened infinitely. Because if someone breaks through the first floor of the Babel Tower, they will get thousands or tens of thousands of reincarnation points at most. But when I arrived at Yi Xiaotian's place, I actually started at 10, 0, 0, 0, 0 points. How does this compare? Reincarnation points are exchanged for attribute points in proportion. If Yi Xiaotian keeps going like this, how long will it take to redeem enough attribute points for him to be promoted to the supreme powerhouse? Toothless Xiaoyo doesn't know. But there is a rough guess that it will be very soon. In fact, Yi Xiaotian has accumulated enough now. Thinking of this, the cold sweat on Toothless Xiaoyo's forehead began to flow down. What the hell, if you seek refuge with a foreign race at this time, wouldn't you be courting death? Toothless Xiaoyo was very lucky that everything was still in time. Of course, Amster can't stop it either. At that time, he will be the undercover agent of the human race who infiltrates the heresy. By then, he will be a hero of the human race. Even before, he knelt down and begged for mercy in order to obtain Yi Xiaotian's forgiveness. It can be said that he did it deliberately to break into the heretical organization. The more he thought about Toothless Xiaoyo, the brighter his eyes became. What a genius I am! Thinking of this, he couldn't bear it anymore. He needs to contact the great god Haotian, and he needs to tell the great god Haotian his plan. Only in this way can someone testify for him. Otherwise, when the matter is over, no one can prove that he is an undercover agent, which will be tragic. And this witness must be the great god Haotian. Only he can guarantee the safety of his toothless president. What? If we can't contact him now, what's the problem? I'll go to the square at the entrance of Xia Kingdom's Tong Tian Tower and wait for him in person. Then many awakened people of Xia Kingdom discovered a strange thing, Wu Tooth Xia Lu, the president of Onigashima Kingdom who had knelt down in the main square of the Samsara world to beg for mercy. He actually ran to the gate of Xia Kingdom Babel Tower to obey. But fortunately, no one thought about bad things. They just speculated that the flow of toothless Xia must be related to the clearance reward obtained by great god Haotian. This shameless guy actually wants the resources in the hands of god Haotian. He is really wishful thinking. What you said is wrong. We still have dreams what if they come true? Ha ha ha. Damn it, it turns out there are friendly forces upstairs. I can't hold back my 40 meter sword. Give him a good burial. The people who eat melons are very curious. As the president of the awakened ones of Onigashima country, how could Wu Tooth Xia Lu personally go outside the Tower of Babel to block people? Even Amster sent a message to Toothless Xia Yodi and asked him what he meant. But Toothless Xiaoyo answered quite well. Mr. Amster, that Yi Xiaotian got good things in the Tower of Babel. Isn't this also to improve the strength of the awakened people of our ghost island kingdom? 
even if it's cooperation, you still want to have a strong ally, right? What's more, if I really have other thoughts, do I know how to contact him secretly? It's just because my thoughts are righteous that I came here in person. Don't worry, Mr. Armstrong. Once you get in touch, I will personally go to the sea world with you. After all these words, Amster was completely speechless. After all, what toothless Xia Lu said made sense. The stronger the Anagashima nation's awakened association is, the better it is for him. In any case, they are both from the human race, and even if they end up defecting to the alien race, they are still considered to be on the same side. After the aliens occupy Blue Star, even if they want to control them, it will not be that easy. Very well, President Toothless, you have done a very good job. With talents like you joining our camp, we will definitely achieve final victory. I'm in contact with the Sea Clan. As long as they agree, I will take you there. Obviously, Toothless Xiaoyo was different from what Amster said about going to the Sea World. Wu Tooth Xia Lu wanted to go through it, just wanted to know the channel of the past. What Amster thought was that Toothless Xiaoyo also wanted to meet the senior officials of the Sea Tribe. Only in this way can the alliance between the alien race and the sea race be completely determined. If Amster knew that Toothless Xiaoyo's request was so simple, would he still need to communicate with the sea tribe? Just take the person there. After Toothless Xiaoyo finished communicating with Amster, he began to pray, hoping that God Haotian could come out of the Babel Tower as soon as possible. When Huang Jia entered the world of reincarnation again to receive news, he learned about Wu Tooth Xia Lu's behavior. He quickly left and discussed with Han Xuyao and the others. Toothless Xia Lu, does this bastard want to cause trouble again? Wang Hao started to curse after hearing what happened. He remembered clearly how Wu Tooth Xia Lu incited the media to slander Yi Xiaotian. If Yi Xiaotian had not been so strong and powerful, he would have been destroyed by the shameless guise of Wu Qi Xia Lu. Now, this guy actually dared to block the outside of the Tower of Babel. Is this because they think that there is no one in Xia country? Wang Hao was the first to say that he wanted to go in and teach Wu Qi Xia Lu a lesson. Chang Xiaoxi pulled him and said, Okay, don't get excited. If Wu Qi Xia Lu really had any bad intentions, he would have been beaten without you having to do anything. What do you mean? Wang Hao didn't understand. Chang Xiaoxi said, it means that Wu Qi Xia Lu is definitely not here to cause trouble this time. Then what is he doing here? Wang Hao didn't believe it. Wu Qi Xia Lu, this old shameless man, must be here to cause trouble. Chang Xiaoxi said, Brother Tian got some good stuff when he broke into the Tower of Babel this time. He must be here to build relationships and buy resources. Wang Hao said disdainfully, this old bastard is really dreaming. He wants to buy the resources in Brother Tian's hands. It's wishful thinking. Sun Yao said, something is wrong. If he really wants to buy the resources in Brother Tian's hands, he can just participate in the auction later. He came directly to Brother Tian. Isn't it uncomfortable for him? Everyone heard it and it made sense. As everyone knows, Yi Xiao Tian will never agree to Wu Qi Xia Lu, and will also severely lose face for him. Does Wu Qi Xia Lu have any self-abuse tendency? Or did he feel special pleasure from being abused by Yi Xiao Tian? Chapter, 476 Because Wu Qi Xia Lu's purpose was too special, Huang Jia finally passed the news to Yi Xiao Tian. They would not feel at ease if they did not find out Wu Qi Xia Lu's purpose. Let Yi Xiao Tian come out to meet this guy first. Yi Xiao Tian cleared another level of the Tower of Babel, and was not interested in seeing any rewards, anyway, that was it. Instead, he read Huang Jie's message. Worried about whether there was an accident outside. But after reading the message, Yi Xiao Tian was a little confused. Wu Qi Xiao Lu. The Awakener General President of the Ghost Island Country. Hasn't he been dismissed yet? Yi Xiao Tian was shocked. This guy can still sit in the position of the general president, which is really a magical thing. But he was also very curious, why did this guy come to see him? So he decided to go out and take a look. Coming out of the Tower of Babel, Yi Xiao Tian saw the crowd watching on the square, it was really crowded. Are they all here to see Wu Qi Xiao Lu? 
Yi Xiaotian was shocked again. It's really hard to describe the Chinese people's love of watching the fun. Wouldn't they go to brush some reincarnation points if they had the time? Ah, the great god Haotian is out. Someone shouted, and then everyone's attention turned from Wu Qi Xiaoyou to Yi Xiaotian. Great god Haotian, you are so handsome. Great god Haotian, I want to have a baby with you. Great god Haotian, can you lead us to brush the team dungeon? I also want to pass the level with a super god. Yi Xiaotian was numb listening to the screams one after another. These people were like taking stimulants. If there was no layer of air blocking Yi Xiaotian, these people would definitely fly over. Especially those women, their hands kept reaching out to Yi Xiaotian. Fortunately, they were all blocked by the aura and they didn't get any advantage. Yi Xiaotian breathed a sigh of relief and said in a deep voice, Everyone, I still have things to deal with, please make way. When the great god Haotian spoke, everyone quieted down. When they heard that the great god had something to deal with, they quickly made way. Although I like to watch the excitement, I am still very obedient. Yi Xiaotian was very relieved. Great god Haotian, did you come out on purpose? Someone asked. While walking towards Wu Qi Xiaoyou, Yi Xiaotian replied, Yes, I received a message inside saying that President Wu Qi came to see me on purpose, so I came out. After all, our Xia country is a country of etiquette, and we can't let others say that we don't know etiquette. Ah, the great god is so handsome. Yi Xiaotian's simple two words stirred the emotions of the female audience on the scene, making them shout instantly. Yi Xiaotian's expression froze. This character is too unstable. Master Haotian, have you ever considered leading newcomers through the team dungeon? Or you can also let the members of the Haotian team lead the team dungeon, after all, they have all passed the team dungeons below level A with Super God. Someone brought up this question again. It's not that easy to pass the team dungeon with Super God. It doesn't mean that you can do it just because you have the strength. First of all, there is a condition, that is, you have passed the team dungeon with Super God for the first time. Otherwise, even if you are a supreme strong man to lead the team dungeon, you can't reach Super God. The will of reincarnation is not a fool, how could it let you take advantage of such a loophole? And the dungeon Super God can only be achieved by the first pass. After the first pass, even if you have played the dungeon to pieces, you can't achieve Super God evaluation again. All loopholes are blocked for you. So at this stage, except Yi Xiaotian, only the teammates of the Haotian team can lead the team to pass the team dungeon with Super God for the first time. Huang Jia actually mentioned this question before. Some members of the Haotian team can lead the team to play low-level team dungeons. This is a big business. But in the end, Yi Xiaotian rejected it. They are not short of money, so they might as well read more books with that time. The difference between the rewards for the second pass and the first pass is too big, it's just a drop in the bucket. Yi Xiaotian doesn't like it. However, if it is for the purpose of training new people, it can still be considered. But it's not possible at this stage, let's consider this issue after the team members are promoted to S level. Everyone, I'm very busy now, so I won't consider this issue. As for my comrades, they also need to improve themselves. Let's wait until later, when time is not so tight. After saying that, Yi Xiaotian has walked in front of Wu Qi Xia Lu. Wu Qi Xia Lu bowed 90 times, and then said, Mr. Haotian, thank you for coming out to see me. Yi Xiaotian said calmly, President Wu Qi, do you have anything to do? Wu Qi Xia Lu hesitated for a moment before saying, Mr. Haotian, I want to buy some resources from you. Can we find a separate space to talk? After receiving Wu Qi Xia Lu's eye signal, Yi Xiaotian hesitated for a moment and nodded, Okay, since President Wu Qi is so interested, I'll give you a chance. After that, the two walked towards the shop next to them. The people in the square looked at this scene and felt incredible. It's unreasonable that the great god Haotian would give Wu Qi Xia Lu, a ghost islander, a chance. Yi Xiaotian opened a private room, which was provided by the will of reincarnation, so there is no need to worry about leaks. Unless the will of reincarnation also rebelled. Okay, if you have anything to do, just tell me quickly. 
I will continue to conquer the road to heaven. Yi Xiaotian waved his hand, indicating to Wu Ji Xiaoyou not to use those polite procedures and just state the purpose directly. If it weren't for Wu Tooth Xiao Lu's special eyes, Yi Xiaotian really wouldn't want to have contact with him. Mr. Haotian, I have something very important to tell you. It's about heretical organizations, alien races, and the Sea Clan. Toothless Xia Lu said. Yi Xiaotian's expression immediately became serious. Could it be that the alien race and the sea race are joining forces to cause trouble again? He motioned for Toothless Xiaoyo to continue. Toothless Xiao Lu hurriedly told what happened to Amster looking for him. Finally, he emphasized, as a member of the human race, how can I collude with the heretical organization? Even if the alien race promises me great benefits, there is no way I will betray the human race. Yi Xiaotian looked at Wu Tooth Xia Lu with a strange look on his face. He was wondering how this guy had the nerve to say such a thing. Just seeing the righteous look on Toothless Xia Lu's face, Yi Xiaotian didn't know how to complain. He could only nod his head and indicate to continue. Mr. Haotian, I have decided that I will penetrate into the enemy's interior and steal the enemy's intelligence. No matter how dangerous it is, I will complete this mission. Toothless Xia Lu said righteously. Yi Xiaotian rolled his eyes and said simply, Honestly, what do you want me to do? Toothless Xia Lu knelt down directly in front of Yi Xiaotian and said with a mournful face, Please save me, God. Chapter 477 Please save me, great God. Wu Qi Xiaoyo knelt down. Yi Xiaotian was confused. Why did he kneel down when everything was fine? Did Amster force him? Or did he want to harm him recently? Get up first and make your words clear. Yi Xiaotian said in a deep voice. Seeing this, Wu Qi Xiaoyo had to stand up and then expressed his worries. Yi Xiaotian looked at him strangely, as if he was trying to tell which of his words were true and which were false. Of course, he couldn't believe everything Wu Qi Xiaoyo said. If this pit father guy also said the same thing to Amster, wouldn't he be the fool who was fooled? After a moment of silence, Yi Xiaotian suddenly said, President Wu Qi, what you said is just your one-sided words, and I can't be sure whether what you said is true. Of course what I said is true, Mr. Haotian, I took a big risk to come to see you. Wu Qi Xiaoyo was anxious. Yi Xiaotian waved his hand and said, Don't worry, listen to me. I have a solution here that can solve the problem of distrust between us 100%. Wu Qi Xiao Lu said, What solution? No matter what the solution is, I have no opinion. My heart is always red. Yi Xiaotian didn't know what to say. This guy is too good at talking. But in order to prevent himself from being fooled, Yi Xiaotian would definitely not say what he said. Instead, he said, if you want me to trust you 100%, there is only one way, let me give you a spiritual spell. After this plan is completed, I will solve it for you. Wu Qi Xia Lu's heart trembled. Has it come to this? But thinking that it was Yi Xiaotian who cast the spell, he felt inexplicably less uncomfortable. Then when he thought that Yi Xiaotian would be invincible in the world after he was promoted to the supreme power in the future, and even become the real true God Lord in the end. Then wouldn't he be the only spiritual disciple of the true God Lord? As for those spiritual pets, he ignored them directly. Spirit pets are always spiritual pets. And he is the only spiritual disciple of the true God Haotian. Thinking of this, Wu Qi Xia Lu was immediately excited. Being able to become the only spiritual disciple of the great god Haotian is a lifetime honor. An opportunity that countless people can't get even if they break their heads. Think about the resources in the hands of the great god Haotian. After becoming his only spiritual disciple, just a little bit of it will be enough for him to use for life. This kind of spiritual technique must not only be cast, but also cannot be solved. If it is solved, you are no longer Haotian's own people. What? Life and death are controlled by others after casting this kind of spiritual technique? What does it matter? Don't you see who is controlling it? It's an honor to be controlled by the great god Haotian. So Wu Qi Xia Lu knelt down again and said very piously, Master, please give me the spiritual technique. Yi Xiaotian was stunned. 
For the first time, he suspected that Wu Qi Xiao Lu had a problem with his brain. But after watching for a while and making sure that Wu Qi Xiaoyu was not playing him, he said, Okay, my promise will always be valid. As long as you complete the plan this time, I will remove the spirit planting technique for you. It cannot be removed. Wu Qi Xiaoyu said very seriously. Yi Xiao Tian was confused again. It cannot be removed. What kind of brain circuit is this? Master, please, don't remove it, okay? Wu Qi Xiaoyu said almost coquettishly. Yi Xiao Tian shuddered all over. Is this the tone a man can say? In order not to be mentally devastated by this damn Wu Qi Xiaoyu, Yi Xiao Tian decided to deal with special matters specially and directly cast the spirit planting technique on Wu Qi Xiaoyu, then floated away and continued to break into the Tower of Babel. After hearing that the alien race and the sea race had the intention of uniting again, and even the alien race was still resolving internal racial conflicts, a sense of urgency invaded. He must make more preparations, and he must not have enough counterattack power when the alien race and the sea race attack again. Moreover, he couldn't tell anyone about this kind of thing now, otherwise the news would leak out, and it wouldn't matter if Wu Qi Xia Lu died. The key is that it is unknown how the heretic organization connected with the alien reincarnation world and the sea reincarnation world. Only he himself knows this matter. As for how to prove it to others in the future, what Yi Xiao Tian said is the proof. If it weren't for such credibility and strength guarantee, Wu Qi Xia Lu wouldn't come to him. Yi Xiao Tian and Wu Qi Xia Lu walked out of the store one after another, and both of them looked unhappy. This was what they had discussed. Wu Qi Xia Lu came to Yi Xiao Tian just to buy cultivation resources. But he was ruthlessly rejected by Yi Xiao Tian. Soon, the news spread in the reincarnation world and the real world. Yi Xiao Tian was disgusted by Wu Qi Xia Lu's purchase of resources, so he was in a bad mood and looked ugly. Wu Qi Xia Lu was also very uncomfortable because he failed to purchase resources. After these two pieces of news spread, many people breathed a sigh of relief. First, the awakeners of Xia country agreed with Yi Xiao Tian's toughness. Then the awakeners of other countries, Yi Xiao Tian did not agree to Wu Qi Xia Lu's request, which means that Yi Xiao Tian will still sell those resources in the form of auction. In this way, they can still participate. The only ones who are sad are probably the awakeners of Gui Dao country. They have a lot of opinions about Wu Qi Xia Lu. They think that this general president has lost the face of the awakeners of Gui Dao country. Knowing what kind of character Yi Xiao Tian has, he actually put his face forward to be hit. Is he so mean? This is a disgrace to all the awakened people in the ghost island. They shouted on the public channel of the Samsara world and on the internet in reality, demanding that Wu Qi Xia Lu step down. The senior leaders of the Awakening Association also have opinions about Wu Qi Xia Lu. They also want Wu Qi Xia Lu to step down. But the problem is that no one is willing to take over. The position of the current president of the awakened people in the ghost island is a bit dangerous. In the past, everyone was vying for it. But since they were beaten to their knees and begged for mercy by Yi Xiao Tian, everyone realized that there was really nothing to fight for in this position. Maybe someday, Hao Tian boss will come again with a knife. Should the president take over at that time? With Yi Xiao Tian's fighting power, no awakened person in this world, except the supreme strong, can take his knife. It would be too unfair if they were cut in half by Hao Tian boss. The family behind them cannot do without them. They haven't enjoyed all the good things in this world yet, how can they die? Just because Wu Qi Xia Lu can block this knife for them. They have secured Wu Qi Xia Lu as the president. As for the distribution of power and resources, the Awakeners Association is not decided by Wu Qi Xia Lu alone. All major decisions still need to be voted on by the vice presidents. The Perfect Scapegoat Chapter, 478 Faced with the overwhelming public sentiment, the Gui Dao Awakener Association had to let someone come out to explain. The reason why President Wu Qi did this was not for the Awakeners of Gui Dao. If President Wu Qi could buy the resources from Mr. Hao Tian on behalf of the association, the benefit would still be the Awakener Association of Gui Dao. 
If they could establish a relationship with Mr. Haotian and supply goods for a long time in the future, the Awakener Association of Guidao would make a fortune. Not to mention, after such nonsense was spread out, some people really believed it. When Huang Jia saw this news, he was amazed, these colleagues in Guidao are really too naive. They even believe such nonsense. It is obvious that they are fooling them as fools. They are not really stupid, but they are just blinded by the interests. They will think about it. What would happen if Brother Tian really agreed to Wu Qi Xia Lu's request? It doesn't matter if they fail now. They have no losses. Instead, they think that their president has disregarded his personal reputation and thought about them. Xiao Qing explained in a deep voice. As the heir of a big family, he has heard a lot of this kind of tactics. The superiors never consider right or wrong, but the gains and losses, and the problem of imbalance in the situation. That's not right. Don't the vice presidents of the Guidao Awakeners Association have any opinions? They are actually cooperating to cover up for Wu Qi Xia Lu. Didn't they want to bring Wu Qi Xia Lu down before? Huang Jia remembered very clearly that when the Guidao Awakeners Association pulled Wu Qi Xia Lu out to take the blame, it was not this attitude. Xiao Qing heard this and said a little confusedly, I don't think this is very clear, but the brains of the people in Guidao have never been very normal, so don't care too much. That's right. Huang Jia laughed when he heard this. Others laughed too. They didn't understand what Wu Qi Xia Lu's brain circuit was. He actually ran to Yi Xiaotian alone to discuss a deal at this time. Such a brain is indeed not normal. But there is still a question lingering in their minds. As the general president of the awakeners of a country, is Wu Qi Xia Lu really a fool with a hole in his brain? It's a bit unreasonable. If you can't figure it out, don't think about it. This is Yi Xiaotian's usual thinking. As a member of the Haotian team, they naturally follow this thinking. So it's important to continue hunting the sea tribe, and let the rest come naturally. Yi Xiaotian continued his journey to Tong Tian Road. Various world notices and various rewards are flying all over the sky. At first, everyone was still discussing happily, but after too many, the excitement went down, and there was not much interest. That is, when the world notice appeared, someone mentioned it, and then it sank. Anything, once it appears more frequently, it will be meaningless. Yi Xiaotian also figured out a reward mechanism. The strength of the ten-layer alien beast will be stronger, and the rewards will be more generous. Basically, they are treasures of the same level as SS level talent spirit liquid. When he reached the 49th floor, Yi Xiaotian stopped again. It was not that he couldn't get through, but he was a little tired. This time, he attacked violently, showing the most manly side of a man, and experienced the joy of violent fighting. The result is that this kind of fighting method is exciting, but also really tiring. So when he reached the 50th floor, he didn't continue, but decisively withdrew from the Tower of Babel. Directly withdrew from the reincarnation world. As for danger, it doesn't exist. Even if this is in the sea, it doesn't matter to him. Unless the supreme strongman of the Sea Clan abides by this place. But is it possible? After reuniting with his teammates, Huang Jia said exaggeratedly, Brother Tian, this time we have another great harvest. Han Xuyao saw the tired look on Yi Xiaotian's face and said, Why don't we go back and rest for a while? Yi Xiaotian did not refuse, but said, Okay, I just happen to have something to think about when I go back. Regarding the matter of Wu Qi Xiaoyo, Yi Xiaotian still felt that he should discuss it with Lord Sword God. He is experienced and can point out the shortcomings. Although Yi Xiaotian felt that there was nothing wrong with this plan. But Sword God Zhuang Bufan is an old hand, and Yi Xiaotian is willing to share with him. Especially the matter that the alien race and the sea race have started to connect again, it should also be told to a few of them. Several supreme beings have sought survival for the human race. It is worthy of admiration and trust. However, Yi Xiaotian did not choose to meet in the real world this time. From Jiangnan to Beijing, it is too far and troublesome. It is better to be in the reincarnation world. No matter where you are in the world, you can sit together and drink tea if you pay a little price. 
it would be great if this function could be realized in the real world. For example, if a teleportation array is installed in each base city, it can connect the whole country or even the whole world. Such teleportation arrays are indeed available for sale in the Samsara Mall. But unfortunately, the price is very expensive. At least at this stage, no one will spend Samsara points to buy it. Now is not the time for the awakened human race to enjoy. It is a time to fight for survival. After the alien race and the sea race are completely defeated in the future, it may be a good time to consider this issue. It took two days for the group to return to Jiangnan city. This time, Yi Xiaotian and his companions did not go to Peng's house, but stayed in a hotel in the city. As usual, Peng Xiangyu paid for the food and accommodation. Yi Xiaotian told Han Xuyao a few words, then entered the reincarnation world, contacted Deacon Wu of the Awakener Association, and asked him to report it, hoping to meet with the Sword God in the reincarnation world. If someone else had such a request, they would definitely be scolded. But Yi Xiaotian had such a request, so there was no problem. Yi Xiaotian had been waiting for the result at the Awakener Association in the reincarnation world. The arrival of the reincarnation tower and the awakening of the talents of the living beings are the biggest difference from before. This world has become extremely dangerous, and communication has become very inconvenient. Especially between base cities, short distances may be achieved by telephone. But long distances are difficult, whether wireless or wired, or even satellite communications, have been greatly damaged. Many cross-city communications can only be carried out in the reincarnation world. So this gave birth to a new profession, the reincarnation world correspondent. For example, Deacon Wu is almost the same. He was in the capital. After receiving Yi Xiaotian's order, he did not dare to neglect it. He immediately went offline and reported the matter to the general president Wu Dingxiong. Then Wu Dingxiong contacted Sun Ping, and then Sun Ping reported it to Zhuang Bufan. Half an hour later, Yi Xiaotian met Zhuang Bufan in the reincarnation world. Chapter, 479 After asking Deacon Wu to exit, Zhuang Bufan waved his hand and set up a ban, and then said, Why are you so anxious to see me? What's the urgent matter? Zhuang Bufan knew very well that if there wasn't something important, Yi Xiaotian wouldn't be so anxious to see him. So he proactively set up restrictions. It can ensure that the conversation between them will not be overheard. Yi Xiaotian said, There is something that I am not sure about, so I want to communicate with you. Next, Yi Xiaotian told him what Wu Tu Xiao Lu had told him. After Zhuang Bufan heard this, he laughed and said, This old boy is dishonest. Yi Xiaotian screamed, not quite understanding what Zhuang Bufan meant. Zhuang Bufan explained, I'm sure that this old boy's position was not so firm at the beginning. He just wanted to be two-faced. Yi Xiaotian said hesitantly, Senior, can you also see this? Zhuang Bufan smiled and said, Don't underestimate these old foxes. They are smarter than monkeys when they have fur. Judging from what he said, he must have wanted to hedge his bets at the beginning. It was only later because you mentioned the spiritual technique that he was shaken. At this time, if he wants to be two-faced, there will be no chance. He knows very well that if you let you know his original thoughts, you will definitely not forgive him. So at this time, he decisively abandoned Amster and completely turned to you. This is why he said that there is no need to unlock the spiritual technique. Yi Xiaotian listened to Zhuang Bufan's explanation. Gradually, he came to his senses and cursed, this bastard has been fooled by him again. He is looking for death. Zhuang Bufan waved his hand and said, Okay, although the process is a bit tortuous, the result is still good. Now that he is yours, you can live with some things as long as you can. If he can help us find the secret that the heretical organization connects the sea race and the alien race through the world of reincarnation, then we will consider him to have made up for it. When Yi Xiaotian saw him saying this, he could only say, Okay. But in his heart, he remembered Xiao Jiujiu for Wu Tu Xia Lu. This bastard was really cunning, and he accidentally fell into his trap again. Zhuang Bufan said, Don't worry about it, after all, your age is here. Although you can crush him in terms of strength, you are definitely not his opponent in terms of scheming. 
On the other hand, you are definitely lucky to have such a spiritual disciple. When Yi Xiaotian heard this, he thought about it for a moment, and it seemed that what he said made sense. No matter how deep your scheming is, you are not my spiritual disciple yet. I can decide your life or death with a single thought. Thinking of this, he felt much better. When Zhuang Bufan saw Yi Xiaotian's face turn from gloomy to clear, he couldn't help but sigh to himself, young man, everything is reflected on his face. But this is in line with Yi Xiaotian's age and personality. We have actually considered this issue before. How are the alien races and heretical organizations connected, and how are the alien races and the sea tribe connected? After all, the alliance between the two races is not something that some small player can accomplish. Now it seems that they know how to communicate in the world of reincarnation. Judging from Amster's words, they have even mastered the transmission across the world of reincarnation between races. Chuang Bufan analyzed. Yi Xiaotian also said, but this cross-transmission should be limited. Zhuang Bufan nodded in agreement. If there were no restrictions at all, the relationship between the alien race and the sea race would have already spread. And why did the alien race ask Amster to contact the sea race? Is there something wrong here? Senior, why do you think the foreign race wants Amster to contact the sea race? Yi Xiaotian still asked this question. Zhuang Bufan pondered, tapping his fingers on the armrest of the sofa, and finally said after a long time, if what I expected is correct, whether they are alien races or sea races, only the reincarnation world of the human race is connected. Yi Xiaotian said, what do you mean, the foreign race cannot directly communicate with the sea race in the world of reincarnation? Zhuang Bufan nodded and said, based on the current situation, it should be like this. If my prediction is correct, the last time the alien race and the sea race united, it was Amster who was the one pulling the strings. Yi Xiaotian thought about it and said, then it seems that the last time the high clan was unable to work, there must be this reason. Zhuang Bufan said, it should be so. After all, although Amster is the chief master of the heretical organization, in the final analysis, he is just a dog of the alien race. The sea clan will not trust him so much. Yi Xiaotian nodded endlessly, what Zhuang Bufan said made so much sense. Zhuang Bufan continued, if we can open up the passage from the reincarnation world of the human race to the reincarnation world of the sea race this time, or even the passage from the human race to the alien race, it will be much easier to do things in the future. By the way, don't you have a few spiritual pets under your command? Where are they in the world of reincarnation now? Zhuang Bufan suddenly asked. Yi Xiaotian was stunned. He had never considered this issue. Looking at Yi Xiaotian's expression, Zhuang Bufan knew that young people think about things one-sidedly. Logically speaking, Yi Xiaotian's alien and Si clan spiritual pets who landed in the world of reincarnation should all return to their own clan. But Yi Xiaotian has never thought about this matter since he conquered them. If he has something to do, he will pull it out, and if nothing happens, he will just put it in the spiritual pet space. How about I try it now? Yi Xiaotian said with a stern expression. Zhuang Bufan waved his hand and said, No, I'll try again when I have time later, but I guess it won't have much effect. Yi Xiaotian tilted his head and thought for a moment, it seemed the same. Yi Xiaotian's spiritual pets are all registered with the alien race. If they suddenly appear in the reincarnation world of the alien race, wouldn't it be clear that they are spies? It is estimated that they will be killed as soon as they enter the reincarnation world, so that they will not be able to enter the reincarnation world for a week. Thinking of this, Yi Xiaotian felt a little depressed. Just now he thought this was a good idea, but now he realized that it was not a good idea at all, it was just useless. This feeling of falling from the peak to the bottom is really uncomfortable. Zhuang Bufan consoled him, okay, don't be depressed. What's the point? Think about us, how many setbacks and blows have we suffered along the way? Yi Xiaotian said, I'm not depressed, but I feel a little uncomfortable. I originally thought I could be of great help, but I found out that it was all in vain. Zhuang Bufan said, it's not completely useless. It can't help with big things, but it can still help with small things. 
you can let them enter the reincarnation world of alien races and the reincarnation world of sea races to inquire about news on public channels. Chapter, 480 The two chatted for a while and then dispersed. Before they dispersed, they added friends in the samsara world and added Sun Ping. Then Sun Ping introduced two people to Yi Xiaotian. They were all Sun Ping's subordinates, and their task was to receive various information in the samsara world. If Yi Xiaotian had something to do later, he could just contact them and pass the message to Zhuang Bufan immediately. There was no need to let Wu Dingxiong transfer. Even followers have a contempt chain. In this chain, Sun Ping is undoubtedly the most advanced one, and Wu Dingxiong is two positions behind him, but this guy has always wanted to be on an equal footing with him. So Sun Ping's attitude towards Wu Dingxiong has always been very bad. Now he wants to be on an equal footing, but will he still want to squeeze me out in the future? There are only a few supreme masters in the entire Blue Star, and there is only one sword god in Xia country. Where can I find such a thigh? Yi Xiaotian in the future will definitely be such a thigh, but he is not Sun Ping's dish. It is impossible to change his family. So it's good to let Wu Dingxiong and Yi Xiaotian have less interactions. Wu Dingxiong is a big shot. If he uses Yi Xiaotian's power to get into the eyes of the Lord Sword God, that would be tragic. If it were someone else, he would definitely be furious. But Yi Xiaotian. He can't afford to offend. So he can only ask Yi Xiaotian in detail and detail, and if there is anything in the future, just contact them directly, and don't bother President Wu. Yi Xiaotian also thinks it makes some sense. After all, as the general president of the Awakener Association, President Wu is busy with all kinds of things, and he definitely doesn't have time to deal with his trivial matters every day. If Wu Dingxiong knew that Yi Xiaotian thought so, he would definitely cry. Your affairs with the great god Haotian are the most important things, how can they be trivial matters? There is no trivial matter in the name of Haotian, this is everyone's consensus. If he knew that he was kicked away by Yi Xiaotian for this reason, he would definitely cry to death. This time when he met Zhuang Bufan, Zhuang Bufan once again taught him a lesson. When dealing with these old foxes who have lived for decades, you have to be full of tricks, otherwise you will fall into the other party's calculations. Compared with this, Yi Xiaotian is still better at being straightforward and solving problems with fists. Zhuang Bufan once said that you can't always use fists to solve problems. But what Yi Xiaotian wants to say is that he can. As for fighting scheming, it's better to leave it to professionals. He can collect followers and spirit pets, and let them play tricks. Back to the hotel. How is it, is the matter resolved? Han Xuyao asked with concern. She didn't know the specifics, but she knew that this matter was very important to Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian said, it's solved. Han Xuyao said, by the way, Xiang Yu's father is here. Yi Xiaotian was surprised and said, didn't he lead the team to the sea? He came back so soon. Han Xuyao said, the Peng family notified him, so he came back to see us. Xiang Yu went home, so he came here immediately. Yi Xiaotian was used to it. When he went to Beijing, the Xiao family and the Mu family did the same. But the situation of the Mu family is a bit special. Okay, the visitor is a guest, and he is Xiang Yu's father. We should meet him. This time Yi Xiaotian and his friends came to Jiangnan city and did not announce their whereabouts. So except for the people of the Peng family, no one else knew that the great god Haotian and his Haotian team came to Jiangnan city. Peng Xiangyu's father, Peng Yitian, the current head of the Peng family in Jiangnan city, is a newly promoted SS-level awakener of the human race. The Peng family is an absolute big family in Jiangnan, because the previous head of the Peng family is an SS-level awakener. Unfortunately, he was seriously injured in the battle with the Sea clan awakener Kanglinlong, and his foundation was damaged. In addition, the old master Peng was already old, and he didn't make it in the end. Fortunately, Peng Yitian was promoted to SS-level Awakener in a timely manner, which saved the basic foundation of the Peng family. In fact, now, with Peng Xiangyu Haotian's identity, even if he has not been promoted to SS-level Awakener, no one dares to attack the Peng family. Of course, it would be better if Peng Yitian could be promoted by himself. 
Uncle Peng. Yi Xiaotian was very enthusiastic. The elders of his comrades were his elders. He always thought so. And it was not the first time he met Peng Yitian. He met Peng Yitian when he rescued Jiangnan City last time. But that time, the two sides were not as enthusiastic as this time. Peng Yitian originally wanted to call him Mr. Haotian, but thinking of his son's instructions, he could only change his words and said, Xiao Tian, then I will call you Xiao Tian. Uncle Peng, I am very happy that you call me like this, which shows that we are really family members. Yi Xiao Tian said with a smile. Only when family members chat can they let go of all their guard. Peng Yitian was very moved. This young man was really amazing. He was in a position at a young age, but he didn't have any arrogant thoughts. This was very valuable. He had lived for decades and had seen all kinds of people. Those who were in high positions at a young age were born at the finish line of others. More or less, they all had some problems. But in his eyes, Yi Xiao Tian was perfect. At a young age, he had already reached a height that others could never reach in their lifetime. The first person under the Supreme, this is not a joke. Some people even think that his strength is comparable to the Supreme. But after all, no one has really tried it, so there are many doubters of this statement. However, if Yi Xiao Tian can be promoted to the Supreme, then he is definitely the strongest Supreme, and no one will have any objection to this. And the outside world speculates that it is not too difficult for Yi Xiao Tian to be promoted to the Supreme. There is no way, who lets him be awesome. Others really broke into the Tower of Babel, but what about Yi Xiao Tian? He didn't break into the Tower of Babel, he was just traveling, and then the father of reincarnation stuffed a bunch of high-level resources into him. It is estimated that no one will doubt that he is the biological son of the will of reincarnation. He now has passed one level of the Tower of Babel, hundreds of millions of reincarnation points, which is too much. With this small amount of reincarnation points to support, what difficulty is there? Directly exchange the reincarnation points for attribute points, and then rush all the way up. This is the biggest reason why Wu Qi Xia Lu will turn to Yi Xiao Tian without hesitation. This is already a reserve big man, when to become a regular, it depends on his own wishes. At this time, if you don't hold on to your thighs, what are you waiting for? Next, the two sides just chatted about family matters, but nothing special was said. In addition, Peng Yitian strongly invited them to stay at Peng's house, but Yi Xiao Tian refused. He also brought up the fact that they stayed in a hotel in Beijing. Seeing his firm attitude, Peng Yitian did not force him. But before leaving, he told Peng Xiangyu that Yi Xiao Tian and his friends must inform him in time if they have any needs in Jiangnan City. Chapter 481 Yi Xiao Tian agreed with the idea of preparing for the supreme power of epidemic prevention. He has accumulated more than 2 billion reincarnation points now. If all of them are converted into attribute points, one of his attributes can definitely reach the standard of the supreme power. Yi Xiao Tian is also considering a question, whether to do it all at once or slowly. After a few days of rest, Yi Xiao Tian received a message from Wu Qi Xiaoyo through the reincarnation world, saying that Amster had already taken care of it. In a few days, he will follow Amster to the Si Clan reincarnation world. After communicating with Zhuang Bufan, Yi Xiao Tian and Zhuang Bufan unanimously guessed that the human reincarnation world should be a transit station. It can connect the reincarnation world of alien races and the reincarnation world of the Si Clan. A few more days passed, and Yi Xiao Tian stayed in the reincarnation world to receive news from Wu Qi Xiaoyu. This is the good thing about the reincarnation world. It can communicate messages all the time. I am afraid that no one except the master of reincarnation can find it. Even if two people stand together, you can't find that the person next to you is sending a message. Moreover, the information of the reincarnation world is connected, and even cross-border information can be achieved. Yi Xiao Tian has already tested this on Hu Shui and his pets. After his pets go online, they will still appear in the reincarnation world of their own race. And they can also communicate through the information system of the reincarnation world. However, the connection between the reincarnation worlds of different races is unclear. Master, I have reunited with Amster. 
Master, we have arrived at the Grand Square of the Reincarnation World. The Grand Square of the Reincarnation World here generally refers to the general square of the entire Reincarnation World of the race. The squares of the Reincarnation Worlds of various countries usually have the name of the country added before the name, such as the Xia Country Reincarnation Square. Receiving this message, does it mean that the passage to the Reincarnation Worlds of the other two races is in the Grand Square of the Reincarnation World? Fuck, master, this dog day amster said he wanted to blindfold me, what should I do? This damn guy actually said that I should sleep for a while, and I will arrive when I wake up, what should I do? Seeing these messages, Yi Xiaotian's heart was as calm as water. What can I do? Cold. He could only reply calmly. It has come to this point, what else can he do? Should he go directly to Armster and tell him that he can't let Wu Qi Xia Lu blindfold his eyes or let him sleep? His brain is rusty. Then, for a long time, Yi Xiaotian didn't receive any news from Wu Qi Xia Lu. He was not in a hurry. What he could be sure of now was that Wu Qi Xia Lu was still alive. As long as he was alive, it would be fine. As for the problem of the channel, if it really didn't work, he would talk about it later. Anyway, he now has C Clan spirit pets and alien spirit pets under his command. It is definitely impossible to understand the secrets of these two clans. But some general information can still be found out. As Senior Zhuang Bufan said, a lot of information can be distinguished from the world public frequency chat. Yi Xiaotian drank coffee leisurely. Han Xuyao, who was sitting opposite him, was very surprised, because Yi Xiaotian had never been so leisurely before. He was either practicing or on the way to practice. Even if they were in love, there was actually nothing to talk about. The reality is like this. Without a stable living environment, what's the point of having a beautiful love relationship? Their generation can take this opportunity to enjoy themselves, but what about the next generation? They don't want their next generation to live under the starry sky without even basic security. Therefore, they must work hard to solve all crises in their generation. Let their children go to school with peace of mind in the future, and travel around the world with peace of mind on various means of transportation. They don't have to be like them now. Most people can't leave the base city in their lifetime and don't know what the wild is like. What they see on the internet and on TV are just what they want them to see. What the real wilderness is like, a large part of people don't know in their lifetime. If you want to gain, you need to pay first, it has always been like this. Although the three tribes are getting along relatively peacefully now. But Han Xuyao is very clear that this is just the calm before the storm. Although she doesn't know what Yi Xiaotian is doing these days. But she can instinctively feel that Yi Xiaotian must be executing some plan. But she is a smart woman. Yi Xiaotian didn't say anything, so she had no problem. In her understanding, as long as he could tell her, Yi Xiaotian would not hide it from her. Brother Tian, why don't we go shopping? Han Xuyao suggested, by the way, wait for me, I'll call Bingyan to come. After saying that, Han Xuyao had already gone offline without waiting for Yi Xiaotian to answer. Yi Xiaotian was a little caught off guard. Some things require psychological preparation. Although Han Xuyao had talked to him about Mu Bingyan, the relationship between him and Mu Bingyan during this period. How to say it? If there is a change, there is really no big change. But if there is no change, it is not. It can only be said that both Yi Xiaotian and Mu Bingyan need to do psychological preparation. It's just that when this psychological preparation can be done, it is unknown. But there is one thing, that is, if the two people get along the same way as before, then this psychological construction may never succeed. Now that Yi Xiaotian is so free, Han Xuyao naturally wants them to get along more. Although it is a little awkward for two people and three people to go out together, it is acceptable. It is easier than shopping with all the members of the entire team. Soon, Han Xuyao appeared in front of Yi Xiaotian again and said to him, I will go to find Bing Yen, you sit here first. The cafe they are sitting in is next to the Samsara Square. Generally, awakeners who are online in the real world will appear in the square. So soon, Han Xuyao pulled Mu Bingyan in. 
Mu Binyan's expression still did not change, still very cold. But there was a hint of shyness in the coldness, and her eyes were a little evasive. If she hadn't been forced by Han Xuyao, she really didn't want to come. But Han Xuyao said something that made sense. If you keep doing this, there will never be any progress. Regardless of whether you can succeed in the end, you always have to try hard. Han Xuyao analyzed all the pros and cons with Mu Binyan. Han Xuyao was determined to find a helper, but whether this helper was Mu Binyan or not depended on their own wishes. At present, Mu Binyan was definitely the first candidate. If it could work out, it would be the best. If it didn't work out, they could only change their target. Yi Xiaotian felt very complicated and felt sorry for Han Xuyao. But in Han Xuyao's heart, she felt sorry for him. Chapter 482 Let's go, let's go shopping together. Han Xuyao pulled Mu Binyan and said to Yi Xiaotian. Or, you two go shopping. Han Xuyao added. Yi Xiaotian felt even more guilty. Mu Binyan quickly said, No, let's go together. Han Xuyao didn't act pretentiously and said, Okay, then we go together. Originally, according to Han Xuyao's arrangement, she and Mu Binyan were on each side, holding Yi Xiaotian's arm and walking on the street. But Mu Binyan couldn't do it. So in the end, she was in the middle, with Yi Xiaotian on one side and Mu Binyan on the other. Even so, walking on the streets of the reincarnation world, the rate of turning back is still high. After all, whether it is Han Xuyao or Mu Binyan, the beauty is here. But more people's eyes are on Mu Binyan. After all, looking at this posture, you can tell that Han Xuyao is already a famous flower. In the case of more choices, it must be the one who chooses to be single. Two beauties, one is cold and the other is lively. Yi Xiaotian really has no talent for shopping, so he has no opinion. Mu Binyan is more of a taciturn person, and has no opinion, so only Han Xuyao can come. She is in the middle, pulling the two into a clothing store. As mentioned earlier, if you buy things from the real world in the reincarnation world, you only need to pay extra consumption to bring them from the reincarnation world to the real world. This is just like downloading things on the internet. When the owner puts the goods on the shelf, he needs to pay the upload traffic fee. And the buyer needs to pay the download traffic fee. That's about it. So buying goods sold by awakeners in the reincarnation world is generally more expensive. However, there are still many people who are willing to shop in the stores in the reincarnation world. One is that there are many kinds of goods, and there are stores opened here all over the country, and you can even go to other countries to shop. Another is safety. The reincarnation world has received benefits, so it is natural to protect the safety between the owner and the buyer. Clearly marked prices, no deception. Bing Yen, come here, let's help brother Tian choose some clothes together. Han Xuyao said while pulling Mu Bing Yen. As for Yi Xiao Tian, let him move freely for the time being. Yi Xiao Tian breathed a sigh of relief, and at a glance, there were a wide variety of clothes, all kinds of styles, both men's and women's clothes. It is worthy of being a store in the reincarnation world. It looks small from the outside, but it is another world after entering. This is the use of space rules. Yi Xiao Tian is very envious. Under the will of the reincarnation world, many places involve space rules. But Yi Xiao Tian has killed so many aliens and sea people, and he has never encountered anyone with space talents. Maybe there are, but they didn't drop. After all, he is very efficient in killing aliens and sea people. Unless they are at the same level, he doesn't even have a chance to attack. This space talent, he really wants it. With his current strength, once the space talent is upgraded to SS level, it will be perfect. As for the time talent, forget it, it's too difficult. Even in the world of reincarnation, the use of time rules is not much. Although Yi Xiao Tian is known as the son of the will of reincarnation, this cannot be taken as true. Otherwise, he would be a fool. Yi Xiao Tian knows himself very well. The reason why he has achieved today is nothing more than that when his soul travels through time and space, his soul carries a trace of the breath or energy of the space-time channel. 
Then when the talent awakens, this breath or energy interferes for a while, and then the supreme talent infinite growth, is awakened. What is the true meaning of infinite growth? That is, there is no upper limit. The upper limit of other awakeners is SS level. Because their talent great upper limit is SS level, but Yi Shaotian is not. Even if the talent cannot break through the upper limit of a higher level, his strength can be infinitely superimposed as long as he is willing. And except for the will of reincarnation, no one dares to say for sure that there is no higher level after SS level. Doesn't he have a supreme talent? Who says there is no supreme level in the awakener level? Who dares to say that there is no higher level above the supreme level? The talent level and the awakener level are different. And how many floors does this Babel Tower have? Who knows? Everything is just speculation. I'm getting off topic. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan came out and brought a bunch of clothes to Yi Xiaotian and asked him to try them on. Yi Xiaotian was very distressed. What he feared most was shopping and trying on clothes, which was very troublesome. It was just that two beautiful women held clothes in their hands and stared at you, asking if you could handle it. In the end, Yi Xiaotian admitted his fear and went to try on clothes honestly. The fitting room here is very large, so Han Xuyao and the others did not wait outside. Instead, they followed directly in. Mu Bingyan wanted to run, but was stopped by Han Xuyao. Of course, if Mu Bingyan was determined to run, Han Xuyao would never force her. Fortunately, Mu Bingyan stopped struggling after she was pulled by her. Take off your clothes. Han Xuyao signaled Mu Bingyan to close the door, and then said to Yi Xiaotian. This is not good. Yi Xiaotian was a little shy. Han Xuyao said unhappily, What are you afraid of? There are no outsiders here. Yi Xiaotian had no choice but to take off his short-sleeved shirt, revealing his perfect figure. Han Xuyao didn't let him show off for too long, and directly threw a short-sleeved shirt over to him, saying, Try it on. Yi Xiaotian didn't need her to urge him this time, and he put it on almost immediately. He looked in the mirror and felt nothing. His talent in this area was almost zero. Why are you standing there? How do you feel? Han Xuyao urged. Yi Xiaotian said a little embarrassedly, I don't know, it feels okay. Han Xuyao was completely desperate for him. This straight man really didn't have any talent in this area. Forget it, she will do it herself. Put the pile of clothes in her hand on the shelf next to her, and then said to Mu Bingyan, Bingyan, come and take a look together, and pick out which ones are more suitable. Mu Bingyan didn't say anything, and followed Han Xuyao, but her eyes were a little dull. She didn't seem to have any talent in this area. It just felt that Yi Xiaotian looked good no matter what clothes he wore. This person was born to be a clothes rack. He is handsome, has a good figure, and is extremely talented. There is no other man like him in the world. What are you still hesitating about? If you miss this opportunity, you may never have it again in your life. As for the issue of the two women, this is indeed in conflict with the education they have received since childhood. But for a capable man, is it not enough to have a few women? Not to mention those who are raised outside, even those who are raised at home are not rare. As a person from a large family, Mu Bingyan has much more experience in this regard than Han Xuyao. Thinking of this, the knot in Mu Bingyan's heart was quietly untied unconsciously. Chapter, 483 Mu Bingyan's knot was untied, and she became more natural. Han Xuyao, who had been with Mu Bingyan, felt this the most. The changes in movements and eyes could not escape people's eyes. Originally, Han Xuyao was the only one fiddling with it, and with Mu Bingyan, Yi Xiaotian completely lost his autonomy. This pair of pants is not matched, change your pants too. Han Xuyao held her chin and pondered, then ordered Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian was a little confused. Is it really okay to take off your pants here? Han Xuyao laughed and scolded, what are you embarrassed about? Sooner or later, we are all family members. It doesn't matter whether you take it off early or late. Yi Xiaotian was even more confused. Is this what you said? Hurry up, don't dawdle. Han Xuyao urged. 
Mu Binyan didn't say anything. Anyway, she had figured it out, so it didn't matter. Not to mention just changing trousers, even if it was changing the inner, it didn't matter. It just happened to see what kind of existence even Han Shuyao was afraid of. Yi Xiao Tian, urged by Han Shuyao, reluctantly put on the new trousers they prepared. Then he stood there and let the two women look up and down. Yi Xiao Tian felt like the sky was falling. This situation was really uncomfortable. Bing Yen, what do you think? Han Shuyao asked Mu Bing Yen. Mu Bing Yen really didn't have any talent in matching, but after matching, she could tell the good from the bad. It's pretty good. Mu Binyan blushed a little, and she admitted that she was shocked by Yi Xiaotian's appearance. Han Shuyao heard her say this and said, I think it's pretty good too, so I'll keep this set as a backup. Come on, husband, put this set on. Han Shuyao took out another set and handed it to Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian struggled and said, How about I put it on and let you see it when I go out? What nonsense, don't waste time, hurry up. Han Shuyao completely let herself go, not afraid of what would be said outside. After all, this is a fitting room, and one man and two women, it is indeed a bit inappropriate. But now she can't care so much. Some things, if you don't push, there will be no progress. In today's society, with a wife like Han Shuyao, Yi Xiaotian is really lucky. But after the last experience, Yi Xiaotian simply gave up resistance. Do whatever his wife says. Soon, another set of clothes was changed. Very good, leave it as a backup. After the two women commented on it, they defined it again. Yi Xiaotian felt that if this continued, his clothes should be changed to a car. Because the pile of clothes he just changed, the backup clothes, were about to pile into a small mountain. Xu Yao, you are exaggerating, you have almost taken all the men's clothes in this store. Yi Xiaotian felt a headache when he thought of the weird look of the waiter who just delivered the clothes. Fortunately, people outside didn't know that he was the famous Haotian god. Otherwise, he will definitely be the headline of tomorrow. Although he has been on the headlines so many times that he can be said to be a regular. But he definitely doesn't want to be on the headlines because of this kind of thing. Han Shuyao glanced at the clothes on the long bench and said awkwardly, it's a bit too much. It's not that she is short of money, but there are so many clothes that she can't wear them all. And this kind of clothes will be replaced with new styles every year. As the wife of a rich man, if she still gives her husband out-of-season clothes, it would be her dereliction of duty. The point is that she is not short of money. Well, Han Shuyao's primary purpose was not to come shopping, but to increase the interaction between Yi Xiaotian and Mu Binyan. To make their relationship warmer. Otherwise, if they wait for themselves to warm up, who knows how long it will take. She can have fun, but Yi Xiaotian has been holding back, and she is really worried that he will get sick. This is a common problem of melee awakeners. Their bodies are very strong. So generally melee male awakeners will find melee female awakeners to marry. In other words, it is not strange to find more women. Dependence on the strong is the rule of this world. Women are no exception. The reason why Mu Binyan has a psychological knot is that she is also a powerful awakener. So her instinct makes it impossible for her to accept the situation of two women sharing one husband so quickly. But once her heart knot is untied, there is no difference from ordinary women. So later, the three of them get along more and more smoothly. Han Shuyao was very happy. But Yi Xiaotian felt a little sorry for Han Shuyao. This woman really loves him very much and regards him as the most important person in his life. After trying dozens of sets, he finally chose ten sets. This was still Yi Xiaotian's strong opposition, otherwise twenty sets could be arranged. Although there is no shortage of money, it is a waste. Buying ten sets of clothes for a quarter will take a long time to wear. Wouldn't it be nice to buy new ones at this time next year? Pay and leave. As for the clothes, of course they are put in the reincarnation space. In Yi Xiaotian's reincarnation space, there are several places specially separated, some for tools, some for food, and some for gifts. It is very clean inside, and there is no need to worry about dust or anything like that. 
As for the largest space, it is of course used to store the corpses of the alien beasts. Originally, the space that Yi Xiaotian used to store clothes was very empty, but now, there are a lot more. There are his own, as well as Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan's. Yi Xiaotian can understand that Han Xuyao's clothes are placed here, but is it necessary to place Mu Binyan's clothes here? What are you talking about? Now I just ask you to be a transporter. When you go back, give them to us. Han Xuyao said confidently. According to the rules of the reincarnation world, whoever takes out the things pays. When they return to the real world and want to take these clothes out, the reincarnation world will automatically deduct the corresponding reincarnation points as compensation. The will of reincarnation has never worked for nothing. It is legitimate to collect some compensation for their hard work. Mu Binyan wanted to say, isn't this what you should pay? But after thinking about it, she didn't say it. Her character told her that this was not what she should say. At least it was not what she should say at this stage. Okay, okay, it's my fault. Where are we going next? Yi Xiaotian admitted his mistake very well and was forgiven by Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan. Han Xuyao said calmly, let's buy you some shorts to wear inside. Yi Xiaotian said a little embarrassedly, don't use this. I have a lot of new ones here. Han Xuyao said, stop talking nonsense. Follow me, Binyan, let's go. Chapter 484 Seeing the dazzling array of intimate apparel from the glass outside, Yi Xiaotian felt a little dry in the mouth. He suddenly had an idea and said, why don't we go get something to drink first? We've been shopping for a long time. When this was said, neither Han Xuyao nor Mu Bingyan objected. Indeed, they were a little thirsty after talking so much. Then let's go drink milk tea. Han Xuyao asked Mu Bingyan, who agreed. As for Yi Xiaotian, no one asked for his opinion, and Yi Xiaotian didn't care. Instead, he breathed a sigh of relief and turned into a milk tea shop in front. I want a cup of red beans. Yi Xiaotian took the lead in stating his needs, and then found a table and sat down. Han Xuyao rolled her eyes, took Mu Bingyan's arm and went to order milk tea. Yi Xiaotian's mind was spinning like crazy, wondering how he could avoid going to the intimate apparel store. Whether it was men's or women's clothing, he didn't want to go. He didn't want to be a monkey. He just observed that, whether it was a men's clothing store or a women's clothing store, in fact, most of the people who bought this kind of clothing were women. Wives buy for their husbands, mothers buy for their sons, and so on. Anyway, few boys buy by themselves. Although he just glanced at it, it was very clear. In the big store, Half of the area was for men's clothing and the other half was for women's clothing. But it was filled with women, not a single man. In this state, if Yi Xiaotian followed them, he would definitely become the focus of the whole store immediately. By then, his identity would definitely be exposed. By then, the headlines would definitely be there. He could even think of the headlines now. Just thinking about it made people shudder. This would definitely be a fatal blow to his image, so he must not go. Even if he pretended to be dead, he could not go. But what was the reason? There was no good reason, Han Xuyao would not let her go. He knew Han Xuyao's thoughts very well, and he was moved in his heart, so he could not refuse bluntly. He had to find a very hard reason that Han Xuyao would not be angry about, and would accept with pleasure. After thinking for a while, there seemed to be no good reason. Suddenly, he thought of someone. Then he quickly sent a message. Then he stood up and walked to Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan, saying, Have you ordered? Han Xuyao said unexpectedly, What's wrong, is there something? Yi Xiaotian whispered, Yes, I just received a message from the senior, saying that he wants to meet me, and I have to go to the Awakener Association. Han Xuyao heard that it was the Lord Sword God who summoned him, so he naturally did not dare to neglect it, and immediately said, Okay, you go, wait for Binyan and I to help you choose. Yi Xiaotian breathed a sigh of relief and said, Okay, I will come out to find you after I finish talking to the senior. He nodded to Mu Binyan, and then stepped away. Very good, he finally got out. 
He didn't want the headline tomorrow to be how can God accompanied two beauties to visit the intimate clothing store. All the way to the Awakener Association, by then, Zhuang Bufan was already waiting there. You are in such a hurry to see me, is there something wrong? Zhuang Bufan saw him come in, poured him a cup of spiritual tea, and asked with a chuckle. No matter how big the matter is, he always looks calm. Yi Xiao Tian stabilized his breathing rhythm, and then said, it's too scary. I have to ask the senior to help. There is no other way. Please forgive me. Zhuang Bufan looked at him in surprise. He didn't look like he was in a hurry, but he said it was scary. To be honest, Zhuang Bufan was really confused. This seemed to be beyond his expertise. Yi Xiao Tian told Zhuang Bufan about the matter. After listening to it, Zhuang Bufan was stunned for a few seconds, as if his brain had a short circuit. Then he laughed. Never expected. Things would turn out to be like this. The great god Haokian was so scared because of a woman's matter. Zhuang Bufan really couldn't figure it out. But think about that picture. It seems to be a bit scary. Let alone Yi Xiao Tian, even if he entered such a scene, he would probably be so embarrassed that he would have to deduct a three-bedroom apartment. A little red in the green tea bush. It's also about the headlines. It's common for Yi Xiao Tian to be on the headlines, and it can be said that he has become accustomed to it. However, the headlines on Yi Xiao Tian are all positive, with positive significance, and have a promoting effect on the entire human race. But suddenly there is such a gossip headline, which doesn't make sense no matter how you think about it. I really didn't expect that you called me here in such a hurry, just to use me as a shield. Chuan Bufan said helplessly. This is Yi Xiao Tian, young and promising. If it were someone else, he could spray the other person so hard that he couldn't take care of himself. Senior, I'm sorry to bother you. Yi Xiao Tian said apologetically. Zhuang Bufan smiled and waved his hands, saying, Okay, I don't blame you, well, I don't have anything to do now anyway, it's nice to sit with you and drink tea. By the way, tell me, how are you doing now? I heard that you have made a lot of progress in the Tower of Babel. Speaking of the Tower of Babel, Zhuang Bufan was also very emotional. It was a super god evaluation, and it was the most difficult one. This was something he didn't even dare to think about. He is a sword god, not a real god. The most difficult Tower of Babel is already very difficult to break through. And it has to be evaluated as a super god, which is really embarrassing. When Zhuang Bufan first heard the news, he thought it was impossible. After confirming it again and again, he began to doubt whether Yi Xiao Tian was really the son of the will of reincarnation. This is so easy, is there still a need to doubt it? But later, considering Yi Xiao Tian's record in the alien battlefield, there was nothing to doubt. For others, the most difficult thing about the Tower of Babel is a single fight against a group fight. It is difficult enough to fight alone, and there is also a group fight. In a word, the purgatory difficulty of the road to the sky is not prepared for ordinary awakeners. One difficulty corresponds to one evaluation. If you want to get a super god evaluation, you can only go to the purgatory difficulty. There is nothing to say about this. If you have the ability, go, if you don't have the ability, don't envy. Honestly follow the path of the predecessors, at least it is stable. The biggest group fight problem is solved. Then Yi Xiaotian's own combat power has always been a sweep of the same level. The super god evaluation of the difficulty of purgatory is also a matter of course. When seeing the reward, Zhuang Bufan was also envious. It is rumored that you have saved enough reincarnation points to be promoted to the supreme power. Is it true? Zhuang Bufan asked a little seriously. Yi Xiao Tian said, Not enough, you know more about the promotion of awakeners than me, and you know more about the standards required for promotion to the supreme power. I actually know how many reincarnation points I have gained from awakening my talent to now. Just count and you will know. Chapter 485 Zhuang Bufan nodded upon hearing this and said, Indeed, but I think with your way of going through, you shouldn't be short of much. One level of the Tower of Babel rewards more than 100 million reincarnation points. I'm so envious. 
Several other old guys also sent envious congratulatory messages. Zhuang Bufan added. Yi Xiaotian said, you are the only ones who are still short of reincarnation points. Zhuang Bufan said, who said we are not short of them? Yi Xiaotian said, I guessed it myself. Zhuang Bufan said strangely, why do you think we are not short of reincarnation points? Yi Xiaotian said, you have everything at your level, what else is there to be short of? Zhuang Bufan said, the small number is not short of it, but the big number is not. Even the supreme powerhouse cannot have infinite reincarnation points, otherwise the human race would have risen infinitely long ago, and there would be no need to wait until today. Yi Xiaotian nodded, as if he understood a little. It seems that the supreme powerhouse was overestimated by him. He thought that with his strength, he could earn so many reincarnation points. Several supreme masters had lived for hundreds of years. How could he still be short of that? But if you think about it carefully, the small number is not off, but the big number is not off. Zhuang Bufan explained, you think too highly of us. I really envy you, not kidding. We fought hard, but the points we got are less than 1% of what you got after clearing one level of the Samsara Tower. Isn't that infuriating? Yi Xiaotian said, my first pass reward is higher, but the difference will be too big if I pass again. Zhuang Bufan said, it should be higher than ours, after all, your first pass is a super god rating, and the base of the reward is there. And you are playing at the purgatory level. Yi Xiaotian said, you are playing at the purgatory level now, maybe because the first pass is not a super god, so the reward will be discounted. But the difference in rewards after the first pass should not be big. Zhuang Bufan nodded, that's true, but the difference in the first pass is too big. How many times do we have to fight to make up for the difference? Yi Xiaotian said, but you have a long time, how long have I been awakened? Puff. It would have been fine if Yi Xiaotian didn't say this, but Zhuang Bufan sprayed him directly when he said it. This one stabbed him directly. The achievements they had worked hard for hundreds of years, Yi Xiaotian achieved in more than a year. This injury is too great. Yi Xiaotian said innocently, Senior, what's wrong? Am I wrong? Zhuang Bufan looked helpless. This guy, the most deadly thing is to stab him unintentionally. Forget it, let's not talk about this, let's talk about your two women. He quickly changed the topic. If he continued to talk like this, he would vomit blood. Let's talk about women. It's better to make up for the two knives just now. Sure enough, when Yi Xiaotian heard Zhuang Bufan mention Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan, his face turned ugly. I don't know why, when he thought of the two people, he remembered the colorful underwear he saw before. And the embarrassing scene that he almost experienced. Zhuang Bufan saw Yi Xiaotian's face change drastically, and he was immediately happy and comfortable. This black-hearted little guy finally avenged the two knives just now. Tell me, how did you meet these two little girls? Tell me about the process of your acquaintance. Although I have never been in love or married, I am over a hundred years old, and I can definitely help you. Zhuang Bufan reminded Yi Xiaotian when he saw that Yi Xiaotian was slow to speak. Yi Xiaotian said with a depressed look on his face, Can you not say anything? There is nothing to say. Don't be so nervous. I tell you, the reason you asked me to come out to avoid them is that you are too nervous. What's so nervous about getting along with women? Isn't it just some underwear? What's the big deal? You are not afraid of facing the alien army alone, so why are you afraid of these? Stand up, get over this hurdle in your heart, you are Brother Lang. Zhuang Bufan's series of words directly confused Yi Xiaotian. Is this still the Zhuang Bufan he knows? Although you are an old man over a hundred years old, you have never been in love, you have never been married, and you know nothing about women. Also, what is Brother Lang? What is this? Yi Xiaotian is a serious person. Seeing Yi Xiaotian dumbfounded, Zhuang Bufan couldn't help but laugh and said, although I haven't experienced it myself, I have seen a lot. Take that bastard afar for example. Do you know how many women he has? Zhuang Bufan suddenly said. Yi Xiaotian shook his head to indicate that he didn't know. Afar claimed to be a gentleman, so he shouldn't be a scumbag, right? 
Zhuang Bufan said, I tell you, this guy has had at least 800 women. Now it was Yi Xiaotian's turn to spray. Zhuang Bufan didn't mind at all. He directly formed a wall of air to block the tea sprayed by Yi Xiaotian. He said leisurely, surprising, isn't it? But it's true. Compared with him, yours is nothing. Yi Xiaotian came back to his senses and said, well, it's nothing. But I'm a little curious, how did he do it? Zhuang Bufan said, what's so strange? That guy lived for more than a hundred years and changed his girlfriend faster than he changed his clothes. In addition, in the chaotic times, human life was worthless. Zhuang Bufan didn't say some things so clearly, but he believed that Yi Xiaotian could understand. In the chaotic times, the significance of the strong is there. For example, why do those followers under Zhuang Bufan follow him? It is because he is the strongest. How can everyone follow him without any selfish motives? Then it is the same with Afar. It is just that Afar does not like to collect followers, or his attitude towards followers is average. What he likes is to collect women. He changes women faster than changing clothes. Is this human language? When Yi Xiaotian first met Afar, he saw him sending people like a gentleman, pointing out the world, and criticizing other supreme strongmen. But now it seems that he is still too young and too easy to trust people. I didn't expect him to be such an Afar. He has no dignity as a supreme strongman. This is a complete scumbag. The last time he chatted with Zhuang Bufan, he said that Afar was not a good person. At that time, Yi Xiaotian didn't feel anything. But when this number came out today, it was much more intuitive. There is no doubt that he is a complete scumbag. Forget it, love between men and women, Westerners pursue freedom in this regard, and marriage is indeed a grave for them. Do you feel like your worldview has been shattered? Zhuang Bufan asked. Yi Xiaotian nodded. Zhuang Bufan said, Okay, you still have a lot to learn, after all, you are still too young. Chapter, 486 Yi Xiaotian didn't stay here for too long, otherwise it wouldn't make sense. So I drank tea with Zhuang Bufan for a while and then prepared to leave. Zhuang Bufan suddenly said, those old guys should be back in a few days, let's get together then. Yi Xiaotian was stunned for a moment and said, is the alien battlefield done? Zhuang Bufan said, the arrangements are almost complete, there is no need for them to keep an eye on the rest. But speaking of which, their ability to come back so quickly has something to do with you. Yi Xiaotian thought for a moment and then said, is it toothless Xia Lu? Zhuang Bufan showed an appreciative expression and said, that's right, now that toothless Xia Lu is watching, we can take the lead whenever the alien race and the sea race unite and take action. So they can come back early and enjoy life. Yi Xiaotian said, okay, just ask someone to notify me when the time comes. I will be recuperating in Jiangnan city for a while. It won't work if my nerves are too tight. Balance between work and rest, the most basic common sense, very good, then go ahead and spend time with your little girlfriend. Zhuang Bufan joked. When Yi Xiaotian found Han Xuyao, Mu Bingyan and the others, they had already finished shopping at the intimate clothing store and were buying shoes and socks for Yi Xiaotian. What a complete outfit. Brother Tian, what does Senior Zhuang want from you? Han Xuyao asked curiously. Yi Xiaotian replied, Oh, I said that several other seniors are coming back from the alien battlefield in a few days and want to get together. Let me go with you then. Wow. Really? Han Xuyao was very happy, and a rare smile appeared on Mu Bingyan's face. This is the man she likes, just different. At the age of twenty, he has already reached the height that others would strive for at a hundred years old. The five supreme beings of the human world. That is the existence at the top of the Blue Star Human Pyramid. It can also be said to be the last line of defense for the human race. In the past, such figures were the ones they needed to look up to. But now, their men are on an equal footing with such a being. Yi Xiaotian said, yes, the layout on the alien battlefield is almost complete, so it's time for them to withdraw. Compared with the alien battlefield, the environment in Blue Star is much better. Neither woman had any objections to this. 
Brother Tian, can we also follow him to get to know him better? Han Xuyao said suddenly. Mu Bingyan also looked expectant. Those are the most powerful people, the five most powerful people in the world. Yi Xiao Tian said with a serious face, no. Han Xuyao suddenly became unhappy and said, why not? You tell Senior Zhuang, maybe he will agree. Yi Xiao Tian said, I won't do it if I say no, there is a scumbag in there. Ah! Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan both exclaimed. Having just been rejected by Yi Xiao Tian, they thought about many possibilities, the biggest possibility being the issue of identity. But I never expected that this would be the reason. Scumbag? Are you sure? Han Xuyao thought Yi Xiao Tian said the wrong thing. Yi Xiao Tian said, Yes, he is a scumbag. I just found out from Senior Zhuang that that damn scumbag dealt with as many as 800 women, if not 1,000. Yi Xiaotian's voice was trembling a little. Such a record is so brilliant. He felt that it was unbearable for his woman to be looked at by such a scumbag. Damn it! Even ladies like Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan couldn't help but use foul language. Really or not? Han Xuyao said in disbelief. Yi Xiaotian said, Senior Zhuang told me this personally. Can it be false? So forget it and don't meet such a scumbag. Such a scumbag, with that look in his eyes, has been through so much, I'm afraid he can tell what he looks like without clothes at just one glance. It's so scary to think about it. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan were both stunned. Is this true? This is real. There is a feeling that faith is about to collapse. Yi Xiaotian said, okay, don't think of them as too noble or majestic. In fact, apart from being stronger, they are no different from ordinary people. No difference. Neither Han Xuyao nor Mu Bingyan could accept this reality. Those are the most powerful people, and you actually say that they are no different from ordinary people. The difference is huge, okay. The most powerful person does not need to eat, nor does he need to go to the toilet, let alone sleep. Anyway, they don't use anything that has anything to do with ordinary people. They are high above, looking down at the world, as if they are gods in the world and do not eat the fireworks of the world. This is not what the two of them think, but what all the awakened people think. But now, Yi Xiaotian directly shattered all their illusions. This feeling of disillusionment and collapse of faith is really hard. For a moment, Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan were both in very low moods. The original interest was gone. What's wrong with you? Seeing that the two girls were no longer interested in shopping, Yi Xiaotian was actually quite happy. There was really nothing to do in this street, it was just a waste of time. But the price is making them unhappy, so that won't work. Han Xuyao said, It's boring, Bing Yen, why don't you go back first? Mu Bing Yen nodded, showing no interest. Yi Xiaotian really didn't understand. It was just that Afar was a scumbag who had sex with more women. Was it necessary? You didn't know him, and you had never even met him. You had only heard of him. It was not worth it to mess with such a person who had nothing to do with you. What's wrong with you? Why don't you find a place to sit down and rest and have a drink? Yi Xiao Tian suggested. Han Xuyao said, Okay, let's go have a drink. The three of them found a drink shop again and ordered drinks. Yi Xiao Tian was a little impatient and said, What's wrong with you two? Why are you so depressed all of a sudden? Han Xuyao glanced at him, and then said, When you heard about this, didn't you feel anything at all? Mu Bingyan also looked suspicious. Or is it that men are all pigs, so they don't feel anything? Yi Xiaotian said, I also find it a bit incredible. When I was on the alien battlefield, I met Senior Afar. I always thought he was a very gentleman. But in the final analysis, this is all personal life preferences, and we can't judge too much. You have met Senior Afar, when did you meet him? And, is the scumbag you are talking about Senior Afar? Han Xuyao asked a series of questions. Yi Xiaotian regretted that he spoke too quickly. In order not to make them worry, he concealed the meeting with Afar. Otherwise, he would have to tell them that he was targeted by the supreme alien. After hiding it for so long, it couldn't be hidden anymore. 
Chapter, 487 Without any help, Yi Xiao Tian had to tell them about his meeting with Afar in the alien battlefield. This time, he did not hide anything, even telling them about his battle with the supreme powerhouse of the alien race. The faces of Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan changed again and again. When they heard that Yi Xiao Tian was fighting with the supreme powerhouse of the alien race, their faces turned pale. When they heard that Afar had relieved Yi Xiao Tian from the crisis, they couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. Even because he saved Yi Xiao Tian, the two women had a better impression of Afar. It seemed that their fantasies and beliefs had returned a lot. The supreme powerhouse is the supreme powerhouse, and it can be used at critical moments. So for the sake of his saving her husband, she didn't hate him anymore. The mood of the two women inexplicably improved again. After drinking the drinks, they went shopping hand in hand again. Yi Xiao Tian was stunned by this scene. Are women so fickle? However, he had no say in the matter of shopping in front of the two women, so he could only follow them obediently. Fortunately, the most embarrassing thing had passed, and the remaining shoes and socks were a piece of cake. A few days later, Yi Xiao Tian received a message from Zhuang Bufan, saying that the time for the party had been set, and it would be in two days, and it would be in the Samsara world of Xia country. Several other big guys would also come to meet Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian is now qualified. The big guys were also very happy about the addition of newcomers. The burden in the future can be lighter. Although Yi Xiao Tian is only an SS level awakener now, this SS level awakener is an invincible existence in the same realm, and no matter how many enemies there are. Once he is promoted to the supreme, the human race can be said to be completely safe. Unless there are awakeners from the alien race or the sea race who are promoted to the real SS level. But this possibility is estimated to be small. They know how difficult it is to be promoted to the SS level. It is difficult enough to max out the main attribute, and it took them hundreds of years to achieve it. Although the other three secondary attributes do not need to be full. But according to the rules, if you want to be promoted to a true SS level awakener, the value of the secondary attribute cannot be less than 80% of the main attribute. This is why it is difficult to promote to a higher level. To be promoted to a supreme power, the main attribute is 100 million points, and the other secondary attributes are at least 20 million. But to be promoted to an SS level true god master level awakener, the main attribute is 100 million, no need to add. Then the other three items require 80 million, adding up, this is nearly 200 million attribute points. To get them all, the time required is at least a hundred years, and even 200 years may not be enough. After all, the first pass reward is higher for breaking through the road to heaven, and it will be greatly reduced for subsequent brushing. If you get the first pass reward in the front, will the reward for the reincarnation points in the back drop to the bottom? Of course, there is another way, that is to kill other awakeners to directly obtain attribute points. But who should they kill for the supreme power level awakeners? Killing awakeners of the same level has the highest drop probability, but it is not 100%. As for those at lower levels, let alone. Even Yi Xiao Tian, the son of the will of reincarnation with supreme talent, no longer expects to kill awakened people of other races to gain attribute points. Therefore, for awakened people at this level, breaking into the reincarnation tower is the best choice. In fact, this is already the case after awakened people reach S level. As for Yi Xiao Tian, because he rose too fast, he lacks a lot of common sense. Today's Yi Xiao Tian is pretty good, he can suppress the alien race and the sea race. Once he is promoted to the supreme strongman, he can't take action against the awakened alien races below him. Everything has two sides. Of course, the rules are made by the strong. Once Yi Xiao Tian really promotes to the supreme strongman, all the current rules, including those with alien races and even some tacit unspoken rules with the sea race, can be completely broken. Create new rules single-handedly. It's exciting to think about it. Originally, Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan wanted to follow to broaden their horizons, but later gave up. Although Yi Xiao Tian's subsequent stories restored some of their fantasies and beliefs. But what had already collapsed could never be completely restored. So they gave up on this matter. Two days later, 
Yi Xiao Tian came to the Awakener Association of the Samsara World as promised. After meeting Zhuang Bufan, the two walked on the street. The endless stream of people passed by them, but no one knew. Just now, they looked at each other and passed by. One was the most popular god Haotian recently. The other was one of the five supreme beings of mankind. The roles of the two people in the whole human race were crucial, but now they were walking on the streets of the samsara world like two ordinary people. This was also a different experience. Soon, they came to a hotel. They are here. Yi Xiao Tian said in surprise. Zhuang Bufan said, Is there anything strange? Yi Xiao Tian. What can he say, how can you be so casual? Zhuang Bufan smiled and said, I told you, apart from the halo of the supreme power, they are just ordinary human beings, with their own emotions and desires. Unless you become a true god, you can't give up these things. You have already reached this high level. Do you think you are special? Do you feel superior to your teammates? Your relatives, your friends, what kind of identity do you use to get along with them? Zhuang Bufan's words made Yi Xiao Tian suddenly enlightened. I understand. Yi Xiao Tian said with a smile. Zhuang Bufan said, it's okay to understand. Let's go in. No matter what color human beings are, they have a common hobby, that is, eating and drinking. So the best place is to meet in a hotel. Yi Xiao Tian smiled and said, I originally thought that with your identities, you should meet in a picturesque paradise without any disturbance. Then make a few pots of tea and chat while drinking. Zhuang Bufan said unhappily, they are all foreigners, they know nothing about tea. Poof! Yi Xiao Tian was hurt by a sentence. Zhuang Bufan walked into the hotel and said, It's still free here. You can order whatever you want to eat and drink. We drink tea, and they drink coffee or red wine. Yi Xiao Tian understood that foreigners do seem to prefer coffee and red wine culture. Chinese people prefer tea and white wine culture. Everyone can take what they need here no need to be restrained. Zhuang Bufan kept instilling his experience of getting along with several human supremes into Yi Xiao Tian. Chapter, 488 Come on, come on, bosses, come meet the new little brother. As soon as Yi Xiao Tian entered the box, he heard a familiar voice. It was afar. Before Zhuang Bufan started to introduce, he had already pulled Yi Xiao Tian and showed him in front of the other people. Yi Xiao Tian was confused, what was going on? Zhuang Bufan was fine, just twitched his face, and then found his seat and sat down. Come on, brother, let me introduce you, this is the fat Thor from the United States. Afar pulled Yi Xiao Tian to a slightly fat westerner and said. He was slightly fat, with a full beard and long flowing curly hair. This beard is too lush. Yi Xiao Tian couldn't help but sigh. Senior Thor. Yi Xiao Tian called respectfully. No matter which country the other party was from, the five human supremes did protect the entire Blue Star human race. This deserves his respect. When Yi Xiao Tian traveled through this world, he was able to protect himself at first. Then he had the strength to protect his brothers and women. But now, he didn't want to see any danger in Xiaogua. Because he now knows a lot of friends, and he doesn't want their friends and relatives to be in danger. No matter what the purpose of these five supreme masters is, they did protect the humans of Blue Star. At least he saw the situation of the alien battlefield with his own eyes and experienced it personally. If it weren't for a farce timely appearance, I'm afraid that Yi Xiao Tian would have died in the alien battlefield at this moment. When facing the alien race, the five supreme masters have the same position. Afar shouted, what senior, you can call me fatty or toffety. Yi Xiaotian's mouth twitched. Didn't you say you are a gentleman? Is your true face revealed now? Yi Xiaotian felt that he was too naive. When they first met, he was confused by a farce appearance and really thought he was a gentleman. Now it seems that it is really as senior sword god said, this is a scumbag of the scum level. Thur showed a carefree smile and said, Brother Xiaotian, you don't have to be polite. We can just call each other by our names, or call each other Big Brother. What a hassle. Afar complained to Thor, and then pulled Yi Xiao Tian to the next person. 
Thor was not angry either, but just exchanged a look with Zhuang Bufan. They knew what kind of personality Afar had, this guy was just a living treasure. You don't have to be angry with him. Otherwise, he would have been so angry that he vomited blood and died. This was a man like an iron tower. Even if he was sitting there, Yi Xiao Tian could guess that his height was definitely more than two meters and five. Big guy, god of war alley. Afar's attitude was a little more serious. Is this respect for the god of war? Yi Xiao Tian didn't quite believe it. Senior god of war. Yi Xiao Tian saluted and called him. Hmm. The god of war spit out a word from his nostrils, and there was no expression on his face full of flesh, like a paralyzed face. Afar immediately pulled Yi Xiao Tian away, and at the same time complained, forget it, this is just a fighting machine without emotions. Then he came to the last supreme. The first impression Yi Xiao Tian had of this man was that he was thin, and his calm face looked rather gloomy. But when he saw Yi Xiao Tian coming, he smiled. It was just that this smile was a bit ugly. Maybe he was too thin, even his smile looked a bit gloomy. Crazy, you'd better stop laughing, I have goosebumps. Afar complained as soon as he opened his mouth. Then he said to Yi Xiao Tian, Pharaoh Natan, a reminder, don't provoke him, otherwise it will be more uncomfortable than provoking the fighting maniac alley. Yi Xiao Tian saluted again and called people. Pharaoh Natan's smile disappeared, he glared at Afar, and then said to Yi Xiao Tian, I heard that you are also good at the art of curse. When can we have a chance to learn from each other? Yi Xiao Tian's expression froze, and he said, Senior Natan, this is not necessary, no need. What a joke, this is an awakener at the level of the Supreme Strong, specializing in the art of curse, known as the God of Curse. Yi Xiao Tian thought that his curse skills were also very good, but the awakening level was there, and he was born at a disadvantage, so forget it. Listen to others' advice and eat a full meal. Even Afar is afraid of people, he is still honest and don't ask for trouble. He knows too well how insidious the art of curse is and how uncomfortable it is after being hit. Fortunately, Natan didn't force it, just nodded and encouraged Yi Xiao Tian. Come, come, Xiao Tian, sit next to me. After nearly a hundred years, we finally have another gentleman in this room. Brother Xiao Tian, I am really too lonely. Look at my appearance and then look at them. We are not from the same world at all. Now it's good. Finally, there is a newcomer who can compete with me in appearance. I am so happy. After Yi Xiao Tian sat down, Afar continued to complain. Yi Xiao Tian remembered his evaluation of other supreme beings when he was on the battlefield of alien races. He understood immediately. He went through it silently in his mind. The appearance of several supreme beings is indeed unique. Well, unique is not enough to describe it. It is simply shocking. Let's not talk about Thor. If you don't know that he is Thor, you will believe that he is a lion. This guy's hair is so thick that you can hardly see any skin on his face. Then there is the god of war Ale, who is a human tank. As for Pharaoh Natan, it is even more so. He is skinny and has a sinister smile. None of them can be considered normal people. It is more convincing to say that they are all aliens than humans. As for the sword god Zhuang Bufan, there is really nothing worth talking about in terms of appearance. Just as Afar described, he is ordinary. Speaking of which, although Afar has a poisonous mouth, his description is indeed correct. As for Yi Xiaotian's appearance, you can see it by looking at the way Han Xuyao is chasing him. As for Afar. Although this person is a scumbag, it is undeniable that he is indeed very handsome. No wonder he can achieve the achievement of killing thousands of people. Handsome and powerful, such a man is definitely a treasure in the eyes of women in such a chaotic era. Yi Xiao Tian estimated that if Afar was not too busy, killing a thousand people would not be his limit. Afar did not care at all that he had just offended all the other four supreme beings in the room. He did not care either. They had been friends for hundreds of years, and he knew very well what kind of jokes could be made and what kind of jokes could not be made. Don't talk about work, drink. Lei Shen reminded him, 
then he picked up a bottle of beer from the coffee table, opened it casually, and blew into the bottle. Chapter, 489 After having a good drink, everyone put down their drinks. Thor said, it's time to get down to business. Yi Xiaotian looked stunned, business. Don't we get together today to chat and have a drink? Everyone's expressions became serious. Yi Xiaotian also quickly put down the tea cup in his hand and became serious. Xiaotian, according to Brother Zhuang, now the alien race and the sea race have begun to collude again. Is there any latest news? Thunder God asked Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, Not yet. The people I sent there have not received any news yet, but I can sense that his life has not disappeared. Listening to what he said, of course others would not doubt it. There is no need to doubt Yi Xiaotian's loyalty to the human race. The number of aliens he has killed since his debut can probably be compared to them. When it was a battle on the alien battlefield, this guy killed hundreds of millions of alien troops. It can be called the god of killing. As far as they know, the alien army has now compared him to an alien killer star. One person directly killed the alien army back to the alien world. What a feat! If such people still have dissatisfaction with the human race, then the human race might as well destroy itself. Therefore, they were full of 120% trust in Yi Xiaotian's words. Now the foreign race wants to collude with the Sea Clan. Although the Sea Clan may not agree, I estimate that the foreign race has made more comprehensive preparations. Thunder God said. Zhuang Bufan answered at this time, I also think about it this way. If the foreign tribe is not prepared, they will not send people to contact the high tribe. And there is another key point. Amster told Toothless Xiaoyo that the alien race is now resolving internal conflicts. This is the real big problem. Before the birth of the Sea Clan, the Blue Star human race was able to compete with the alien races and even drive the alien armies out of Blue Star. The biggest reliance is not on the strong strength of the human race, but on the internal conflicts of the alien race. This caused most of the alien race's power to be consumed internally. Once the internal conflicts of the alien race are completely resolved, the power of the alien race can at least increase dozens or hundreds of times. Such military power cannot be matched by the human race. But fortunately, now I have Yi Xiaotian. But to be honest, Yi Xiaotian is just one person, and he is not omnipotent. Because now the enemies of the human race are not only foreign races, but also the local sea race. There is always a trade-off between the alien battlefield and the Blue Star homeland. And once the internal conflicts of the alien race are resolved, the supreme powerhouses of the alien race can come out in full force. No one knows how many supreme experts there are in the alien race, but it is definitely no less than a hundred. This is the strength of the alien race. Yi Xiaotian was dumbfounded when he heard this. There were no less than a hundred supreme experts, this was going to defy the heavens. Fortunately, they had deep internal conflicts and were wary of each other, so they did not dare to send more supreme experts over. Otherwise, the Blue Star human race would have been captured by them long ago. Afar suddenly said, I heard that Brother Xiaotian has accumulated enough reincarnation points to be promoted to the supreme powerful realm. Is it true or false? Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, It's still a little worse. How much difference? Afar asked eagerly. Yi Xiaotian was a little confused. Is this question important? He couldn't help but look at Zhuang Bufan, only to see Zhuang Bufan nodded. Afar explained, Brother Xiaotian, there is no need to doubt that I have no ill intentions. I guess you also know that there are reincarnation points that can be traded. Yi Xiaotian suddenly realized that this was the case. He only learned about the reincarnation points that could be freely traded among awakened people during an auction. This has the same meaning as the ingots and bound ingots in the game. The reincarnation points obtained by the awakened person by completing the dungeon are personal binding and can only be consumed in the reincarnation mall. There is no limit to the number of free reincarnation points that can be traded. They can be traded in the reincarnation mall or among awakened persons. However, unbound reincarnation points can only be earned by cooperating with the reincarnation world, and cannot be used in one's own name. For example, 
the Xia Kingdom Awakeners Association can cooperate with the world of reincarnation to collect tickets at auctions and charge teleportation fees for specific groups of people. This reincarnation point is tradable. After deducting the handling fee from reincarnation world, it will be paid directly to the account of the Awakened Ones Association. This can be regarded as an affirmation or support of the Awakened Association by the will of reincarnation. The Awakened Associations in various countries are equivalent to the direct transmission of the will of reincarnation, and naturally they must be supported and cultivated. Of course, although it is a direct transmission, if you don't have any ability yourself, why should you ask the Guru to increase your support? So this skill, to put it bluntly, is to find good projects based on your own abilities. You find projects, I invest, and then we share the profits together. As the most powerful people of the human race, the five supreme experts naturally have a lot of tradable reincarnation points in their hands. A farce meaning was very clear, he just wanted to confirm whether Yi Xiaotian's reincarnation points and the tradable reincarnation points in their hands could be replenished. Of course, he didn't mean that he must give these tradable reincarnation points to Yi Xiaotian. But it is finally a way out. For example, once the alien race and the sea race successfully connect, or the internal conflicts of the alien race are resolved. Then Yi Xiaotian's promotion to the supreme powerhouse is imminent. Once the reincarnation points in their hands can help Yi Xiaotian get promoted, then there will be a way out. They were all too aware of Yi Xiaotian's combat prowess. Invincibility in the same realm is the best explanation. Once Yi Xiaotian is promoted to the supreme power, then the human race will be stable. Of course, take your time now. If Yi Xiaotian can be promoted on his own, that would of course be the best. There are still about 2 billion reincarnation points left, not much. Yi Xiaotian understood this and answered. A farce mouth twitched, and then he regained his composure. 2 billion reincarnation points, isn't that a lot? He was sure that this was definitely the most arrogant SS level awakened person in the world of reincarnation. Even the most powerful people like them don't have so many reincarnation points, otherwise they would have been spent long ago. This guy's words are really irritating. Forget it, two billion, although it adds up to enough in the account. But this little guy's talk is too irritating, so let him earn it by himself. It's easy for him to earn reincarnation points anyway. Afar stopped talking, and the others were also a little distracted. It seemed that he was considering the meaning of Yi Xiaotian's words just now. Zhuang Bufan said at this time, Xiaotian, since you are only so far behind, just keep working hard and get through a few more floors of the Babel Tower. Yi Xiaotian responded, Yes, senior, I will continue to work hard when I get back. The faces of several of the most powerful men were all twitching, and they felt very depressed, but they had nothing to say. Even though I am a supreme being, I can't compare to an SS level awakened person. It's so embarrassing. Chapter, 490 Yi Xiaotian never thought that because of his words, several supreme powerhouses would lose interest, and finally break up on bad terms. After sending away several supreme experts, Yi Xiaotian asked Zhuang Bufan, Senior, why do I see that these seniors are not very happy? Did I do something wrong? Yi Xiaotian went through it in his mind and didn't find that he did anything wrong or said the wrong thing. He has been humble since he entered the room. Whatever the seniors wanted to drink, he served it immediately, acting like a junior. Zhuang Bufan's face twitched for a few times before he said, No, it should be the connection between the alien race and the sea race that worries them. Yi Xiaotian thought about it and felt it made sense. How could such an honest and pious junior like him cause displeasure to the people in front of him? Absolutely impossible. Well, little god, I'll take the first step, you can do it yourself. After saying that, Zhuang Bufan quickly withdrew. It's uncomfortable to stay with this little guy. At such a young age, his ability to show off is extremely sophisticated. Invisibly, several of them were seriously injured. This is Yi Xiaotian. If it were anyone else, the grass on the grave would be already three feet tall. Yi Xiaotian did not log off directly, but turned around, knocked on the door of another private room, and walked in. Inside were Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan. As for the rest of the Haokian team, they are not here. 
In fact, none of them knew about Yi Xiaotian's gathering with the supreme beings. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan obviously used other excuses to appear here. The real purpose of their appearance here is to wait for Yi Xiaotian. They wanted to know what Yi Xiaotian and the Supremes were talking about when they got together. Brother Tian, have you finished talking so quickly? Han Xuyao said first. The corner of Yi Xiaotian's mouth twitched, what does it mean to be so fast? Can you say this to a man casually? Seniors all have things to do, so they left early. Yi Xiaotian replied casually. Han Xuyao did not doubt his presence and continued, then what did you talk about? Yi Xiaotian thought for a while and then said, it seems that we didn't talk about anything. We had a drink first, then chatted for a few words, and then we dispersed. When he said this, he had a confused look on his face. Han Xuyao saw it and said, is there something wrong? Yi Xiaotian said, we had a good chat at the beginning. I thought we were going to get together for a long time today, but suddenly, they were ready to break up. Han Xuyao was also very surprised and said, Oh, otherwise you can tell us what happened and we will help you analyze it. Yi Xiaotian thought for a while after hearing this, and it seemed that there was nothing he couldn't tell the two of them. Then he told what happened. After Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan listened, they didn't have any special expressions at first. After a while, the two exchanged glances, and Han Xuyao still asked. Are you sure that after you finished talking about the reincarnation points, the seniors left with dark faces? Yi Xiaotian said, yes, senior Zhuang said that they were worried about the alien race colluding with the sea race, so they looked ugly. Han Xuyao sighed, brother Tian was indeed brother Tian, he was still the same straight-tempered person. This is the disadvantage of rising too quickly. Although Yi Xiaotian has been constantly learning to enrich himself. But apart from the time for cultivation, how much time do you have? Compared with other high-level awakened people, there are too few. Even the youngest high-level awakened person has been practicing for decades. So many years of knowledge cannot be made up for in one or two years. But it's good that Yi Xiaotian can always maintain his innocence, which is what she wants to see. In comparison, she was more afraid that Yi Xiaotian's heart would be contaminated by this filthy world. Is there any problem? Seeing Han Xuyao not speaking for a long time, Yi Xiaotian asked again. Han Xuyao shook his head and said, It's nothing. It's normal for the supreme beings to worry about the human race. Mu Binyan glanced at Han Xuyao strangely, Are you treating your husband like a child? Han Xuyao glared back at her and signaled her not to talk nonsense. Yi Xiaotian didn't pay attention to the interaction between the two women, but said, after chatting with the seniors, I deeply felt my own shortcomings, so I am ready to continue to break through the Tower of Heaven. The corners of Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan's mouths trembled. Now they finally knew why the supreme seniors left with worried expressions on their faces. Sitting with such a super monster and listening to his casual words, it is really difficult to be calm and calm. This kind of inadvertent harm is the most unacceptable. Invisible pretense is the most deadly. Then when do you plan to start? Han Xuyao asked. Yi Xiaotian said, just these two days. No. Han Xuyao interrupted without hesitation. Yi Xiaotian asked strangely, is there anything else? Han Xuyao said, you don't know when it will end from the beginning. Stay with us for a few more days. Yi Xiaotian heard this and said with a smile, that's fine. Han Xuyao glanced at Mu Binyan, the meaning in his eyes was very clear, I have kept him for you, it depends on your own ability whether you can take him down. Although Yi Xiaotian also noticed the eye contact between the two women, he could not clearly understand the content of the exchange. The three of them sat for a while, and Han Xuyao suggested going out for a walk. Walk again. Yi Xiaotian refused in his heart. The last time he summoned Senior Sword God for rescue was already a Waterloo in his life. Is it necessary to do it again? It shouldn't be that serious. Underwear has been bought last time, so it is not necessary this time, right? Okay, I was thinking of buying some underwear. Mu Bingyan's cold voice sounded. Yi Xiaotian's eyes went dark and he almost fell down. Okay, let's go together. 
Han Xuyao seemed to understand Mu Binyan's intention. Buying some underwear with special meaning can indeed increase the success rate. It can be regarded as a thought. Yi Xiao Tian looked like he had no desire to live, and followed the two women. Some men are happy with this kind of thing. But Yi Xiao Tian was thin-skinned and really couldn't keep his heart calm. He thought of Zhuang Bufan's words, he had to be strong in his heart. What's wrong with buying underwear with a woman, it's just a small thing. Being guided by a senior who doesn't know anything about men and women is not very reliable. Yi Xiao Tian thought silently. Finally, he decided to cover his face. Who do you think I am? As an SS level awakener, he still has this ability. The two women in front were walking, and Yi Xiao Tian followed behind with a hazy face. Such a simple thing, why didn't I think of it before? Yi Xiao Tian began to reflect on himself. Chapter 491 Yi Xiao Tian followed Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan in a swaggering manner, without any hesitation. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan were both shocked. What was going on? When did their men become so brave? Was it taught by the supreme seniors? Especially the senior afar who had killed a thousand people. This was the existence they were extremely wary of. The reason they followed this time was that they were afraid that Yi Xiao Tian would be bewitched by him. In the hotel room, they said that their men were not bewitched. But now it seems that this is not the case. Yi Xiaotian's deception method did not work on the two women, so they didn't know that other people could not recognize Yi Xiaotian now. As for Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan, although they were beautiful, they were not very well known. If they hadn't stood with Yi Xiaotian, their popularity would be almost zero. However, this appearance did attract a lot of people's attention. However, this is the world of reincarnation, so there would be no such thing as teasing. But soon, they found something wrong. Yi Xiao Tian is a handsome guy, and he is very handsome. Otherwise, Han Xuyao would not have taken the initiative to pursue him. Being scolded as a flower maniac. In the past, when they walked on the street, they would turn their heads around a lot. But now, when those women saw Yi Xiao Tian, they actually had no expression at all, which was unreasonable. Han Xuyao didn't believe it. She pulled a female awakener and asked, Sister, what do you think of my comrade in arms? She didn't say husband, just because she was afraid that the woman in front of her would not evaluate objectively. But the female awakener took a look at Yi Xiao Tian, and then replied, It's just a so-so. Then she left. SOSO Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan were both dumbfounded. Such a handsome guy was just a so-so. When did the aesthetics of Xiaoguo women rise to such a high level? This handsome guy who was picked out of thousands was just a so-so, which was definitely not normal. Unwilling to give up, they pulled a few more women to ask, and the conclusions they came to were the same. SOSO. This caused the two women to suffer 10, 0, 0 points of critical damage in their hearts. The man they liked, the man who would rather two women share one man than let go, was just average in the eyes of others. The two women observed carefully again and found nothing unusual. Yi Xiao Tian was still the handsome Yi Xiao Tian. What the hell did you do? Han Xuyao didn't believe that the Yi Xiao Tian everyone saw was the same person she saw. Even if there was a difference in aesthetics, it couldn't be so big. Yi Xiao Tian said, I didn't do anything, I just changed my appearance. Originally, Yi Xiao Tian just covered up his appearance and didn't let people see it. But later he felt that this was not a good idea and would still attract other people's attention. So in order to completely avoid trouble, he just changed his appearance. Of course, in the eyes of Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan, he was still him. But in the eyes of others, he was not him. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan heard this and immediately understood. This is just a small strange technique. But it depends on who performs it. When a top SS level expert like Yi Xiao Tian performs this, who can see through it unless the Supreme Master comes in person? The two women were upset. But they did not force Yi Xiao Tian to change, because their purpose was not to embarrass Yi Xiao Tian. They just wanted Yi Xiao Tian to accompany them. So it made no difference to them whether Yi Xiao Tian changed his appearance or not. It was better to be low key. 
If such a handsome husband was noticed by other women, it would be a troublesome matter. Although Han Xuyao did not mind sharing her husband with Mu Bingyan, there was nothing she could do about it. She had to do it for the sake of family harmony. But she could not tolerate women outside seducing her husband. So she nodded with satisfaction and said, Well done, come on, accompany us to buy underwear. Although he had changed his appearance, Yi Xiaotian was still a little shy, so he simply covered his whole body again. In this way, his whole body could not be seen, so there was no problem at all. To others, Yi Xiaotian was completely invisible. Such a presence has always been a sign of a strong man. So no one dared to disturb him. Knowing that he was a strong man, he still flirted with him. Isn't that courting death? This time, Yi Xiaotian walked into the intimate clothing store openly, without any embarrassment or awkwardness. I can see you, but you can't see me. What's there to be embarrassed about? Anyway, you don't know who I am. Yi Xiaotian praised his wit. Listening to the constant discussion in the store, Yi Xiaotian stood there, motionless. There were very few men in this store, but there were some, so although Yi Xiaotian's entry caused discussion. But it didn't cause a bigger sensation. Yi Xiaotian was relieved. After all, every time he went out or his actions were leaked, it would cause quite a stir. It was just because they couldn't see Yi Xiaotian's appearance and figure, so it was a bit strange. But it was just a few words of discussion and it was fine. Hey, those two beauties look familiar. They look familiar. Have you seen them before? Judging from their age, they are probably just students. Yes, they are indeed students. They should be students of the Magic City Awakener University. My son is a student there, so I should have seen them before. When Yi Xiaotian heard this, he felt a little uneasy. Could it be that someone really recognized Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan? Is this world so small? Really? There are tens of thousands of students at the Magic City Awakener University. Are you sure you won't make a mistake? I definitely won't make a mistake. If I remember correctly, they are all members of the Houtian team. And that one, Han Xuyao, is the wife of Houtian God. Really? If that's the case, then that person is Houtian God. This is not just feeling uneasy, this is already uneasy. Yi Xiaotian really didn't know what to think. This is too much of a coincidence. I actually met my classmates' parents here, and I recognized Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan. Is it difficult to infer him from Han Xuyao's identity? In fact, it can be defended. But if the man who accompanied Han Xuyao to buy underwear was not him, the problem would be even bigger. To respond to changes with the same attitude, this is Yi Xiaotian's strategy. A wall of air lingered around him, and some awakeners who wanted to get close to him were separated. Seeing this, Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan picked up the underwear with confidence. God Haotian, are you God Haotian? Seeing that they could not get close to Yi Xiaotian, the women could only ask. Yi Xiaotian smiled bitterly, what could he say? All he could say was that man's plans were not as good as God's plans. Or, supernatural powers could not defeat destiny. Chapter 492 Yi Xiaotian was really helpless. He could only remove the cover-up and reveal his true face. Otherwise, he was really afraid that he would be the one who got cheated on in the headlines tomorrow. At worst, the headlines tomorrow would be that Haokian accompanied his wife to a lingerie store. Although it was a bit embarrassing, he was still a good man. But the result was too disgusting. Ah, it's really Haokian. As soon as Yi Xiaotian revealed his true face, screams rang out at the scene. Hao Tian. He is the top traffic star in the human race nowadays. Even in some groups, even the popularity of the five supremes is not as high as his. This group is naturally women. Just look at the situation at the scene. There are countless girlfriend fans, aunt fans, etc. Who makes Yi Xiaotian handsome and strong? This is simply the best choice for boyfriend and husband. What? The great god is already married? What does it matter? Now it is the reincarnation calendar, not the Gregorian calendar. A capable man, let alone a few women, even if there are dozens or hundreds, what's wrong? 
The awakened body is strong, and a powerful SS level awakened person like Yi Xiao Tian can handle hundreds of them alone. So he had to show it. Looking at Yi Xiao Tian surrounded by a bunch of women, Han Xuyao regretted it and gave Mu Bingyan a look. The two women rushed into the crowd, then dragged Yi Xiao Tian away. At the same time, he swore in his heart that he would never drag Yi Xiao Tian to visit the intimate clothing store again. Those women, without any reserve, just talked and got started directly, so hateful. In such a short time, I don't know how much tofu was taken. Yi Xiao Tian was very happy to see Han Xuyao's face. You wanted to see me make a fool of myself, now you feel bad. What are you laughing at? Do you think I'm stupid and you're shooting yourself in the foot? Yi Xiao Tian was happy in his heart, and his face naturally showed it, and Han Xuyao saw it. Yi Xiao Tian quickly said seriously, I didn't. You obviously laughed. Han Xuyao said with a face full of grief and indignation. I really didn't. Yi Xiao Tian argued. Han Xuyao asked Mu Bingyan, Bingyan, did he laugh just now? Mu Bingyan said honestly, yes. Han Xuyao then said to Yi Xiao Tian, you still say you didn't laugh, tell me, what did you laugh at? Yi Xiao Tian said helplessly, I did laugh just now, but I definitely didn't laugh at you, I just think it's good to have some such seasoning in life. Is that really the case? Han Xuyao didn't believe it, could it be that the sun rose from the west today? In the late stage of straight male cancer, the wooden man actually has a day of enlightenment. Or did he want to cross himself, and he didn't train well before? It should be the latter, it seems that he needs to be trained more in the future. Look, after just two trips, this wooden man has enlightened. A few more times. No. A few more times, if he becomes a scumbag, then there will be no place to cry. Thinking of Senior Afar's brilliant record of killing thousands of people, Han Xuyao felt her scalp tingling. If one day Yi Xiao Tian was also trained by her to be such a scumbag, the consequences would definitely not be something she could bear. So forget it, it's better for her man to be a little straight and wooden. At least he won't have those frivolous thoughts. Han Xuyao felt scared when she thought that she almost trained her husband to be a scumbag. She had to discuss it with Bing Yan and keep a close eye on him. Since he didn't want to go out, forget it, let him stay at home, or it would be good to break into the Tower of Babel. At least he wouldn't encounter the colorful world outside. Thinking of this, Han Xuyao didn't want to go shopping anymore and went offline directly. Don't you want to go shopping anymore? Yi Xiao Tian asked Han Xuyao when he returned to the hotel. Han Xuyao rolled her eyes and said, No more shopping. If you keep shopping, your husband will be gone. Bing Yan, you have seen the situation today. If you don't work hard, your husband will belong to someone else. Mu Bing Yan blushed, and her cold face made her look even more beautiful. In front of Yi Xiao Tian, she didn't know what to say, but just nodded to show her determination. Han Xuyao breathed a sigh of relief. With the two of them, it should be enough, right? Why is she still unsure? No matter what, if they go together at night, they will definitely be able to tie Yi Xiaotian's heart. That night, Han Xuyao pulled the shy Mu Bingyan into the room together. After a few days of being a shameless couple, Yi Xiaotian entered the reincarnation world again. He was going to continue his journey to the reincarnation tower. The human race is not yet truly safe. Now that he has another wife, he naturally has to ensure their safety. If there is no place to stay, what's the use of a good life? It will disappear in an instant. So first improve your strength, as for enjoying life, we can talk about it later. The news that Yi Xiaotian entered the Samsara Tower again spread throughout the Samsara world and the real world again. The heretic organization knew it, the alien race knew it, and the sea race also knew it. At this time, Amster had already come to the sea race, and as for Wu Qi Xiaoyou, he was still in a coma. Although he really wanted to know how Amster came from the human race's Samsara world to the sea race's world. Unfortunately, Amster did not trust him 100%. He was allowed to sleep all the way here. The attitude of the sea clan towards Amster's arrival was not as good as he imagined. After all, the result of the last cooperation was not so good. Grand Elder, this is the news I just received. 
Yi Xiao Tian has started to break into the Tong Tian Tower again. Now he has accumulated hundreds of billions of reincarnation points and can be promoted to the Supreme Power Realm at any time. I think the Great Elder has also heard about Yi Xiaoqin's combat power. Once he is promoted to the Supreme Power Realm, will there be any living space for the Sea Clan on Blue Star? Amster was already dry-mouthed. But the Great Elder of the Sea Clan still had no reaction. The Side Effects of the Last Cooperation So the Great Elder of the Sea Clan would never listen to his tricks easily. But unexpectedly, at this time, Yi Xiao Tian gave him an assist. At this time, he actually went to break into the Tong Tian Tower again. When the Great Patriarch of the Sea Clan heard the news, his heart was slightly moved, but he did not show it on his face. Humans can't live in the sea, so why don't they have space to survive? There are quite a few amphibious races among the alien races. If they occupy Blue Star, there will really be no living space for us sea races, right? The Great Elder of the Sea Race, the Chief Patriarch of the Jialong Race, all races with dragon blood in the sea race belong to their clan, so they are the strongest among the sea races. Holding the Position of the Great Elder of the Sea Race Chapter 493 the real decision-makers of the Sea Clan are the ten elders of the Sea Clan, each of whom is an awakened supreme powerful person. The overall strength of the Sea Clan is much stronger than that of the Human Clan. The reason why they have been dormant is that they want to find opportunities between the Human Clan and the Alien Clan. The last cooperation between the Sea Clan and the Alien Clan was a test. It's just that the test experience was not very good. Fortunately, the real strength of the Sea Clan has not been exposed. Whether it is the Alien Clan or the Human Clan, they only know some of the fur of the Sea Clan. Even if the Human Clan and the Alien Clan have some guesses, it's not a big problem. But it hasn't been long since then, and the Alien Clan has come to the door again. And they even threatened them with Yi Xiao Tian. Hearing that Yi Xiao Tian can be promoted to the supreme powerful person, to be honest, the great elder of the Sea Clan is also a little panicked. As you said, Yi Xiao Tian is invincible in the same realm, and you also said that he has accumulated enough reincarnation points to be promoted to the supreme power, so why should I provoke him? Amster was almost unable to hold back after being questioned by the great elder of the Sea Clan. That's not what I said, great elder. Now that the human race is still a threat, they certainly won't bother you see race. But once the human race solves the problem of the Saint Clan, do you think they will keep you see race? Amster reminded. The great elder of the Sea Clan said, I think so. After all, the human race also needs opponents. As long as our sea race does not pose a threat to the human race, then there will be no problem. The two of them talked back and forth and said a lot. Amster was numb. I thought this mission would be easy, but I didn't expect it to be so troublesome. The great elder of the Sea Clan has been broken. In a word, unless the alien race can solve Yi Xiao Tian, the Sea Race will never be the enemy of the human race. It's good to maintain the current stable situation. Amster wanted to curse, what's the difference between this and living in vain? The great sea tribe, which is much stronger than the human race, actually only wants to live in the sea. It's really disappointing. The great elder of the sea tribe is so unambitious. Great elder, how about you discuss it with other elders of the sea tribe? Amster reminded the great elder of the sea tribe. Although you are the great elder, you are not the only one who has the final say in the affairs of the sea tribe. The sea tribe has ten great elders. The great elder of the sea tribe did not get angry on the spot, but he had already made a note of Amster in his heart. Amster left the great elder of the sea tribe and returned to the hotel where he lived, looking at Wu Qi Xia Lu who was still sleeping. He wondered in his heart, should he wake him up and let him be a lobbyist to give some useful suggestions to the sea tribe? Otherwise, it would be a waste of time, and he couldn't explain to the aliens. You know, it takes a lot of energy to teleport to the reincarnation world of different races. The alien races have already discovered that the races can be teleported between the worlds. But later, after their research, they found that with the human race as a transfer, the cost of this transmission only needs one-tenth. 
After this discovery, the alien leaders decisively pushed Amster out and asked him to be the transfer person to negotiate with the sea race. As for the transmission costs to be consumed, they will be borne by the alien race. And this time Amster and Wu Qi Xiaoyo came together, and the cost was doubled. If there is no harvest, it may be difficult to explain. After thinking for a while, he woke up Wu Qi Xiaoyo. Poor Wu Qi Xiaoyo has been sleeping for several days, and he opened his eyes with a blank look. When he saw Amster, he came back to his senses. Amster, you! Wu Qi Xiaoyo was angry. That's not what he said at the beginning, he actually let him sleep all the way. Of course, it doesn't matter whether he sleeps or not, and it doesn't matter if he didn't explore the road clearly. The important thing is that this is too insulting. We agreed to cooperate, but you are playing me for a fool. Amster surrendered and said, President Wuchi, I was wrong this time, but I also have my own difficulties. After I go back, I will definitely compensate you. Hearing that there was compensation, Wuchi Xiaoyo's face eased a little, but soon he was angry again and said, Do I need your compensation? One million reincarnation points. Amster put forward the conditions. Wu Qi Xiaoyo said disdainfully, A mere one million, you are so ashamed to say that. Ten million. And do me a favor. Amster directly raised the conditions to the maximum, so that Wu Qi Xiaoyo's inner satisfaction should also be directly raised to the maximum. Sure enough, Wu Qi Xiaoyo stopped shouting when he heard ten million. One million to ten million, this expectation value is indeed full, what else is there to be dissatisfied with? What do you need me to do? Wu Qi Xiaoyo asked. Amster breathed a sigh of relief, and the little trick just now was indeed successful. If he added little by little, Wu Qi Xiaolu would definitely not agree so straightforwardly. I have contacted the great elder of the Si clan, but it is a bit troublesome. He doesn't want to cooperate with us because he is afraid of Yi Xiao Tian. Amster told the truth. Wu Qi Xia Lu was happy in his heart, but his face changed, and he said angrily, How can that be? Amster, you promised me that the C clan will definitely agree. Now you tell me that the C clan will not cooperate, aren't you cheating me? No, I want to go back. It has to be said that Wu Qi Xia Lu's acting is still very good. Hearing Wu Qi Xia Lu say that he wanted to go back, Amster was not angry, but relieved. After this set of acting, Wu Qi Xia Lu's suspicion in his heart dropped to the freezing point. Of course, he did not completely believe Wu Qi Xia Lu, otherwise he would not have knocked him unconscious and brought him here. Even if he just woke him up, he did not have much trust. It's just that he really has no way, and there is no one here to discuss. For such a big thing, he doesn't care about finding anyone to discuss it. Wu Qi Xia Lu is right next to him, and he will try his best. Regardless of whether Wu Qi Xia Lu has a way or not, he will try it. Moreover, Wu Qi Xia Lu's identity is not ordinary, which can be regarded as a bargaining chip in his hand. Well, although Wu Qi Xia Lu's identity is not ordinary in Gui Dao country, it is just like that in front of the sea people. Even Amster looks down on him a little. Isn't it that no one uses him? Fortunately, the Gui Dao country where Wu Qi Xia Lu is located is a member of the Beautiful Alliance, and this identity can be manipulated. At that moment, the two began to discuss again. When Amster proposed that Wu Qi Xiaoyo talk to the elder of the Sea tribe as a representative of the Beautiful Alliance, Wu Qi Xiaoyo said with disdain, Do you think the elder of the Sea tribe is a fool? They are not aliens, they live on the Blue Planet. Although they live in the sea, how could they know nothing about the situation on land? Chapter, 494 Toothless Xia Lu felt that Amster was just having a whim. Do you really think that all the sea people are fools? Being in the same space plane, don't think that the sea people know nothing about things on land because they have always lived in the sea. You have to know that the sea people probably know the countries on the land better than most humans. The beautiful alliance is very powerful and has many member states. An Onigashima country is just a small member of the Beautiful Alliance. It is not an exaggeration to say that they are dogs from a beautiful country. Let him negotiate with the Sea Clan's Great Elder on behalf of the Beautiful Alliance. 
It is estimated that the C clan's great elder will kick him out of the hall after hearing the first sentence. Amster had a different opinion and said, what you said makes sense. Under normal circumstances, your ghost island country really has no way to represent the beautiful alliance. But our current situation is abnormal, so why not? Toothless Xiaoyo was confused. What is an abnormal situation? Seeing this, Amster opened his mouth to explain, what are we doing now? Of course, it represents the foreign races uniting with the sea race. Toothless Xia Lu replied casually. Armstrong said, just understand. Since we represent foreign races, do you think it is appropriate for the beautiful alliance to send those powerful representatives here? Hearing this, Toothless Xia Lu blinked his eyes, as if, seemingly, there seemed to be some truth to it. Under normal circumstances, representatives from powerful countries should indeed be sent to talk. But now is an abnormal situation, and the beautiful alliance still represents the orthodox forces of the human race. At this time, it seemed that it was not completely unacceptable to send him Wu Tooth Xia Lu as a representative to contact him. Okay, you don't have to worry. Come with me to see the great elder of the Sea Clan tomorrow. Just like what I just told you, remember, you must be tough and never let your momentum weaken, otherwise it will arouse the other party's anger. Doubt it, Armstrong warned. After all, Toothless Xia Lu now represents the beautiful alliance, the most powerful force in the human kingdom. As for why they betrayed the human race, wasn't it to prepare for both ends? The next day, Amster went to see the great elder of the Si clan regarding Toothless Xia Lu. The great elder of the Si clan was still surprised by the visit from the president of the Awakened Association of Onigashima Country. How did these two people get together? Oh, I heard that the ghost island country was treated badly by Yi Xiaotian, so that's okay. However, when Toothless Xia Lu said that he was here on behalf of the beautiful alliance, the Si clan's great elder didn't believe it. Do you think I'm a fool? Although I have been in the sea, I have not yet gone ashore. But I also know what happens on the shore. I am a brain eater, not a brainless person, okay? He felt that the two bastards Toothless Xia Lu and Amster were insulting his intelligence. Great Elder, think about it, given our status, is it appropriate for me to call the council chairman of the beautiful alliance over? Amster said. The Great Elder of the C clan lost his mind for a moment. What is inappropriate? Am I not qualified to meet the council chairman of the Beautiful Alliance based on my status as the great elder of the C clan? Are you kidding? It's his honor for me to meet him, okay? Then the great elder of the C clan became angry. Hit the street. Of the two of you, one is the boss of a heretical organization and a dog from a foreign race. One is the boss of the awakened people of the human race on Agashima, and a dog of the Beautiful Alliance. I am willing to see you because of the power behind you. I am an equal to the boss behind you. How dare you two look down on me? The great elder of the sea tribe suddenly changed his face, and then stared at Amster and Toothless Xia Lu with a murderous look on his face, which frightened the two of them. This is the great elder of the sea clan, the most powerful man. Although both of them are SS level awakeners, they really have no ability to resist in front of the sea clan's great elder. The only thing I can be thankful for is that this is the world of reincarnation. Even if I am killed by the great elder of the sea clan, I will not be able to enter the world of reincarnation for a week at most. Great elder, calm down. Armstrong said quickly. We don't mean to look down on you at all. What I mean is that the chairman of the assembly of the beautiful alliance has a distinguished status, so there are always many eyes staring at him. Every move he makes will arouse other suspicion. Once his whereabouts are exposed, there is a risk that what we discussed will be leaked. After Amster said so much in one breath, he could feel that the murderous aura of the Sea Tribe's great elder was gradually fading away. That's good. Just talk if necessary, but he was afraid that the great elder of the Sea Clan would ignore them and kill them directly. Who the hell are you talking to to reason with? Although he won't really die, if the mission is not completed, his end will not be good. The great elder of the Sea clan restrained his murderous intent, snorted coldly, and said, You are smart, but this reason is still untenable. The beautiful alliance is the largest alliance force of the human race. 
If even they betray the human race, then the human race can just stop. Toothless Xia Lu hurriedly said, Great Elder, it's like this. We also want to hedge our bets. Although the human race is very powerful, there are only five supreme powerhouses, so we are also afraid. Once the foreign races unite with the sea race, where will the human race be? If we surrender in advance, no matter whether the human race fails or succeeds in the end, will we be invincible? Damn it! The great elder of the sea clan couldn't help but spit out foul language. It is said that the human race is extremely cunning and shameless. He really didn't expect that this group of human race could have such a bottom line. Such shameless words can be said so undisguisedly. Invincible. What is in the brains of these people, and they can even think of such a beautiful method. The last time they cooperated with aliens, although they also had this idea. But compared with the group of Wuchi Xiaoyo, their plan is too low end. After all, their C clan took action at the beginning, exposing a lot of strength and losing a lot of masters. How can the group of people in the beautiful alliance be so shameless, without even moving a finger, they can reap a lot. There is such a good thing, wouldn't I do it? Okay, it's not impossible to cooperate, but I have the same position as the beautiful alliance. If they take action, we will take action, and if they don't, we won't take action. The great elder of the sea clan said firmly. When it comes to eating brains, we still have to look at the human race. As for my sea race, we don't have to think about anything else, just follow the human race's routine. Armster and Wuchi Xiaoyo both opened their mouths wide, with disbelief on their faces. Great Elder, you can't be so shameless. The Great Elder of the Sea Race looked at their expressions and was very satisfied. Thumbs up for my wit. Chapter, 495 This is already the third time Yi Tian has broken through the Tower of Babel. This time, he decided to be less high profile. People are afraid of being famous and pigs are afraid of being strong. It's too high profile, it's really not good. It's been too popular lately. Even when I go shopping or buy some clothes with my wife, I have to search for them both in the reincarnation world and the real world. For some people who are obsessed with fame, this is a good thing. But for someone like him who always adheres to the principle of keeping a low profile, it is not too friendly. It's a pity that the world announcement of the world of reincarnation cannot hide names and the like, bad review. In other world announcements in online game novels, you can choose to hide or disclose your name. This is completely mandatory. But what can he do? That is determined by the will of reincarnation. As a weak person, if you can't resist, you can only enjoy it. But if we reduce the frequency of world announcements, we can be more low-key. What's going on? Didn't it say that great god Houtian entered the Babel Tower? Why hasn't the world announced it yet? On the world's public channels, some people have already begun to question it. After all, Yi Xiaotian has been in there for a while. But the world announcement hasn't been released yet, which is abnormal. Under normal circumstances, an announcement would have been made at this time. Could it be that great god Houtian failed? Impossible. If it fails, you will definitely see the figure of great god Houtian coming out. Damn it, brother upstairs, you're squatting outside the Tower of Babel to guard. Of course, we are here to eat this bowl of rice, so we must send people to abide by it. It turns out to be a journalist friend, so disrespectful. The awakened people consciously pay tribute to these reporters who provided them with first-hand information. And encourage them to squat until the master comes out. However, it is indeed a bit abnormal for the master to go in and not come out after so long. How did they know that Yi Xiaotian was sleeping in the Tower of Babel? When you say you should be low-key, you must be low-key. You absolutely cannot enter and then the world announcement goes off. At the very least it would have to be delayed for a few hours. Only in this way can everyone feel that he defeated the enemy through hard work and bloodthirsty fighting. But after all, he was still too young and couldn't grasp some things. After all, there is a time limit for copy super evaluation. If you complete a dungeon, it will take several hours, and it will be very difficult to get a super rating. This is no longer deceiving, but rubbing people's IQ on the ground. However, 
Yi Xiaotian was asleep when he received a message from Wu Tu Xiao Lu. Is this a wake-up call? Yi Xiaotian opened the message and was happy. This guy followed Amster to the reincarnation world of the Sea Tribe, but he didn't feel anything at all. He fell asleep. Send him a message as soon as you wake up. This is a report to him. Tell him that he will go to see the great elder of the Sea Clan tomorrow, and his identity is the representative of the beautiful alliance. Yi Xiaotian didn't reply, and Wu Tu Xia Lu didn't send any more messages. Just send this message once. There is no news of action at all, it is just spam messages and spam text messages bombardment. What if the master is angry? Yi Xiaotian continued to sleep. The dungeon has not started yet, and the monsters inside have not appeared. It is safe and you can sleep peacefully. I originally thought that I would start filming in a few hours. But thinking about the news from Toothless Xiaoyo, he decided to wait a little longer. This is a pain for the reporters outside. They are really suffering. He stayed here day and night, not even daring to blink, for fear that if he blinked, great god Haotian would fly away. The next day, Yi Xiaotian received a message from Toothless Xiao Lu. He said that he had already met with the great elder of the Si clan and was making judgment. Follow Amster's instructions. I originally thought that the great elder of the Si clan would either refuse or agree. In the end, they actually stood still. This is funny. The aliens contacted Anadeo country and contacted Wu Tooth Xia Lu, a young boy. Then he asked Amster to contact the Sea tribe and want to cooperate again. This time, Amsterdam has even more reputation as a representative of the beautiful country. The cooperation was negotiated, but it can also be said that it was not concluded. To put it simply, it just talks about loneliness. The reason why the foreign tribe wants to contact the sea tribe is simply to attack from both sides and make Yi Xiaotian useless. But now the sea clan decided to stop with silence. How can this plan be implemented? With this information, Yi Xiaotian felt much more relaxed and asked Wu Tooth Xia Lu to continue to stare, report any updated news immediately, and then start to break through the level. No matter what, you must save enough reincarnation points to be promoted to the supreme powerhouse. In case for need. When the time comes, you can advance to attack and retreat to defend. As long as the foreign race and the sea race don't launch a full-scale supreme war, he can save the reincarnation points and use them elsewhere. As for raising the level of awakening, it is natural to kill the strange beasts in the Tower of Babel. Now he is an SS level awakener, and the strange beasts in the Tower of Babel are also SS level, just right. And there is no shortage of strange beasts of this level in the Tower of Babel. As long as he has time, he can swipe unlimitedly here. As for the probability of dropping this attribute point, it depends on luck. But it doesn't matter, as long as the Supreme War is not started, there will be no problem, he has the patience to slowly brush. Well, if others heard this, they would probably spit at him to death. You are already riding a rocket, and you still say to brush slowly, is there anyone as slow as you? This kind of slowness is not serious. Finally, the reporter who had been waiting for a night heard the world announcement. Come on, come on, I said, how can Haotian God fail? Yes, if he didn't succeed, how could Haotian God enter the tower? Don't doubt it, you can always believe in Haotian God, Haotian God, he is the eternal God. But have you ever thought about why Haotian God took so long to go in? Maybe the beast on the fiftieth floor is very powerful, so the god took a little more time. Do you think we are fools? There is a time limit for super god evaluation. Oh, sorry, I forgot about this, after all, I have never brushed super god evaluation. This is very strange, could it be that the god fell asleep in the tower after entering it? As soon as this guess came out, the scrolling frequency on the public frequency was silent, and no one spoke strangely. Although this guess is outrageous. But from all aspects, this guess seems to be the most reasonable. Otherwise, you can't explain why Haotian God stayed in there for so long before the world announcement. According to the rules of the reincarnation world, if a copy of this level is completed perfectly within half an hour, it is considered a super-god evaluation. 
However, from yesterday to now, Hao Tian has been in the Tower of Babel for more than ten hours. Chapter, 496 After clearing the fiftieth floor of the Tower of Babel for the first time, Yi Shao Tian gained more than 100 million reincarnation points, plus two bottles of SS level talent spirit liquid. As soon as this news came out, the whole world was boiling. Previously, when he cleared the tenth floor, he was rewarded with a bottle of SS level talent spirit liquid, and the other floors were basically SS level resources. But the fiftieth floor actually gave two bottles of SS level talent spirit liquid at once. Does this mean that the rewards from the 50th floor onwards are all SS level? If this is true, it would be too outrageous. Although everyone expected it, they knew that the rewards for super god evaluations are very generous. But it is really incredible to be so generous. Of course, the big forces are more jubilant. Although Yi Xiao Tian has a lot of teammates. But it doesn't matter. He has only cleared the 50th floor of the Tower of Babel. There are more SS level talent spirit liquids waiting for him. When his teammates have been strengthened, this SS level talent spirit liquid should be sold. From today on, strictly control every expense, and all tradable reincarnation points must be sealed, and no waste is allowed. Also, pass on my order, from today on, all awakened people must go out to make money. The boss of a certain force issued such an order. Of course, he was not the only one who issued such an order. Soon, various complaints appeared on the public channel of the reincarnation world. They are too hard. In order to wait for the sale of the SS level in the hands of the great god Haokian, the major forces have started saving money from now on. Just so that when the SS level talent spirit liquid goes on sale, they have enough money to spend. This is the SS level talent spirit liquid, the top cultivation resource. If you miss this village, there may be no such store. So the first batch of talent spirit liquid on sale must have their share. They are still very clear about the principle of one step ahead and one step ahead. At this time, even if you risk your life and go bankrupt, you have to grab it. It's just that the temper of this great god Haogian is a bit weird. I don't know if he will take it out for public auction. What if he takes the path of internal sales? Therefore, Yi Xiao Tian must not be allowed to digest it internally. At the very least, a part of it must be auctioned. It would be fine if it was like last time. No, this time it is worse than last time, okay? The best talent spirit liquid last time was only SS level, but now it starts at SS level. Can this be compared? There is absolutely no comparison. So the major human alliances on Blue Star began to contact each other frantically. They have only one purpose, which is to put pressure on Xia country. Let them contact Yi Xiao Tian and hold a public auction. As for the tickets and transmission fees, they are all trivial. This time the movement is bigger than the last time. The Haotian team living in the hotel soon got the news. There was news from Fatty Huang from the reincarnation world, and there was news from Peng Xiangyu from the family. Fortunately, the whereabouts of Peng Xiangyu and his group were not exposed. Although they went to Peng's house when they came, they left the city soon. And when they entered the city, they were not exposed. This little thing is simple for them. If the conditions outside the city were not really bad, they would not want to go back to the city. However, the people of the Haotian team were relatively calm. Anyway, they had expected this kind of thing in their hearts. On the other hand, Peng Xiangyu's father Peng Yijian directly called him back home. What is the rules of this matter? Peng Yijian also wanted to discuss it with his son, so as not to be unprepared at that time. Xiao Cheng, Mu Bingyan and Fatty Huang also received messages from their families. Even Han Xuyao and Chang Xiaoxi received messages from their families, asking Yi Xiao Tian about his plans. What plans? People are still in the Tower of Babel and you have already set your eyes on the things in their hands. What plans do you have? You have to wait until they come out of the Tower of Babel. What? Are the awakening forces around the world crazy? That's fine. Keep waiting. The consequences of disturbing Brother Tian are very serious. People are still fighting with the monsters in the Tower of Babel. Especially Han Shuyao and Mu Bingyan. 
This made them feel like, my husband is still fighting hard in the dungeon, and you are waiting outside to share his property. This made them even more uncomfortable. You bastards, no one is worried about my husband's safety first, and you are eyeing the things in his pocket at the first time, are you still human? Even several supreme strongmen were alarmed. Sword God Zhuang Bufan is fine. The major forces in Xia country know that Yi Xiao Tian takes good care of his own people. As long as there are extra resources, they will be allocated to them as appropriate, of course not for free. But people from other major alliances dare not gamble. SS level talent spirit liquid. This is mass production. If all of this is left in Xia country, then will they still be able to survive? The first to strike is the strongest, and the last to strike will suffer. If they wait any longer, they may be ruined. So the bigwigs of several major alliances quickly contacted the supreme strongmen who returned from the alien battlefield, asking them to put pressure on Yi Xiao Tian to let him take out the resources for everyone to share. Several supreme masters grinned and they received the following request. These little guys are really naive. Can you threaten brother Xiao Tian? Can you put pressure on him just because you want to? You have no sense at all. Haven't you seen that we, the top bosses, are all brothers with him? If he is really pissed off, he will be promoted to the supreme power and sweep the world. Who dares to say anything more? Invincible in the same realm. As the supreme power, they will also be a threat. It's just for the peace of the human race and for the human race to have a stable living environment. They have no other choice. Let Yi Xiao Tian grow up safely, which is what they have decided from the beginning. That's why they are trying to please him. What is the purpose? It's to wait for Yi Xiao Tian to grow up completely, so that he can remember their kindness and take care of their younger generations. But these younger generations are really too disobedient. It's fine if they don't think about how to please brother Xiao Tian, but they actually let them put pressure on him. It's just nonsense. Of course, there are some things that they won't intervene in. In their opinion, these are all trivial matters. Unless it is a major event that threatens the survival of the human race, they will make efforts. They are always asked to deal with such trivial matters. How can they have so much time and energy to deal with these trivial matters? Do you really think they have nothing to do? Brother Xiao Tian has already caught up with them. If they don't work hard, they may not even have the chance to follow behind and eat farts in the future. Without receiving a response from the Supremes, the leaders of several major alliances are a little panicked. What's going on? Have they all been abandoned by the Supremes? Several hosts of the Pretty Alliance, the Polar Bear Alliance, and the Yama Alliance decided to jointly put pressure on Wu Dingxiong, the General President of the Awakeners of Xia Country. Chapter 497 Wu Dingxiong was almost dumbfounded when he heard several alliance bosses asking him to put pressure on Yi Xiao Tian. If you want to die, don't take me with you. I still want to live a few more years. There are some things that the alliance bosses outside don't know, but Wu Dingxiong knows clearly. After all, the incident happened in the Samsara world of Xia country. As the president of the Xia Country Awakener Association, he must be much more informed than ordinary people. And he is also the official representative of Xia Country's cooperation with the Samsara world. What does this mean? It means that he can speak to the Samsara will, or get some contact and obtain some information. After all, you want to cooperate with the Samsara will, but you can't get in touch. What's going on? This is a privilege of the president of the Awakener Association of each country. Of course, how much this privilege can be realized depends on how strong the Awakener Association of your country is. In a word, the stronger the overall strength of the Awakener Association of your country, the more privileges the president can get from the Samsara will. This is all proportional. This is encouragement, and also a kind of competition. As for whether this competition is benign or malignant, it depends on one's own opinion. So he knew about the last time Yi Xiao Tian and the five supreme beings of the human race met. Yi Xiao Tian has already reached the same level as the five supreme beings of the human race, and you losers are still thinking of asking me to put pressure on him. Are you crazy? But he is a smart man, so he didn't tell this secret to others, but simply rejected their request. 
he didn't even dare to be hypocritical with this request, but directly rejected it. Otherwise, if the news got to Yi Xiaotian's ears, he would think that he had other ideas, and then it would be over. Those bastards want to die, let them die, he doesn't want to be buried with them. Compared with Yi Xiaotian, those guys are just a pile of shit. What a simple choice. Compared with his good mood, the mood of the other smart bosses is not so beautiful. There are four top alliances on Blue Star. The Yen Huang Alliance is led by Xia Country. The strongest is Xia Country's supreme sword god Xuang Bufan. Then there is the Polar Bear Alliance led by Xiong Country. The strongest is Xiong Country's war god Ali. Then there is the Yama Alliance led by Pharaoh Civilization. Behind it is the curse god Natan. And the strongest alliance is naturally the Beautiful Alliance. This alliance not only has the largest number of member states, but also has two supreme powers behind it. Tony, the thunder god of the beautiful country. Afar, the lion king of Gaul and the god of bows and arrows. It can be said that they can sit in the position of the great elder of the alliance because they have the support of the supreme power behind them. So the back is naturally very strong. This is also the confidence they dare to threaten Wu Dingxiong. Although they asked the big backer behind them to come forward and were rejected. But they don't think that this is because the big backer doesn't support them, but because the identity of the big backer does not allow them to do such a low-grade thing. There are four supreme masters standing behind the three of us. What's the problem with suppressing Xia, which only has one supreme master? No problem at all. But the three of them were rejected by Wu Dingxiong without hesitation, which made them angry. The three of them contacted each other and met in the reincarnation world to discuss what to do next. Now Yi Xiaotian's rewards are all SS level talent spirit liquids, and there will definitely be more in the future. If these talent spirit liquids are left in Xia or Yen Huang Alliance, the gap between them and Yen Huang Alliance will only get bigger and bigger in the future. Over time, they are estimated to become vassals of Yen Huang Alliance or even Xia. This is absolutely unacceptable to them. Especially Howard, the great elder of the Beautiful Alliance and the president of the Awakener Association of the Beautiful Country. Now he is the first person under the Supreme. If Xia surpasses the Beautiful Country, then Wu Dingxiong will climb over his head. Dimo, Ivanov, you two don't want to be trampled under the feet of Xia Country one day, right? Howard threatened the two companions sitting in front of him with a gloomy face. Dimo, the great elder of the Yama Alliance, the president of the Pharaoh Civilization Awakener Association, is the spokesperson of the supreme power curse god Natan in the Yama Alliance. And Ivanov is the great elder of the Polar Bear Alliance and the president of the Bear Country Awakener Association. And behind him, standing is the Bear Country God of War Ale. There was originally another John, the second elder of the Beautiful Alliance and the president of the Gaul Awakener Association, but he was late. But it doesn't matter, Gaul and the beautiful country have always been in the same boat. John has always followed Howard's lead. So for this kind of meeting, it doesn't matter even if John doesn't come, just tell him the result later. But this time, John actually came. Just as they said a few words, John pushed the door in in a hurry. Sorry, I'm late. John smiled and greeted a few people, then found a seat near Howard and sat down. Dimo and Ivanov were already used to it. It didn't matter whether this lackey of Howard came or not. Anyway, even if he came, he was just Howard's mouthpiece. Sometimes they were all very strange. It is not that John does not have a backer, and the country is also very strong, but why does he listen to Howard so much? In other words, Gaul obviously has its own supreme strongman, why must it become a vassal of the United States? Not only the arrow god is like this, but John is like this. It seems that the awakened people in Gaul do not think there is anything wrong with this. It is simply weird. Howard ignored his younger brother John, and continued to say to Dimo and Ivanov, think about it, if a large number of SS-level talent awakened people suddenly emerge in Xia country, then after a few decades, will we still have a say? So we must not let the talent spirit liquid rewarded by the Tower of Babel stay in Xia country, it is the wealth of all mankind. Why not? John suddenly asked. Howard was stunned for a moment, 
a little confused, his younger brother, can't understand what people say. But considering John's personality, Howard was not angry. His younger brother is indeed a bit of that. So he waved his hand and said, you have nothing to do here, order your own food. Why is it none of my business? John continued to ask. Howard was confused again. Now even Dimo and Ivanov felt something was wrong. It seemed that this was the first time John asked Howard this question. And it was twice in a row. And he used a questioning tone. This doesn't sound like a joke. Is this little brother Juan finally going to show off? Chapter, 498 John, are you still asleep? Otherwise, go back to sleep. Howard said so. He was very tolerant of his younger brother. Howard, let me ask you, why can't Mr. Houghton's reward for breaking into the Tower of Babel stay in Xia country? Why can't he decide whether to stay or go? John continued to question. What do you have to influence Mr. Houghton's decision? John even stood up, very excited. John's behavior scared the other three. He looked at him with a weird look. It seemed like they were all meeting this person for the first time. Where is the lazy John before? Something is wrong. They all suspected that this John had been possessed. Why are you looking at me like that? I didn't want to talk before, just because it was meaningless. But it's different now. Mr. Houtian is the new hope of our human race. His appearance may bring us a completely peaceful state of human race. It can let our descendants live on a planet without any danger. Such a great existence, you are still here to discuss how to calculate him, are you still human? A series of angry curses directly made the three people in the room look black. This is it, you are a waste, what qualifications do you have to scold us? But what he said seems to make some sense. Mr. Houtian's contribution to mankind is absolutely indelible. Speaking of it, the war between the two races ended so quickly, and even the human race won, all because Yi Xiao Tian made great efforts. Otherwise, the outcome of the war between the two races is still unknown. Now, the alien army has just been driven back to the alien world, and they have begun to think about what Mr. Houtian has in his hands. Put pressure and threats on him in various ways. It seems a bit immoral. But for those who benefit, is morality important? What they value most is profit, and morality doesn't matter at all. The only thing they care about is Yi Xiaotian's revenge. But with the support of the supreme power behind them, this only concern is gone. John, are you still asleep? Or are you drunk just now? Howard's face was not good. John's scolding just now made him very uncomfortable. The little brother who used to be obedient now has his own ideas. This is not good. John said, I slept well and didn't drink. I just told the truth. Howard said, in that case, then don't speak. John said, why? I am the president of the Gaul Awakener Association and the second elder of the Beautiful Alliance. I have the Lion King behind me. Why can't I speak out? Don't you, the beautiful country, take the Lion King seriously at all? Howard's face was completely black. Who dares not to take the Lion King afar seriously? That's the god of bows and arrows, one of the five supreme powers of mankind. Although the specific combat power may not be comparable to Thor, the supreme is the supreme, and in their eyes, there is no difference between high and low. Strictly speaking, John, who is backed by the Lion King afar, is on par with Howard in status. It is only because Afar and Thor have a good relationship that they have formed a beautiful alliance. If Afar is willing, he can start a new business at any time and create a new world. As for why John turned against them this time. It is not that he really found his conscience or something. It was just pure luck that he met Yi Xiao Tian and the five supremes at the party that day. This lazy second elder likes all kinds of food the most. Especially the food of Xia country, which makes him linger. So when he has time, he will teleport to the reincarnation world of Xia country to taste the food. As for why he didn't come in reality, it was naturally because of the inconvenient transportation. There is a teleportation array in the reincarnation world, and you can get there with just a thought. It takes a few days to travel back and forth in the real world. 
Moreover, the food in the reincarnation world is even better than that in the real world. So why not in the reincarnation world? As for the little reincarnation points he spent, it was nothing to him. Freedom and convenience are the most important things. It was not easy to have such a strong strength and climb to such a high position. If you don't enjoy life, what's the point? Especially now that there is a genius like Haokin God. It is expected that the human race will be forever secure, and the alien races and the sea race will never dare to invade the human race's territory. Isn't this what he expects? Only when the threats of the alien races and the sea races are completely resolved can he enjoy it with peace of mind. It's that simple. Seeing some things that Howard and the others didn't see, he understood a little more. Plus a little personal hobby. So why doesn't he support Haokin God? As for Howard's displeasure, what does it have to do with him? Dimo and Ivanov didn't expect that John was so tough, which simply refreshed their three views. Okay. Since Yi Xiao Tian appeared, their three views have been completely shattered, and then changed again and again. Now I don't know how many times it has changed. But that is Yi Xiao Tian, the legendary Haokin god. What is John? He is just a bug, how dare he say that to Howard? He doesn't want to live a peaceful life. No. He wants to change his thigh. He used to live a peaceful life by hugging the thigh of the United States, because he had the support of the supreme strongman and a powerful ally like the United States. So John can be free. Now, he feels that the thigh of the United States is not thick enough, and Yi Xiaotian's thigh is the thickest one, so he wants to hug Yi Xiaotian's thigh. Absolutely right, that's it. Almost at the same time, DMO and Ivanov inferred John's purpose based on his character. The reason why John is so tough is not because Yi Xiao Tian has contributed to the human race and is a hero of the human race. In the final analysis, this guy just wants to change his thigh. This bastard. It's so shameless. If you want to change your thigh, you can change it, and we have no objection. But why do you scold us? If you want to achieve your shameless purpose, you can't step on us. You can't rub our dignity on the ground. John, you'd better think clearly before you speak. We are not targeting anyone. We are just considering our own nation. Are we wrong? Dimo said coldly. Ivanov also said, John, I think you misunderstood our meaning. No matter what Howard means, Dimo and I have no selfish motives. Howard was shocked. Damn it, you two bastards actually sold me out in a blink of an eye. What do you mean you have no selfish motives? Do I, Howard, have selfish motives? Chapter, 499 For a few minutes, Howard's mood was like a roller coaster. First, he was scolded by his younger brother John. Then he was used as a teaching material by Dimo and Ivanov. Damn, it was as if everyone was originally a bad guy. But in the end, he was the only one who became a bad guy. The others were all good people, this was too fucked up. So I am the only scumbag. Howard stared at Dimo and Ivanov, and the meaning was very clear. If you want to say that, then there is nothing to talk about, just live like this. Seeing this, Dimo and Ivanov became anxious. They were also jealous of the resources in Yi Xiaotian's hands. If they really had to divide them behind closed doors, would they still be able to live like this? Just recognize Xia Gua as the boss in the future. People who hold power will feel very uncomfortable once their power is challenged. It is best to maintain a balanced situation. John, we are not forcing Mr. Houtian. We just want to buy the resources in his hands. In the free market, the same goods go to the highest bidder, isn't that right? Dimo thought about it and knew that he couldn't let things go on. Fair trade, free trade, this is the card he played. Yes, John, our respect for Mr. Haokian is definitely no less than yours. He is a great contributor to our human race. How could we disrespect him? This time, we are not discussing things to threaten Mr. Haokian. I just think that if all the resources in his hands are left in Xia country, he will lose too much. How much money can those poor people in Xia country pay? Mr. Haotian has done so many great things for our human race. He is a great contributor to all of humanity. 
we must not let Mr. Houtian suffer such a big loss. Ivanov also followed Dimo's words. Howard's eyes lit up. Sure enough, they are all smart people. Especially Ivanov. Damn, he always pretended to be an honest man before, but I didn't expect his brain to be so smooth. This bastard. I haven't been cheated by him before, right? Howard's mind has begun to filter out the intersections with Ivanov. He was afraid that Ivanov, who seemed to be honest but actually had many tricks, would sell him out and help him count money. Howard suddenly found that these old friends seemed to have suddenly become unrecognizable. First, John seemed to be crazy, no, he became a different person. Then it was Ivanov. As for Dimo, it was okay. After all, this guy was more shady, and he knew it before. So he would be on guard against him. But for an honest man like Ivanov, he really wouldn't think too much. After all, this guy has always shown that he is straightforward. Now I found that this guy has a lot of twists and turns in his intestines. Ivanov talked a lot and waited for Howard to take over. But this guy seemed to have lost his mind suddenly, sitting there without any reaction. There was no other way, he could only cough twice to remind Howard. Howard really woke up, now is not the time to think about these things, and quickly said, John, you don't have to worry at all, the things you worry about will never happen. We will only bring more benefits to Mr. Haugen, how can we cheat Mr. Haugen? John snorted coldly and said, it's better to be like this. Seeing John calm down, Howard and the others breathed a sigh of relief. It's just that those questions just now are still lingering in his mind. If he doesn't figure these things out, he really doesn't want to talk anymore. This time the party ended in a hurry. He needs to review all the things again, so as not to fall into the trap of these two guys without knowing it, that would be really stupid. Howard returned to the real world and quickly called all his think tanks over, and then told them that since he took office as the President of the Awakener Association of the United States and the Elder of the Alliance, everything that has intersections with John and Ivanov. Find all possible loopholes. All the think tanks were a little confused. What was wrong with this boss? Why did he suddenly review this thing? Is there any benefit that he has not received, or has forgotten? No way. Someone dared to default on the money owed to the United States. Don't want to live. Oh, the other party is President John and President Ivanov, then it's okay. These two bosses have the support of the supreme power behind them. It is not impossible to occasionally default on the money owed to the United States. So they responded to Howard's words and said that they would definitely deal with this matter as soon as possible and responsibly. Howard had no choice but to be careful. John really gave him too much stimulation. This guy suddenly became so different that he almost didn't recognize him. So there must be a problem. There must be a problem that he hasn't seen yet. Either he was pretending before, or he got some new instructions recently. Suddenly, a terrible idea burst out in Howard's mind. Is Gaul going to be independent? With Gaul's background and the support of the supreme power behind them, they can go out on their own and establish their own alliance. There is absolutely no problem. Is this possible? It is really possible. Thinking of this, Howard couldn't sit still any longer. Why can the beautiful country have the final say, and why is the beautiful alliance the most powerful? Why can he, the great elder of the beautiful alliance, be superior to the great elders of other alliances? Isn't it because the beautiful alliance has two supreme masters? Once the Lion King Afar takes Gaul and their cronies to separate and become independent, the strength of the beautiful alliance will be greatly reduced. Especially in this special period. The Xia country alone is enough to give him a headache. Otherwise, he wouldn't have contacted other major alliances to deal with the Xia country together. Now that Gaul has become independent, all the bad things have come together. Howard's hair is about to be scratched off. All these things are just his guesses. So he needs to confirm it. He contacted John directly and planned to talk to him. John, who had just logged off from the reincarnation world, received an invitation from Howard to talk, and was a little resistant. I am a person who likes to enjoy life, and I don't want to be bound by mountains of documents and meetings. 
but since Howard invited me, I still have to give him this face. John, tell me honestly, do you want to establish a Gallic League? Howard asked directly when they met. He wanted to catch the other party off guard. Sure enough, John was stunned when he heard it. Do I have the idea of being independent? No. But after Howard reminded him. He felt that being independent was not a bad thing. Chapter, 500 If Howard knew what John was thinking, he would probably be so angry that he would vomit blood. People have no idea of independence, or they have forgotten that there is such a thing. Now that he reminded me, I immediately came up with this idea, and I also felt that the result should be good. Seeing that John was silent, Howard felt that he had guessed John's thoughts. Sure enough, this 25-year-old boy already had thoughts of betrayal. No, it's not just thoughts, but actions have already begun. John, I really didn't expect that you would betray me. Howard said through gritted teeth. But John said, Howard, I really never thought about being independent before, but now that you remind me, I suddenly think it's quite fun. When the time comes, I will form a Gallic alliance and then leave the matter to the second elder. Wouldn't it be a pleasure? John said, already having a sweet dream. Puff. Howard finally couldn't bear it anymore and vomited blood. What the hell is this? Did you dig a hole for yourself and cultivate a traitor? No, you can't even call him a traitor. After all, he doesn't have such thoughts in the first place. It was he who inspired this inspiration in others. So how should it be described? He couldn't even find the right adjective for a moment. John, you can't do this to me. We are brothers. We have cooperated very well over the years and there has never been any dispute. You can't abandon me like this. Howard began to show pity to John. John sighed and said, Howard, to be honest, before today, I had never thought about going out on my own, but I couldn't help it. What you did really disappointed me. Howard said, John, I don't think I did anything wrong. What we did did not cause any harm to mankind. Mr. Houtian can't use so many of the resources in his hands. I strive for more resources for the awakened people of my alliance and country. What's wrong with this? John shook his head and said, You are right to fight for resources, but what is wrong is the means you use. You can use bullying methods against Mr. Houtian today, but can you use the same methods against me tomorrow? Howard, when I sat with you before, I felt safe. Do you understand safety? But now, I only feel cold. For you people, interests are the most important. Who cares about favors? But don't forget, we are human beings and we live in a human country. If even the last bit of human touch and humanity disappears, what will we have left? What's the point of our previous struggles? What's the difference between us and the aliens? What John said was righteous. How could Howard be fooled? Is this really the John he knows? Didn't they change people? How did it become like this? In the past, he was the most exquisite egoist. Now he has become so righteous. What the hell? He had a hole stuck in his throat and he couldn't spit it out quickly, but he didn't know how to spit it out. John, you are doing it for the good of the human race, and I am doing it for the good of the human race. Those resources will only be wasted if left in the Xia Kingdom. You have to believe that only us white people are the strongest. How can the yellow race make the most of those resources when they are so weak? We don't want the resources that Mr. Houtian has worked so hard to just waste. I also want to contribute to the human race and fight on the front line of the race war. As for the Xia people, they can be protected by our beautiful alliance, right? What he said was even more righteous than John's. For those who didn't know, I really thought he was telling the truth. John was also stunned by Howard's words for a moment. Just as Howard continued to fool John, the world telephone finally rang again, interrupting the questioning and deception between the two. What's going on, Mr. Houtian? It's been a day since the last world announcement. Did something happen? John asked a little worried. As soon as these words came out, even Howard was a little worried. He is still constantly calculating the resources in Yi Xiaotian's hands. The root cause is that he knows that Yi Xiaotian can get more resources. 
but the current situation seems that Yi Xiaotian's efficiency in breaking through the Tower of Babel is getting slower and slower. Everyone knows that the priority for using the SS level talent is his teammates. In other words, the SS level talent liquid in his hand must exceed a certain amount before he will sell it. If there is no more than this amount, then definitely don't think about it outside. In their expectation, it would be easy for Yi Xiaotian to harvest more SS level talent spiritual liquid as a reward for breaking through the 50th floor of Babel Tower. Now it seems that things are not going as smoothly as they expected. If the gifted spiritual liquid Yi Xiaotian received did not exceed his own needs, then what's the use of them fighting here? This is a prerequisite. The reason why they dared to make such a calculation was because they knew that the extra resources would be useless in Yi Xiaotian's hands. If they were all taken away by the Xia people. Whether it is for Howard or the supreme power behind them, it is not in line with their interests. That's why Howard and the others dared to let Wu Dingxiong put pressure on Yi Xiaotian. This is also a way of playing within the rules of the game. You can be angry, but you can't turn the table. The interests of Xiaogua must be guaranteed, but our interests also need to be guaranteed. We have four supreme masters standing behind us, protecting this world, why can't we get more? What's more, we are not freeloaders, but we'll pay for it. Why not? It's really good. These are all within the calculations of Howard and DMO, and within the rules of the game. But once Yi Xiaotian doesn't have enough talent spirit liquid, these calculations are bullshit. Howard's face was a little distorted. He took such a big risk, and even almost forced John to be independent, so this is what he got. Impossible, according to the rules of the reincarnation world, the super god evaluation can only get the corresponding reward if the task is completed within the rule time. Howard retorted. John said, why did he receive the reward twice one day apart? Howard said, could it be that he came out halfway and then went back in? John thought so too, and asked quickly, and then said to Howard, I just asked, he didn't come out, he has been in the Tower of Babel the whole time. Howard didn't believe it and said, how do you know? John said, don't you know? There are a bunch of reporters squatting outside the Tower of Babel right now, just to get the first-hand information about Mr. Houtian. Chapter, 501 Howard really didn't know about this news. How could such trivial matters as reporters and paparazzi reach his ears? Only those major events that would affect the United States, the United States Alliance, or the entire human race would be reported to him. If he had to listen to all the trivial matters, he would not have to do anything. There were endless reports to listen to every day. Only a weirdo like John who had nothing to do would pay attention to such trivial matters. However, he did not doubt what John said, but chose to believe it. After all, John had no need to lie like this. Now, the two people's attention was on why Yi Xiaotian only passed one level of the Tower of Babel every other day. And the evaluation he received was super god, which was unreasonable. They also didn't believe that Yi Xiaotian would fall asleep in the Tower of Babel. Who would be so bold as to go to sleep in the Tower of Babel? The two chatted for a long time, but they didn't come up with anything. So in the end, Howard decided not to take action until he was sure that Yi Xiaotian could get enough resources. Don't let the time pass when you offend someone too much and then you don't have enough resources, that would be too miserable. When the two of them parted, they were still in a good mood. John wanted to remind Howard, but he didn't say it in the end. If Howard really wants to kill himself, then it's not his fault. John has been a slacker for so many years, and he will eventually come back. Who makes him so capable? Even if he is a slacker, it can't hide the fact that he is a strong man. Howard's sudden cessation of activities made several people uncomfortable. First, Dimo and Ivanov thought that Howard would contact them soon after talking to John. Unexpectedly, they didn't wait. Then it was Wu Dingxiong. He knew what kind of people Howard and his gang were. Originally thought that there would be all kinds of pressure later. But there was no. This is strange. Could it be that these guys have changed their nature? Time passed day by day. Every day, a world announcement would sound in the reincarnation world. At first, everyone was wondering, what was going on with Houtian. Later, 
they were too lazy to guess. There were too many guesses, and they all seemed unreliable and untrustworthy. After each guess, there would be a bunch of people who would come up with a bunch of rebuttals. They strongly questioned the IQ of the guessers, and made every guesser angry. So later, no one guessed anymore. They were afraid of being criticized again. So later, everyone got used to it. If there was no world announcement one day, they would be surprised, wondering if Houtian had an accident. These days, Howard was the one who had the hardest time. For the first world announcement, he would record the rewards and then silently calculate them in his mind. Is it enough? Is there a share for them? Can the plan be restarted? But after a week, it was barely enough. Howard felt tired with such efficiency. He kept it for a week, and he felt tormented when he thought about it. Today, he finally breathed a sigh of relief. Finally, enough people have been gathered. From today on, Yi Xiaotian will not need the SS level talent spirit liquid that he will get later. Because the number of his teammates is enough. At this time, his subordinates gave him a heartbreaking news. Yi Xiaotian came out of the Tower of Babel. No one knows why. But Howard has a bold guess. Could it be that Mr. Houtian is no longer strong enough to continue to break into the higher levels of the Tower of Babel? Then he has been working in vain these days. Howard wants to hit someone. In fact, the reason why Yi Xiaotian came out of the Tower of Babel is very simple. He has gathered enough talent spirit liquid that his teammates need, so he naturally has to bring it out to them, so that they can be promoted to SS level talent awakeners first. After all, the SS level talent increases the combat power of the Awakener by 15 times. And the SS level talent is only 10 times. As for the S level talent, it is only 7 times. This is the gap. Once all his comrades are promoted to SS level talent Awakeners. Then the combat power of the entire team can be increased by more than 10 times. In this way, the efficiency of team members in improving their strength will be greatly improved. So after the number was sufficient, he immediately left the Tower of Babel. And he had been in there for a week, and he missed his wife a little. If he didn't come back to pay his taxes, I'm afraid the two ladies would have a problem. In the hotel, the people of the Houtian team have been resting here and have not gone out. In their spare time, they play cards. If they are too bored, they will enter the reincarnation world to brush the dungeon to solve the problem of itching hands. But they will never leave the city before discussing with Yi Xiaotian. There are too many eyes staring at them. If they are not careful, their whereabouts will be leaked, and then they will be in big trouble. As Yi Xiaotian's team members, they know best that the captain hates trouble the most. Everyone is very happy that Brother Tian has returned. Then Yi Xiaotian took out enough SS level talent spirit liquid. In the Houtian team, so far, only Chang Xiaoxi and Sun Yao are SS level talent awakeners. Except Yi Xiaotian, the remaining seven people are either S level or SS level. Seven bottles of SS level talent spirit liquid were placed in front of everyone, shocking everyone speechless. Although they had some expectations in their hearts and knew that there would be such a day. But when this day really came, they still felt very shocked. Especially when the seven bottles of talent spirit liquid were placed in front of them, the shock was even stronger. It was like 100 million cash was placed in front of you. The visual impact was definitely not comparable to a cold number. Yi Xiaotian said, don't be stunned, one bottle for each person, go and take it quickly, I will protect you. Several people looked at Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan and asked them to take it first. In fact, these teammates knew about the matter between Yi Xiaotian and Mu Binyan. The trouble caused by Yi Xiaotian's second soul has never been settled. Even the teammates who joined later were clear about this. They just admired Han Xuyao, the eldest sister-in-law, for being so generous and directly pulling her husband and Mu Binyan together. Various assists. Of course, they didn't know the real reason. It's just a guess, Han Xuyao loves deeply, so she doesn't want to leave regrets between Yi Xiaotian and Mu Binyan. It's really worth it to meet such a woman in a lifetime. Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan each took a bottle, and the remaining five people didn't hesitate to take the talent spirit liquid, and then went back to their rooms to take it. 
SS level talent spirit liquid, worth 100 million reincarnation points in the reincarnation mall, 100% success rate. A priceless treasure recognized by the awakening world. Chapter 502 Everyone left, leaving only Yi Xiaotian, Han Xuyao, and Mu Bingyan. Let's go back to the room and take the talent spirit liquid. I'll watch you. Yi Xiaotian said to them. Han Xuyao said leisurely, You have been in Babel Tower for so many days, don't you miss us at all? Or do you think you have raised us outside? Yi Xiaotian was confused by her question. Han Xuyao knew what was going on when he saw Yi Xiaotian's expression. But she wanted to tease Yi Xiaotian, but this piece of wood was really boring if she didn't poke it from time to time. You're not really raising a woman outside, are you? What's wrong with Bing Yan and I? We too are beautiful and have great bodies, but you're still not satisfied. Mu Bing Yan was also shocked by Han Xuyao's words, and she didn't know what to say. Yi Xiaotian finally came to his senses and noticed a hint of cunning in Han Xuyao's eyes, knowing that she was joking with him again. There was a wry smile on his face, and he said, Okay, let's do the business first. As for the small things like taking the gifted spiritual liquid, just put it off later. Poof! Han Xuyao couldn't hold back and said, If others know that you said this, they will have to spit on you. SS level talent spiritual liquid, recognized as a priceless treasure in the awakening world. After taking the gifted spirit liquid, who wouldn't take a bath and burn incense and pray for blessings from the gods and Buddhas in the sky? Adding the two together, no matter how solemn it is, it cannot be exaggerated. When it comes to Yi Xiaotian, it becomes a trivial matter. Yi Xiaotian didn't care anymore. Madam's request was already so clear. If she didn't implement it, she would really be betraying the beauty. A week later, in a hotel suite. It seems that everyone has adapted to the new talent. Do you want to go to see? Yi Xiaotian asked the team members present. After a week of training and fighting in various battles in the world of reincarnation, he has become fully proficient in his new talents and his skyrocketing combat power. Now is the time to go hunting. It's time for them to quickly upgrade to S-level Awakeners. Once you are promoted to S-level Awakener, you can enter the world of reincarnation and enter the Babel Tower. However, the promotion of an A-level Awakened person to an S-level Awakened person requires 1 million points in the main attribute, which is not so easy to achieve. Especially now that Yi Xiaotian has no way to help them, they have to rely on themselves. Another thing is that according to the rules of the reincarnation world, only by hunting Awakeners above level A can you have the highest probability of dropping attribute points. Therefore, many A-level Awakeners enter the world of reincarnation to complete dungeons and use their reincarnation points to exchange for free attribute points. Although the income is not high, the advantage is stability. After all, you can't be sure whether you will encounter an A-level Beast Awakener when you go out today. Even if you encounter and successfully kill the opponent, you can't be 100% sure that the attribute points will be dropped. Therefore, in the opinion of many people, it is more reliable to brush the dungeon in the world of reincarnation. This is a big reason why there are so few high-level awakened people. This is also one of the reasons why it is difficult for awakened people with low talent levels to increase their awakening level. The talent level is high, the combat power increase is high, and skipping battles is as easy as eating and drinking. So at this time, the role of another special place is revealed. That is the secret realm of awakening. It's just that the secret realms of awakening are in the hands of major forces, and each time they are opened, huge sums of money are spent. Therefore, the resources of the awakening secret realm are very scarce. It can be regarded as the trump card in the hands of major universities. For example, Yi Xiaotian and the others entered several awakening secret realms in the summer camp they attended. Qualifications for entering the secret realm of awakening in major universities require credits. Also, if you have made great contributions to the school, you will be rewarded with a quota by the school. Of course, these methods are no problem for Yi Xiaotian and others. Behind them stood the Awakened Association and the four famous Awakened schools. As long as Yi Xiaotian opens his mouth, even the resources in the hands of the Supreme Powerhouse can be used first. It's just that Yi Xiaotian doesn't want to owe a favor. 
but now that I think about it, there is no need to owe him a favor. Anyway, both the Awakened Association and several top Awakened Universities owe him a favor. If you want to use their Awakening Secret Realm, just ask, and the other party will probably offer it with both hands. Brother Tian, I think it's better to go back to school. It can be faster to enter the Secret Realm of Awakening. Hunting in the wild is still too slow. Yes, Brother Tian, we felt like this the last time we went to sea. As our awakening level increases, there are fewer and fewer opportunities to brush attribute points in the wild. Awakeners above level A can be said to be masters of awakening. Among the global awakened forces, only those in charge of the top powerful families are SS level awakened ones. Only the top leaders of the top forces will be equipped with S class awakeners. And A level awakeners are already the mainstay of these big forces. And who can become an A level awakened person? Who is not middle aged or old. In the world of human awakeners, there are only A level awakeners at their age, and there is no other group. Han Xu Yao also said, Brother Tian, didn't you say last time that those resources were given to the Awakened Association in several schools, in exchange for many schools' points? Those points stay there and are not used in vain. Anyway, among the many resources of the Awakened Association and the school, only the Awakening Secret Realm is what they need. I don't like anything else. Yi Xiao Tian thought about it and said, Okay, I was thinking about leaving the opportunity to my juniors, but now it seems that we have to use it first. For example, those high level awakening secret realms, after opening once, it may take more than 10 or 20 years to open again. This process is too long. Yi Xiao Tian didn't want to waste these opportunities, leaving them to the human awakeners behind to let them grow better. As for themselves, they can hunt in the wild. But the actual situation is that the harvest of A-level awakeners in the wild is not great. Especially without his help. It's really slow to rely on themselves. At least, compared with the previous improvement, it's really slow. Of course, compared with other awakeners of the same level, it can't be faster. Comparing people is really annoying. Their efficiency of improvement is already envied by everyone. But in their own opinion, they are still not satisfied. It's like riding a rocket and still too slow. Yi Xiao Tian and his friends started to check out. Peng Xiangyu said hello to his family. The armored vehicle roared through the streets of Jiangnan City and headed out of the city. Although the Peng family also has an awakening secret realm, how can it compare with the top forces like the Magic City Awakener University? Originally, Jiangnan University was also one of their choices. However, Yi Xiaotian's base is still in the Magic City University, so the first choice is of course here. Chapter, 503 He sure was very happy about Yi Xiaotian and his team's return. He had been severely harassed again recently. It seemed that every time Yi Xiaotian broke into the Tower of Babel, those who had direct relations with Yi Xiaotian were the ones who were harassed the most. Now he was at Magic City University, and he was Yi Xiaotian's spokesperson. He sure was not surprised to learn that Yi Xiaotian and his team came back to use the Awakener Secret Realm to quickly upgrade their levels. In fact, he had already anticipated this. Yi Xiaotian could ignore some rules. But his team still had to abide by the basic law of reincarnation. However, given the situation of Yi Xiaotian's teammates, they had to start with at least an A-level Secret Realm, or even an S-level secret realm for the best effect. After a conversation, he sure said that he would discuss this matter with the school to see which secret realms to open to Yi Xiaotian and his team. In other words, which secret realms that met the level could be open to Yi Xiaotian and his team. Yi Xiaotian was not in a hurry. After saying goodbye to He sure, he returned to Villa No. It would take several days to prepare for the awakening secret realm, so everyone discussed and prepared to leave school. After not coming back for so long, Sun Yao was going to go back to see her grandmother. After the seventh night incident, Sun Yao's grandmother moved from her original place to live near the school. At first, the school helped, but later all the expenses were borne by Sun Yao herself. As a member of the Haotian team, there is no shortage of money. Even Lu Yun, who joined the army last, is no longer short of money. Yi Xiaotian is really good at making money. Pure money is just a matter of convenience for him. 
Anything that is related to the Awakener can be sold for money. And what Yi Xiao Tian and his team sell the most is the corpses of alien beasts. The corpses of alien beasts that reach a certain level can not only be sold for money, but also exchanged for various other resources. In addition, if they are handed over to the school, they can also be exchanged for school points. Money really doesn't mean much to them. A group of ten people walked on the campus, and the rate of turning back was 100%. To be honest, most of them are handsome men and beautiful women. Not to mention the name of the Houtian team, their appearance alone can attract the attention of most people. I didn't expect that the Houtian team actually returned to school. Yeah, there is no news at all. Their confidentiality measures are too good. I really didn't expect that Houtian God is so handsome. To be honest, this team is full of handsome men and beautiful women, only that little fat guy looks a little ugly. Huang Jie's face fell immediately when he heard the discussion. It was too much. He is just a little fat, and he didn't eat your rice. Why do you say that to me? I want to lose weight. Huang Fatty's little heart can't stand everyone's ridicule. Fatty, don't be sad, this is just walking with us. If you go out alone, no one will say that you are ugly. Peng Xiang you comforted. Get out. Huang Jie shouted angrily. Peng Xiang Yu seemed to be comforting him, but in fact he was mocking him. The group finally walked out of the school. Let's buy some gifts first. Don't you guys buy gifts when you visit the elderly? Han Xu Yao reminded everyone. Everyone realized that they were missing a step. Sun Yao hurriedly said, No, really no, Grandma doesn't need anything, there's really no need to buy. Although she is not short of money now, her money can be said to be earned by her teammates, which is equivalent to the money for supporting grandma is paid by her teammates. She was really embarrassed to ask everyone to buy gifts again. Okay, Sun Yao, it's all normal etiquette. We don't lack this little money, but we can't let people say we don't know etiquette. Han Xu Yao said. Sun Yao heard this and could only step back. The group came to the big supermarket outside the school and swept it. What is the best thing to buy for the elderly? Of course, it is all kinds of supplements. The elderly's body functions are deteriorating, and their absorption ability is worse, and their ability to absorb energy from normal food is also worse. On the contrary, those supplements specially developed for the elderly are easier to absorb. And now is the awakening era. The effect of supplements with the blood and flesh of exotic animals is hundreds of times better. Of course, the price is not cheap. Again, the people of the Houtian team are not short of money. A group of people started to buy things, especially a few women, who were so ferocious when buying things. They almost cleared out the elderly supplement area in the supermarket. If Sun Yao hadn't stopped them in the end, they would have really cleared out. I really can't buy any more, our house is too small, there is no room. Sun Yao was about to cry. It was her fault that the house she bought was too small, she should have bought a big villa. Otherwise, it wouldn't have embarrassed her teammates. It's just that her grandmother lives in a big villa alone, it's really not suitable. After hearing this, the women could only stop embarrassedly. They bought things easily, and there was a little impulse of revenge consumption. They either haven't been so addicted to shopping for a long time. Or they didn't have money before and didn't dare to buy like this. Like Lu Yun, before joining the Houtian team, she could only guarantee her basic life. Going to the supermarket to shop is something I dare not even think about. Pushing nearly ten supermarket carts towards the checkout area, the customers in the supermarket were all amazed to see this scene. What is going on? Are the elderly supplements going to be discontinued? However, seeing the age of Yi Xiao Tian and the others, it suddenly dawned on me that they must be children from wealthy families, otherwise they would not be so generous. The biggest possibility is to pick up girls and show off their financial strength to girls. Thinking of this, everyone had no good face except complaining about the prodigal son. It is really unwise to spend so much money just to pick up girls. These are all supreme elderly supplements, which are very expensive. It is estimated that the cost of buying so many trucks is not less than 10 million. They look at us a little strangely. Who told you to buy so many? 
Look, there are no people who come to the supermarket here like us. Sun Yao said unhappily. She tried to stop them, but some of them failed. Fortunately, in the end, because her house was not big enough, everyone stopped. But the scale of this shopping is still very scary. They can no longer be considered shopping, but can be considered wholesale purchases. But it is unreasonable to go to the supermarket to wholesale purchases. So it's not surprising that they got everyone's weird looks. Okay, stop talking, just pay and leave they couldn't refund, because sometimes they would go out and not come back for months. Grandma Sun Yao was alone at home, so she hired a nanny, and she had to leave enough supplements for her. Their actions scared the cashier. With so many things, did they really have the money to pay? Chapter, 504 After settling the bill, it was easy. Yi Xiao Tian stepped forward and put all the supplements directly into the reincarnation space. His awakening level is high enough and his reincarnation space is large enough. It's just a bunch of supplements, it's trivial. But in the eyes of others, this scene is not so simple. Judging from their age, their awakening level should only be around D level. Many of the awakened people present know how big the reincarnation space is at this level. Being able to take in such a bunch of supplements without blinking an eye, the volume of this reincarnation space is incredible. This young man is definitely not a D level awakened person, at least he must be B level or above. Such a young B level awakener is amazing. They didn't think about it in the direction of the Houtian team. After all, the Houtian team was so famous, but it was also so far away from them. And it seems that I haven't heard that the Houtian team has returned to the Magic City. The group left the supermarket and headed toward Sun Yao's home. Sun Yao's new home is just one block away from Mata University, very close. The purpose is to facilitate care. When Sun Yao goes out, the school will arrange for people to come over regularly to check on her. One is to check Grandma Sun Yao's physical condition. Another thing is to see if the nanny is taking good care of you. After all, Sun Yao is not only an outstanding student at Mata University, but also a member of the Haokian team. Future achievements are limitless. How could the top management of Shanghai University miss such an opportunity? So Sun Yao's grandma not only was not bullied, but was also taken care of very well. Sun Yao decided to give He Shure a big thumbs up after returning to school. She knew very well that vice principal he arranged for people to take care of her grandma's life. A bunch of people entered the house, and then called grandma one after another, which made Sun Yao's grandma so happy that she couldn't close her mouth. I used to live with my granddaughter. Life will be better when Sun Yao awakens her healing talent. Later, Sun Yao joined the Houtian team. After moving here, her life changed dramatically. She transformed from an old lady in the countryside to an ancestor of a wealthy family. There is nothing unsatisfactory in life, but not having loved ones by your side. But she also knew that what kind of person her granddaughter was, she couldn't always be by her side. She was content to have the life she had now. This time so many juniors came to see her, she was really happy. While directing Sun Yao to greet her comrades, she also told the nanny to organize the table well to entertain her granddaughter's comrades. Grandma Sun Yao was shocked and Yi Xiao Tian took out the supplements for the elderly from the reincarnation space. I've seen people giving gifts. But this is the first time I've seen them delivered in piles. Hao Hung didn't feel it, but he was a little worried. These young people have no sense of spending money. Ayo, how could you let your comrades buy so many supplements? The old lady couldn't blame Yi Xiao Tian and the others, she could only blame her granddaughter. It's true that when a guest came to visit and bought so many gifts, people found out that the Sun family had no etiquette at all. Sun Yao said helplessly, Grandma, this is all the result of me stopping them. Okay, you have bought everything, just accept it. My comrades are not ordinary people, they are not short of money. The old lady said, this is not a question of money, but how can anyone accept gifts like this? This is just in time to open a supplement store for the elderly. Sun Yao said, it's okay, grandma, you keep it and eat it slowly. When you're done, tell me and I'll keep buying it for you. The old lady was speechless. This granddaughter seemed to have changed a lot. 
I have become cheerful and confident, and when I say this, I don't feel confident at all. It seems that my granddaughter is already a big shot as the school leader said. She is older, and although she knows about the awakened ones, she doesn't know much about them. All I know is that they can still survive in this world safely, which is the credit of the awakened ones. Ordinary people and low-level awakened people can only understand the surface of this world. Knowing too much is not good for them. Adding to the mood of panic. For ordinary people, just let them live their lives normally. Just be able to make enough contributions to the reproduction of mankind. Io, you're not young anymore. It's time to think about starting a family. Do you have any of your comrades you like? The old lady said, holding Sun Yao's hand. The air suddenly felt a little quiet. They really haven't considered this issue. At their age, to be honest, they can only be considered very young in the group of awakened people. There is absolutely no need to think about this issue. I haven't graduated from college yet. However, the old lady finally brought her granddaughter up, and she is getting older. The only concern now is probably Sun Yao's fate. If she could see Sun Yao get married with her own eyes, I believe she would have no regrets in her life. Sun Yao blushed with embarrassment and said, Grandma, I'm only twenty years old and haven't graduated from college yet. It's still early, don't be in a hurry. The old lady said, Girls must consider this issue after they are eighteen years old, otherwise the longer they delay, the older they get, and they will become old girls by then. Sun Yao felt cold sweat break out on her forehead after hearing this. Well, today is a modern society. But it's the era of reincarnation. Whether it is a boy or a girl, as long as the awakened talent is not good, they will have to consider the issue of marriage sooner or later. Because human reproduction, a major event related to human inheritance, requires them to make more efforts. The awakened are responsible for protecting the family and the people, and ordinary people are naturally responsible for reproducing offspring. Only in this way can humans have a constant supply of fresh blood. Although the awakened talent is very important, it is not absolute. Many parents are ordinary people, but their children have awakened high-level talents. So no matter what the quality is, quantity wins first. Cast a wide net, and you can always catch a few big fish in one net. As an ordinary person, it is normal for the old lady to have such thoughts. However, as SS-level talent awakeners, Sun Yao and others have no such worries at all. They decide when they want to get married. Even if they don't get married for a lifetime, no one dares to control them. Moreover, the lifespan of high-level awakeners is much longer than that of ordinary people. Ordinary people are indeed at the age of considering major events in life at the age of 20. But for high-level awakeners, the age of 50 or 60 is their prime. Grandma, don't worry about this, I will consider it myself. Sun Yao said perfunctorily. The old lady said, I think your comrades are all good. If you like them, don't miss them. Chapter, 505 Although the old lady's words were very fierce, the others didn't care. After all, they were in the same team, and they practiced together almost every day, and they knew each other very well. It would be better if the teammates could really like each other. But it didn't matter if they didn't like each other. With their status, it would be easy for them to find a partner. So they didn't take the old lady's words to heart. If they really wanted to find a partner, their door would be trampled down if they spread the word. After having a meal at Sun Yao's house, Sun Yao stayed at home to accompany her grandmother, while Yi Xiaotian and the others went back to school. Taking advantage of this time, Yi Xiaotian said to them, It is estimated that there are still a few days before entering the awakening secret realm. If you want to go home, you can go back during this time. Although awakeners have always been at home everywhere. But most of the team members have their own parents. It is normal to miss their families after not going home for so long. He even wanted to take Han Shuyao back to Jiangcheng. And it seems that the Mu family should also go there. After all, if you eat someone's daughter, you have to say hello to their parents. It's just that Jiangcheng and Jingcheng are in the southeast and the north respectively, which are a bit far apart. How about holding an online party? Everyone is from Xia country, and online parties can even save the cost of transmission. 
if you are too lazy to run, you can also get along with them in the reincarnation world. Although there is a limit on the time to go online every day for those who have not broken through to the S-level awakening. But the length of time every day is enough for them to talk about family affection. Hey, this is a good idea. As soon as Yi Xiaotian made this proposal, he immediately won a lot of approval. You don't have to run between two places in reality, and you can get together with your relatives. It's the best. Why didn't I think of this good idea before? I haven't heard anyone talk about it. Well, in the world of awakeners, family affection is indeed weak. More time is spent on cultivation, so where is the leisure time to waste on frequent meetings and gatherings with relatives? Moreover, communication in the real world is very troublesome, and it is not so easy to meet in the reincarnation world. Yi Xiaotian was too lazy to talk nonsense with them. He told Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan to contact their families and meet online. Of course, the time of this meeting can be long or short, depending on how much the parents of both sides miss their daughters. Han Xuyao is naturally needless to say. Mu Bingyan left the capital soon after clarifying the misunderstanding with her parents last time, and she has not seen her parents for a long time. And her brother. The talent grade is not too high, otherwise Mu Bingyan would not have been forced to marry Qian Juanli. But with Yi Xiaotian, these are not problems. SS level talent spirit liquid is available at will, and SS level talent spirit liquid will have to wait. But there is no problem, just enter the Tong Tian Tower again. Brother Tian, do you want to meet together or separately? Han Xuyao asked Yi Xiao Tian. This is a question. Should the two families meet together or separately first? Meeting together certainly saves trouble, but it may cause more trouble. Or we should meet separately first. I will meet Bingyan's parents first, and you can ask your parents for their opinions. Otherwise, if we gather them together rashly, I am afraid they will have objections. Yi Xiaotian said. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan naturally have no objection. Mu Bingyan now has nothing to be embarrassed about when she hears about meeting her parents. They have already slept together, so what is there to be embarrassed about? And she believes that Yi Xiaotian can conquer all opinions. Han's parents must be very happy to see their daughter again. Speaking of which, since Yi Xiaotian and Han Xuyao got married, the number of times they have seen their daughter can be counted on one hand. There is no time to meet in the real world, not even in the reincarnation world. Originally, student awakeners like Han Xuyao would definitely spend the full time in the reincarnation world. But the Haotian team is weird, and they will not enter the reincarnation world unless necessary. It was difficult for them, the parents, to contact or see their daughter. She was either hunting an awakened alien beast or on the way to hunt an awakened alien beast. Now that their daughter said she was free these few days and could meet in the reincarnation world, they were naturally very happy. As for Mu Bingyan's parents, it was even more so. They hadn't seen each other for several months since they last parted in Beijing, and they hadn't contacted each other. They thought Mu Bingyan was angry with them again. This time, the couple was very happy to receive a message from Mu Bingyan to the family, saying that she wanted to meet them in the reincarnation world. That night, everyone entered the reincarnation world on time. Han Xuya went to see her parents first. There were some things that she needed to say hello to her parents alone. About Mu Bingyan's matter. Otherwise, it would be bad if there were any misunderstandings. Mu Bingyan, on the other hand, could go with him to see her parents. I believe that once he and Mu Bingyan go, Mu's parents will know what it means. The places chosen by the two families were the cafes and tea houses near the reincarnation square. Han Xuyao went to the coffee shop, but Mu Bingyan chose the tea room. When Yi Xiaotian and Mu Bingyan arrived at the tea room, her parents' younger brother had already arrived. The three members of the Mu family, who had already stood up, showed a look of surprise when they saw Yi Xiaotian next to Mu Bingyan. Dad, Mom, Big Brother, this is my boyfriend Yi Xiaotian. No extra introduction is needed, just a name is enough. Mu Jianli, Qin Xingzhu and Mu Qinggong were all very surprised. Especially Mu Jianli and Qin Xingzhu, they didn't mention this matter when they met their daughter last time. And they can also see that their daughter is different this time. 
In other words, there is a substantial relationship between their daughter and Yi Xiaotian. The two of them felt uncomfortable at first, but they were relieved when they thought that their daughter's partner was Yi Xiaotian. The best son-in-law in the world is Yi Xiaotian. Brother Tian, my parents, and my big brother. Mu Binyan introduced Yi Xiaotian again. Yi Xiaotian also hurriedly said, Uncle, Aunt, Big Brother, Hello. The three members of the Mu family didn't dare to be pretentious, even if this was the boyfriend of their daughter and sister. After all, Yi Xiaotian's identity is there. The usual way of testing sons-in-law or brothers-in-law naturally didn't work. Okay, okay, sit down, everyone sit down. Mu's parents warmly invited Yi Xiaotian to sit down, and Mu Qinggong began to make tea and pour tea for everyone. Mu Jianli said with a complicated look, I really didn't expect that time passed so quickly. Xiao Tian, can I call you that? Of course, you are the elder, you can call me whatever you want. Yi Xiao Tian said quickly. Okay, we are all relieved to leave Bing Yan to you, and hope that you can treat her well in the future. Mu Jianli expressed his position on behalf of the Mu family. Chapter 506 Meeting his parents for the second time, Yi Xiao Tian was already experienced. It was a good chat with the second elder of the Mu family. After sitting for about half an hour, Mu Bingyan said to Yi Xiao Tian, Brother Tian, you go and do your work first. I'll talk to my parents and eldest brother about something. Yi Xiao Tian also knew that he should go to the other side. And there are some things that it is indeed better for Mu Bingyan, a daughter, to talk to her parents alone. Yi Xiao Tian stood up and said goodbye to the Mu family. Naturally, the Mu family did not dare to stop him and quickly stood up to watch Yi Xiao Tian leave. After everyone sat down again, Mu Bingyan told her parents and brothers about her. On Yi Xiao Tian's side, he came to the cafe where the Han family was. We don't call them uncle and aunt here. After all, he and Han Shuyao had obtained the certificates. Han Jing and his wife looked at Yi Xiao Tian who came in with complicated expressions. Han Shuyao had just told them. Although there was a reason for the incident, Han Jing and his wife also looked a little unhappy. But considering Yi Xiaotian's identity, he was relieved. After all, the Han family is, in the final analysis, an aristocratic family. They also know better how the strong people live. It is normal to have several women. It's just that they felt a little uncomfortable when something like this happened to their daughter. It's just that the reasons Han Shuyao just said are also very strong, so they don't have any position or reason to object. It's just that when looking at Yi Xiaotian, it's a little complicated. But after it got complicated, all that was left was sighing. A strong person is a strong person, no matter what, he is a strong person. Dad, Mom. Yi Xiaotian called, and then stood next to Han Xuyao. Sit down. After Han Jing finished speaking, he took the lead and sat down. Fortunately, Yi Xiaotian has not changed and still respects their elders. This can be regarded as a worry for them. He was afraid that if Yi Xiaotian had more women, he would treat his daughter badly. Although Han Xuyao has repeatedly stated before that brother Tian is definitely not such a person, and she was the one who facilitated the second marriage. But Han Jing and the others still thought that their daughter was trying to forgive them. Now it seems that Yi Xiaotian is indeed not the kind of man who likes the new and hates the old. He is still that simple boy. What are your plans next? Han Jing asked. Yi Xiaotian replied, We may enter the secret realm of awakening in a few days, so that Xu Yao and the others can be promoted to S-level awakeners as soon as possible. Han Jing rolled his eyes, Am I asking you this? We are getting together as a family now, so of course we are asking about family matters. Han Xuyao quickly added, Dad, if you have no objection, I would like to invite you to meet with the Mu family. Han Jing pondered for a moment and then said, That's fine, we can be considered a family from now on. I don't have any objections. Yi Xiaotian breathed a sigh of relief, now it depends on the situation of the Mu family. I don't know how the conversation went over there. He sent a message to Mu Bingyan with his mind, telling her the situation here, and then asked about the situation there. Mu Bingyan's reply was quick. I've told my parents about the matter, 
but they didn't react much. As for the meeting, let's arrange it for tomorrow to give them some time to relax. Yi Xiaotian then asked, Dad, Mom, the Mu family said they would get together tomorrow. Do you have any opinions? Han Jing and his wife looked at each other, and Han Jing replied, No, just look at the arrangements. Yi Xiaotian agreed. As for where to arrange the meeting, he would first discuss it with Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan. Yi Xiaotian met with the two families on the first day, and the result was good. After going offline in the evening, Yi Xiaotian discussed with the two girls where it would be better to arrange a meeting between the two families tomorrow. Let's arrange it at the hotel. When we meet for the first time, we have a meal. It will be more ceremonial. Han Xuyao suggested. Mu Bingyan nodded in agreement. Yi Xiaotian naturally had no objection. The next day, the couple got up early. After dressing up, they entered the world of reincarnation and waited for their parents to arrive. Yi Xiaotian is an orphan, so only the woman's parents met at this meeting. The hotel we chose belongs to the Association of Awakeners, which is considered to be the most luxurious and high-end hotel in the world of reincarnation. God Haotian arrived, and the hotel manager immediately knelt down and licked him. If it weren't for Yi Xiaotian's instructions, Wu Dingxiong would have come to entertain him in person. Even so, Wu Dingxiong came over to have a face-to-face -face meeting, which was like brushing his face in front of Yi Xiaotian again. Knowing that Yi Xiaotian was having a family dinner, he immediately ordered the person in charge of the hotel to be extremely alert. Must use the best materials. Finally, this meal must be free. At the same time, he had already begun to think about how to establish a good relationship with the Mu family. Not the Mu family either. I heard that the girl from the Mu family was very unhappy with the family. It is estimated that the old guys from the Mu family don't have much face in front of Yi Xiaotian and Mu Binyan. Mu Binyan didn't bother them, and they were already burning incense. It would be better to fawn over the three members of the Mu family. As for the Han family, the situation has been decided, and it doesn't make much sense to heat up the stove now. Just keep a good relationship. It is estimated that not many people in the Mu family know the truth now. So hurry up. This old fox. After Wu Dingxiong left, Mu Bingyan cursed him angrily. Han Xuyao said strangely, Bingyan, you don't seem to have a good impression of President Wu. Mu Bingyan said, nothing, I just think this guy is too good at scheming. Han Xuyao said, he is the general president of the Awakener Association. How could he sit in such a position without scheming? Mu Bingyan. Is that what I mean? I seem to be talking about scheming, you should mean management, right? But Han Xuyao said so, what else can she do, refute Han Xuyao. Forget it, they are all family, sisters, how can she do something that will make her sister lose face? Yi Xiaotian coughed, and then said, have you all been notified? Han Xuyao said, I have left a message to my parents, they will receive it when they are online. Mu Binyan also nodded, indicating that it was the same. It's just that Yi Xiaotian and his friends haven't waited for the elders of the two families to come, and they have waited for several uninvited guests. Howard, Dimo and Ivanov, as for John of Gaul, he did not come. These three guys didn't know where they got the news from, and when they learned that Yi Xiaotian was having dinner here, they hurried over. This is a rare opportunity. They have been waiting for this opportunity for more than a year. Unfortunately, Haotian God has always been a dragon that can't be seen from head to tail. It is really too difficult to find him. Even if you know he is in a certain place, when you rush over in reality, you don't know where he has turned to. Chapter 507 Yi Xiaotian and the others heard the knock on the door and thought that the parents of a family had arrived, so they hurried over to open the door. Then they saw three foreigners they didn't know. Who are you? Yi Xiaotian was stunned, not knowing what was going on. Howard said with a smile on his face, Mr. Haotian, let me introduce myself. My name is Howard. These two are my friends. This is DMO and this is Ivanov. Yi Xiaotian forced a smile and asked, What do you want? As the saying goes, you shouldn't hit a smiling person. If someone is smiling, you shouldn't have a sullen face. Howard said, Mr. Haotian, 
we have something to discuss with you. Can we delay you for a few minutes? Yi Xiao Tian thought for a few seconds and said to the three people, It's not convenient for me here. Please wait for me in the next private room. Howard and the others naturally had no objection and hurried to the next private room to wait. Yi Xiao Tian closed the door, turned around and said to Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan, I have something to do next door, you wait here. Who are they? Han Xuyao asked. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, I don't know much, but they should not be ordinary people. He really didn't know Howard or anything like that, even if someone mentioned it to him before, he didn't have any impression. To put it bluntly, he was too lazy to remember these people. After instructing Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan, Yi Xiao Tian went to the next door. He wanted to see what Howard and the others wanted to do. Moreover, he wanted to know more about how Howard and the others knew he was here. He came here for dinner because he and his wife discussed it last night. The hotel only knew about it after he came in today. And he believed that the number of people who knew about it in the hotel should be limited. Combined with the fact that Howard and the others came so quickly. The biggest suspense person is the person in charge of the hotel. Whether it is him or not, he has to be responsible for this matter. But now is not the time to pursue responsibility, let Wu Dingxiong do it. As for whether Wu Dingxiong sold him out, he believed that Wu Dingxiong would not be so stupid. And Howard and the others could not give Wu Dingxiong a reward that would make him excited. Yi Xiao Tian came to the private room next door, but did not sit down. Instead, he asked, again, how did you know I was here? Howard smiled and said, Mr. Houtian, don't worry about these trivial matters. Let's talk about business. Yi Xiao Tian waved his hand and said, For me, this is the most important business. Tell me, who told you my whereabouts? Also, who allowed you to investigate my whereabouts? Don't try to fool me, otherwise the consequences will not be something you can afford. The smile on Howard's face gradually disappeared. This Yi Xiao Tian was really too disrespectful. Mr. Hao Tian, let me introduce myself again. My name is Howard. I am the President of the Awakener Association of the United States and the Grand Elder of the United States Alliance. This Mr. Dimo is the Grand Elder of the Yama Alliance. This Mr. Ivanov is the Grand Elder of the Polar Bear Alliance. Yi Xiao Tian was not moved at all. Except for the five Supremes, he could ignore anyone now. Then what? Are you going to use your status to pressure me? Yi Xiao Tian said in a cold voice. Howard shrugged and said, Mr. Haokian, we didn't think of using our status to pressure you. We told you this just to get you to give us some due respect. We are not ordinary people. We all have status and position. You shouldn't treat us the same as other awakeners. That's what he said, but the meaning behind his words is very clear. We are using our status to pressure you. Okay, since you don't want to talk, I won't ask. I think Wu Dingxiong will give me an explanation for this matter. But you guys did something that made me very angry. I hope you can bear the consequences. Yi Xiao Tian said and was about to leave. Howard slammed the table and stood up, angrily saying, Yi Xiao Tian, don't be so arrogant. We respect you and call you Mr. Hao Tian, but don't take yourself too seriously. We are also SS level awakeners, and our awakening level is not lower than yours. And we can sit in our current position because we have made great contributions to mankind. We came to you, not to harm you, but just to negotiate a deal with you. What do you mean by this attitude? Don't you take our three major alliances and the four supreme powers behind us seriously? Yi Xiao Tian looked at DMO and Ivanov and said, Do you two mean the same thing? DMO looked tangled, and Ivanov's face was full of flesh, and no expression could be seen. They came together, and at this time, they should stand with Howard. But is it really good to offend Yi Xiao Tian to death like this? However, considering that they have the support of the supreme power behind them, there is nothing to be afraid of. The point is, if Yi Xiao Tian is not overwhelmed this time, it will be even more difficult to gain benefits from him in the future. So the two of them hesitated for a while and directly expressed that they were on the same front with Howard. Howard finally smiled again. The three major alliances put pressure on Yi Xiao Tian together, 
and he didn't believe that Yi Xiaotian dared not to bow his head. The situation is stronger than people. Sometimes, no matter how strong your personal strength is, it is useless. Momentum is the strongest. Using momentum to suppress people, this is what they are good at. Yi Xiaotian smiled, very happily. Okay. That's really great. He just wanted to say, I hope you can always think this way. Then he left. There was no more talk with these three pigs. After leaving the private room, he sent a message to several Western Supreme Masters, and then sent a message to Wu Dingxiong. He believed that these messages would be responded to soon. The first one to respond was of course Wu Dingxiong. This guy had been waiting for Yi Xiaotian to get together to see if there was any place to show his face in the process. So when he received Yi Xiaotian's message, every cell in his body was about to rejoice. After reading the content of the message, the smile on his face froze. Fuck you. Wu Dingxiong didn't expect the hotel staff to be so bold. It's okay to notify himself, after all, he is the boss. But they dared to sell the news abroad, which is a heinous crime. He quickly replied to Yi Xiaotian with a message, saying that he would find out the truth as quickly as possible and give Yi Xiaotian an explanation. However, Yi Xiaotian was no longer interested in waiting here. He found Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan, asked them to send a message to their parents, and then left. Prepared to find another hotel. This time, he would not go to a private one, but to the official hotel of the Samsara world. Although the news here is more expensive, it is better in confidentiality. Chapter 508 The reason why Yi Xiaotian didn't deal with Howard and the others face to face was because today was a special situation and he didn't want to waste time on a few irrelevant people. The three of them came to the official hotel, asked for a private room, and sat down again. Han Xuyao couldn't wait to ask, Brother Tian, what happened? Mu Bingyan also looked puzzled. With Yi Xiaotian's relationship with the Awakened Association, he shouldn't be so angry. It's not safe over there, and someone betrayed my information, so I moved here. Yi Xiaotian explained. Who are those people? Mu Bingyan felt that Yi Xiaotian's sudden change of mind should be related to the people who came to Yi Xiaotian before. Yi Xiaotian did not hide anything and told the identities of Howard and others. Han Xuyao was a little confused and said, in other words, you didn't even ask why they came to you, and you sentenced them to death. Yi Xiaotian said, these guys used such despicable methods to find out my whereabouts. I still want to listen to what they say. I'm not sick. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan looked at each other and couldn't help but feel more deeply about Yi Xiaotian's stubbornness. I really can't get the sand out of my eyes. But Howard's guys are also unlucky. If this happened to someone with a softer temper, the reaction probably wouldn't be so big. After all, buying information to know the whereabouts of a target does not seem to be a very sinful thing. For another person, maybe as long as you pay some price, this matter can be settled. But who made them meet their husbands? So we can only say that they are unlucky. Then how do you plan to deal with them? Han Xuyao asked. Yi Xiaotian said, I directly told the matter to several supreme seniors, I believe they will handle this matter personally. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan both looked at each other. Well, things have escalated to the top and there is no room for appeal. The two women held a moment of silence in their hearts for Howard and the others. Howard and the others were really unlucky when they met Yi Xiaotian. Whenever they investigate Yi Xiaotian's temper, they will not use such methods. But it's a pity that they know nothing about Yi Xiaotian's character. He also knew nothing about his power and connections. Otherwise, Yi Xiaotian would not be convinced in this way. This is their usual method. So they felt that Yi Xiaotian would also compromise with them. Both women laughed. At this time, Yi Xiaotian was really cute. At this time, in the original hotel, Wu Dingxiong was going crazy. In fact, there were only one or two people who knew about Yi Xiaotian's visit to the hotel for dinner. Apart from the hotel manager, there is only one waiter. No need to guess that the waiter in line is the person in charge of the hotel. Under Wu Dingxiong's power, the hotel manager did not dare to lie and admitted it directly. 
President, I really didn't expect such serious consequences. Those presidents all had requests, so I just he couldn't say the rest, because Wu Dingxiong started to spray again. What do you think? What do you think? Who are you? Why do you think that? Wu Dingxiong spat the hotel manager in the face. My fingers were about to poke into the nostrils of the hotel manager. At this time, Howard and others heard the noise outside and came out to see what was going on. And now Yi Xiaotian has left, there is no point in them staying anymore. However, the hatred for Yi Xiaotian in my heart has not dissipated at all. Yi Xiaotian, a young man, was really disrespectful. Don't know how to behave. Sooner or later you will suffer. This time, we have to teach him how to behave. Then Wu Dingxiong's voice sounded outside, and they were looking for Wu Dingxiong. President Wu, what's going on? Although he was very angry in his heart, he still had to do the superficial work. In fact, he really wanted to say, President Wu, if you have anything unhappy, tell us to make us happy. Because they are so unhappy. But it is not good to say this, as it can easily cause disharmony. As a mature boss, you must unite the forces below. Oh, the Xia Kingdom Awakeners Association is not a subordinate force of theirs, so it doesn't matter. Wu Dingxiong was already very angry, but when he saw these people throwing themselves into the street, which made him lose face, his anger became even more intense. You bastards are all the good deeds you have done. Let me tell you, I don't have a good time, and you don't want to have a good time either. Wu Dingxiong, who has always had a good face in front of outsiders, can no longer maintain his dignity in front of Howard and the others. Calm down. Start spraying right away. Wu Dingxiong was very clear about their demands. Howard and others also approached him, but he rejected them. Unexpectedly, these bastards actually secretly tracked Yi Xiaotian's whereabouts and planned to come and talk to him in person. Originally this had nothing to do with him. But to his surprise, it was his men who sold the information. Now the yellow mud fell off my crotch, it was either shit or shit. If one thing is wrong, Yi Xiaotian thinks that he is the one who sold the news, and then he, as the president, will be done. Wu Dingxiong, you are so presumptuous. Howard, despite his status, could not bear being scolded by Wu Dingxiong in front of so many people. Wu Dingxiong was not polite and sent Kao back directly. His face twitched and he sneered, Howard, Dimo, Ivanov, you guys are very good, you are simply looking for death. When you came to me last time, I told you that Mr. Houtian is not someone you can threaten. I didn't expect you to still not give up. You dare to come to threaten Mr. Houtian. Just wait, your troubles are coming. Howard was not afraid at all, and snorted coldly, Wu Dingxiong, I am really disappointed in you. As expected, you Xia people are all cowards and turtles. I am the President of the Awakener Association of the United States, I am the Elder of the United States Alliance, and I have the Thunder God and the Bao God standing behind me. Who dares to make trouble for me? The Awakeners of the Xia country at the scene were all indignant. Howard's map cannon was too hateful. If he hadn't been so angry, he would never say such words. Wu Dingxiong said, Who dares to cause trouble to you? Just wait. The Supreme Lord behind you will personally cause trouble to you. And you too are stupid and self-righteous. Mr. Houtian and the Supreme Lords are brothers. How dare you threaten Mr. Houtian? You are stupid and ignorant of life and death. DMO and Ivanov were both shocked. They were frightened by Wu Dingxiong's words. They really wanted to find out whether Wu Dingxiong was telling the truth or just trying to scare them. Chapter 509 Dimo and Ivanov were both frightened, but Howard didn't believe it at all. Wu Dingxiong, even if you want to lie, please tell a reliable one. Just based on Yi Xiaotian, what qualifications does he have to be on par with the Supremes? Howard didn't believe a word of Wu Dingxiong's words. Wu Dingxiong snorted coldly and said, Why? Just because he is the first person under the Supreme, just because he can transform into thousands of incarnations, just because he has accumulated enough reincarnation points to directly ascend to the Supreme. Is this enough? The last sentence hit the heart directly, like a sharp blade, piercing the hearts of Howard and others fiercely. Puff. 
Howard vomited blood. It seems that he really overlooked something. However, to directly ascend to the Supreme, what a huge amount of reincarnation points would be needed. How could Yi Shao Tian accumulate such a huge amount of reincarnation points in such a short time? He wanted to say it was impossible. But he just calculated in his mind that even if all the connections were not enough, they were not far off. As a supreme powerhouse, investing in Yi Shao Tian at this time is obviously a timely help. Waiting for him to be promoted to the supreme powerhouse before trying to build a relationship, isn't that a fool? At this moment, Howard felt that he was a fool. How could he not see such an obvious thing? After all, it was too smooth in the past, and he always stood on the clouds and overlooked the world. So his mentality has not changed yet, and he still regards Yi Shao Tian as an ordinary awakener. After all, he not only has a beautiful alliance behind him, but also two supreme powers to support him. Who else in this world? If you don't float with such a background, what's the meaning of life? But now, Howard feels that the time he can float is getting shorter and shorter. Then, Howard received a message. He opened it and was shocked. Although he had a hunch, it was too fast, right? I said it was getting shorter and shorter, not immediately. The message was not sent by the Supreme Strongman of the United States, Thor. It was sent by Bill, the chief follower of Thor, and the words were very harsh. Not only did he remove his position as the Elder of the United States Alliance and the General President of the Awakened People of the United States on the spot. He was also asked to return to the United States immediately for investigation. Howard's body softened and he sat directly on the ground. DMO and Ivanov were almost dumbfounded. Howard, who was arrogant and didn't take Wu Dingxiong seriously just now, was frightened to sit on the ground by Wu Dingxiong's words in a blink of an eye. This is too exaggerated. However, DMO was more careful and found that Howard did something else before he was abnormal. He guessed that he should have received new information. At this time, DMO also received new news. After reading it, he was not as unbearable as Howard, but showed his message to Ivanov. After reading it, Ivanov sighed, but didn't react much. After listening to Wu Dingxiong's words, he was mentally prepared. So after a sigh, he and DMO disappeared from the spot, and they teleported back to their country. Later, they had to go offline to explain to the chief follower of the Supreme Lord, accept the review and so on. Although they were not very worried. But they also understood that the days from now on would definitely not be as good as before. And it also depends on how Yi Xiaotian is in a bad mood. If he is in a bad mood, it would be a problem whether they can survive. Yes, this person is the first person under the Supreme Lord, invincible in the same realm. In the alien battlefield, he defeated more than 20 SS level awakeners of the alien race at a time. How could they be so blinded by their greed to provoke such a person? It was Howard, this bastard who provoked them. Let them fall into this abyss. At this moment, DMO and Ivanov's hatred for Howard reached its peak. Then they thought of John's changes. This bastard, wouldn't he have known the news a long time ago? Although there is no direct evidence, the probability is very high. Then Howard, who was sitting on the ground, also left. Wu Dingxiong knew what was going on. See? This is the result of having evil thoughts towards Mr. Haoyan. Wu Dingxiong roared at his men. Even a big boss like Howard could not escape this fate, so what qualifications does his subordinate, a minion, have to escape this fate? First, he was dismissed from all his positions, and then he was investigated. This procedure is absolutely necessary. If it is found that he has no subjective malice in this matter, then the punishment may be lighter. If there is subjective malice, then it is serious. He actually dared to have subjective malice towards Mr. Haokian. Isn't this anti-human? Three big bosses and a small shrimp were dealt with here. On Yi Xiaotian's side, the parents of both parties were welcomed. Han Jing and his wife and Mu Jianli and his wife. Mu Qingdong did not come today because he had no time. Yesterday, Yi Xiaotian promised him that he would get him a bottle of SS-level talent spirit liquid, and he was full of energy. His relatives were gone, and he had to work hard to improve his strength. 
After some introductions, both parties sat down again. Yi Xiaotian originally thought that the situation would be awkward for both parties, but the scene he was worried about did not happen. After Han Jing and his wife and Mu Jianli and his wife sat down again, they started chatting enthusiastically. On the contrary, the three juniors were left out. Then Yi Xiaotian received replies from several supreme masters, who told him how to deal with it and assured Yi Xiaotian that they would give him an explanation. Also, Wu Dingxiong was about to cry. He repeatedly emphasized that this matter really had nothing to do with him. It was the bastard under his command who was bribed by Howard with reincarnation points and sold him the information. Finally, he promised Yi Xiaotian that he would investigate this matter thoroughly. He felt that there must be more than one worm in the Awakener Association, such as the person in charge of the hotel. He must find out all the worms in the association. Yi Xiaotian still agreed with this guess. How could it be such a coincidence? So there is only one possibility, that is, Howard and others in the Xia Country Awakener Association, and even other places, bribed more people to provide him with Yi Xiaotian's whereabouts. I don't know whether the person in charge of this hotel is lucky or not. Yi Xiaotian came to his place for dinner. Let Howard and the others have enough time and convenience to come and meet Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian still had no doubts about Wu Dingxiong's words. He also recognized Wu Dingxiong's way of handling things. Wu Dingxiong breathed a sigh of relief after receiving Yi Xiaotian's reply. This level has been passed for the time being, and it depends on what he does next. If he can get Yi Xiaotian's approval in the end, his position should be kept. Otherwise, he can only go with Howard and the others. Chapter 510 The two parents chatted for a long time before they stopped. Han Jing looked at Yi Xiaotian and said, Xiaotian, why did you suddenly come to this hotel? What happened? In fact, they had wanted to ask this question for a long time. It was just that the elders of the two families wanted to chat with each other just now, so it was not easy to ask. Now that both sides are familiar with each other, there is no problem of impoliteness. Yi Xiaotian heard it and did not hide it. He told Han Jing and Mu Jianli about the matter directly. What will happen to them? Han Jing was very curious. Mu Jianli was thoughtful. From here, it can be seen that the gap between the two is still very obvious. Yi Xiaotian shrugged and said, Dismissal, investigation. These four short words made Han Jing and Mu Jianli gasp. Even though Mu Jianli was prepared, he was still scared by these four words. He understood the identities of these people better than Han Jing. They are definitely the top figures standing at the top of the human pyramid of Blue Star. It can be said that except for the Supreme Strong, their power is almost the greatest. They control all kinds of violent organizations and have many experts under their command. Any one of them, if they stamp their feet, may cause a world shock. But these three people were directly dismissed and investigated just because of Yi Xiaotian's words. And the reason was simply because they investigated Yi Xiaotian's whereabouts without authorization. The two fathers-in-law were frightened. They exchanged glances with each other. At the same time, they were thinking, is their attitude toward Yi Xiaotian not very good just now? Should they bend slightly when facing Yi Xiaotian in the future? Looking at the two fathers-in-law with changing faces, Yi Xiaotian wanted to ask them what was wrong. But just when he was about to speak, he suddenly froze. Both of them are fathers-in-law, how should he call them? Just call dad directly. No, if they only call once, they don't know who they are calling. Call two dads. Yi Xiaotian thinks that this address is a bit wrong. Add the surname before the address. This is a way, but who to call first is also a problem. What if the other one feels that he is biased and doesn't respect him? Yi Xiaotian was entangled. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan sat on both sides of Yi Xiaotian. Seeing that Yi Xiaotian's eyes were a little empty, he seemed to be in a dilemma. They didn't care what their father was thinking. The three juniors gathered together and chatted in a low voice. Yi Xiaotian talked about his dilemma. Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan looked at each other. How could he be entangled for so long? Where is the straightforward boy? Don't you, Haotian God, always say whatever you think? 
your character is to be unscrupulous. However, thinking that Yi Xiaotian actually cares so much about their father, the two girls are also sweet in their hearts. Yi Xiaotian cares about them, so he cares about what their elders think. Otherwise, with his Haotian God's character, no matter who you are, he will say whatever he wants. Even Howard and his friends were dismissed and investigated by him with a few words. Even several supreme masters were on equal footing with him and did not dare to treat him as a junior. What else does he have to be afraid of? This is because of love, so there is awe in the heart. Both women felt warm in their hearts. Han Xuyao said, then add the surname in front of the address, call my dad Han dad, call Binyan's dad Mu dad. I always feel a little weird, or call the eldest dad and the second dad. Han Xuyao felt that the address seemed a little strange, so she proposed another one. Then she saw Yi Xiaotian and Mu Binyan looking at her with resentment. Han Xuyao said with embarrassment, Okay, treat me as a joke. Okay, let's do it this way. When the two of you are present together, just add the surname in front of the address. Just use overlapping addresses. It was still Mu Binyan who made the final decision. Dad Han, Mom Han, Dad Mu, Mom Mu, I think it's good. Yi Xiaotian said it again in his mouth and felt quite smooth. At this time, Han Jing and Mu Jianli also came back to their senses. Seeing the three juniors whispering about something, they asked, What are you talking about? We are talking about the issue of address. Han Xuyao said directly. Address? What address? Han Jing became interested. Mu Jianli and the others also became interested. Just when they were bored, the topic was passed on, right? Yi Xiaotian deliberately did not let Han Xuyao and the others answer this embarrassing question. But Han Xuyao was like a child who picked up a favorite toy, and said happily, Dad, Uncle Mu, Brother Tian was just worried about how to address you. Address us? Han Jing was very surprised. Isn't this address good? Yi Xiaotian also has no parents, so calling them mom and dad is also good. Did he develop a new address? Han Xuyao explained, when you and my mom are with Uncle Mu's family, how should he address you so as not to cause misunderstandings among you? After this explanation, Han Jing and Mu Jianli and the others understood. Indeed. If they all call him dad, who will answer? Han Xuyao continued, we just discussed several names. Xu Yao. Yi Xiaotian interrupted Han Xuyao. He was afraid that she would be so happy that she would say all those immature names just now. This is the first time that the parents of both sides meet. Shouldn't they be more solemn? Is it really okay to be so casual? But Han Jing didn't care and said to Han Xuyao, Go ahead, it's okay. Anyway, you are not an outsider. I also want to hear what names you have made up. Speaking of which, Yi Xiaotian only proposed to add the surname before the name, and the others were proposed by Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan. Even if there is a shame, it is the two of them. So Yi Xiaotian didn't care. In front of her family, Han Xuyao has no restraint at all, or she doesn't need to care about her image at all. Let go of her nature and do whatever feels comfortable and happy. After some immature names were said, they immediately attracted strong ridicule from the elders of the two families. The creativity of the names of these two girls is admirable. Especially when the names of Big Dad and Second Dad came out, it was really difficult for them. Yi Xiaotian and Mu Binyan sat quietly, and Han Xuyao didn't seem embarrassed at all, she smiled while talking. Mu Jianli and his wife secretly compared the personalities of Han Xuyao and Mu Binyan. They came to a conclusion that made them worried. Their daughter was too quiet. She had always looked like an iceberg since she was a child. It was fine at home, but now that she was married, it was not so good. How could the husband feel good when she was with such an iceberg face all day long? Over time, there would be a rift between the couple. Chapter 511 Mu Binyan was also very envious of Han Xuyao being able to get along well with the elders. It was just her personality, and there was nothing she could do about it. The two elders were very satisfied with the meal. Seeing the three of them getting along well, they were also relieved. Especially Han Jing and his wife, 
they were afraid that Yi Xiaotian would marry another one and get tired of the old one because of the new one, which would be terrible. Or the new daughter-in-law would come in and bully their daughter. Fortunately, so far, nothing bad has happened to them. The three of them get along very well. Especially Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan, there is no such thing as jealousy. Considering what their daughter told them before, the couple now believes it a little. After all, no matter what, it is unbelievable to take the initiative to help your husband find a wife. Now seeing that the two sisters get along so well, they believe it. In any case, the two families are still quite satisfied. They are also very satisfied with Yi Xiaotian. After dinner, Yi Xiaotian invited the two elders to spend more time in the samsara world, but was rejected. The three young people needed their own space, so they would not disturb them. But before Mu Jianli left, he reminded Yi Xiaotian not to favor one over the other. Since he had already obtained the marriage certificate with Han Xuyao, Mu Bingyan had to catch up. Yi Xiaotian naturally had no objection. For people of their status, getting the marriage certificate was too trivial. In order to avoid unnecessary trouble, the person in charge of this matter could even be brought to the house to handle it. It seemed that there was such a department in the samsara world, otherwise it would be handled here. It was nothing more than spending some samsara points. It was a small thing, Yi Xiaotian could afford it. After the elders of both sides left, Yi Xiaotian told Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan about his idea. The two women naturally had no objection. They also knew that Yi Xiaotian's identity was not convenient for traveling in the real world. This time, what happened to Howard and others gave them a warning. In addition to the enemy forces such as the heretic organizations, they also need to guard against the human forces in the West. So some things that can be done in the reincarnation world should be done here. In the real world, it is better to show up less. Now they live in the Magic City University, and the university's security team is responsible for it. Those who want to contact them, it is not so easy. First, they have to break through the outermost guard force of the school. Then the guard force of the villa area. Then it is Villa No. With these layers of guards, it is difficult for outsiders to get close to Villa No. The Magic City University is responsible for a lot of scientific research projects, and the security force is not comparable to ordinary places. If it is so easy to break through, the scientific research institutions of the Magic City University have been sieved. But hiding in the university all the time is not a solution to the problem. After the team members are promoted to S-level awakeners, they can find a secret place to live in seclusion. At that time, it will be beautiful to break into the Tower of Babel and see the scenery outside. If there were no alien races and sea races, it would be even more beautiful. But speaking of it, the connection between the alien races and the sea races has been going on for so long, why haven't they taken the next step yet? After Amster and Wuchi Xiaoyo came back from the sea race, there has been no news of the next step. If Yi Xiaotian hadn't cast a spirit spell on Wuchi Xiaoyo, he would have almost suspected that Wuchi Xiaoyo, a guy with no bottom line, was thinking of betraying him. As usual, Yi Xiaotian sent him a message, asking him to hurry up and urge Amster to formulate a strategy. Fight or make peace, give an explanation. Isn't this delaying his secret realm? Originally, Yi Xiaotian planned to let his teammates enter the secret realm, and he would go to the Tower of Babel. But for the first time, he still planned to go in together. Let's see how his teammates perform in the S-level secret realm. Although he had entered the S-level secret realm before, he had entered the low-level S-level secret realm before, and most of the beasts in it were below B-level. This time, all the secret realms they entered were S-level or higher. Most of the exotic beasts inside were B-level or above, and there were also many A-level and S-level exotic beasts. In this case, of course he had to go in and take charge, fearing that they would encounter danger. The secret realm was not a copy of the reincarnation world. If you died in it, you would really die. For the first time, he had to go in to escort his teammates. When they came to the civil affairs department, the three of them went in together. In fact, the marriage certificate is really not that important for people of their status. At the beginning, I got the certificate with Han Xuyao just to comfort Han Xuyao. 
However, since Han Xuyao has already got the certificate, Mu Bingyan and her parents have this intention, of course Yi Xiaotian will not refuse. The civil affairs department of the reincarnation world is very idle. After all, it costs points to apply for certificates here. So everyone naturally applies for it in the real world. The reason for opening this department here is nothing more than the requirements from above. Here, it is not certain how many certificates can be processed in a year. The three of them went in. In the hall, there was no one except a staff member. In the wide hall, there was only one person working here. It was a bit of a waste. However, the last thing that was lacking in the reincarnation world was space. I don't know if the will of reincarnation is showing everyone its strength. The board staff inside were overjoyed and they saw someone finally come in. If this job didn't pay, he would never come here to work. It's really boring. In the real world, he can do other things when he's bored, but here, he's alone and can't do anything. He can't even find someone to chat with. He can only spend eight hours here alone. If it weren't for the bright light here, such a large hall would be terrifying. Hello, are you here to apply for a permit? The staff said with surprise. After working here for a few months, I finally got something to do. Aren't you talking nonsense? If I don't apply for a permit, what am I doing here? Han Xuyao said casually, and then asked, Are you the only one here? The staff said unhappily, I'm redundant. What do you mean, is business bad? Han Xuyao asked. The staff was speechless. Beauty, this is an official institution, not a store. Everyone gets their certificates in real life, so it's a waste to come here. I don't know why the higher authorities want to open this official department here. The staff member explained casually. Han Xuyao immediately understood. Yes, in the reincarnation era, many couples don't even get their certificates. Getting a certificate is also done in the real world. It's really a waste to open such an institution here. After all, the store rent and the staff's salary are also a considerable expense in a year. Okay, give me the information and I'll help you get your certificates. Fortunately, the staff member did not forget his duties and said to Yi Xiaotian and the other two. Chapter 512 When the staff knew that the person applying for the certificate was Yi Xiaotian, the great god of Haotian, their jaw almost hit the ground. After all, when applying for a certificate online, you need to show your reincarnation ID. The reincarnation ID is unique. Therefore, no one would dare to impersonate the great god Haotian. If it is true or false, you will know it by showing the ID. This staff member did not expect that he would sit here for several months without completing a single order. The only order was for Great God Haotian. It's really surprising. He decided that this job must be continued. Maybe even just one can apply for a certificate for some big shot. Yes, the boss doesn't care about these points. All they care about is trouble. How easy it is to apply online. Without leaving home, even if the two parties are far apart, things can be done on the spot. It's so convenient, business shouldn't be so bad. Pooh. They were all led away by beautiful women. This is an official organization, not a business. Is it because there is not enough publicity? The staff was very quick and helped Yi Xiaotian and the others get their certificates. Two marriage certificates, with photos of Yi Xiaotian and Mu Bingyan and official stamps on them. As long as you spend two reincarnation points, you can materialize these two certificates into reality. Two reincarnation points are too cheap. But for others, walking a few steps can save these two reincarnation points, so why not? There is a wise saying among the group of awakened people. Things that can be done with money will definitely not cost reincarnation points. For the awakened, money in reality is much easier to earn than reincarnation points. If reincarnation points can be bought and sold, even if you spend 10, 0, 0 yuan to buy a few points, there will be a lot of people willing to buy them. Yi Xiaotian and the others came out after finishing their work. Where to go next? Han Xuyao asked. Yi Xiaotian can put it into the reincarnation space after getting the certificate. But Mu Bingyan was different. 
After all, this was her first time getting a certificate, so it was a bit novel and she read it again and again. Han Xuya reminded, Bing Yen, don't look at it. Give your ID to Brother Tian and ask him to help you take it out. You can save whatever you can. Yi Xiao Tian opened his mouth, he really could save a little. Mu Bing Yen didn't listen to Han Xuyao and directly put the certificate into her reincarnation space. This is her marriage certificate, of course she has to bring it with her. She doesn't care about a few reincarnation points. She is now Yi Xiaotian's legal wife, and many things are not important anymore. My mentality has changed, and many of my thoughts have naturally changed. Han Xuyao didn't say much, but continued to ask. Should we go offline now or should we continue to hang out here? Yi Xiaotian suggested, I heard that there are many places here specifically for awakened people to play, how about we go and have a look? He was really afraid of going shopping. He might as well visit the various sites in the world of reincarnation. I have to admit that the scenery in this reincarnation world is much more beautiful than that in the real world. What kind of wonderland is not here? Then let's go to Fatian Waterfall. It is said that it is at the top of the world's travel list. Han Xuyao said immediately. The Fatian Waterfall is a wonder that can only be found in the world of reincarnation. In the real world, general scenery will be exaggerated when promoted. But the Fatian Waterfall is no exaggeration at all. If you say flying, fly to the sky. The big waterfall seemed to fall from the sky. Even an upright otaku like Yi Xiao Tian has heard of the famous Fatian Waterfall. I have always wanted to find a chance to visit. I just never found the opportunity. In other words, when I have time, I don't think about it, and when I think about it, I don't have time. I just happen to have time today, and I happen to remember it. A group of three people teleported directly to Fatian Waterfall. Flying down 3,000 feet, it seems like the Milky Way has fallen into the sky. It's really spectacular. This is the good thing about the world of reincarnation. As long as you have reincarnation points, you only need a thought to decide where you want to go. It's the same as the legendary magical power of space teleportation. And there is no feeling of discomfort. Of course, currently there is no option in the mass teleportation service to go to reincarnation worlds of other races. So Yi Xiao Tian was also curious about how that guy Amster managed to shuttle between the human race, the sea race and the alien world of reincarnation. The moment he saw the Fatian waterfall, this poem appeared directly in Yi Xiao Tian's mind, and then he recited it. Brother Tian, I didn't expect that you can actually compose poetry. Han Xuyao was surprised to hear Yi Xiao Tian reciting poetry. Although Yi Xiao Tian's cultural achievements were very good in the past, when it came to poetry writing, he had never heard of it. Yi Xiao Tian was stunned for a moment. Isn't there this poem here? Or is it because the arrival of the Tower of Reincarnation caused a cultural gap? But it seems unlikely. That is this parallel world, and this poem really never appeared. In other words, many poems on earth do not exist here. Yi Xiao Tian was a little hesitant. Poetry was not what he was good at. I only remember some very famous poems in my mind. It's definitely not possible to be a copycat. So he said very simply, I just saw this Fatian waterfall, and these two sentences came to my mind. Han Xuyao looked at him seriously for a while, and confirmed that he was not lying, so he did not ask any more questions. The so-called flash of inspiration, probably this is the case. The long mountain range was cut off by the waterfall, and behind the waterfall was a peak that went straight into the clouds. Such a wonder, I'm afraid only the reincarnation world can see it. Yi Xiao Tian sighed. Han Xuyao also said, yes, at this height, there is probably no such high mountain in the real world. With Yi Xiao Tian's eyesight, he couldn't see the end of the waterfall. It is almost certain that there is no such high mountain in the real world. Even the highest peak in the world is not so high. With Yi Xiaotian's current eyesight, even the highest peak in the world can see the top. Under the waterfall, there is a deep pool. Do you want to go down and take a look? Yi Xiaotian asked. At this time, not many people come here to play. After all, not everyone has time to play. This deep pool is definitely very deep, 
judging from the color of the water. But they have all been in the sea, so this deep pool is naturally no problem. Even if there are any special creatures in this deep pool, they are not afraid. They just want to see how deep the water can be when it falls from such a high place. Boy, stop bragging. You dare to go into this deep pool. Be careful not to blow your own trumpet. Just after Yi Xiao Tian finished speaking, a mocking voice said beside him. Yi Xiao Tian looked over and saw a young man in his twenties walking over. He said very gentlemanly, Hello, two beauties, my name is Ma Wenzhong, and I am very happy to meet you. Chapter 513 We don't want to know you. Han Xuyao's blunt tone hurt people's self-esteem. So Ma Wenzhong's face immediately turned red. It's so disrespectful. Even if you say it tactfully, that's fine. You say this, do I, Ma Wenzhong, have no face? So many people are watching. Ma Wenzhong said that he was handsome, from a high background, had good awakening talent, and was one of the best among his peers in terms of strength. In the past history of picking up girls, it cannot be said that everything goes smoothly. But this is the first time that I feel so depressed like today. His expression changed for a long time before he returned to normal. No matter what, beauties have privileges. He didn't believe that with Ma Wenzhong's skills in picking up girls, he would still fail. It's just that the two sides haven't established enough understanding yet. As long as the beautiful woman understands his true situation, she will definitely fall in love with him. He shrugged, still with a hushy smile on his face, and said, Beautiful women always have the privilege of being willful. It doesn't matter. The two beauties don't want to know me. I just want to know the two beauties. I haven't asked yet, what is this brother's name? Ma Wenzhong aimed at Yi Xiao Tian. Beautiful women have the privilege of being willful, but men do not. Yi Xiao Tian was standing next to two beauties, which made him very unhappy. After all, the women around him are not as beautiful as Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan. There are men in this world who are luckier than him but they are definitely not the guy in front of him who is dressed very ordinary. In his opinion, apart from being more handsome than him, Yi Xiao Tian was good for nothing. Yi Xiao Tian is an honest person, so he replied, My name is Yi Xiao Tian. Yi Xiao Tian? Oh, it sounds familiar. It's a good name. Ma Wenzhong didn't think much about it. In fact, in his heart, the name Yi Xiao Tian is really too ordinary. But of course you can't say that in front of a beautiful woman. As an experienced technical master in picking up girls, he knows very well what kind of words to say to gain a woman's favor. When they come together, they are at least friends. It is a bad idea to belittle the other person's friends without the slightest reason. You know the truth. Han Xuyao said. Ma Wenzhong was overjoyed. Sure enough, his experience was right. If it were someone else, if he casually belittled Yi Xiaotian's name, it would definitely increase the beauty's dislike. From here you can see how important experience is. Ma Wenzhong felt more confident. Thank you for the compliment, beauty. Ma Wenzhong said with a smile. Han Xuyao was speechless and said, Am I complimenting you? You are really interesting. I have never seen you scolding me like this. Although he was scolded, Ma Wenzhong felt even happier. I am indeed a genius, who else could I be the number one in the world of picking up girls? No matter what the beauty says, I will take it as a compliment. By the way, is this your first time to the Feitian Falls? Ma Wenzhong wisely changed the subject. When chatting with beautiful women, if there is no topic, you must create a topic, and it is a topic that the other party is interested in. What do you mean it's your first time here? What do you mean if it's not your first time here? Han Xuyao also wanted to see how Ma Wenzhong would behave when he knew their identities. Yi Xiaotian and Mu Bingyan both rolled their eyes silently, and then mentally mourned for Ma Wenzhong for three seconds. When Han Xuyao is bored, teasing people is one of her ways to pass the time. Experienced the majesty of Feitian Waterfall. But it's enough to take a look at such a wonderful sight. However, Ma Wenzhong suddenly popped out, making her feel like she had found a toy. Ma Wenzhong didn't notice the joking look on Han Xuyao's face at all, and continued, If this is your first time here, then I can be your guide. 
If this is not your first time here, I can accompany you to play and then have dinner together. Master Ma, what about us? The two female companions beside Ma Wenzhong were a little annoyed, and they looked at Han Shuyao a little unkindly. Before Han Shuyao and Mu Bingyan appeared, Ma Wenzhong was very enthusiastic towards them. But after the two of them appeared, Ma Wenzhong showed his enthusiasm to them. Instead, he didn't even look at the female companion beside him. Oh, you can go. I have accompanied you to see the Feitian Falls. Ma Wenzhong said in a gentle tone, but his eyes when he looked at the two female companions were very sharp. There is also a strong sense of warning. The two female companions received the warning from Ma Wenzhong's eyes and were very unconvinced, but they did not dare to resist. They can't afford to offend Ma Wenzhong. But Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan have become a thorn in their side. Feeling the murderous eyes of Ma Wenzhong's two female companions, Han Xuyao didn't care at all. This level of murderous intent is not enough to tickle them. If she hadn't thought about walking Ma Wenzhong for a while, she would have driven away these unsightly guys. She wanted to see what Ma Wenzhong would look like when he found out that he was teasing God Haotian's woman. That will be great. But she didn't want to talk too much with Ma Wenzhong, but said directly, Mr. Ma, do you want to pick up the two of us? Ma Wenzhong's eyes widened. This woman is so direct. I like. How can you be attracted to a beautiful woman? It's pursuit, pursuit. As the saying goes, a gentleman loves a beautiful lady, this is human nature. Ma Wenzhong did not find any loopholes in Han Xuyao's words. But we already have a boyfriend, this is our boyfriend, what should we do? Han Xuyao continued to tease him. Ma Wenzhong's envy of Yi Xiaotian reached its peak, and the expression on his face was out of control. But as an experienced old Ma, of course he could restore his expression in the shortest time. A smile appeared on Ma Wenzhong's face again, what does it matter? Not to mention just a boyfriend, even if it is a husband, if there is no love, you can divorce. This bastard can actually have two peerless beauties, which is simply unreasonable. Although he, young master Ma, has seen countless women, he has not had any of this high quality, which is simply unreasonable. So it doesn't matter even if it is second-hand goods, the worst case is to play with it for a while and then dump it. But we are really married, and we love each other very much, what should we do? Han Xuyao said with a depressed face. After that, he asked Yi Xiaotian for a marriage certificate. Yi Xiaotian was speechless. Play is play, but don't play too hard. However, in order to let his beloved wife have fun, he still took out the marriage certificates, and two of them. Han Xuyao took the two marriage certificates and showed them to Ma Wenzhong. Master Ma, look, we are really married, what should we do? Han Xuyao's expression and tone were full of ridicule. Ma Wenzhong finally realized that he was fooled by this woman. Chapter 514 Are you kidding me? Ma Wenzhong came to his senses. The woman in front of him was just kidding him. First they were boyfriend and girlfriend, then the marriage certificate. Do you think this is walking the dog? Han Xuyao didn't hide it at all and said directly, Yes, I am kidding you. Ma Wenzhong felt a surge of anger in his chest, and he wanted to kill someone. If eyes could kill, Yi Xiaotian and the other two would have been torn into pieces. Han Xuyao shrank to Yi Xiaotian's side, hugged his arm tightly, and said, Husband, I'm scared. Yi Xiaotian was very upset. Why didn't I realize that your acting skills are so good before? Get lost. Mu Binyan was much more direct. She said this sentence from beginning to end. But this sentence is very lethal. Ma Wenzhong laughed angrily, pointing at the three people in front of him, and said angrily, Good, it's really great, you three have successfully angered me. Since my debut, no one has ever dared to play tricks on me like this. I will let you know what the price of offending me, Ma Wenzhong, is. Han Xuyao showed his head from Yi Xiaotian's arms again and said, Ah, what price, can you tell me? Poof! Ma Wenzhong vomited blood. This is not very hurtful, but it is extremely insulting. Even if Ma Wenzhong is experienced, he can't stand it. I have already said that you will pay a heavy price, and you actually asked me what the price is with an innocent face. 
Do you have to tell me that you want you to die? What if I don't do it? I don't even know who you are or where you live. This is the reincarnation world, not the real world. Even if he kills the three people in front of him here, it will only prevent them from entering the reincarnation world for a week. It has no effect on them in reality. So if you want to really kill these people in front of you, you have to figure out their identities in reality. Who are you? Tell me who you are, and I will tell you what price you will pay. Ma Wenzhong almost gritted his teeth to finish this sentence. Han Xuyao said very honestly, My husband's name is Yi Xiaotian. I have just told you that I am his first wife, Han Xuyao. This is his second wife, Mu Bingyan. By the way, do you want our reincarnation ID? Han Xuyao's innocent little eyes almost made Ma Wenzhong vomit blood twice. Tell me, what is your reincarnation ID? Ma Wenzhong felt that there was something wrong. But he couldn't think of what was wrong. I just felt that Han Xuyao dared to play him like this, either she had something to rely on, or she was a fool. But it was obvious that none of the three people in front of him were fools. My husband's reincarnation ID is Haotian, my ID is Xuyao, and her ID is Bingbing. Is there anything else you want to know? Han Xuyao continued to ask. Yi Xiaotian couldn't stand it any longer. Killing people is not the right way to go. Isn't it not good to play tricks on others? This damages the reputation of my great god Haotian. But why do I feel so interesting in my heart? Is there a hobby of playing tricks on others in my genes? No. It must have been infected by Xu Yao. Sure enough, the closer you are to the red, the redder you are. Do you want my husband to show you his ID? Han Xu Yao continued to ask. Ma Wenzhong was about to collapse. He just heard that the three reincarnation IDs Han Xu Yao mentioned were very familiar. After all, how could they not be familiar to those who often followed Yi Xiaotian to the world announcement? It's just that he has never seen the owners of these IDs in person. For people like Ma Wenzhong who come from aristocratic families, the most important thing is to know who can be provoked and who can't be provoked. People like those from the Haotian team are absolutely not to be provoked. So the reincarnation IDs of the members of the Haotian team are very clear. After understanding who the three people in front of him were, Ma Wenzhong no longer had any thoughts of revenge. He just wanted to leave immediately and not let Yi Xiaotian know who he was. The record of the great god Haotian Yi Xiaotian was really too terrifying. Not to mention the alien races, even the Awakener Association of Ghost Island, the Awakener Association of the United States, etc. were all dealt with by him. The Awakener Association of Ghost Island was the worst. From the general president to the ten vice presidents, they knelt down and begged for mercy in front of the Awakeners all over the world. Even the Awakener Association of a country was like this. Even if the Ma family had some power, what would it count for in front of Yi Xiaotian? Hearing Han Xuyao's questioning, Ma Wenzhong said nothing and turned around and ran. Hey, why are you running? We didn't do anything to you. Han Xuyao saw that the other party turned around and ran, and didn't even say a harsh word. It was a bit out of line with the plot. Then I saw that Ma Wenzhong's figure disappeared. This guy was so scared that he went offline directly. Ha ha ha. Seeing this scene, Han Xuyao burst into laughter. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, we've had enough fun and we've been scared enough. Are you happy now? Han Xuyao said, Of course, it's been a long time since I've encountered such a fun thing. I think we really should go out more often, don't stay in school all the time, we're getting old. Yi Xiaotian thought about it and it was true. It seemed that they hadn't gone out to play much since they awakened their talents. They went out to hunt strange beasts. After all, they were all young people. Yi Xiaotian began to reflect on whether he had done something wrong. He has lived two lives, so he can keep his composure. But his teammates are all students in their teens and twenties. At this age, they are the most active. In the whole team, Mu Bingyan is probably the only one who doesn't want to go out to play. I also think we should go out more. Mu Bingyan said so. Yi Xiaotian. Is it intentional? Even people with Mu Bingyan's personality think that they should go out more. Yi Xiaotian said, 
Then how about pushing the time to enter the Awakening Secret Realm to a later time, and go out of the city to play for a few days first? Han Xuyao shook her head and said, that's not necessary, anyway, there are many fun places in the Secret Realm. Yi Xiao Tian thought so too, the Awakening Secret Realm is somewhat similar to the situation in the Wilderness of Blue Star. In fact, because the Awakening Secret Realm has not been damaged too much, the original scenery in the Secret Realm is much better than outside the City of Blue Star. Yi Xiao Tian felt a little guilty. After the trip to the Secret Realm, he must spend more time with the two girls. It has been nearly two years since we came here. Most of the time was spent in killing. Needless to say, Mu Bingyan was only together when they were in a team. And Han Xuyao, on the contrary, spent the most time together before awakening her talent. But that was just in the same classroom. The time they spent alone together, now thinking about it, was also very little. Yi Xiaotian felt that he had embarrassed the time travelers. But he really hadn't awakened the skill of romance. Chapter 515 Big news, I heard that the great elders of the beautiful alliance, Polar Bear Alliance and Yama Alliance have all been replaced. Big news began to appear on the public channel of Samsara World. What's weird about this? It's time to change these positions. They've been sitting there for so many years. Someone replied nonchalantly. The people upstairs haven't woken up yet. Isn't this strange enough? The great elders of the three major alliances are changing at the same time. How can it be such a coincidence? There were also people who clearly saw something was wrong. That's true. Could it be that these three are getting older, so they agreed to resign together? Someone speculated. Everyone doesn't need to guess. The official websites of the three major alliances have just announced that these three guys have been dismissed from their posts for investigation and investigation. A well-informed person has already opened the line between heaven and earth and knows the news from abroad. Hurry up come and let the general public know about this. Is it true or false, so exciting? It must be a rumor. How could something like this happen? Some people didn't believe it and thought it must be a rumor. Those are the three major alliances, plus the Yen Huang alliance, there are four major alliances above Blue Star. The great elders of the three major alliances were all replaced at once. Is this crazy? Or are the great elders of the three major alliances collectively going crazy and looking for trouble with the supreme powerhouse? I have to say that the wisdom of the crowd is terrible. As he said this, he had already guessed everything. When Yi Xiao Tian knew the news, he just glanced at it casually, and then stopped paying attention. These guys, if you don't teach them a profound lesson, they won't remember it. In this comparison, Toothless Xiaoyou is better. Although the character is not sure. At least he can be an obedient dog. Speaking of which, Toothless Xiaoyou is not very impressive either. There is no movement from the alien race, why don't you urge me harder? Fortunately, Yi Xiaotian also understood him and knew that the foreign tribe was still resolving internal disputes. The couple took advantage of this free time to play in various ways in the world of reincarnation. With no shortage of money, various tourist attractions can be reached with just a thought. In one day's work, we have almost gone. The main thing is that they didn't look too carefully, they were just looking at things. Brother Tian, where do you think this world of reincarnation comes from? Han Xuyao asked. Yi Xiao Tian shook his head and said, I don't know. Han Xuyao said, Yeah, I don't know, no one knows. We used to live a good life, but suddenly, this tower of reincarnation fell on our land. Since then, endless killings have come. Sometimes I wonder, where did this tower of reincarnation come from? How did it land on our planet? What is its purpose? Yi Xiaotian squeezed Han Xuyao's little hand and signaled her to stop talking nonsense. This is the world of reincarnation, the place of reincarnation will. Talking nonsense here may cause big trouble. How about we log off first? It's time to go back and rest. Yi Xiaotian suggested. Some things are better returned to the real world to discuss. Although he doesn't know if the will of reincarnation really can't hear these things in the real world. But it's safer than here. 
neither Han Xuyao nor Mu Bingyan refused. The three of them returned to Samsara Square and logged off together. Reappeared in the villa. Yi Xiaotian also felt a little disappointed. The world of reincarnation is full of picturesque scenery. But what about the real world? Too many places were beaten to pieces. The battle between the awakened ones is more destructive than in the era of thermal weapons. High-level awakened people can destroy mountains and rivers with just a few gestures. In the past few decades, such wars often occurred. There are countless people who have destroyed entire cities into ruins with the claws of powerful alien beast awakeners. It is only in the past twenty years that things have become more peaceful. If there was fighting, it was on a small scale. Let the Blue Star human race live a relatively stable life for another twenty years. The population of the human race increased sharply for two more waves. It can be said that some energy has been restored. It was at this time that everyone had time to guess where the Samsara Tower came from. Han Xuyao called everyone over to guess this question together. She has such a character. Once she becomes interested in something, she has to solve it on the spot. Otherwise, you won't be able to sleep peacefully. Regardless of whether the discussion can come to a conclusion in the end, it's still the same. After everyone listened to Han Xuyao's question, no one showed surprise. It seems that they have also thought about this problem. It seems that everyone has considered this issue, so have you come to any conclusion? Han Xuyao asked aloud. Huang Jia was the first to say, Sister-in-law, it's not that we have all considered this issue, but the higher-ups of the human race have already started studying this matter. Unfortunately, we still don't have any clue. Yes, I don't have the slightest clue how the reincarnation tower came about and where it came from. Peng Xiangyu also said. Xiao Qing also said, that's right, it just appeared out of thin air without any thoughts, without any signs, without any warnings. Yi Xiaotian said, did it fall from the sky or appear out of thin air? Xiao Qing thought for a moment and then said, is there any difference between this question? No. Yi Xiaotian asked. It seems that there is no difference, but it also seems that there is a difference. But what does this have to do with the issue they are discussing? Everyone was puzzled. Yi Xiaotian himself also reacted. It is indeed meaningless to dwell on these small issues. So he used his imagination to divert everyone's attention and said, Is there such a possibility that there are gods in this world, but they have not appeared in the world before? Why does he want to appear in the world now? The history of Xiaogua in Lanqing alone has been more than five, zero zero years. Gods did not appear in the world earlier or later, but at this time. Yi Xiaotian held his chin and said, He may have seen that humans have messed up the world he created, so he planned to give humans a warning. This guess is very novel. Everyone was confused for a while, and wanted to refute it, but they didn't know where to start. This is the way things are, bold assumptions, careful verification. In the past, people have put forward more outrageous guesses than this. Thinking about it this way, it doesn't seem too outrageous. In fact, Yi Xiaotian can have a bigger imagination. In my previous life, I had read so many online novels with all kinds of imaginative settings. No one can be sure that the operating mode of this world cannot be applied to one setting. But Yi Xiaotian has no idea now. Forget it, you guys continue to study this problem, I'm going to go to the Tower of Babel first. Yi Xiaotian didn't force it. If he could think of it, it would be fine. If he couldn't think of it, it didn't matter. He felt that as long as his strength was strong enough, the secrets of the world would no longer be secrets in front of him. Chapter 516 He had a hunch that maybe he would know more after he was promoted to the Supreme Strongman. Generally speaking, the origin of the strong is the secret of the world. Since wisdom can't solve it, then rely on strength. Everyone was very surprised. Brother Tian was stimulated. Why did he want to break into the Tong Tian Tower again when everything was fine? They all looked at Han Xuyao and Mu Bingyan. The two women shook their heads, saying that they didn't know much. Maybe he received some news again. You know, the alien races are starting to unite with the sea race to make trouble. Brother Tian is still short of some reincarnation points, maybe it's this matter. 
Han Shuyao guessed. Everyone nodded and agreed. Sister-in-law, why don't you let Brother Tian go with you to the Awakening Secret Realm this time? Let him concentrate on breaking into the Tong Tian Tower, so as not to waste his time. Sun Yao suddenly suggested. Han Shuyao nodded and said, this is a good suggestion. I'll talk to him when he comes back. Because Yi Xiao Tian suddenly started to break into the Tower of Babel again, and Han Shuyao's speculation made everyone nervous. They knew that the aliens and the sea tribe started to make trouble again. But at that time, didn't they say that they had no clue? After all, it is not possible to solve the internal affairs of the aliens in a short period of time. If it were so easy, it would have been solved long ago. But now Yi Xiaotian's sudden change has made them feel urgent, as if danger is approaching. Otherwise, let's go to brush the dungeon. It's better than sitting here. Any money we can make is a little bit. Lu Yun said. She was the last one to join this team and the poorest one among them. She felt a little sorry for letting her sit here and waste time. There was no such good life before. Now it's happy enough. We can't be complacent or sink. When everyone heard it, they immediately stood up and expressed their support for Lu Yun's proposal with actions. Even a powerful person like Brother Lian Tian worked so hard, so what right did they have not to work hard? So the members of Team Houtian started working hard again. As soon as they entered the Samsara Square, they were recognized by someone. Look, it's the people from the Houtian team. Hey, why are there only nine people? Isn't there ten people in the Houtian team? Your information is too outdated. There was news on the public channel just now. Houtian God has started to break into the Tower of Babel again. He is really too hardworking. Yes, Houtian God is talented, strong, and so hardworking. This is not giving us a way to live. The person above is idiot. Houtian God has clearly pointed out a smooth road for us. Work hard, work hard, and work hard. That's right. Houtian God can achieve what he has today. It is definitely not just talent, but also unremitting efforts. My second uncle's neighbor's aunt's husband's son's brother-in-law is studying at the Magic City University. As far as they know, in the past two years, almost no one from the Houtian team has been in school, but hunting monsters outside. All members of the Houtian team have SS-level talents and are so hardworking. What reason do we have to be lazy here? For a time, a wave of hard work blew across the country of Xiao. Even the Xia Country Awakener Association took the opportunity to launch a slogan. Why can Houtian achieve what he has today? Hard work, hard work, and damn hard work. In two years, Houtian and his Houtian team had less than a month of rest time. With such a hard working level, you ask who else? The Xia Country Awakener Association called on everyone to learn from Houtian. Yi Xiaotian in the Tower of Babel naturally didn't pay attention to these. At this moment, he was chatting with Wu Qi Xia Lu. Because of Yi Xiaotian's instructions, Wu Qi Xia Lu put pressure on Amster again. Using the excuse of being under great pressure, he urged Amster to confirm with the aliens as soon as possible when they could take action. As a result, Amster's reply was that the time was almost up. What does this mean? Is the internal chaos of the aliens going to end? Or is it that because of his appearance, the 10,000 races within the aliens felt pressure? As we all know, external pressure can make the inside solid. It is said that because of Yi Xiaotian, the alien races also felt great pressure, and began to put aside their prejudices and unite. This is not impossible. After all, Yi Xiaotian's record is there. Invincible in the same realm, and ignoring the number, this is the most terrifying. Once Yi Xiaotian is promoted to the Supreme Strongman Realm, Yi Xiaotian will be truly invincible under the reincarnation starry sky. At that time, the alien race will not be able to expand, and it is unknown whether it can defend its own territory. As Amster continued to pass the latest news about Yi Xiaotian to the alien race, the alien race finally began to be unable to bear it. There is only one reason. That is, it is rumored that Yi Xiaotian has saved enough reincarnation points to be promoted to the Supreme Strongman. And the speculation of the alien race is that even if it is not enough, it is estimated that it will be soon. 
When Yi Xiaotian earns enough reincarnation points, the alien race can only defend. The alien race has already experienced Yi Xiaotian's terrifying lethality when they were on the alien battlefield. No race will doubt this. So under such pressure, they began to put aside their previous prejudices and cooperate temporarily, which was normal. After all, the internal fighting of the alien race is fighting, but the alien race should not face the disaster of extinction because of their fighting. In other words, even if they fight to the death, they should not let outsiders get away with it. The alien race is too chaotic. In the final analysis, there are too many races. In the lion race alone, there are dozens or hundreds of offspring born from mixed blood. This kind of race is called a mixed race in the alien race. Moreover, the alien race has a bad temper and will fight at the slightest disagreement. Over the years, I don't know how many grievances have accumulated between the various races. Even the hundreds of mixed races in the lion race are constantly in conflict. This kind of conflict. Even the great elder of the lion race cannot suppress it. Add to that the little calculations in their hearts, it is even more difficult. But now it is different. Yi Xiaotian's existence threatens their survival. So they have to unite. Master, Amster said that the alien race has reached a preliminary agreement, with the big race as the center, and all the mixed races are temporarily under the leadership of the big race. The three upper races have already made it known that whoever dares to disobey the order and jump out at this time will unite to destroy him first. So now the integration of the alien race is progressing very quickly. According to Amster's speculation, it will be completed within half a month to a month. Once the alien race completes the integration, it will take action immediately. They don't want to give you more time. Chapter, 517 After receiving the news from Wu Qi Xiaoyu, Yi Xiaotian couldn't sit still. He still needed some reincarnation points to ascend to the supreme level, so he had to work harder. And he also passed this news to Zhuang Bufan. As for the rest, he didn't have to worry about it, Zhuang Bufan and the others would naturally arrange it. His mission was to ensure that he was promoted to the supreme level before the two races went to war. Now that it has been confirmed that the race war is not far away, Yi Xiaotian no longer needs to keep the reincarnation points. All the reincarnation points were exchanged for attribute points. But Yi Xiaotian was a little entangled about what to do next. In the past, his four attributes always rose together, so he didn't have to worry about this problem at all. But now, his reincarnation points are not enough for one attribute. He can have two main attributes, strength and spirit. Strength is naturally invincible in close combat. And spirit is long-range attack. He is considering whether to point to strength attribute or spirit attribute. The best choice is of course to choose both attributes at the same time. In this way, whether it is close combat or long-range attack, it depends on the enemy. But now, he can only choose spirit. He prefers strength. But in order to better exert the power of his innate skill nightmare, he can only choose spirit. He knows very well that in the next war, his greatest role is to transform into thousands of people. Those who are not of my race must have different hearts. The ancients did not lie to me. Then the whole reincarnation world was filled with Yi Xiaotian's world notice. Everyone was confused. What's going on? There was only one notice every other day before, and now it started to be sent out again. Hao Tian, what's going on? Did he really fall asleep in the Tower of Babel the last time he broke into it? Yi Xiaotian exchanged all his reincarnation points for attribute points, and then put them all into the spirit attribute. For a time, the spirit attribute skyrocketed. Fortunately, his four attributes have already exceeded the 20 million mark. As long as he is not promoted to SS level, there is no other restriction on the attribute points. However, if you want to break through the SS level awakener level, you can't cheat. The other three attributes must also reach 80 million. This is also the reason why the supreme masters of each race have reached three digits, but there is no SS level supreme master. And don't even think about it without one or two hundred years, unless there is a special adventure. For example, the will of reincarnation suddenly takes you as his own son, and then grants you countless reincarnation points or attribute points. 
but the probability of this happening is almost zero. Yi Xiao Tian is almost about to max out his spiritual attributes, so his combat power is naturally skyrocketing. Especially the talent skills of the supernatural system, such as the skill nightmare, the individual combat power is directly maxed out. After the nightmare, talent is strengthened to SS level, the combat power of the clone is equal to that of the original body. Now Yi Xiaotian's original attribute points are catching up with the supreme power, and the clone is naturally the same. As for the second soul, the attributes are halved. At that time, the main body will face the supreme strongman, and the second soul will face the SS level alien awakener. Perfect. Isn't there a tacit understanding that the supreme strongman cannot attack the awakener below the SS level? My second soul is only an SS level awakener, nothing wrong with it. Now, Yi Xiaotian can easily break through the Babel Tower. Once he enters, he silently recites to start the level, then waves the staff in his hand and waits for the reward. As everyone began to work hard, a tense atmosphere quietly spread. No one spread it, but this atmosphere spread spontaneously. It seems that everyone has a premonition in their hearts that the war concerning the fate of the race seems to be about to begin. Zhuang Bufan did not spread the news, but only passed the news to a few old friends so that they could also be mentally prepared. This kind of news must not be leaked. Otherwise, if the aliens know about it, who knows what trouble will arise. Now, the news is still under their control. The aliens don't know yet, this is the best state. Of course, what makes them most relieved? It's still Yi Xiaotian's efficiency. It's only been half a day, and this little guy has really been promoted to the supreme power realm like them. Yi Xiaotian frantically brushed the reincarnation points in the Tongtian Tower, and then directly exchanged them for attribute points and added them to the spiritual attribute. After half a day of hard work fighting, he finally brushed enough reincarnation points and raised the spiritual attribute to just under 100 million. This point is the gap between the supreme power and the dominant power. But in order to point this point, the other three attributes must also be raised to 80 million. Putting aside the existing ones, there is still a shortfall of nearly 180 million attribute points. So terrifying. Even Yi Xiaotian sucked in a breath of cold air. He didn't know how many floors the Tong Tian Tower had, and he didn't know how many floors he could reach with his current strength. But if all the 180 million attribute points were exchanged with reincarnation points, he calculated that the required reincarnation points were 50 billion or more. And now he can get a little over 100 million points by clearing one floor of Babel Tower. According to this calculation, he still has to clear several hundred floors of Babel Tower. He thinks that regardless of how many floors Babel Tower has, his strength is probably not good enough. As his strength increased, the strength of the monsters in the Tower of Babel also increased, and their number soared. As the saying goes, ants can kill elephants. There is also the saying that a boat capsizes in a gutter. Yi Xiaotian dared not say that he would definitely win. After all, the will of reincarnation was not his biological father, so how could it be so easy for him? After his strength increased to the supreme power realm, Yi Xiaotian broke through two more floors of the Tower of Babel, and he could clearly feel the effort. Not to mention the strength of the alien beasts, the number alone was several times that of the SS level awakener. Even if he had the nightmare, skill, he was not a perpetual motion machine. He would get tired, and his mental strength would be exhausted. It was impossible to fight forever without getting tired. So failure was also foreseeable. So he wisely chose to temporarily withdraw from the Tower of Babel, and he would not enter the Tower of Babel again before the alien race launched a war. He needed to adjust his state to the best. When leaving the Tower of Babel, Yi Xiaotian concealed his whereabouts, sent a message to Zhuang Bufan to reassure them, and then went offline. Only then did he know that his teammates had gone to brush the reincarnation dungeon. He hurriedly went online again, and before he could send a message to Han Xuyao and the others, he received another message from Zhuang Bufan. He said that he and several other old friends were waiting for him online. He hurried to Zhuang Bufan's place, and sure enough, several supreme masters were there. When they saw Yi Xiaotian coming, they all stood up to greet him. It was much better than the treatment last time. 
Chapter, 518 Of course, what they care about most is the news about the alien race. Brother Xiaotian, you said that the conflicts within the alien race are about to subside, is it true? Afar was the first to ask. Afar, don't worry, let Brother Xiaotian sit down and have a sip of tea first. Zhuang Bufan reminded. Yi Xiaotian was no longer anxious. He sat next to Zhuang Bufan, poured himself a cup of tea, took a sip, and then said leisurely, Senior Afar, this is the news I got. I think it should be true. Toothless Xia Lu didn't dare to hide it from him. If he hadn't revealed the secret, Amster wouldn't have concealed it from him. After all, when Amster was still thinking about causing trouble, Toothless Xia Lu led the awakened people of Onigashima country to help him. In order to increase his voice among foreigners, Amster also worked hard. So the news just spread. What's the situation over there with the Si clan? Zhuang Bufan didn't dwell on this issue. Anyway, they already had Yi Xiaotian. It doesn't matter whether the aliens come or not, there is no problem. However, questions like whether the Si clan will participate in this kind of thing need to be clarified. After all, from now on, they will discuss countermeasures. When the aliens launch a war, they must deploy defenses as soon as possible. This must be discussed in advance, and then the people below can just implement it as planned. The biggest advantage of the human race is here. It can carry out the tasks assigned above to the letter. Yi Xiaotian said, the situation on the Si clan side is like this. If the foreign tribe doesn't move, they won't move. If the foreign tribe moves, they will do the same. These Si tribesmen are really cunning. Afar said with emotion. Thunder God said, this is a smart approach. Their plan is very clear, they just want to take advantage. I judge that they are just like last time. They must be working hard and just sit back and watch us fight with the aliens. The usually silent maiden also echoed, I agree. Ali then said, well, the situation is basically clear, let's discuss the deployment of defense now. This time the internal conflicts of the alien race are temporarily resolved, then they can mobilize more supreme powerhouses. Yi Xiaotian said, we can't let the aliens bring the war to Blue Star, so my plan is to go to the alien battlefield. But you went to the alien battlefield, what will happen to Blue Star? Don't forget, there is also a sea tribe here. Chuan Bufan said. None of us know how strong the sea clan is. But one thing is certain, that is, the strength of the sea clan will never be weaker than our human race, or even much stronger. Blue Star is our base camp. If the base camp is lost, everything will be meaningless. Ali said, didn't you say that the high clan was just showing off? Thunder God said, it will definitely be a show off at first, but once they learn about the power sent by the alien race, they will definitely change their plan. Ali said, it's okay. With Xiao Tian sitting on the battlefield of the alien race, the alien race will definitely not be able to make waves. When the time comes, the sea tribe may just retreat into the sea. Everything is possible, but we can't be careless. Zhuang Bufan concluded. Yi Xiaotian said, anyway, we have a rough estimate of the situation on the other side of the alien race. Even if the five of you go together, you can't stop them, so I have to go. Afar said, Brother Xiaotian, although you are telling the truth, you are too direct. Can you be more tactful? Several other people looked at Afar. How long has it been since this happened and are you still being euphemistic here? How about you go and talk politely with the aliens? I didn't say that all of you here are rubbish, it's already tactful enough. Afar also realized that it was a bit inappropriate for him to say such words on this occasion. Sanson smiled and said, Okay, I won't speak, you do. Yi Xiaotian continued, What I mean is that although the Sea Clan can take action, as Senior God of War said, once the wind direction of the alien battlefield is wrong, they may just retract into the sea. So in the final analysis, the key point of this war lies in the alien battlefield. My idea is that I will directly block the alien plane portal in the alien battlefield. If they come over, I will fight one. If they come over, I will fight a pair. The God of Thunder said, Brother Xiaotian, you have now been promoted to the Supreme Realm. 
At this time, unless the people coming over are all supreme powers, it would be inappropriate for you to take action again. Even if the two tribes go to war, there are certain bottom lines that must be adhered to. Once the bottom line is broken, no one can bear it. Even if Yi Shao Tian was invincible, he would not dare to break this bottom line. Because the consequences of that would be too serious. Don't worry, I can't take action myself, but I still have a second spirit. Yi Shao Tian said with a smile. All the supreme beings were startled. They had not expected this. Aren't you the second soul? Afar said at this time. The God of Thunder also said, yes, in the final analysis, he is still the same person. Whether the aliens will recognize him or not is still unknown. At this time, we must not let the aliens get a hold of him. Zhuang Bufan also said, I agree, we must not cross this red line, and we must not leave any excuses for the foreigners. Yi Shao Tian was helpless. Although the second spirit was created by me, it is a separate personality, right? How can it be blamed on me alone? However, what the senior said makes sense. At this time, how to define this line depends on the alien race. After all, the alien race does not have the concept of a second soul. Yi Shao Tian did not dare to think about the consequences of breaking the bottom line. Once the supreme masters of both sides have no bottom line and start killing, those below the supreme will only be slaughtered. Unless Yi Shao Tian is sure to eliminate all the supreme masters of the alien race. Is he sure? No. Not even a little bit sure. Even the human race does not know how many supreme masters there are in the alien race. I am afraid that only the high level officials of the alien race know this information. Even, Yi Shao Tian guessed that even the high level officials of the alien race did not know the specific number. After all, no one dared to guarantee whether others would hold back. Not to mention others, just the old guys of the three races, who knows how many cards they have in their hands. This is also one of the reasons why they can always sit in that position. How about I go to the alien plane directly and guard the portal to prevent them from entering the alien battlefield? Yi Shaotian said. Zhuang Bufan rolled his eyes and said, There are dozens of entrances to the alien battlefield on our blue star. How many can you guard? Now Yi Shao Tian has no other choice. There are entrances on Blue Star, and there must be some on the alien plane. There is no other choice. However, there are many entrances, but there is only one exit to the alien battlefield. In principle, as long as this exit is guarded, all alien awakeners can be blocked. But the problem is that he can't attack alien awakeners below the supreme power realm. Chapter 519. Yi Shao Tian was numb. He originally thought that after he was promoted to the supreme powerful realm, all problems would be solved. But unexpectedly, the problem of the supreme power realm was solved, but the following problems were exposed instead. He also knew something about the importance of bottom lines and red lines before. But certainly not as clear as a few supreme seniors. After listening to their explanation, Yi Shao Kai understood that it was much more serious than he imagined. They didn't want to try how destructive an out of control supreme power could be. Why should there be such a bottom line and red line? Because neither the human race nor the alien race dare to bear the consequences. No, although there are many entrances to the alien battlefield, there is only one portal from the alien battlefield to Blue Star. As long as you guard this gate, no matter how many foreigners come, they will be useless. The supreme power cannot take the initiative to attack lower level awakened ones, nor does it say that he cannot fight back if he is attacked. He said this to several other human race supremes. Several human race supremes were also a little dumbfounded. Why didn't they think of such a simple question? The sword god Zhuang Bufan, the thunder god Thor, the war god Ali and the decaying god Natan all looked at the bow god Afar. Afar looked confused, what does this have to do with me? Why are you looking at me like this? Sword God Zhuang Bufan said leisurely, We have all been infected by this idiot like you. If you can't speak in the future, don't speak. Afar was very innocent, Zhuang Bufan, you can't slander me. As everyone knows, I am a very smart person. More than a thousand of my girlfriends can testify to this fact. 
the sudden excitement immediately stunned everyone. Yi Xiaotian even spurted out a mouthful of tea, unable to hold back any longer. Damn it, can it still be like this? Is he proving it? He was obviously showing off. With more than a thousand girlfriends, Yi Xiaotian's scalp was numb. He was almost too busy with both of them, and always felt that he was focusing on one thing at the expense of the other. Only when he was driving could he regain 100% confidence. He really couldn't imagine what he would do with more than a thousand girlfriends. Zhuang Bufan angrily scolded, Afar, you shameless person, don't teach this child bad things. Zhuang Bufan and the others were deeply disgusted by Afar's tendency to bring out the affairs of his more than a thousand girlfriends. But in this matter, Afar did not brag. Just stating a fact. It's strange that all his women are blind. This kind of scum can take a fancy to you. Afar didn't care about Zhuang Bufan's angry rebuke. He looked at Yi Xiaotian and said, Child. That's not right. As far as I know, Brother Xiaotian also has two wives. Brother Xiaotian, I'm optimistic about you. Come on, I hope you can get away from these low-level people as soon as possible and follow my example. Yi Xiaotian broke into cold sweat on his forehead. He really couldn't do this. Inexplicably, that demonic voice rang in his mind, I really can't do this. The picture is there. Several human race supremes also rolled their eyes wildly. This scumbag is really hopeless. But this kind of thing is all done consensually, so it's hard for them to say anything. It's just a matter of scolding the scumbag a few times without any pain when facing each other. The problem of the alien army has been solved, and it seems that this catastrophe has been lifted. Afar also stopped joking. Zhuang Bufan frowned and said, but we can't let Brother Xiaotian guard the alien battlefield all the time. So the root cause still lies with the alien race. If the alien race can be completely suppressed and let the alien race understand that Blue Star is not something they can care about, then they can completely solve your worries. Let's fight first, and we can talk about it after the fight is over. Okay, this is the arrangement for the alien battlefield for the time being. Let's discuss now, how should Blue Star arrange it? When it comes to fighting, Xia people say second, and no one dares to say first. Therefore, Zhuang Bufan did his part and became the person in charge. Several others had no other opinions. They were still convinced of Zhuang Bufan's ability in this area. The first choice for sea people to go ashore is the coastline, so our first line of defense is the coastal base cities on each continent. Zhuang Bufan said. Of course, we can also send envoys to contact the Sea Tribe in advance and inform them of the situation on the alien battlefield so that they can reconsider their cooperation with the alien race. Next, Zhuang Bufan began to draw up defense plans again. The main force is naturally the four major alliances. After all, they, the Awakened Ones of the Supreme Realm, can only compete with the Awakened Ones of the other party. Zhuang Bufan expected that it would be impossible for the High Clan to attack with all their might when they came up. I agree. War God Ali was the first to express his approval of Sword God Zhuang Bufan's arrangement. Thor, the God of Thunder, also said, I agree too. Shueishan Na paused and said, I have no objection. Seeing everyone's eyes turn to him, Afar said helplessly, What do you think I am doing? When have I ever objected to your decision? Although I like to have fun, I never lag behind in serious matters. Thor laughed and scolded, you have such a lazy character. Ali said, I don't think he is lazy, he just needs more time to spend with his women. Although Naden didn't speak, he nodded in agreement. Yi Xiaotian didn't speak or nod, just sitting quietly with his nose in mind. Zhuang Bufan didn't want to complain about Afar's troubles, and said, okay, since everyone has no objection, let's arrange this plan. When there is movement from the alien army, the plan will be released. Last time, I went to the sea tribe, this time I will go again. No one else had any objections, and this big thing was considered to be over. The next topic was much easier. It's just that Afar kept talking about girlfriends in Yi Xiaotian's ear, which made Yi Xiaotian very upset. Brother Xiaotian, your idea is very dangerous. How can a man get married so early? 
you are a supreme awakener with a long life. But your long life is hanging on two trees, which is too irrational. Look at me, for more than a hundred years, I have dated more than a thousand girlfriends all over the world. This is the life a man should have. Yi Tian was sweating coldly when he heard it, and could only say that they were not the same kind of people. He felt that it was good to marry one or two wives in life. More than a thousand, just thinking about it makes people's scalp numb. I don't know how afar can handle so many women. Doesn't he feel that time is not enough? Brother, what are you afraid of? You are the supreme strong man. What else in this world is worth your fear? You are the maker of the rules. Whoever dares to find fault will be killed. Chapter, 520 Yi Xiao Tian was 100% sure that he and Afar were definitely not the same kind of people. This was his wife, and he killed her directly. Do you still have any humanity? All your more than a thousand girlfriends, didn't they come from this? Thinking that Afar was not only a scumbag, but also a domestic violence man, he was even more ashamed to be associated with him. Fuck, kid, what are you thinking about? Are you making up a story about me? Afar was a fox, and Yi Xiaotian couldn't hide the expression on his face at all. What's in his heart will naturally show on his face. Seeing the change in Yi Xiaotian's expression, he knew that this kid must be complaining about him in his heart. There must be no good words for complaining. I tell you kid, although I have a girlfriend, every one of them is true love. Although this time is a bit short, I, Afar, and every girlfriend are free to fall in love and break up peacefully. Yi Xiaotian didn't listen to his nonsense anymore, just wanted to stay away from this guy. Anyway, now that the big thing has been decided, he said goodbye and he was going to accompany his wife. Watching Yi Xiaotian's back as he left, Alpha was furious and glared at Zhuang Bufan. Zhuang Bufan was puzzled and said, Why are you looking at me? He made you angry. If you have the guts, go and make trouble for him. Alpha said, Zhuang Bufan, you are worthy of the name of the sword god. You are a cheap god. I know that you will never say good things to me in front of brother Xiaotian. Zhuang Bufan said calmly, Alpha, you know what kind of person you are. I, Zhuang Bufan, always say what I mean and seek truth from facts. If you want me not to say bad things about you, don't do those bad things. Zhuang Bufan, damn it, what bad things have I done? Do you know what romance is? Do you know what love is? Alpha retorted without showing any weakness. Zhuang Bufan rolled his eyes and said, Do you call the sleeping relationship between men and women in those days love? Afar said confidently, Of course, our Gaul is the city of freedom, love is sacred, no matter how long it lasts, it is love. Well, Zhuang Bufan said he couldn't beat him, this is shameless, what else can you do? Are you as shameless as him? The others also turned their faces away, knowing that it is meaningless to compete with a shameless guy like Afar. This guy is best at pulling you down to his level of shamelessness and then defeating you. Not to mention winning or losing, just being on the same level as him is unbearable. Yi Xiaotian left the gathering place and contacted Han Xuyao. Knowing that they were working hard to brush the dungeon, he didn't disturb them. As for the Tower of Babel, he didn't continue to break in. But he went offline to rest. Once there is any movement on the alien side, he will enter the alien battlefield as soon as possible and guard the portal from the alien battlefield to Blue Star. Adjust your state. Be ready to fight at any time. As for the Haokian team, Yi Xiaotian has not made up his mind yet, and will talk about it after they go offline. He must ask their opinions first. It is up to them to choose whether to stay on Blue Star or go to the alien battlefield with him. However, this matter cannot be told to them now. It has to wait until Wu Qi Xia Lu has a message reply before bringing it up. But considering that the message transmission between Wu Qi Xia Lu needs to be transferred through the reincarnation world, he is a little scratching his head. He can't receive the message from Wu Qi Xia Lu in the real world. Communication in the real world is indeed more troublesome. Unlike before the arrival of the reincarnation tower, the phone can be connected all over the world. Now, even the communication problems of the major base cities in the country have not been solved. Instant communication still relies on the reincarnation world for transfer. 
This requires a lot of manpower costs. But what can we do? Your communication tower was just erected and it was destroyed by the alien awakener. Not to mention the satellite. All the satellites launched into space before the reincarnation calendar were destroyed by the flying alien awakeners. Now you can't even use navigation when you travel, you can only use the original map. Because there is no satellite positioning function, no one knows where you are. Various powerful thermal weapons are like blind people without eyes. Even if they are effective, they dare not be used. No one knows where they will hit. Under many factors, Blue Star has fully entered the Awakening Era. As for thermal weapons, they have completely disappeared. Small caliber ones are useless, and large caliber ones cannot be used. The failure of thermal weapons is nothing, but the regression of this communication method is troubling everyone. Everyone wants the communication network to be restored to the time before the reincarnation calendar. But some things are not subject to human will. However, after this war, Yi Xiaotian estimated that he might be able to start solving this problem. As long as the alien race is beaten down, they dare not bomb the thorns. The mutant beast awakeners native to Blue Star are easy to deal with. Whoever dares to touch the communication tower of my human race will be exterminated. Even the alien races can be suppressed, so I don't believe that the native alien beasts of Blue Star dare to challenge the dignity of the human race. However, these are things for the future. The most urgent task now is to go online and receive news from Wuchi Xiaoyou at any time. Before Han Xuyao and the others come back, the second soul can be placed in charge of the reincarnation world. It's just that Han Xuyao and the others will enter the awakening secret realm in a few days, and Yi Xiaotian plans to let the second soul go with them to escort them. As for himself, he can only stay. After all, the alien race may start a war at any time. So he must stay. As for the Haokian team, with their current combat power, whether they stay or not will not have much impact on the overall situation. Their current task is to upgrade their level as much as possible. As long as they are promoted to S level, the whole team will unite and even be able to influence the balance of victory in a war. With their talent level and the cooperation of the team, even SS level awakeners may die on the spot. Time is like flowing water, and a few days have passed in a flash. These days, Yi Xiaotian has been resting in the villa, while the team goes online every day to brush the dungeon, and will not go offline until the time is up. Until they entered the awakening secret realm of the school. The second soul has been sitting in the reincarnation world. This time, he did not follow into the awakening secret realm. In Han Xuyao's words, Yi Xiaotian has given them the best. If he can't even handle an S-level awakening secret realm, it would be a waste. Yi Xiaotian thought about it and didn't insist. After all, with the team configuration and strength of the Haokian team, the S-level Awakening Secret Realm is indeed not too dangerous. Besides, even if there is danger, it should be possible to escape unscathed. With a healing SS-level talent A-level Awakener like Sun Yao following, the safety is directly maximized. So Yi Xiaotian continued to rest, and the second soul continued to be responsible for contacting Wu Qi Xia Lu. Chapter, 521 Finally, news came from Toothless Xiaoyou. When the second soul sent a message to Yi Xiaotian, Yi Xiaotian breathed a sigh of relief. This day of waiting is really hard. He quickly got online, immediately sent a message to Zhuang Bufan and the others, and called Wu Tooth Xia Lu over. Soon, Toothless Xiaoyou arrived. When he sent the message to Yi Xiaotian, it had already been sent over. As soon as Yi Xiaotian told him the address, he came over immediately. After confirming the news, Yi Xiaotian asked him to wait for a while. Then Toothless Xia Lu saw the scene of the arrival of the five supreme beings. He was very excited, this is the benefit of holding the thigh. If he hadn't hugged Yi Xiaotian's lap, he would never have had such an opportunity in his life. Now, his master is also the supreme power. Even if Yi Xiaotian wanted to unlock a spiritual technique for him, he would firmly oppose it. Whoever lifts it is a fool. This is the biggest thigh in the blue star world. Countless people want to hug it but have no chance. If he tried to get off after being hugged, 
he would probably be drowned by saliva. After the exchange, Yi Xiaotian sent Wu Tooth Xia Lu back first. Let him continue to maintain contact with Amster and use the same coping strategy as the Sea Tribe for the time being. As for the rest, there is no need to involve him. However, Toothless Xia Lu did not hesitate and left directly. His life was worth it. What is a blessing in disguise? This is. He offended Yi Xiaotian because of his subordinates, and then launched a fishing boat offensive to bring down Yi Xiaotian. In the end, because they couldn't withstand the pressure exerted by Yi Xiaotian remotely, they finally brought the senior members of the Awakened Association to kneel down and beg for mercy from Yi Xiaotian. I originally thought my life was over. Who would have thought, it would take a turn for the worse. The moment he walked out of the hotel, he really wanted to yell, who else? When a dog realizes this, he can be considered a talent. In the private room of the official hotel of Samsara World. Yi Xiaotian waited for Toothless Xia Lu to leave before he said, in a few days, the alien race will take action. Are we going to act according to the previous plan, or will there be changes? Several other people looked at Zhuang Bufan and asked his opinion with their eyes. Zhuang Bufan said calmly, let's act as planned. There are still three days left. We can start to deploy the manpower first. Pull back all the people who are out and make the noise less. We shouldn't alert the snake. Several other people saw him saying this and had no objection. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, I'll wait at the alien battlefield in two days. Everyone has no opinion on this. On the alien battlefield, it would be no problem for Yi Xiaotian to go there in advance. By the way, there is another issue, the security issue of the foreign battlefield base camp. Zhuang Bufan said suddenly. We have ignored this matter before. If Xiaotian guards the portal from the alien battlefield to Blue Star, then the base camp will be exposed to the alien army. With the defensive strength of the base camp, it is no match for the alien race. So now we have two options, either to withdraw all personnel. But the property damage will be huge. The second option is to defend, but in this case, you will definitely not be able to defend, and the property damage will not change. As soon as he spoke, Afar shouted, Are these two choices for you? This is only one choice. The cheap god is just hypocritical. One choice has to be made into two choices. Are you trying to show off your smart IQ? Zhuang Bufan replied calmly, Yes, do you have one? Alpha suddenly had nothing to say, it didn't even make a fuss, it wasn't interesting at all. Okay, Afar, business is important. Have you remembered the plan? Don't be discouraged. You will be the sinner of the entire human race by then. Thor, the god of thunder, reminded. Afar said helplessly, Okay, I understand, can I not be serious about this kind of thing? Are you already so unreliable in their impression? This is a major matter related to the life and death of the human race, how could we not care about it? Yi Xiaotian was guarding the foreign battlefield, and the five of them were guarding the blue star. This was a battle that would determine the stability of the human race for the next hundred years. It's better to withdraw all the people from the alien battlefield. Brother Xiaotian, since you are going there, just inform them to withdraw one day in advance. Seeing that Afar stopped messing around, the Thunder God turned to Yi Xiaotian said. Yi Xiaotian nodded, indicating that there was no problem. There are still three days left, and Yi Xiaotian doesn't know if Han Xuyao and the others can come out of the secret realm of awakening. But he no longer has time to wait for them here and needs to make arrangements in advance. He called He Shi, the vice president of Shanghai University. Yi Xiaotian still trusts He Shi. After all, he sure has always been his spokesperson at Shanghai University. And he sure never let him down. He sure came over in a hurry and asked as soon as he sat down, Xiaotian, what's wrong? What happened? Yi Xiaotian said with a serious face, Teacher He, there is something that you must first promise me that you will never reveal it to anyone. Then I can tell you. He sure also realized the seriousness of the problem and quickly said, Okay, I can guarantee it. Yi Xiaotian said, Okay, I believe you, the thing is like this. The next time, Yi Xiaotian said, He sure listened. Just listening, 
cold sweat started to fall on Hishir's forehead. They didn't receive any news about such a big thing. If the alien race suddenly launches an attack and the sea race attacks again, what will the human race do? This is an all-out attack from foreign races, and even the most powerful men have dispatched three figures. Damn it, how can Blue Star stop it? What's even more disgusting is that there is something about the sea clan involved. If the human race is not prepared at all when it comes to taking action, what will be the consequences? He no longer dared to think about it. Fortunately, Yi Xiao Tian is still here, otherwise it would really be over. But then I thought about it, if it weren't for Yi Xiao Tian's existence, I'm afraid it would be impossible for the alien races to put aside their prejudices and go to war with all their strength. Teacher He, I am going to the alien battlefield soon, but my teammates are still in the secret realm of awakening. So I want to ask you to tell them what happened after they come out, and try your best to ensure their safety. He sure immediately said seriously, don't worry, I promise to complete the task. Not to mention that everyone in this team is a genius among geniuses, but also with Yi Xiaotian's relationship, the players in this team also have connections with several major Awakener families and several prestigious Awakener schools. Therefore, there is absolutely no problem with the safety of Haotian team members. Unless the human race really faces life and death. You don't have to worry too much. Although the following people don't know the news yet, we have already made plans. The moment the aliens launch their offensive, the plan will be fully launched. Yi Xiaotian reassured He sure and asked him not to too worried. Chapter, 522 Two days later, Yi Xiaotian came to Wanshan City in the southwest again, but this time Yi Xiaotian did not go to the Huang family. Because his whereabouts are also secret. The portal in the southwest has been arranged, and he will use other identities to enter the alien battlefield. After having a meal in Wanshan City, we directly entered the alien battlefield. When he arrived at the alien battlefield base camp, he found Skov, the commander-in-chief of the base camp. Skov was also very surprised by Yi Xiaotian's arrival. Logically speaking, the alien battlefield is very peaceful now, and Yi Xiaotian should not appear here. Yi Xiaotian doesn't need to hide him anymore, because tomorrow is the time for the aliens to launch an offensive. Skov, I am here to convey an order. You immediately order all human awakeners in the base camp to pack their things and return to the Blue Star headquarters. Yi Xiaotian's first words immediately stunned Skov. Although they all wanted to return to Blue Star headquarters now, they didn't expect that things would be so strange. An alien battlefield without alien awakeners cannot be considered a true alien battlefield. The human awakeners here have no other hunting activities except going online to the world of reincarnation every day to clear dungeons. After all, the awakened aliens have all withdrawn to the alien plane. Why? Scoff was shocked. If there was no problem with Yi Xiaotian's identity, he would have thought that Yi Xiaotian had turned to a foreign race. Yi Xiaotian said, because starting from tomorrow, the aliens will launch a full-scale attack. After the story was finished, Skov was stunned. He did not expect that not long after the last war, this alien race had already resolved its internal disputes and once again launched a larger-scale war against the Blue Star human race. Mr. Haotian, is the information about this matter accurate? Skov's voice was trembling. Although he had already confirmed in his heart, after all, Yi Xiaotian was already standing in front of him. But he asked anyway. Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, Mr. Skov, you don't have much time left. I believe you have a way to get all the awakened humans to receive the message and complete the retreat within one day. Skov was not an indecisive person. After hearing this, he immediately said, Okay, I will send someone to pass on the order immediately, but Mr. Haotian, can I stay and fight alongside you? Yi Xiaotian thought for two seconds before nodding, if you want to stay, that's fine too. To be honest, keeping Skov here is indeed a good idea. After all, Skov's strength is there, and it is very convenient for him to take action in some areas that Yi Xiaotian is difficult to take action against. After all, Skov is a real SS level top shield warrior awakener, and he has awakened SS level talents. His strength is definitely at the ceiling level below the supreme realm. 
Otherwise, it would be impossible to sit in the position of Commander-in-Chief of the Foreign Battlefield Base Camp. As Scoff's order was issued, the military legions of all human nations on the alien battlefield became busy. Having said that, Scoff's orders are still very powerful. Although many people had doubts in their hearts, they didn't ask any more questions and just sent the order directly to the brothers to go back home. Soldiers have a duty to obey orders. Regardless of whether they have doubts about this order, they must execute it first. Of course, some immediately sent people online to the world of reincarnation to ask about this matter. It's just that the alien attack is still a secret at the Blue Star level, so everyone is very surprised by this order. But after learning that Mr. Houtian personally conveyed the order to the commander-in-chief of the base camp, no one doubted it. After all, Mr. Houtian is now the sixth most powerful person in the human race. To put it bluntly, it was enough for him to guard the foreign battlefield alone. The speed of the soldiers from various countries was still very fast. When night fell, the people on the other side of the portal were almost gone. Only some teams stationed farther away were delayed and were still on the way. Skov personally arranged for him to take his cronies with him. Every time he left a legion, a group or even a small group, he had to be registered. No one was allowed to be left behind. But when the scheduled time came, there was still a team that didn't come back. Yi Xiaotian asked Skov, what's going on? It's already eleven o'clock in the evening. The aliens may launch an attack at any time. By then, a small team wandering outside will not be enough to squeeze people's teeth. Skov was also scratching his head. The order had been issued long ago. Judging by the time, even the furthest team should have arrived by now. But now, the other party has not arrived. And couldn't be contacted. In the alien battlefield, although the connections between various ministries are very convenient, they are all fixed. After leaving the station, it is not easy to contact him again. After all, this is a battlefield. The war with alien races has never stopped. So I have never thought about developing wireless communications here. In the past few months, due to the withdrawal of foreign troops, it has been quieter, but who would have thought of this? Scoff had no choice but to say, Sir, are they in trouble? I'll go find them. Yi Xiaotian shook his head and said, It's too late. In another hour, the aliens will launch an attack. If you are not fast enough, I'll go and you stay here. Skov also knew, so he said, Okay, before the gentleman comes back, no alien can pass through here, unless they step over my body. Yi Xiaotian nodded and said, don't worry, I will be back soon. If the time comes and the team has not been found, for the sake of the overall situation, Yi Xiaotian will not continue to look for it indefinitely. Compared with the entire Blue Star, a team of awakened people seems a bit insignificant. Although it is cruel to say so. But there is no way, war is cruel. Yi Xiaotian gave Skov a few words and flew into the sky. Skov looked at Yi Xiaotian who was flying with envy. The supreme power realm can fly by itself. No talent or skills are needed. This is a rule. When you reach this level, you can fly. There are many people who can fly below the supreme. For example, Skov, although he is a shield warrior, can also fly for a short time. But the consumption and distance are not comparable to those of Yi Xiaotian, an awakened person in the supreme realm. They can ignore the distance and fly without limit. Because for awakeners of this level, the energy consumed by flying is already compensated by the body's instinctive recovery speed. Of course, what Skov envied more was the combat power of the Supreme Strong. This is the capital to be able to roam freely on this planet. He didn't know when he would be able to reach the Supreme Realm. Chapter, 523 In the alien battlefield, Yi Xiaotian flew very fast, his mental power spread out, and the area within a hundred kilometers was covered by his mental power. This method is the fastest to quickly find the team that fell behind. Although this will consume a lot of his energy. But at this time, Yi Xiaotian couldn't care less. After all, the confrontation with the aliens should not be more of a real battle. As long as his awakening level is revealed, I believe that the alien leaders will make a wise decision. Finally, about a thousand kilometers away from the portal, he found the movement of the battle. 
he didn't expect that this team really got into trouble. It's just unexpected that the aliens won't launch an attack until tomorrow. Sending people over now, aren't you afraid of alerting the enemy? Yi Xiaotian hovered above the battle, his breath revealed, and the battle below stopped quickly. The two sides pulled away and looked at the sky with a vigilant look. Both sides wanted to know which side the person who appeared in the sky was from. Those who can fly are at least S-level awakeners. It's just that it's harder for S-class awakeners to fly than SS-class ones, and there are great restrictions on distance and height. However, Yi Xiaotian's momentum was too strong, making them a little breathless. Yi Xiaotian said to the human team, You go first, Skov will wait for you at the portal. The human awakener team must be overjoyed. Their team is performing the farthest patrol mission. After receiving the order, they immediately rushed to the direction of the portal. But they didn't expect to meet an alien awakener team here. The two sides didn't say much and started fighting directly. This alien awakener team came here for reconnaissance and didn't want to be discovered by the human side. So they must want to wipe out this human awakener team. Originally, they had already pointed out the upper hand, and they could take down this human awakener team in a short period of time. Unexpectedly, Yi Xiaotian came suddenly and directly disrupted their plan. The aliens were very well prepared this time. Not only did they have the Sea Tribe as allies, but they also had the human race's national forces as allies. It can be said that they had the right time, right place, and right people. There was no reason not to succeed. The only threat was Yi Xiaotian. The guy who was said to be about to save enough reincarnation points to be promoted to the Supreme Realm. Unexpectedly, just a few days before they launched the attack, Yi Xiaotian really promoted to the Supreme Realm. This was too much. If they didn't do it, they really wouldn't have a chance. They thought that they would take advantage of Yi Xiaotian's promotion to create a time difference. If they didn't have a chance this time, then Blue Star would really not be something they could covet. This reconnaissance team had a heavy mission. They came here to find out the movements of the human army in the alien battlefield. When they first came, according to the map, they found many camps of the human army. However, they were all empty. After a reconnaissance, they determined that the human awakeners had just left not long ago. So they searched towards the human race's teleportation gate to find out what was going on. Could it be that the human race's army evacuated because they got the news in advance? But it didn't make sense. If they got the news in advance, shouldn't they send more troops? They knew the resilience of the human race very well. In more than a hundred years, they had the absolute upper hand in the past, but in the next twenty years, they were driven back to the alien plane by the human army. And in the last war, they were beaten by an awakened person of the human race, so the alien race leaders had to order a withdrawal. This time, the alien race launched a war again, just to win the battle. Otherwise, the next invasion might be the alien plane. The alien race and the human race are already in a situation of life and death. So they can only strike first. However, I heard that the high-level officials contacted the Blue Star Sea Clan, and it might be that the Sea Clan launched an offensive, so the human race was anxious to withdraw the alien race's army from the battlefield. No matter what the facts are, they want a definite news. Unfortunately, the last time Amster took Wuchi Xiaoyo to the Sea Tribe, he squandered the teleportation fee prepared by the aliens for Amster. As a result, Amster could not go directly to the alien reincarnation world to report intelligence. The efficiency of secretly transmitting information was too slow and wasted too much time. Otherwise, they would not come here. Yi Xiaotian waved his hand casually, and an ice wall blocked the alien awakening team. This is a warning. As long as they don't cross this ice wall, they will be fine. But if they cross this ice wall, they can't blame him. Although there is a red line for the supreme strongman to take action. But as long as he doesn't take the initiative, there will be no problem. When the alien awakening team saw this ice wall, they also understood what it meant, but what made them entangled was whether to continue. But two seconds later, they had thought it through and turned around immediately. They wanted to go back and report the situation here. Please tell your superiors that I, Yi Xiaotian, am waiting for them here. 
Yi Xiaotian said loudly when he saw the Alien Awakening team retreating tactfully. The members of the Alien Awakening team were running, but when they heard Yi Xiaotian's words, the formation of the entire team was immediately disrupted. Several of them almost fell to the ground. This is Yi Xiaotian. That Haotian killer god. What kind of luck is this? I came out and actually met this killer god. I was really lucky to be able to go back alive this time. Yi Xiaotian went back to the portal directly. When he came back, the awakened team had not arrived yet. Scoff said, Sir, have you found it? It was not long after that Yi Xiaotian came back. Skov was a little worried. Yi Xiaotian said, Found it, don't worry, they are all fine, they were entangled by an alien awakened team. On the way. Skov said, I didn't expect that the aliens also sent an awakened team to infiltrate. Yi Xiaotian said, They played a time difference. When their team came, our people had almost evacuated, so they infiltrated all the way to the portal thousands of miles away without any danger. It seems that the aliens are ready to attack. But now that they find us evacuating, will they change their strategy? Skov said a little worriedly. Yi Xiaotian said, We have a saying in Xia country called riding a tiger and it's hard to get off. Now they have to come, we just need to wait for them here. Skov didn't quite understand what Yi Xiaotian meant, but it didn't stop him from pretending to understand. He nodded and didn't say much. The more you talk, the more mistakes you make. In the future, just listen to Yi Xiaotian, do whatever he says, it's definitely right. Chapter, 524 On the alien plane, there is an endless army formation. This is the central army of the aliens, led by the chief of the lion tribe of the three upper tribes of the aliens. Yes, the chiefs of the three upper tribes of the aliens have come in person. They have to come. If they don't lead the army in person, they can't suppress the supreme masters of each tribe. At this time, the awakened team sent by the chief of the lion tribe to the alien battlefield to inquire about the news came back. The team leader passed various levels and finally met the chief of the lion tribe. Hello, chief. The team leader saluted. The chief of the lion tribe waved his hand to indicate that he didn't need to salute, and asked, what's the situation on the alien battlefield? The team leader replied, Chief, the human race seems to have learned the news in advance, and the army has all evacuated. In addition, Yi Xiaotian of the human race is on the alien battlefield. He asked me to tell the chief that he is waiting for you on the alien battlefield. The chief of the lion tribe sighed, but there were not too many surprises. After all, it is normal for the human race to notice the noise of the alien race. However, the human army evacuated, and only Yi Xiaotian stayed behind. What is this operation? After thinking about it, the Lion Clan chief's face changed drastically. He knew that Yi Xiaotian had been promoted to the Supreme Strongman realm. If Yi Xiaotian guarded the teleportation entrance of the alien battlefield Blue Star, how could they enter the Blue Star? Thinking of the rumor that Yi Xiaotian was invincible in the same realm, the Lion Clan chief's scalp began to numb. Could it be that the temporary integration action that they had spent countless energy and resources to achieve was about to end before it even started? But soon, the Lion Clan chief regained his confidence. He didn't believe that Yi Xiaotian, a mere person, could really stop their army. So he didn't hesitate at all. When he saw that the time was almost up, he directly ordered the entire army to set off and attack the alien battlefield. Countless alien awakeners rushed to the teleportation gate and entered the alien battlefield. Very smooth. After the alien army entered the alien battlefield, they did not encounter any obstacles and directly occupied all the key checkpoints of the alien battlefield. The chief of the lion tribe was a little surprised, but he also understood what Yi Xiaotian meant. They must be waiting for them at the entrance of the blue star. But it doesn't matter, wait until the left and right armies come. One day later, the main forces of the three armies of the left, middle and right of the alien race all entered the alien battlefield. The chiefs of the three tribes gathered together. The chief of the lion tribe told the chief of the tiger tribe and the chief of the elephant tribe that Yi Xiaotian was guarding the entrance of the blue star. The two chiefs were also very surprised to hear this. 
I didn't expect the strategy of the human race to be like this. How did they know this news? It is impossible for their people to enter our alien plane to inquire about the news. The chief of the tiger tribe said with a puzzled look. The chief of the lion tribe replied, I guess the deployment of troops by the sea tribe made them aware of something, so they were in a hurry to transfer the troops stationed in the alien battlefield back. This guess makes some sense. The chief of the tiger tribe had nothing to say, as long as the news was not leaked from their side. The chief of the elephant tribe said, what should we do now? Kill them directly. The chief of the lion tribe said, of course, do we have any other way? Although Yi Xiao Tian is powerful, I believe our warriors can definitely defeat him. The two chiefs of the tiger tribe and the elephant tribe had no doubts when they heard it, and their warriors were the most powerful. No matter how strong Yi Xiao Tian was, he was just one person. In front of the army of millions of awakened aliens, he was just a stronger ant. The three of them believed that under the momentum of their own army, all the defenses of the human race would collapse at one blow. After the three armies gathered, they moved towards the entrance of Blue Star. On Yi Xiaotian's side, not only Skov stayed, but also one of his guards stayed and served as scouts. Commander-in-Chief, the alien army has already set out for this side, and it is expected to arrive here in three days. The scout reported to Skov. Hearing this, Skov had to admire the speed of the alien awakening army. It was very fast to arrive here in three days. This is a large army, not an individual trip. To maintain the camp, there must be no chaos. The more the army, the greater the difficulty. For such a large number as the alien army, it is definitely a straight rise. Skov told Yi Xiaotian about the situation, but Yi Xiaotian remained calm and adjusted his state, saying, just keep an eye on it. Seeing that Yi Xiaotian was so calm, Skov didn't say much, but asked his men to keep an eye on the alien army and report any unusual movements immediately. After sitting quietly for a day, Yi Xiaotian replenished the mental power consumed by the previous search for the awakening team. He did not move, but continued to sit quietly, waiting for the alien army to arrive. Until the evening of two days later, Skov's men reported that the alien army was approaching, only twenty kilometers away. Yi Xiaotian ended his meditation, took out the SS level staff, and waved his hand, all the supernatural power amplification skills were added to himself. Various lights flashed, and Yi Xiaotian's momentum surged. Skov was stunned. Is this Mr. Haotian's confidence and reliance? It's really awesome. Yi Xiaotian ignored Skov's godlike eyes and continued to wave his staff. One after another, water defense skills wrapped up the portal. In the blink of an eye, there were hundreds of them. Skov was stunned. Boss, isn't this too wasteful? Yi Xiaotian nodded with satisfaction, then took the staff and flew into the air, telling Skov and the others, if there is danger later, you will hide in the defense circle. Skov and the others nodded to show that they understood. Soon, the ground shook wildly, and there was a loud rumble that shook the sky. The alien awakener army arrived. The two sides stopped a thousand meters apart. The three chiefs of the upper three tribes of the alien race walked out of the opposite army. Yi Xiaotian said lightly, You are finally here. I have been waiting for you here for a long time. The chief of the lion tribe said, are you Yi Xiaotian, the great god Haotian of the human race? Yi Xiaotian said, It's me. Haotian, do you want to stop us? The chief of the lion tribe said loudly. Yi Xiaotian said, That's right. Do you think you can stop it? The chief of the lion tribe asked again. Yi Xiaotian said, Won't you know if you try? The chief of the lion tribe was speechless this time. After a long pause, he said, Haotian, as long as you surrender to us, I can give you a position as an elder of a foreign tribe. Yi Xiaotian was a little annoyed when he heard this, and he waved his staff directly, and a water dragon rushed towards the chief of the lion tribe. The chief of the lion tribe snorted disdainfully, just in time, he also wanted to measure Yi Xiaotian's true strength. Chapter, 525 Boom! The defense of the Lion Clan chief was defeated by Yi Xiaotian's water dragon technique. 
His body flew out and smashed countless alien awakened troops before stopping. All the alien awakeners were stunned. Their great elder was defeated like this. After one attack, Yi Xiaotian stopped taking action. The chiefs of the Tiger Clan and the Elephant Clan breathed a sigh of relief, but their vigilant gazes did not dissipate. The Lion Clan leader returned to his position. This time, his unruly expression and eyes calmed down a lot. The alien race is a group that respects the strong. Whoever has a big fist will speak with power. Every one of their top leaders got to the top by relying on their own fists. Yi Xiaotian defeated it, then it would give Yi Xiaotian the respect he deserved. But again, no matter how powerful Yi Xiaotian is, there is only one person, but their alien army is in the hundreds of millions, how many can he kill? When his strength is exhausted, he will die. Yi Xiaotian, you are indeed very strong, but can you defeat all of us alien awakeners? The Lion Clan chief said with a threatening look. Yi Xiaotian said, I don't have to defeat you all, I just need to kill all the supreme experts and SS level awakened ones from your alien race. As soon as these words came out, all the awakened aliens took a breath of cold air. If Yi Xiaotian really had this plan, then they really didn't have any good ideas. For an invincible and supreme powerhouse like Yi Xiaotian, no one can really limit him. He is free to kill whomever he wants. Yi Xiaotian's last performance in the foreign battlefield fully illustrates this point. The face of the Lion Clan leader was very ugly. The expressions of the chiefs of the Tiger Clan and the Elephant Clan were no different. The three of them got together again and began to discuss. As for the other awakened beings at the supreme power level of the foreign race, they were staring at the portal behind Yi Xiaotian, and they wanted to give it a try. Yi Xiaotian said, I would like to remind you that if you attack the portal behind me, then I will treat it as a war between the two races, and I will try my best. This sentence reached the ears of every alien awakened person. According to rumors, Yi Xiaotian can incarnate tens of millions of people, and each incarnation has his own fighting power. Such a terrifying talent skill makes people shudder just thinking about it. Thousands of supreme powerhouses take action together. I am afraid that with just one skill, all the alien armies can be destroyed here. The alien awakeners behind were all confused. They didn't know much, but they knew a lot. I don't know everything, and what I know is just hearsay. They only know that the tribesmen who came back from the alien battlefield last time were all afraid of a man named Yi Xiaotian. He is said to be the killing god of the human race and an invincible existence. No matter how many people there are, everyone will be killed. Several big clan leaders also felt dizzy when they heard the discussion behind them. What should we do now? Chaos has begun behind us. We must either launch an attack immediately or retreat. If we delay any longer, before Yi Xiaotian can take action, we will be in chaos ourselves. The leader of the Tiger Clan reminded. The chief of the Elephant Clan said, We have already come this far. Are we going to go back in despair? Then where should we put the face of our alien race? The leader of the Tiger Clan said, Is it time to care about face? The issue we should consider now is the survival of the alien race. The chief of the Elephant Clan said, don't be alarmist here, we aliens are the most powerful ones under the will of reincarnation. That was before Yi Xiaotian appeared. After he appeared, it was no longer like this. The patriarch of the Tiger Clan still retains a trace of reason. Knowing that once Yi Xiaotian goes all out to fight, how lethal it will be. But if you go back just like that, it will be really difficult to explain. So both of them looked at the Lion Clan leader. He is the great elder of the alien Presbyterian Church, and he has to make the final decision. They have come to this point, and God knows how many resources they have spent in order to gather all the races and pull out all the supreme experts. If we go back like this, we won't be able to explain it to our superiors or our subordinates. But Yi Zio Xianku is here, and it is extremely difficult for them to get past him. No one knows what the outcome will be after the battle. I don't know who will lose and who will win, but it is certain that the foreign race will pay a price in blood. As Yi Xiaotian said, he can even kill all the supreme masters and SS level awakeners of the alien race by himself. If this is the result, then the alien race will still be doomed. 
Yi Xiaotian hung ten meters in the air, looking past the front row of the alien army and taking in the alien army behind him. Only by seeing more awakened aliens can he create more clones. This is the limitation of the talent skill nightmare. What counts is what the eye can see. But no matter how strong his eyesight is, it is impossible to see all the hundreds of millions of alien awakened people. This number is still limited, but it is enough. With a wave of his hand, countless Yi Xiaotian clones holding SS level staffs appeared in the sky, lined up in a row, and surrounded the alien army in a half moon shape. The key is the aura of the supreme strongman emanating from his body. All the alien awakened army below were dumbfounded. This damn thing is really impossible to fight. Thousands of clones of the supreme power really appeared. The chiefs of the three tribes were dumbfounded. All the supreme masters of the alien race were dumbfounded. The commotion stopped, the chaos stopped, and the discussion stopped. The boundless alien army fell into endless silence and stillness in an instant. Such shock and deterrence were really too great. Fuck, you are so arrogant. Yi Xiaotian's face was a little pale. This almost drained his mental power. However, at this moment, he had to force himself to be calm. Fortunately, after these clones were summoned, once the locked enemies were not eliminated, they would not dissipate unless he took the initiative to remove them. And in the process of existence, he did not need to consume his mental power. Mr. Houtian, calm down. The chief of the lion tribe exclaimed loudly. He was afraid that Yi Xiaotian would get angry and take action directly. With so many supreme masters taking action together, the alien race was going to die. Yi Xiaotian said, Our human race is a peace-loving race, but it is definitely not a fearful race. If you want to fight, then fight. Mr. Houtian, you have to believe that we don't want to fight either, but we have to fight for survival. Said the chief of the lion tribe. Yi Xiaotian looked like he believed your lies. Seeing this, the chief of the lion tribe had to say, Mr. Houtian, I am telling the truth. The human race is rising too fast, and we have to prepare for the rainy day. We have long expected that the human race is our biggest enemy, but we didn't expect that Mr. Houtian would grow so fast. Chapter, 526 The chief of the lion tribe complained bitterly, blaming the cruelty of the alien race on the reasons that they had to do it. To sum it up, the human race is the biggest threat to the alien race. If they are not destroyed as soon as possible, the alien race will be destroyed in the end. The growth rate of the human race is really too fast. In just a hundred years, they have grown to the point where they can compete with the alien race. If this continues, it is only a matter of time before the alien race is destroyed by the human race. But they are still too late. The power in the hands of the human race today is enough to put the alien race into an irretrievable situation. We don't want to fight a war of genocide, we also want to live in peace in our own world. The chief of the lion tribe said with a look of grievance. There is one thing he dare not say, that is, it is all the fault of the will of reincarnation. If the will of reincarnation had not suddenly opened the channel between the alien race plane and the blue star plane, the two races would not have reached this point of no return. Yi Xiaotian would not listen to his nonsense. Although the chief of the lion tribe said part of the reason, it is definitely not all the reasons. With the improvement of his status, Yi Xiaotian's understanding of this world is getting deeper and deeper. He knows very well that the invasion of the alien race on Blue Star is definitely not as simple as the chief of the lion tribe said. Although the biggest reason is that the will of reincarnation deliberately did it. But everyone knows that there are several benefits to the mutual killing between the two races. One is that the fittest can survive. Although it is cruel. But this world is like this, even in peacetime. It's just that the way of survival of the fittest is different. Birth, aging, illness, death, and various accidental deaths are all considered a kind of survival of the fittest. And the awakened have a much longer lifespan than ordinary people, so what should we do? Only killing. Limited space cannot nurture unlimited creatures. This is also a kind of killing. And occupying more territory can obtain more resources, which is also given by the will of reincarnation. 
Once the alien race successfully invades Blue Star and occupies the territory of Blue Star, then the alien race can obtain a huge amount of resources from the will of reincarnation. This is the main reason why the alien race wants to destroy the human race. And what the Lion Clan chief just said is completely avoiding the main point. The will of reincarnation encourages killing, but it absolutely does not force any living being. Lion Clan Chief, are you treating me like a child? You and I are both in the supreme realm, you know it, I know it too, do you think you can deceive me? Yi Xiao Tian said disdainfully. The expression on the face of the Lion Clan Chief froze. Yes, when he was promoted to the supreme realm, he naturally understood a lot of information about the origin of this world. Then when Yi Xiao Tian was promoted to the supreme realm, he naturally knew it. So each side has its own calculations and purposes, and both sides know it. What's the use of saying more nice things? The Lion Clan chief was embarrassed. Mr. Houtian, what do you want to do? The Lion Clan chief said. It's good to have something to talk about. As long as Yi Xiao Tian is dragged here, when the Sea Clan succeeds, Yi Xiao Tian will definitely be in a mess. At that time, it was the Sea Clan that destroyed the Blue Star human race, and it had nothing to do with the alien race. Even if Yi Xiao Tian wanted to retaliate, he could only go to the Sea Clan. Yi Xiao Tian said, Withdraw troops immediately. In the future, the two races will not invade each other. We can turn the alien race battlefield into a hunting ground, and let life and death be left to fate. The Lion Clan chief said, what if Mr. Houtian invades my alien race's plane? Yi Xiao Tian said, I can swear a reincarnation oath. If the alien race does not take the initiative to invade, my human race will never invade the alien race's plane. The Lion Clan chief was stunned. He did not expect that Yi Xiao Tian would be willing to swear such an oath. This is the oath of reincarnation, not just a joke. Once you swear, you will be punished if you violate the oath. He thought Yi Xiao Tian would say some polite words and then destroy the alien race. Are you really willing to swear? The Lion Clan chief still did not believe it. Yi Xiao Tian said, We humans are a peace-loving race. Hunting is allowed, but extermination is not necessary. Both sides hunt each other, which is also a way to enhance the strength of awakened people on both sides. As for life and death, it is up to fate. Survival of the fittest. It won't make Blue Star overcrowded. The same can be done with the Sea Tribe. Just open up a hunting ground. The three tribes can live in peace, and there is a hunting ground for survival of the fittest. As for ordinary people, their lifespan is too short to be a concern. Or ordinary people are just reproductive machines used to increase the population. Although it is cruel, it is not easy to live a stable life. Even once the three tribes sign a contract, ordinary people can still walk out of the Bay City and resume their lives before the arrival of the Samsara Tower. However, 90% of the infrastructure on the land of Blue Star has been destroyed and needs to be rebuilt. Fortunately, the Awakened are more crazy about construction than the infrastructure maniac. Yi Xiao Tian thinks this is the best result. The destruction of any race may break the balance. At that time, they will just have to kill each other among themselves. Instead of that, it is better to hunt the alien race, at least there is no psychological burden. After listening to Yi Xiaotian's plan, the supreme masters of the alien race were stunned. Before they have an absolute upper hand, they will definitely not agree. But now it is Yi Xiaotian who has the absolute upper hand, and even the stronger side can accept such a result. Why can't their weaker side do the same? As for the future, who knows what will happen next? If you want to break the situation where the human race has the absolute upper hand, unless their alien race can give birth to an SS level master level awakener. However, judging from the speed of Yi Xiaotian's rise, it is estimated that Yi Xiaotian has become a master level awakened person, which is impossible for other races. So, in the long run, this is definitely the best choice. As long as the oath of reincarnation is there, the aliens don't have to worry about Yi Xiao Tian going back on his word. As for the other awakened human beings, there is nothing to worry about. They didn't believe that the human race could give birth to a second Yi Xiao Tian. 
After the three chiefs of the upper three clans discussed it, the chief of the Lion clan stepped forward and said to Yi Xiao Tian, Mr. Haokian, this matter is too big, we need to discuss it. Yi Xiao Tian said, then you go back to discuss. I'm here waiting for the results of your discussion. He is not worried at all. As long as Blue Star does not receive news of the success of the foreign race, they will definitely not take action. Moreover, there are Skov and his men here, who can spread the news here to the Blue Star world through the world of reincarnation. By then, as long as Zhuang Bufan and the others inform the High Clan of the results here, I believe the High Clan will not be the first to win. When Amster and Toothless Xia Lu went to the reincarnation world of the Sea Clan, the Great Elder of the Sea Clan said that they would only take action after the alien race achieved certain results. Of course, Yi Xiao Tian made such a decision. It's not out of soft heartedness. Rather, they are all just pawns. Chapter 527 The alien race is a chess piece, the sea race is a chess piece, and the human race is not a chess piece. Under this starry sky, only the will of reincarnation is high above and all the creatures under the starry sky are just chess pieces in its hands. Yi Xiao Tian does not want to make a big move, but he is not sure what the will of reincarnation is thinking. Just like the prehistoric world, although the six saints are high above, they are immortal. But above them, there is a saint of heaven, Hong Jun. So before doing anything, you must first consider the meaning of this saint of heaven. Yi Xiao Tian's meaning is very simple. Maintain the balance of the three races first, and then talk about other things when he is strong enough. Otherwise, if you take a wrong step, you may bring about a catastrophe. Keeping a low profile has always been the principle that Yi Xiao Tian believes in. If you are high profile before you have enough strength, what is the difference between that and seeking death? Yi Xiao Tian has been a human for two lives, and some things may not be considered enough because of his low level. But the way to save life is more important than anyone else. After all, he had died once. So he was very calm, sitting quietly beside the portal and waiting for the result of the alien race. On the alien side, the army camped for hundreds of miles. Then all the big men of the alien race gathered together. Those who could sit here were all at the level of supreme power. The three great patriarchs of the upper three tribes always sat in the first position. The great patriarch of the lion tribe was in the middle, and the great patriarchs of the tiger tribe and the elephant tribe sat on his left and right. When the great patriarch of the lion tribe saw that everyone was there, he said, Everyone, I called you here just to listen to your opinions and ideas. You all know the matter, where should our tribe go, everyone, say it. The tent of the temporary camp was suddenly quiet. Everyone looked at each other, and no one spoke first. Then, the people who were sitting began to discuss. The three great patriarchs of the upper three tribes did not stop it, knowing that this matter was too big and too sudden, and it was normal for everyone's minds to be confused. To be honest, the three of them were also empty-headed now. This was too sudden. Before they came, they had already expected Yi Xiao Tian to be very powerful. Originally, they wanted to rely on the advantage of the large number of troops to tire Yi Xiao Tian to death. After Yi Xiao Tian summoned thousands of supreme masters, they no longer had such thoughts in their minds. Damn, this is still a fart. In fact, if they were not afraid that other tribes would have different opinions, the three of them would have agreed to Yi Xiao Tian's conditions on the spot. Is there any better condition than this? Facing thousands of supreme masters, the pressure is too great. But they don't know that because of their departure, Yi Xiao Tian's clones have dissipated. Then, Yi Xiaotian's mental power was exhausted, and it was unknown how long it would take to fully recover. Fortunately, the alien race is now intimidated and should not dare to provoke again for the time being. The meeting of the alien race continues. There are arrogant ones who threaten to kill Yi Xiaotian. Of course, this was all delusion, and was quickly suppressed by reason. He has transformed into a clone of the Ten Thousand Supreme Powers, and you are going to kill him? No one spoke immediately. This sentence was too intimidating. How can we fight this ten thousand supremes? Even the chiefs of the three tribes can only be cowards. I think the conditions proposed by Mr. Haotian are quite good. At this time, 
a supreme power of an alien race spoke up. But don't you think it's fake? He clearly has the strength to destroy my alien race, why is he willing to maintain peace with my race? Have you thought about this problem? The supreme power of the alien race who had a different opinion retorted. I really don't know his complete thoughts, but I have learned about some human races. Not all human races are willing to kill. Most human races are willing to live in peace. What's more, don't forget that the supreme power realm is not the strongest. There are also dominant level awakeners above, and even higher levels. And you seem to have overlooked one thing. Above us, there are he didn't finish his words, but pointed upwards with his finger. Some people with poor brains said in confusion, what are you pointing at? And the smart alien races with good brains understood what he meant. Yes, all awakeners, no matter which race they are. Above all awakeners, there is a starry sky. And the one who dominates this starry sky is an invincible will. Is it the intention of the will of reincarnation that the three races stand side by side? They can't help but doubt it. After all, the higher the level of the awakener, the more they know. Although Yi Xiao Tian has just been promoted to the supreme realm, his combat power is there, so it is normal for him to understand more of the intention of the will of reincarnation. Then, many more speculations were put forward, but none of them were very tenable. A whole day passed, and nothing was discussed. It was like this when there were too many people. No matter who made an opinion or suggestion, it would be refuted by others. It didn't matter whether it was reasonable or unreasonable. Anyway, as long as you made your opponent unhappy, it would be the right thing to do. There were hundreds of supreme aliens in this big tent. Each of them said a word, and half an hour passed. The three chiefs of the three tribes were overwhelmed by what they heard. Sure enough, the three of them could discuss the affairs of the aliens. Bringing these people here is just asking for trouble. My two brothers, they can't be counted on. What do you two think? The chief of the lion tribe asked the chiefs of the tiger and elephant tribes. The three of them are not only the chiefs of the three tribes, but also the three elders of the elders council of the alien tribes. To be frank, generally speaking, the things decided by the three of them really count. It's just that this matter is too serious, and the three of them don't want to take the blame, so they called everyone here. The chief of the tiger tribe heard it, and after a while, he said, Brother, why don't we let everyone vote by raising their hands? The sooner this matter is resolved, the better. The chief of the elephant tribe also nodded and said, I agree with my second brother's proposal. This is the best solution. No matter what the final result is, there is nothing to say about the vote by raising hands. Although it is rare in the alien tribes, the minority obeys the majority. The strong are noble. But when there is a possibility of taking the blame, of course, everyone will be pulled together to take the blame. After the three of them agreed, the chief of the lion clan knocked on the table, signaling everyone to be quiet, and then he said, I have heard everyone's opinions. In general, there is no opinion. In this case, let's raise our hands to vote. Raise your hands if you agree with Yi Xiaotian's proposal. After saying that, everyone looked at each other, and no one was the first to raise their hands. At this time, even if you are scared to death, you have to hold on. Chapter 528 The chief of the lion tribe saw that no one expressed their opinions and looked hesitant, and he knew it in his heart. They didn't want to raise their hands, but they didn't want to be the first to raise their hands. As the chief elder of the alien elders council, he was the most powerful person in the alien tribe, so he naturally couldn't raise his hand first. At this time, the chief of the tiger tribe raised his hand and said, I agree with this proposal. The chief of the elephant tribe also raised his hand and said, I agree too. The chief of the lion tribe was very pleased. These two old friends are still very considerate. If they can be so considerate in other aspects, it would be even better. The chief of the lion tribe sighed a little. He knew very well that the chiefs of the tiger and elephant tribes supported him so much now, just because it was the best choice for the alien tribe. When it comes to the interests of their own tribe, they will definitely argue fiercely again, or even fight. The disputes over interests between alien tribes have always been like this. 
but it is better to fight in person than to play tricks behind their backs. The best thing the human race is to play dirty tricks. If Yi Xiao Tian, this bastard, had entered the alien plane in person earlier and demonstrated his supreme military power to them. They would not have mobilized so many troops. In order to form this team, God knows what price the alien elders paid. Originally, all of this could have been avoided. It's too late to say anything now. Seeing that the tiger and elephant tribes agreed, everyone raised their hands. In the end, a few people who didn't raise their hands raised their hands quickly after the lion tribe chief raised his hand. At this point, the alien race unanimously passed this proposal. There is no need to fight, as long as they sign a racial peace treaty with the human race, they can go home. It's just that they came here aggressively, but now they go back so humiliated, which is really a bit embarrassing. I don't know what the expression of the sea tribe will be after knowing their choice. What they don't know is that the sea tribe didn't take any action at all. Zhuang Bufan personally went to the deep sea, and after a cordial conversation with the elder of the sea clan, he waited for the result of the alien battlefield. Besides, the sea clan had already made plans, and they would wait and see the progress of the fight between the two clans. If there is a bargain, take it, if there is no bargain, forget it. As long as they can keep their own basic base, they will be satisfied. The elder of the sea clan saw it very clearly. Whether it is the human race or the alien race, the sea clan will not take the initiative to attack. Provoking a race war can only benefit the third party. So he was very happy about Zhuang Bufan's arrival. At least in this way, he can grasp the first-hand information of the alien battlefield. Elder, there is news from the alien battlefield. The alien army retreated a hundred miles. Zhuang Bufan told the elder of the Si clan the news. The great elder of the Si clan said, Brother Zhuang, tell me the truth, what is the strategy of your human race? Zhuang Bufan said, Three-legged tripod. The great elder of the Si clan frowned at first, then relaxed, saying, I think the aliens are also confused. Zhuang Bufan said, They will think it through. When they understand that our three clans are all helping each other, not enemies, they will accept our proposal. The great elder of the Si clan said, I am very curious, how do you want to make the aliens believe? In fact, he was also confused. Yi Xiaotian's combat power and potential are there. Anyone who is not a fool knows that the human race will soar into the sky and will be unstoppable. Once Yi Xiaotian is promoted to SS level Master Awakener, both the aliens and the Si clan will be destroyed. If you want the aliens to agree to the conditions of the human race, you must get rid of the aliens, who are the biggest worry in their hearts. It is not easy to get rid of Yi Xiaotian, who is the biggest worry in his heart. This is also a contradiction. The human race will never agree to the alien race's killing. Zhuang Bufan said, Xiaotian said that as long as the alien race promises not to actively attack the human race on Blue Star, he can take the reincarnation oath and will never enter the alien plane. Reincarnation Oath The elder of the Si clan also exclaimed. He didn't expect that Yi Xiaotian would be willing to do this. This is related to his personal life and death. Once he breaks the oath, he will be punished by the will of reincarnation. This is equivalent to heavenly punishment. Even if you are strong, can you bear the heavenly punishment? No. Because even the supreme strong is just an awakener under the rules of the will of reincarnation. In front of the rules of the will of reincarnation, it is no different from a baby. Even if Yi Xiaotian can keep his promise, what about accidents? No one wants accidents, but they can happen at any time. So Yi Xiaotian has to take a great risk to make such a reincarnation oath. Yi Xiaotian has a promising future and his future achievements can surpass all the awakened people of the three tribes, so he doesn't need to take such a risk. But now, Yi Xiaotian actually took the initiative to propose such a condition, and the elder of the Si tribe was almost certain that the alien race would definitely agree to Yi Xiaotian's condition. Because in his heart, he also agreed to such a condition. The reason why he agreed to the alien race's reunion was because he was afraid of Yi Xiaotian. Yi Xiaotian's growth was too fast, so fast that they were afraid, even terrified. Once Yi Xiaotian became a dominant awakener, 
no matter the alien race or the sea race, they would die without a burial place. Under this starry sky, there is no place for them to stay. If a person is too outstanding, he will become the enemy of all his peers. It is well known that the tree that stands out in the forest will be destroyed by the wind. It is just unexpected that when they united and wanted to kill Yi Xiao Tian in advance, Yi Xiao Tian had already been promoted to the supreme strongman. In other words, he is already invincible. Of course, no matter how invincible he is, he is just one person, and he can be killed by a round robin battle. But the consequence of doing so is definitely a heavy loss. At this time, there is a better choice in front of them. What will they choose? Even a fool knows. Almost instantly, the elder of the Si clan said, Brother Zhuang, your little brother is courageous. You can go back. This battle cannot be fought. Zhuang Bufan said, Are you so sure? The elder of the Si clan said, I am sure. Zhuang Bufan got up out of boredom and said, Okay, you are really bored here, I still like life on land. After this matter is over, I hope you can go ashore to participate in the signing ceremony of the Three Clans Treaty. The elder of the Sea Clan said, I will definitely go, I really want to see with my own eyes the style of Mr. Haokian who has great courage. Zhuang Bufan said with satisfaction, I will definitely not let you down, I am leaving, goodbye. Alien Battlefield After a meeting was passed by all hands, the rest was simple, and only the specific terms and conditions were left to discuss with the human race. Chapter, 529 A message came from the alien tribe and they agreed to Yi Xiaotian's proposal. Then Zhuang Bufan said that the high clan had no objection. Then Yi Xiaotian said that he might as well gather all the people from the human, alien and sea tribes together to settle this matter. Everyone has sworn the oath of reincarnation and can open up hunting grounds for the awakened ones on the blue star land, sea, and alien plains. Set up portals to allow people from the three tribes to enter these hunting grounds. Everyone knows that if this matter is settled, blue star will enter a new era from now on. For the human race, whether ordinary people or awakened ones, this is great news. This means that from now on, they no longer have to huddle in the base city all their lives. Of course, this doesn't mean that you won't encounter danger outside from now on. After all, danger still exists in the wilderness. But this risk is greatly reduced. If we say that in the past, the mortality rate for ordinary people going out of the city was 100%. Then after the treaty is negotiated, the death rate can be reduced to 1 or 2%. It's almost negligible. Because no matter which race they are awakened, they have a new battlefield. That is the hunting ground of the awakened. Originally, the best choice was to place the meeting place in the world of reincarnation. Unfortunately, the reincarnation worlds of the three major races are not connected to each other. In other words, even if they are connected, the price paid is a bit high. So in the end it was Yi Xiaotian who suggested that the Si clan also send people to the alien battlefield. With Yi Xiaotian taking charge here, there will definitely be no accidents. The great elder of the Si clan thought for a moment and then agreed to the proposal. The great elder of the Hai clan still has great faith in Yi Xiaotian's courage and character. The great elder of the Si clan thought that he could not make such a proposal when he had the absolute upper hand. Out of its trust in Yi Xiaotian, it took people from the teleportation point in the human territory into the alien battlefield. It saw Yi Xiaotian in person for the first time. Mr. Haotian, I have admired you for a long time, and I finally got to meet you today. The great elder of the Hai clan shook hands with Yi Xiaotian after Zhuang Bufan introduced him. This time, five elders from the Si clan came over, all of whom were at the level of supreme powerhouses. As for the human race, Zhuang Bufan led the team, and the other four supreme experts stayed on Blue Star to take charge. The more times this happens, the less careless you can be. It is enough to have Yi Xiaotian on the alien battlefield, and it is even safer to have Zhuang Bufan bring someone here. And their staying on Blue Star is also a kind gesture for the alien race. You see, our human race has sent two supreme experts, five from the sea race, and hundreds of you from the alien race, which is enough to give you face. 
Yi Xiaotian shook hands with the elder of the high clan, exchanged some greetings, and then asked Chuang Bufan to receive him. Because he still has to continue to recover his exhausted mental energy. Although it has been several days, it is not enough. At the same time, he knew it well and could act cool, but he couldn't force it. This time I almost made a fool of myself. At the same time, he also had a good idea of how many clones he could summon in the Supreme Power Realm. As a mature awakened person, when fighting, attack the enemy with 3 points and keep 7 points for yourself. When desperate, attack the enemy with 7 points and keep 3 points for yourself. This all makes sense. Once you give your best, you won't have any leeway if something unexpected happens. But when the melee combat is also upgraded to the supreme power level, there is no need to worry too much. After all, it's still too weak. This is only for the awakened ones. Above, there is also the will to reincarnation. Again, Yi Xiaotian's target has never been those awakened aliens. He has only one goal, and that is to continue to become stronger. After solving the problems of the three major races, he will continue to break through the Babel Tower. Until the customs clearance. The meeting place has been prepared. Near the teleportation port, Scoff led his men to set up a row of temporary tents. There are accommodations and a large tent for meetings. Chuang Bufan, the people he brought, and friends from the high clan were all arranged to rest inside. Waiting for the alien race to come over for a meeting. Because of the tripartite talks, the foreign tribes were also very relieved, so the three chiefs of the three tribes came over without even bringing any followers. Things have developed to this point, and they have seen it. Yi Xiaotian is indeed a man of great courage, and his eyes do not stop at one city or one place. His goal is under the stars. Everyone knows that under the starry sky of the reincarnation tower, there must be more than just two worlds, blue star and alien plane. Just like when the alien plane and the blue star plane were not connected, everyone thought that only their own side of the world was the plane of life. And Yi Xiaotian knew very clearly that under the unknown starry sky, there was another planet called the Earth. He didn't know if anything unusual happened on the Earth side after he traveled through time. But it is certain that the Earth may also be covered by the will of reincarnation, but the Tower of Reincarnation has not yet arrived. Perhaps one day, the Earth will also face the invasion of the will of reincarnation, and the Tower of Reincarnation will be lowered. The blue star a hundred years ago was so similar to the Earth. In the large conference room. Representatives of the three races were present at the meeting, and the representative of the human race was Zhuang Bufan. Yi Xiaotian did not participate. He only left one sentence, and when you have agreed on the content of the treaty, he can swear the oath of reincarnation. The bold and domineering remarks directly made the leaders of the alien race and the sea race give a thumbs up. They really admire Yi Xiaotian. Zhuang Bufan has already listed all the terms, printed them into several copies, and put them directly on the conference table. This is the terms drafted according to our agreement. You can take a look. If there is anything that is not in place, you can raise it. We will discuss and revise it. Zhuan Bufan signaled his men to take out the documents. The leaders of the sea race and the alien race did not hesitate to pick up the documents in front of them and read them. Most of these terms were discussed by them before, and they were recorded and compiled into a book. There are also a small part of the terms that were added later. But after reading them, they all felt that it was harmless. After reading it, the chief of the Lion Clan put down the document in his hand and said, Generally speaking, we have no objection, but we hope that after the treaty is signed, you will not target the heretic organizations. If it doesn't work, I can ask them to withdraw to the alien plane. Zhuang Bufan thought about it for a while before saying, Okay, their presence will also serve as a spur for our human awakeners. The chief of the Lion Clan said, we have no other opinions. The chief elder of the Sea Clan also put down the document at this time and said to Zhuang Bufan, generally speaking, we have no objection, but I suggest adding some specific clauses. Chapter, 530 The alien race added a clause, and now the Sea race also wants to add a clause, Zhuang Bufan is a little unhappy. You should have said your opinion earlier. But I still listen to what the other party says first. 
If it is just some small clauses, there will be no problem. If it is a big clause, then we have to hold a meeting to discuss it. Oh, the elder, you can just say it directly. Zhuang Bufan was unhappy in his heart, but his face was calm. The elder of the sea ray said, It's like this, we calculated and felt that the number of hunting grounds is still a bit small, so we want to add some hunting grounds. And we can also divide some areas in the sea or on the shore as hunting grounds. Zhuang Bufan was a little surprised when he heard it. He originally thought that the sea race wanted more benefits, but he didn't expect it to be this. The number of hunting grounds is set according to the approximate number of awakened people on both sides, and the level of the hunting ground is also fixed. There are also regulations on what level of hunting ground can only be entered by awakened people of what level. Anyone who dares to violate it will be purged by the law enforcement teams of the two races. Now that the Sea Clan's Great Elder has proposed this, it seems that the number of awakened people in the Sea Clan is much greater than they expected. However, there is one point that the Sea Clan's Great Elder said that makes sense. Both the human race and the sea race live on the Blue Star, and they can indeed directly divide some areas as hunting grounds, and they don't even need to set up portals. After all, setting up portals is very expensive. Moreover, materials and technology must be purchased from the Samsara Mall. This is why the cooperation between the three tribes can reduce some burdens. After all, technology only needs to be purchased once, and only materials need to be purchased later. Technology is the most important, so it is very expensive. Materials, on the other hand, are not that expensive, and there are substitutes in the real world. If the quantity is too large, then you can only buy it in the Samsara Mall. As long as it does not increase the cost and add some hunting grounds, it is nothing. The three great patriarchs of the alien race are very envious, but the alien plane is too far away from the blue star plane, so they can only set up portals. However, when we have money in the future, we can also set up more hunting grounds to avoid being crowded by our own awakened people. However, the hunting grounds added between the human race and the sea race will probably not have a share for them. After all, these newly added hunting grounds will definitely not have portals. Chuang Bufan pondered and said, In principle, I have no objection. The chief of the lion clan said, I really envy you for being able to live in a world plane, and the hunting grounds can be directly reached by human hands. Unlike us alien races, we have to set up portals. But Mr. Zhuang, Elder Jiao, when we make money in the future, can we also add some hunting grounds? Of course. The chief elder of the Si clan agreed directly. Seeing this, Zhuang Bufan had to say, in principle, we have no objection, but everything must be in accordance with the terms of the treaty. The chief of the Lion Clan said, of course, there is no order without rules, we still understand this. Zhuang Bufan said, that's good, I hope everyone will not let my brother Xiao Tian down. Under the cycle of reincarnation, everyone is an ant. Who wouldn't want to go further if they were in their position? If they could completely let go of worldly affairs, they would have more time to improve themselves. Perhaps they could really go further in their lifetime. It took them hundreds of years to get to where they are today, and they didn't know if there would be another hundred years, or even two hundred years, for them to go to the next level. But without trying, who knows if they won't succeed. There are many miracles on the road to heaven. Look at Mr. Houtian now, isn't that a miracle? In just two months, he earned hundreds of billions of reincarnation points from the Tower of Heaven and was directly promoted to the Supreme Power Realm. It makes people envious and jealous. Hate why this person is not them. But if they can't be Mr. Houtian, they can be successful themselves. So they also want to finish the discussion quickly and go back to their own business. Of course, such a big thing can't be determined in one or two days. Any change in any clause requires the unanimous consent of the top leaders of the three tribes. Fortunately, although the representative needs to go to the alien battlefield. However, they did not need to discuss matters with the top leaders of the Zheng clan. They could just hold the meeting in the Samsara world. If the Samsara worlds of the three clans were not connected, they would not have come to the alien battlefield to hold a big meeting. The conditions here are really not good. Fortunately, the Samsara world is very convenient. 
After the meeting, the top leaders of the human race and the Sea Clan entered the Samsara world to discuss. As for the alien race, it was not necessary, because almost all of their top leaders came to the alien battlefield. So they just had to go back to the station and hold a meeting on the spot. The meeting of the alien race ended quickly. The human race did not waste much time. It took longer for the Sea Clan. In addition to the changes and additions to the terms, the content of the meeting was to work together to see if there were any omissions. Make up for it before the treaty is signed. Two days later, the meeting of the three clans started again in the alien battlefield. This time, everyone had no objection to the additional terms after reprinting them, they started to sign. After signing, Yi Xiaotian also swore an oath of reincarnation as agreed. As soon as the oath was made, a thunderclap sounded in the sky. The leaders of the Sea Clan and the Alien Clan were very satisfied. This thunderclap meant that the oath was completed. They all breathed a sigh of relief. It was really great to remove the great pressure from Yi Xiaotian. And now that the treaty has been signed, the three clans can live in relative peace in the future. Of course, if a master level awakener is born in their clan, the treaty can also be torn up. But considering Yi Xiaotian's strength, forget it. Even if there are awakeners in their clan who can be promoted to the master level, they are definitely not enough for Yi Xiaotian to fight. Instead of doing so, it is better to pray that Yi Xiaotian will directly ascend to a higher level world after becoming a master level awakener. Although things like ascension have not appeared in reality, no one dares to say that they have not happened. After signing the treaty, the three parties agreed to start working on opening up hunting grounds for awakeners and setting up portals. But Yi Xiaotian doesn't have to worry about these things. Now that the world is at peace, he can go to the Tower of Babel with peace of mind. The world is at peace. After more than a hundred years of chaos and the efforts of several generations, it has finally been completed. This is definitely a great thing for the human race. Because it means that from this day on, they no longer have to stay in the base city for their whole lives, and they can also go outside the city to see the wilderness scenery. After returning to Magic City University, Yi Xiaotian told his comrades about the matter, and they were all very happy. This is indeed good news for the human race from top to bottom. They are also very convinced of Yi Xiaotian's courage. To make such a decision, you need great perseverance, fearlessness, and a spirit of great sacrifice. For Yi Xiaotian personally, the loss is incalculable. But for the entire human race, the benefits are incalculable. It can be said that the entire human race has received Yi Xiaotian's favor. The next time will be much easier. In addition to breaking through the Tower of Babel, Yi Xiaotian takes his two wives out for fun. As for the other members of the Haotian team, they will not brush the Awakener's secret realm anymore. Anyway, the Awakener hunting ground will be established soon, so it won't be too late to work hard then. The entire Blue Star human race is moving towards a new era. And Yi Xiaotian has also started his new journey in life. The whole book is finished.